Shout out to Urban Fruits. Shout out to the homie No Sell Out. Yeah, you know, we repping all of the BCU products over here, man. Shout out to the homie Urban Fruits, man. The homie No Sell Out. Yes, everything. Peace, peace out to everybody pulling up in the building. Hey, man, if we could and if you would, jump on that like button. Make sure we hit the like button, you feel me? Man, we got a good show today, you dig? Um, you know, these niggas out here scared. You understand me? They pan-African, so you already know what that means. They need to just go to church. Yeah, 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 yeah. You pan Africans, y'all need to just go to go to church. Yeah, they say these niggas scared, and when you're scared, you need to go to church. Pan African, but a Christian. You Christianity Bible thumping niggas, and got the nerve to get down on the Hebrew. Hold on, y'all. Let me finish rolling up, and we gonna get started, man. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. Shout out to my cousin Junior in the building. Ambush predator. Coming here with an unk on. I don't know, man. I hope you got the shoes tied up, man. You know where you at? <laughs> you know, man. I don't know if you know where you at, man. You might want to go put on some shoes, man, and some shorts or something that you you a little bit more comfortable in. Cause uh man, we're gonna get some wreck. Yeah, we're gonna get some wreck, nigga. T yeah, today today. Go go back in the back, get you a couple push-ups in or whatever you gotta do. Uh, you know, go on, get fit and strong and tight. Cause, uh, nigga, you ain't here when I come back. I'm, I need, I need that love. Okay. He said, you good. All right. All right. All right. It's all love then, family. I don't be knowing, you know, I see red, black, and green and I just, I just blank out. Garfield and it was cloud chasing yesterday on the channel. I pull up. I'm like, hey, what's up, homie? Um, why you out here misleading the people? Cause he got a um, you know, his title say that that they destroyed me on my own channel.
Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They said they destroyed me on my own channel. And I'm starting to really think Garfield got that pussy. See, they told me you you don't, you only fight niggas you feel like you can whoop. Oh. Uh, yeah, them sound like bully. Yeah, you sound like you're a bully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you want to see a nigga go fight somebody else first to see if if the nigga really can, you know, if he really got something. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Your boy Rob Bowen, <laughs> he already ran from me. And you see when he stood in the paint when he came over here the other day, and and you know what? They went back and played that video on their channel. They told in the title they say they destroyed me. But when they played the video back on their channel, we couldn't find the part where they was destroying me. Cause Rob Boy before Rob Boy ain't get out of here easy. Rob Boy dropped out. Oh, we was getting them their work. We still don't know what type of African you are, Garfield. I don't give a fuck if you ate Aki, nigga. Oh, 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 them motherfuckers over there eat eat corn every day. Corn, one of the most major uh, uh, um, agriculture over there in Africa. Nigga, that don't make them American. Corn come from America. Boy, I know you ain't going to try to use no pan-African tactics on me. Talking about the culture, the language. This nigga Rob Boyne said the word yo is an African word, and that's how we know. Really? Is that all y'all got? Don't tell me that's all you have. Bro, do you know who I am? I am the guy that took down colonization. Ain't nobody got more pan-African bodies than me. You can put a lot of niggas together. They ain't, they ain't got, and, I, and I've been here the least. Bro, I have bodies. Hey, hey, shout out to the chat. Man, shout out to everybody in the building, man. Can somebody, do anybody here remember the lecture when Lex Vortex came over here. Do anybody know, remember that video? Do anybody remember the video when Lex Vortex came over here and he said he is not his body? Do anybody remember that? It was a guy by the name of Lex Vortex. I need that one. I need y'all to help me find that. And what's the other elbow name? The white elbow. What's the white boy name? Um, Lotus. Can y'all find me? Anybody out the out the chat, man? Man, can y'all please find me the video of when Lex Vortex came over here? And please find me the video when what's this other guy named Lotus came over here. He said that was a minute ago. Now, it was it was a couple months ago. It was last year. It, it went too last. It, 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 can somebody find those videos for me? All right, big Ken. He said he know what he's talking about. He said he said he got slaves and night. Man, please go find that Ken. And you know what? I need to find the other one of the guy. Um, his last name was Johnson. I think he was like Ramesses Johnson or something like that. He had a slave narrative back in 1920. He was another slave out here in 1920. I just had a guy the other day. I told that nigga, I said, nigga, if you was a slave, why you ain't call the cops? Tell <laughs> you, yeah, nigga, 911, nigga, oh, they got me tied to a goddamn tree back here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. I figure out, nigga, why y'all ain't get the authority involved? All right, child, I got to turn the camera off because I'm about to fire up. About to give me a little breakfast in me. Oh, yeah, man. They they had the nerve to go over there. Hold on, because I don't want nobody to think I'm lying on nobody, man. Let me pull it up. And you know what this guy said? And you know what somebody said? Um, hold on, let me go over here. Let's try this one. 
And Garfield had the nerve to say he not debating me, y'all. Garfield said he's not debating me, and I'm going to show y'all why he said he's not debating me. Not because I did nothing wrong. You understand me? Not because you can't come say that you can't take me serious. You can't say that. Um, For one, y'all need to be trying to get some get back for what I did to y'all big homie. Okay. Y'all need to. And look at this old uh, bus stop ass nigga right here. He the nigga with the headphones on at the train or uh, downtown. Coming in this hole like he's some type of straight up gangster or like he's some type of Atlanta gangster. Oh, country ass swag. Yeah, nigga, you the country ass nigga. You coming in here acting like you some type of Atlanta gangster dope boy. Nigga, you ain't never been in the trap. This old C dot nigga. Like he's some type of straight up G. Nigga, I know a hoe when I see one. Y'all know I, I know a hoe ass nigga when I see one, nigga. Nigga, you like fat bitches. Yeah, nigga, you around here trying to trying to make your voice like you some tough ass nigga or like you was a nigga or out there in the trap. Nigga, you ain't never wrote a don't. You ain't never had a trap house, nigga. You ain't never had your cell phone ain't never jumped. You ain't never been a plug. You a country nigga that drive forklifts and fuck with fat hoes. Yeah, nigga, ain't nobody. Nigga, hey, nigga, get your regular nigga, regular nigga, regular nigga ass nigga. Right here trying to talk like he's some straight up G. Nigga, I know a whole ass nigga when I see one. You hear that nigga? Man, go sit your weak ass down somewhere. All right, let me go up to the point. Uh -oh. Hold on. Let me back this up. Let me back this up. So. Cause see, Garfield. Why is you steady trying to talk to me? Bullshit ass nigga. Nigga, stop talking to me, nigga, before I get mad. Hold on, y'all. Let me show something. Go off here, try to go play this over there to his channel, bro. And it backfired on him. Yeah, Junior, that nigga fuck with fat white hoes. RBG nigga. Fuck with fat white hoes. Oh, uh, Kathy Ann. Yeah, that big old nigga. That nigga fucking Kathy Ann, big ass. Y'all see how he started talking when I asked him about I said, what you like on like on your plate? Candy yams? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you give me some candy yams. I bet your big old ass do like candy yams. I like macaroni. I like smothered meatballs. Yeah, I bet your big ass do meatballs and gravy, huh? Yeah, with mash on the side. I already know, nigga. Uh-huh. With a carrot cake. Yeah, I, I know. I know your type, nigga. I'm looking at you. Coming in this hotel talking about he a real nigga. Man, go sit your weak ass down. <laughs> Pan African ass nigga. <laughs> Pan African nigga crazy, man. Selling that shit. Yeah, nigga, we walk through you weak ass nigga. All right, hold on. Let me uh let me get this clip up, bro. From Garfield over there. So the title, the title is um Top Cats Gets Destroyed by Rob Bourne and Garfield on his own channel. Now that is very, very misleading. I still I'm trying to figure out see damn when that happened. Because I know when y'all came over here, bro, y'all had a hard time. Now, Garfield, when you ran into a little trouble, what you do? You hear him got your ass up out of here. You think I'm lying? I'm about to press play. See, these niggas be acting like instant replay is not a real thing. So let walk. Tell you what helped me when I did the DNA. Debate my shit. Okay, okay. Hold well, on. Let's go back we to know Garfield. where the first largest was at. Can 
Every no, Negro is African. No, I'm not yeah. Definitely a trail. Basically, it's just a couple walked. You get there two routes. You either get there. Hold He's not hold answering the question. Hold on. Well, hold let on. him shut the hell up and let him hold answer. Hold on. 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 Can we end the circle jerk and get back to man? Shut your punk ass up, nigga. You get there two routes. You either get damn, I'm going to where you at. Uh, M84 so. traces of DNA in my mother's side where I get the A2. Disagree, y'all. Niggas like, sound like see, I'm gonna tell you why, brother. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because DNA, here we go. Without using uh DNA test, no, yes, yeah, I and so, so why do we need all these other things to validate our Africanness? You know, who playing on that music? Who playing that all music? Right, yeah. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, brother. You, just give me a somebody playing music in the background. He's going to I think he's trying to uh, Gmail. You can't get strike for that. At Gmail. Right. At Gmail. Hey, now let me ask you this right here. Oh, Mr. Garfield. It's going to be trouble, trouble for this guy. Hey, y'all, make sure we got the likes up. Come on, man. We got 96 people watching, 40 likes. Man, get the, let's get the likes up, bro. Let's get the likes up, family. <laughs> hey, Predator, when he changed his logo, he would took that shit off. He said, he said he in the wrong neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, bro, they be tripping, bro. They gang bang around here, bro. I know it look real nice and all that, bro. This here like California, though. We we bang out of nice out of suburb neighborhoods over here, bro. Yeah, this the suburbs over here. <laughs> say that nigga with the chain clothes, nigga. That nigga said, "Damn, I ain't know I could turn my hat that way." <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, they be tripping over here, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, man. <laughs> Go take this shit off, <laughs> nigga. Do a drive ball, yo. Oh, <laughs> uh, what type of ass? All right, here he go. This week, this what Garfield get in trouble. Yeah, y'all be see you to be see you to be tripping, bro. You go. Man, go change clothes. Yeah, he good. He with me, man. That's my little cousin, man. Yeah, that's my mama's sister, baby boy. Y'all let him make it, man. That's my mama's sister, baby boy. He was raised with his daddy side. So he just now coming around. So y'all let him make it. He with me, man. African or you? What do you mean by what type of African? I don't clean. Nigga, damn. Nigga, what type of African are you? Y'all niggas, who they paying African? Y'all just going to let the whole doctrine go, huh? <laughs> So now y'all just letting the whole doctrine go, huh? Damn, not the big bad pan African. Say, homie, what type of African? Is? What What do you mean? What What? Yeah, like it's a trick question. Now all of a sudden, yeah, 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 nigga. Now all of a sudden, this pan African shit is a what? What exactly do you mean? Oh, oh, okay. I didn't know it was a difference. Who are these niggas getting up off their shit, man? Who I don't know how long Pan African go be alone, man. We ain't gonna have too many niggas standing holding the line for it. These niggas looking for a way out. Yeah, you niggas gonna have to jump out like you in the Twin Towers, nigga. Yeah, that bitch, bitch on fire. You might have to take the window. Yeah, nigga, you can't use the elevator and stairs, nigga. You might have to take the window, nigga. You gonna jump or I'm gonna throw your motherfucking ass over there. Came to be a straight up African. What I so said, you're not an African? African. No, 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 no. no. Do you have African descent? Step to him, T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all over him. I'm all over him. I, see, this is what's called cutting the ring off. Earl Spence to the body. I want that body work on you. This is where you cut the ring off on the nigga. So he ain't, you can't do all that playing. Ain't no dancing. You ain't finna use your feet and, you know, and work the ring. Now, nah, this is when you cut the ring off. And now he has no choice. But to defend itself, you're gonna have to fight. So I'm a little bit different, Garfield, man. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. I have African descent. I have Igbo. I have Akan. That's what I can prove based off my genetic markers. As- Two fake ass African tribes. Akan. Akan ain't even from West Africa. Let them tell it. As far as um okay. Uh, hold on, hold okay. on. Let me answer. Let me, answer. Let me just give me give me 12 seconds. <laughs> He don't know what hand I'm finna hit him with. Based off genetic markers, based off linguistics, based off anthropology, archaeology, and history. So I could prove through linguistics how the Jamaican dialect is con- connected to the Twi language. I could also show words in the culture that's connected to the Igbo and to the Akan people. Like if you say Uno, that's an Igbo word for you. 
So at the end of the day, we could connect it with linguistics. We could also connect it with traditions. Nigga, Uno is a mother is a card game. Nigga, nigga, that nigga said Uno. Nigga, Uno is a motherfucking card game, nigga. Just like if I say Uno. Nigga, Uno, Threads, Cuatro, Cinco, Seis, Dietes. Hey, you talking about nigga, Uno, Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. They got wildflower power. She a Mexican. She can tell you. <laughs> uno. That is like if I say uno. That is a West African word. Nigga, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, tres, tres, tres. Yeah, nigga, hey, you talking about it. <laughs> Man, what's wrong with these niggas? Rob Boyd asked me where banana come from. Man, y'all nigga crazy as hell, man. But I feel sorry for paying African, man. And then y'all see them niggas on the thumbnail. It say master teacher. These niggas, these niggas mastered the game and the craft. Say, man, why you can't go use none of that shit they gave y'all? All of that shit that they gave y'all and they built Pan African with, you can't use none of it. Nigga, really? Uno, dos, tres? Nigga, are you serious? <laughs> and Nancy, any army, the Maroons in Jamaica were worshiping. Any no, army. no, slow down, slow down. This is this, this dude say he hold got on, ain't no on, African cultures on, in America. On, Don't give him no now. more, Garfield. Don't give him no more. <laughs> We gonna hit him no, with that right hand, hey, man. Hey, 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 Garfield, you know what I noticed though? Even when Brother Raborn was saying his speech. Hey, bro, I'm about to get so real with these nigga, man. Shout out to the homie Joe Jack, man. Shout out to my nigga Joe Jack, man. Out there playing in the snow. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> y'all, y'all name everything except people. You feel me? Nigga, come out here talking about anthropology. Nigga come out here talking about Uno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga come out here, nigga talking about uh, 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 a maroon, uh, 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 um, a maroon fight. Nigga brought up a war. Nigga brought up a war, brought up anthropology. Uh, 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 nigga brought up linguistics. Nigga, damn, what a people at? Yeah, nigga, you still gonna need a people. Bro, do you understand that you need a person? You are a human, brother. You have a mother and a father. How anything else going to make you who you are other than your, the genes of your mother and father? Anthropology can't make a human. Nigga, linguistics cannot create a human. Nigga, what? I'm talking about a bloodline. Cut the ring off on these niggas, chief, and make them fight. Yeah, I said, Nanny. Oh, oh. I said, Nanny. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I said, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Said, yeah, yeah, but room. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm nigga, you ain't got, you ain't kin to Nanny of the Maroons. Unless you are kin to Nanny of the Maroons, I don't want to hear that shit, nigga. Nigga, I am the executioner. Nigga, I'm going, nigga, I'm going to slay you, boy. If you bringing up anything other than who the other than your bloodline, nigga, nigga, I am the Grim Reaper. You tripping? They didn't. They must didn't tell you. They must didn't tell you who I am. I'm saying because the question was direct. It was, do you have African descent? Talk to yes, him. So, so why do we need all these other things to validate our Africanness? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why we can't use our family? Because okay, I told okay, you, I'm going to okay, use my family. Okay. Line them up, man. Get them right, man. See, it was a direct question. Do you? I didn't ask you what Nanny of the Maroons had. I didn't ask you what an anthropology white boy said. I didn't ask you by no goddamn word. No Uno card game, nigga. I asked you about you. <laughs> he gotta stop his fight. Now let walk. Cause see, you got your title out here saying that Top Cat gets destroyed by Rob Bourne and Garfield on his own channel. But brother, this is this is what really happened. And they over there donating to him. That nigga got a fifty dollars for that shit, and another ten up there. That nigga got sixty dollars for that. 
for a Michelin title. Uh, my mom taught me a Nancy story. <laughs> What more do you want? Yo, my brother, you know that ain't enough. I'm, tell, I'm sorry, he told you. My mom taught me a Nancy story. She told, she told you some bedtime stories. What, what, what about that? Yeah, nigga, what about that? Nigga, what about a bedtime story? Nigga, nigga, Dr. Seuss wrote bedtime story, nigga. A cat in a hat. Have you ever heard of the cat in the hat, nigga? Yeah, nigga, have you ever heard of a Dr. Seuss, nigga? What the fuck that got to do with your bloodline? Pan Africanism ain't got nothing. Woo, they ain't got nothing for themselves. Who, when you make them stand there and fight, they ain't got nothing. They looking for a white scientist. Yeah, them nigga looking for a nigga in a lab coat. You get the whooping on them, Dr. Ben can't help him. John Henry Clark can't help him. Asa Hillett can't help him. Dr. Leonard Jeffries can't help him. Dr. James Smalls can't help him. Jesus Christ can't help you. Boy, you better, I'm going to beat him now. You better go get your mom and daddy. And Nancy stories come from the Akan people. The, the food that we ate, the Aki and sawfish came from Ghana. The Akan people. That's the national dish in Jamaica. Okay, okay. So, so next, brother. Okay, so, next, bro. Bro, I, he told my, ooh. But nigga, uh, uh, African is not a leading culture in Jamaica. You have the indigenous culture, and the second uh, 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 highest culture is Irish. African, not one or two. African is not one, and it is not two. You have more Irish culture there than African. Give a fuck about nigga, you ate a piece of fruit. All of Africa, they mo they number one motherfucker is corn, and they ain't from the America. So what you gonna do with that? Watch this here. Oh, you so, killing so, them, man? What about what about yo? Hold on. What about yo yo uh, African? Uh, 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 how did you get to Jamaica? All right. So you know what? Then why don't you debate me on that? I can't debate you on how you got to Jamaica. Let's have a two-part debate. You prove you're an American Indian, right? How you, how you got to that, what tribal affiliation you are, how you got into that. Show all your roles and everything. And I'll show how I'm African. I'm an African descent. Without using uh, DNA to no, no, you have stipulations. I, that's <laughs> you need that white boy. You need him. See, that's where you niggas lose it. Niggas say, niggas say, man, you can't do nothing with me. If you a Pan African, you need a white boy. Talk, nah, 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 boy. If you a Pan African, you need a white boy. And I want, I want to show y'all something, bro, because. This here was very, very important. And you know what? The brother even said that he understood. He said, okay, I understand what you're saying now. Now watch this, y'all. It's going to be very, very important. See, because I'm really like a counselor to these niggas, man. Yeah, they, I'm really like a counselor to them, man. That's included because no, remember... Brother, come on now, man. You want to bring hold on, hold on, hold on. Without using the DNA. There's five facets to um history and how to get research. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Nigga, that template was created, and I'll go get you the guy who created it. Pan-Africanism never was a genre. Afrocentrism never was a genre. African studies never was a genre. That was created. And watch he named down all up. Listen. History, anthropology, archaeology, linguistics, and genetics. Oh, I'm using this, yeah, that's a colonizer playbook. No, but no, you, 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 now watch this here. I love birds and second genes. Oh, uh, give me all the birds and second genes. The ones that wear deodorant. Yes. But now, oh uh, now, so so without DNA, if, why without DNA? Why are you trying to take away what is there, what is naturally us? 
Come on. What is that naturally us? Hold on, hold on. Bro, bro, I'm, 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 I'm going to do it like this. Here. I'm going to tell you why, brother. Uh, mm-hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Because DNA, we, we, why are we so... Because it, it would be different if the Pan-Africans didn't teach us to hate the white man. You feel me? Like, we didn't... Hold on, hold on, y'all. I got to give him a listen. He said, why not DNA? Man, I want y'all to listen, man, because... You know, you know, I know a lot of people take it in disrespect and all of this here, but this is real, bro. Nah, this is real, man. Listen to him, bro. I'm finna talk to his heart. Niggas say, why don't y'all accept DNA? Now, I told him, I said, bro, it'll be different. Let's, let's listen to it. Shout out to the homie Indian King, man. Indian King, when he found that video, goddamn, we about to watch a couple bodies today of Pan Africa. Because see, Garfield and Rob Bourne ain't the first body. And I'm finna show you. See, can't nobody, ain't nobody got more work on killing Pan Africans than me. Ain't nobody killed more Pan Africans than me. I'm talking about live and in action, and in the manner in which we went and slayed them. Now, hold on, Garfield, because Garfield, I thought you had something for yourself. I thought you was like a top guy around here, like you having a little trouble, man. It's different when you got a cup standing in front of the big chief, man. We didn't come up with this concept on our own. They told us that the white man stole us, stole our history, uh, uh, took our names, uh, raped our women. They made us hate the white man. And now today, what, the pan want us to, to it's team it's up the with one the one white boy or to trust in him. What it's is a Tuskegee experiment it's shit. Now, hold on, man, because the Pan-African was telling us to get the jabs over there on your channel and shit. And I'm trying to figure out, man, why, why y'all teach us to hate the white man if everything y'all going to do it be right on side by side with him. It's nothing that y'all people have done without the white man, not only a regular white boy, but the colonizer himself. See, it'd be different if y'all ain't teach us to hate these people and that they did all these bad things, and now you tell us to come trust they sign. Go so feel like, I don't know, I mean, man. You know what? I actually understand. What Are you a man? Oh, he actually understands what I'm saying. He actually understands what I'm saying. Hey, y'all, let's get the likes over 100, bro. We got 138 people in here. We only got 75 likes. Let's get the likes up, family. Come on, hit the like button. Man, let's hit the like button. Y'all, y'all heard him, how huh? He said, oh, I actually understand what you're saying now. No, you don't. Listen, anybody teaching that Pan-Africans are colonizers, they got it from legendary top cats. If you niggas going to teach my shit, give me my credit. Or I'm going to call you out for plagiarism. Fuck it. I'm just going to go on and do it. I'm getting too many goddamn me or uh, uh, little screenshots, bro. A niggas out here teaching that the Pan-Africans are colonizers working with white folks and working with the church. And they are not saying that they got it from me. There is no book out there ever written that says that. That is my information. That is BCU information. Please, man, let's be fair. Let's uh, keep the dignity and respect into the in, in the um in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? I use uh uh Kerry uh uh Wills, Williams. I think that's the guy's name, right? With the tall heel and them working in the in the field, and I gave him credit because that's who I heard say this shit. That's where I got it from. Man, if we're using, if we're gonna use some more information, bro, let's please. Come on, man. We're moving into a better place now, man. We're trying to bring all this shit together, bro. But I need my credit. Yeah, man. I, don't, I already don't get a lot of love around here, man. Don't nobody want to, you know. I already don't get embraced. So, but I do want credit for my hard work. You know what I mean? We can't just go walk off and steal people's shit, put nigga shit in our pocket and go around the corner and act like it's ours, man. You know, I'm gonna have to call you out for plagiarism, man. I don't want to do that, man. I really don't. But I, I, I work very, very hard. Mason, no, what sir, science I'm the okay. got? I'm not, I'm not a Mason. I'm not Take a off on Rob Bowen too. Rob Bowen, are you a Mason? No, yeah, he's not. He's not a Mason. Either. Okay. But I do want to say to you, I appreciate you having me on your channel. But I thought you destroyed me. I thought you destroyed me, bro. Look like you running. Look like you're running. I thought he destroyed me. What was the destroy? Because soon we get to talking this African shit. Now, let me skip up to Rob Bourne. We got to find out the word because I don't need you to try. 
everything as a kind of African. So what what this shit of African are you? Oh, I want to show you in a debate because damn nigga, why we gotta do all of this here just to know what what tribe you niggas from? He wanna show me in the debate. Brother, what type of African are you? Hardest question in the world for a pan-African. Y'all niggas been running around here with this pan-African mumbo jumbo since the 1700s. 1700s. And now look at you niggas. Boy, y'all pan-African elders rolling over in their grave. Yeah, they rolling over. They said, oh, these some weak-ass niggas out there on the block. Now, you mean to tell me these niggas out here getting, these niggas done lost the lead? Yeah, them niggas, boy, y'all had a, a head start since the 1770s. And you niggas out here, nigga, we get to 2023, nigga, and you niggas don't there. Whoo, it's so hard to get an African tribe up out these niggas. Cause I want Come on, bro. He's from the Arawak tribe. I want to see that DNA test, man. I'm not talking about no DNA test, Rob Boy. I want to see those 50 and 50. So when did, you, when did you learn this, Rob Boy? Because two years ago, you when, was... You, you ain't no kind of African. No, right two years ago, no, brother, you just never, no, no, two years ago, I was putting it together. That took a while to do, bro. And what really yeah, helped pretty much. Hey, how much is. credit, That's how much exactly credit what do I, I get like you? Sister Blackfoot said DNA was not out here, was not out here over 20 years ago. It just came out. Well, yeah, 1990, um, 1990, we're going to get the human genome. And then uh, later they'll say they finally cracked the code, but <sighs> these brothers are older than 1990. So I'm trying to, I wonder why they just love that white boy so much. Is he dropping that white dick on you? Is he dropping pink dick on you? Hey, y'all, let's get the likes over 100. How okay. much credit, how much credit do I get for you, you getting into doing your genealogy? Brother? Listen, listen, I, I gotta get, get it, some it, kind of credit. It, nah, you, 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 you were still talking about boxing back then. Wait, I, this is from the Aboriginals. I was Damn, debating well, why before. Why when I start talking to you, you still ain't had answers? Nah, son, I had it. I had it, son. But so you, you know, oh, you are keeping it from it, me, huh? It take oh, okay. it, it take a, it take <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all, you know what makes this even funny? Because Garfield is sitting there playing this to his chat. I don't know if he watched the whole video or what, and this is his first. Bro, they are all sitting there quiet. He got a panel full of niggas right now. They are having to watch this. Not your boy, uh, uh, Rob Bowen. I know them idiots ain't got Rob Bowen on the back foot. Now, 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 see what I'm trying to say is, uh, back then, I read, oh, oh, not Big Bad Rob Bowen. Not Rob Bowen and Garfield kick my ass on my show. Why you ain't accept mine though, Top Cat? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what helped me. When I did the DNA on the ancestry.com, I found all my cousins and shit. So you did and when I did that, on. it matched it. So you then I'm, I, because I had a gap in my. Did shit. you do it Amazon Prime? Uh, nah, I did, I did ancestry. Cause they do one day shipping, I heard. I, I did ancestry.com, bro. The same right, so the DNA hey, he's talking, he's talking shit because he ain't did none of it. No, he ain't took no test. He ain't did none African, of that. Rob so without the DNA test, you're not African, Rob Boy. Y'all see the screen switch, huh? Go for your click. <laughs> that nigga cut it. He cut the show. Listen, nigga, this was your idea to come out here and play this to your chat. This is your idea. Ain't nobody tell you to come do this. You played this to them people. And it was about to get worse. So without the DNA test, you ain't no African. That nigga cut it. He cut the tape. Nigga cut the tape. Say, man. Say, <laughs> nigga cut the tape. Now watch this here, y'all. Check him out. Check him out. I heard enough of that, man. Once he said that Amazon Prime, I can't do that. Top Cat is a comedian, man. He ain't nobody to debate, man. I, I changed my mind. I can't debate that dude, man. I, I know you can't. Now, what what the fuck did I do wrong? Why you can't debate me? I can't debate that man. <laughs> Let's get some hands and feet in the chat. Let's get some hands and feet in the chat. I, 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 I can't debate that man. Let's get some hands and feet in the chat. Why you can't debate me, nigga? Cause see, 
Rob Bowen can't do now. I don't know what you you up sitting over there listening to these niggas telling you, oh, that nigga ain't this, he ain't that, he ain't this. And then when you get there, nigga, what you do? Pack it up. Hey, I want to appreciate you letting me on now. I gotta go. I bet you do. I bet you do. Let's get some hands and feet in the chat. I bet you do gotta go. Pack it on up, nigga. Roll it up because you can't stay here. Roll it up. And then Susie left. I said, all right, shout out to uh, Garfield. Rob Boyne, don't you go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Uh, another body. Check him out. That big bad Rob Boyne. I found my cousin in them. And I found, okay, so what kind of African are you? After five minutes. After five minutes of questioning, nigga, can we get the tribe? You niggas ain't, you niggas ain't no motherfucking African. Hands and feet on them. <laughs> All right, man. Let me go find this other joint. Hold on, while I'm looking for it, let's go into another one. Let's see what else we got in here. You know, we kick so many of these niggas in their ass. Hold on, let's go to this one. Creek similar. Said in a documentary on black and south wounds in Jamaica, we also went through that. Sean, waiting for the discussion to begin. Okay, it's beginning. How you doing, brother? Who are you? Can you? I'm good. Huh? I say, who are you, brother? Can you introduce yourself? Hey, can we get can we get over 100 likes in here, bro? We got 150 people watching, only 97 likes. It's 150 people watching. We only got 97 likes. Can we please, please get the likes up, family? It helps with the algorithm of the show. We slide pan Africans around here. See, we ain't got to talk. See, we ain't got to leave and one side say we won and the other side say we won. Now, when you come fucking with us, it ain't no doubt about who won. Check. It's very, very clear who won. We kick pan Africans in the pussy, okay? We buried they all uh, master teachers. Dr. B and them are fucking agents. Anybody want to line it up? Do we got a Pan-African in the chat who want to take up for Dr. B? You know what? Let me get off of this guy right here. Okay? Because I had one day, I had a Pan-African come over here and try to take up for Dr. B and Dr. Clark. And you know what I did to him? I blessed his game. Let me show you something, nigga. I'm a bad motherfucker. You know this I, is disrespectful. What is disrespectful about? I wish you niggas would come up here trying to take up for Pan Africanism or a Doctor Ben or a Master Teacher. I'ma slide your ass up under something too, nigga. I'll do it today. I dropped the link down there. I wish one of you weak ass Pan African would run up. Um, we we both gotta agree. I don't think Doctor Chancellor Williams, right, was trying to fail us by doing his work he he worked for 17 years on the book bro the destruction of the black civilization i don't i don't I, he worked for 17 years the man damn near went blind writing the book you know what i'm saying and, and to say or to even infer that they failed us when he dedicated damn near two decades to informing us it, I mean, to me, it, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, everybody got their opinions and everything, but I don't think that that's an opinion. I don't think that that's opinion-based when you say, you know, did they fail us? You know, because now you are inviting, you know, uh, uh, people. You can, question, you can question their scholarship, but to say that did they fail us, that's where it gets... You know, a little silly, a little disrespectful. Get a little Mickey. I'm okay. Borgin, bro. You can hear me? No, no, no. You, you, you perfectly clear. Okay. Uh, Steve Moses says, yes, they failed us. We just discovered some of the most important pieces of the puzzle. What do you have to say about so, that? So, bro? so, boom. So, boom. Uh, I don't know you, see Moses, right? I don't know you, right? Okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure... If you know your 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 method of doing research, right? <laughs> you uncover some stuff, right? And let's say, for instance, the information that you're talking about, right? It, it just recently discovered. How can you hold that against people who was doing research 50 years ago? That that don't even make sense, bro. It's nonsensical. Well, he should have set his ass down. 
They should have set their motherfucking ass down somewhere. Nigga, if you ain't got the right answer, nigga, go sit your ass down somewhere. Yo. Yeah. Because, nigga, you come out here with some wrong information. I'm not showing no mercy on you, nigga. I'm going to put my foot up your ass and they go for these niggas today and they go for the master teachers of the past. Hell is y'all still getting shit wrong. You niggas been getting shit wrong back then and you niggas getting shit wrong today. I don't want to hear no goddamn excuses about it was 50 years ago. It was wrong 50 years ago, nigga. It's, it's wrong today. Nigga, the truth was the truth 50 years ago and it's going to be the goddamn truth today, nigga, and tomorrow, nigga. The truth is the truth. If you niggas out here lying, you done got caught and I kicked you niggas in your ass, nigga, forward. And, and these little Pan-African niggas today, you can get it too. You niggas got a house built on lies and that's coming down on your head. You know what I mean? Again, bro, uh, uh, let's look at Dr. Shake to Diop, for instance. Right? You talking about the nigga that was fucking a white bitch but out here teaching black power? That guy? Do you think he actually went to Niesco to prove that the people that was in the Valley of the Kings was black? Just to, you know, uh, shun another part of our history. No, that's not what was going on. We got to be serious. So, like, here's the thing, right? You can you can research your point of view and all of that and present your scholarship. You know what I'm saying? Boom. All right, bet. That's what you got. You know what I'm saying? But to hold that against people who was trying to raise the collective consciousness of the black community, you know what I'm saying? At the time, to say that they failed us. You know, like niggas be saying this silly shit like the, the civil rights movement failed us. Dr. King failed us. Malcolm X failed. Hey, man, you, you until you can match their work, until you can match their scholarship. I'm talking, I ain't talking about no YouTube. I'm talking about, nigga, you wrote a book. That shit was peer reviewed. It came back good. All of that. Nigga, all that shit they wrote is fake. That's why y'all listen, brother. If them books they wrote was so powerful and had so much truth in it, why y'all can't use that shit when y'all come fight me? Y'all can't use it, nigga. All of that shit they taught, nigga, is what I'm teaching was wrong. Hell, is you talking about match state scholarship? Pan Africanism is dead today, nigga, because of the scholarship them niggas put out was fake. What part you niggas don't understand? That shit is dead today because of that whack ass scholarship them niggas made up and put out today. That's why you niggas getting y'all ass whooped around here. Because it was fake. Until you can do that, you, you, you cannot sit here and judge our elders like that. That, that shit is disrespectful, Top Cats, man. It is, G. It is. You can hear me, yeah? Uh, I couldn't hear you. What you said, brother? I said, I said, until you can match they work, you know what I'm saying? You're not in a position to judge them. Okay, let me ask you this here. Uh, uh, um, if you built the house, brother Rob, and um, while you was building the house, um, uh, we come back 30 years later and realize that you built it wrong, so this house is about to fall down, so we all need to get out. Will we say that you failed because the house stood for 30 years, Brother Rob? Well, I mean, somebody lived oh, there. Brother, yes or no? No. <laughs> okay, break it down. Would you say you didn't fail because the house stood for 30 years? It still fell down because it it was it was uh it wasn't uh, properly built. You made some mistakes. And when you and when you say when you say properly built, right? You talking about techniques. You talking about uh uh the way that you know architecture it might it might get better as you go. Yes? No, because no, no. architecture so architecture no, sir, nothing, nothing has nothing standing. has been oh my fault go ahead. The pyramid is still standing, brother. That's right. This nigga is so good. no, the archetypes don't get better. They can't build pyramids today. That's this young nigga is good. How you gonna try to go toe to toe with me, nigga? <laughs> this boy just say he's chill out. My hands too fast, man. I hit hard with both hands, the left and the right, man. You gotta say right. 
All right, so so I'm right. Um, to, <laughs> to use that example, right? You know, so so boom, let's let's build on that example, right? The Great Pyramid of Giza, you talking about, is still standing, right? Now you talking about the Great Pyramid of Giza when you say that? I'm asking the top cats. Oh, Wait, say it again. Now hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Oh my bad. What you had said, Rob? You talking about the Great Pyramid of Giza, right? Oh, I mean pyramid. We have our. We, we refer. I'm a, I'm from America, so I refer to American pyramids. We use the Pyramid of the Sun. The Pyramid of the Sun. Yes, now, it, that, man, uh, the reason why oh, yeah. that that's a very difficult uh, 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 conversation to have about the Pyramid of the Sun is because a lot of their uh, information about how it was built, why it was built, a lot, a lot of that got destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and so I'm it. talking about I'm talking about the techniques of it, how they you know went about building it. You okay, let's saying? just get back to the master teachers, brother. And you said yeah. that they did not fail yeah, us, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so um, is it really? Let's, let's talk. Hey, let's let's make it specific, right? Let's 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 uh start with the uh the second wave of master teachers, right? So let's start with George G. M. James, stolen legacy, right? Right. Okay. How did he fail us by writing Stolen Legacy? How did he do that? Are you from Egypt? Right. No, I'm, I'm not from Who Egypt. I'm, I'm, asking, dog. I'm asking, dog. Because see, here go the thing. All right. And so we be we be uh, beating up on people, you know, the Hotep brothers and all of this. Do do, do anybody know why uh, everything was so hyperly focused on Egypt? Because the white man um, told them niggas to come teach us about that. Well, I mean, me, you know, you know, that's, like, that's, not, that's not that's not that's not accurate, brother. That's not that's that's not accurate. The white man did not tell them that, that that's not accurate. Hey, hold on, hold on, relax right quick, y'all over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We almost done. I just want y'all to hear this. Uh uh brilliant brother out of Chicago, our Pan African brother. All right, what you were saying, Rob? I was trying to focus on George G. M. James. Yes, sir. And I was trying. I was trying to establish, right? How did how did he fail us by writing stolen legacy? How did he fail us? Well, you from America. What how could stolen legacy actually help you when you're in America and at this time you facing uh civil rights and ass whooping and water hoses? And what the hell knowing about a pharaoh in Egypt gonna do for you in America? Well, I mean, stolen legacy was about the fact that <laughs> Greeks and Phoenicians and, 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 and the people of that era, right, they were borrowing from ancient Egypt to build up their culture. George G.M. James, what he did was he exposed how Greeks and Phoenicians and people like that borrowed from Egyptian culture to build up their culture because they didn't have a culture, right? How? How did that fail us? Okay, let me ask you something, brother Rob. If somebody in Egypt uh, won that 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 billion dollar lottery the other day, what the hell would they have to do to you in America? Man, somebody in Illinois won the mega, the mega right, billions, and it don't got nothing to do with me. Stay focused, brother Rob. I am focused. Okay, okay. What does um um understanding that Greece stole ancient Egypt um um knowledge what do they have to it, how does that benefit america at the time right. uh, civil rights the and weapons and, and racism how Tempo. does it affect us Tempo. so you know we got to understand the political time of day that's what we got to understand huh? right at huh what the hell the political the politics got to do with that what do the politics in in america have to do with the politics in ancient egypt Brother, what 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 the hell do that have to do with anything? At that time, when George G. M. James was writing that book, what white folks had been saying for three hundred years was that we didn't, in any way, significantly 
uh, uh, add to society to society in any way that we were people that came from no culture and we just had bones in our nose and we was running around in the grasslands of Africa. George G.M. James, uh, uh, J.A. Rogers, all of these people, what the reason why they was talking about Egypt, what, what motivated Dr. Ben to go over there and study Egypt and people that came after him was to prove that the highest culture that ever existed in the world was founded and ran by black people. Are all black people the same, brother Rob? Man, bro, you, you ask a question every time I make a statement. Why don't you just respond to what I just said, bro? I was talking and about the political... Me. Wait, 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 wait. I was talking about the political time of day and the motivation behind writing the books. Do you okay, see what I'm saying? Yes, and, so because, and so because today we want to understand more about Africa, are we going to say that those people that was responding to the political time of day failed us because we want to know more about our African history. I mean, our American history. That's not fair, bro. Okay. No problem. Um, let's not get emotional. It's my turn. now. I, I, my fault, bro. I, I ain't getting emotional. You know me, man. I got a big mouth. I ain't that nigga be jabbing. It's an emotional be. All right. No problem. Work so, out the jab T. Um, he asked how, um, you know that that they brought us pride, and they told us that all that black people had a culture. They didn't have bones in their nose, and somehow this was supposed to change our situ our political situation here in America. That is absolutely crazy. What in the yeah. hell? Look in Egypt is going to give us pride when we down here getting our ass whooped. When the, when we down here being mass incarcerated in America. Let me tell you this here. One of the things so, on the so civil crazy. rights. In the civil rights movement, uh, um, you know, people was asking for uh, uh, different rights that, that that was owed to them, right? And they had they were put in a position where they had to uh, accept crumbs because they felt as though they didn't have any. Uh, um, they felt as though America went they land, and these these master teachers helped them, took their minds over to Africa when they fight was in in uh, America. And these books, brother, I don't know how long it took him to write the book. It had absolutely nothing to do with America, and it could not help our situation. And so, um, nah, it's not disrespectful, bro. Uh, they did absolutely nothing but what the white man paid them to do, take our attention from America. What, what white man paid? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because I, I, I hear that argument a lot, right? All right, y'all can turn up over here on that conversation. Y'all can build on it. All right, yeah. hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go to another one. Hold on, y'all. We got it. We got another one. That just one, brother. You come on now. Come on now, brother. Robert Rand. Hey, this one, a Rob Boy. No, you know me. I've no. been on your show before. I've been in your chats and on your show. Okay, I, yeah, I, I, I haven't noticed you though. But peace, brother. Appreciate you joining the show. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, let's get the uh, likes up, family. Uh, let's get the likes from, up. Man? What's your background? New York City, African American. Do you have um anything on this uh maroons? You familiar with the maroons in America? No doubt, definitely. Uh, can you give us some on that? What do you want to know? Uh, just anything that you know. Are the maroons from Africa? Yeah. Okay, yep. uh, tell us about it. What do you want to know about it that you don't already know? Uh, I want to know how did the Maroons become African? They were African from the beginning. They ran away. Maroons are runaway. Okay, what year did they get to America then? The first, around 16... Uh... No, um, 15, about... Um, uh, about 1550. Huh? Well, we know 1550. It started in the 1440s, 1450s. 1550. Man, what are you talking about? Boy, y'all, I'm telling you, you come fuck with me, boy. You better have your timeline together. First off, man, the first, there's no European nation settled in North America at this time. Chick, not even the Spanish. 
Spanish didn't come to what? Uh, 65. They didn't get their settlement to, to 65. So, nigga, I don't know what the hell you talking about. You Y'all be fucking with the wrong one. You better have your shit together, nigga. So, that first settlement, that Florida settlement, they had Africans with them. They brought Africans over. So, um, we know that prior to the transatlantic slave trade, there were no African people here. <laughs> now, you, you, you keep mentioning melanated beings. Do you... Are you aware that every human being has melanin in them? Are you are y'all aware of that? We have three forms of melanin. Yes, sir, brother. All right, but I'm I'm trying to figure out why people keep saying melanated beings. What does that mean? Well, in the context that I was speaking on, that I just used it in, I was talking about people that'll be identified as um um African American Negro or colored in this country. 1800s. So the 17 and right now. Okay, what well, yeah, what part of the 1800s? Sierra <laughs> Leone ended up coming with the Spanish. And yeah. The were, reason why they be, they were even called Maroons or considered a Maroon is because they ran away. They refused to be enslaved. <laughs> okay, what did they run away from? They ran. They ran away from the people that enslaved them. The Spaniards. The the British. Do you just uh, from Maroon? Uh, do you have Maroon in your family? No, not that I know of. Are you from Africa as well? I was born here in America, but my um my DNA traces back to Africa. Uh oh, uh oh, yep. uh oh. So, so you do? What part of West Africa is your family from? Guinea, Guinea. originally, but they're but listen to me. Yes. They're currently they're currently in Sierra Leone. I'm oh. telling people on my mother's side. Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, a fake colony, nigga. I, I said mean, they're current. Listen Sierra to what I'm saying. Leone. I said they're currently in Sierra Leone. <laughs> Originally, they're from Guinea. Do you understand that? Yes, sir, brother. What year did they get to America? Where year did who get to America? Uh, your ancestors. During the Stranded Slave? Mm mm mm. Ma the Maafa. Boy, I hate when y'all say that. Y'all niggas, y'all got bro. What y'all y'all niggas tripping? Do y'all know who made that up? Start calling it the Maafa. And y'all be coming out here with that silly shit. It just get faker and faker. Now I'm about to hang a pan African. Y'all I want y'all to brace yourself. You're about to witness a homicide. <laughs> okay, another pan African finna jump to his death. That would be the 17th century, 16th century, yeah, 18th century, like, 19th century. Guessing. I'm sorry? You said like, or do they mean you guessing? I'm saying during the transatlantic slave Maafa, <laughs> Africans were brought over here. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Maafa in there. Boy, y'all be kidding me with this shit. <laughs> the Maafa. Okay, since you know the Maafa and you know all that other shit, um, what year in the doing this transatlantic slave trade did your specific family uh, from Guinea get to America? During the 1800s. So bless his heart. Can somebody come give me a hug? I just need a hug. My heart hurt. I just hate to see our people in this shape, in this condition. First, the boy said the 16th century, the 17th century, and I asked him the same question again, and now he says the 1800. I want to hug. I want to go out there and hug all these Pan-Africans. Oh, they just they just tow you down and tow your minds down, and it just, oh, it broke up the families. They got our people so lost out here. Oh man, they oughta. Yeah, I'm like Jesus Christ to you niggas. You paying every go start calling me Jesus. Okay, nigga, I was sent for you niggas. I'm here to do the for my father's work. Yeah, man. I man say, man, I'm coming to baptize you, nigga, man, and bring you nigga back. All praises to the ancestors, man. I just I can I somebody I just I, I need a hug. My soul hurt. My soul sad right now, man. It's just a shame. 
It's just a shame these damn pan Africans. So it was the 17th and Okay, well, yeah, what part of the 1800s? Around the 1830s, 1840s. <laughs> so young people were enslaved then. Yeah. Well, you know the slave trade was abolished in 1807. Yeah. So stupid ass nigga. Turn around, nigga. Bunks. Y'all ever seen that movie uh uh um above the rim with flip? They had flip on there, dope flip Bernie Mac. And and they play bunks. You got a nigga kick you in your ass. Yeah, I need to get this nigga bunks right now. Straight up crazy bunks. Yeah, nigga. You need, I'm going to put on some Patrick Ewins, nigga, with the air bubble on the back with the basketball and pump them up, and I'm going to kick you in your motherfucking ass, nigga. So, what time you at? About the 1830s. So then y'all were no slaves then, huh? Yeah. You know the slave trade abolished in 1807? Yeah. So how in the fuck you came in the slave trade, nigga? Which you told me. But you come in here after the motherfuckers abolished. So, yo, it's shot. 1830, then y'all went. It didn't, it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't stop. It didn't stop. Yeah, didn't, nigga, see? I'm sorry? See, y'all don't even be having no, no context of history, bro. You just jumped no. into like, now everybody, y'all heard this nigga, right? <laughs> this nigga said his family came from West Africa in 1830. We got you, nigga. You on record? No. I don't retract nothing I say. Why did you say that? So, so let me ask you a question. Being that you said that, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Go ahead, shoot. Being, being that you said that the slave trade ended in 1803, 1804, we know it was. So, what does brother? I'm sorry. 1807. Okay, so. What was your point in bringing that up? Uh, what? Really? Brother, if you came here after 1807, you came here on your own. Nobody brought you here to slave. So you can't use the victim story. Or you know, you know, you know, you know very well. The Ma'afa, sir. You're not a part of the Ma'afa then. You, you know very well there was an illegal slave trade going on. You know very well that the last slave trip that was caught in the caught was caught in the 1850s. So, 1850, bro. Where are you getting your history? I'm sorry, that you fucked up. You know you fucked up, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. All right. So when was when when was you fucked? When was the when was the collider? Man, ship? Lord have mercy. Did that nigga say Kalachi? Listen to him, y'all. That was cool. I know you. 1807. Okay. So, what was your point in bringing that up? So you can't use the victim story. Or Listen you know, to him, you know, y'all. That nigga say, when was the Kalachi? He trying to say Clotilde. <laughs> Bless his heart. pan Africa is dumb than a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, you pan every nigga. Dumb than a motherfucker, man. <laughs> you know, you know very well. That's my officer. You're not a part of the Ma'afa then. You, you know very well there was an illegal slave trade going on. You know very well that the last slave trip that was caught in the 1850s. So, 1850s? Bro, where are you getting your history? I'm sorry, that You fucked up. You know you fucked up, right? No, no, no. All right, so when was... When, when was... You fucked up. When was the... When was the collider... <laughs> That ho say, give me a give me a sausage, egg, and cheese colada. Fuck it. Give me a sausage, egg, and cheese colada. Fuck it. Man, ship recovered. What was, year? What year was that ship? And that's some Quaker uh, shit. That's some shit the Quakers made. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not made. It's, it's history, Quakers. brother. It's, it's, it's recorded. It's recorded. It's recorded history. Oh. It's in the music. You lying about being from Africa, brother. Really? Yes, sir. You can't even get your story right. What <laughs> happened? I mean, you brought your ass up here, nigga, like you knew some shit, and you're not even African. You from New York City, nigga. You, you look a little Dutch. I'm looking at you now. You look a little Dutch in the face. <laughs> <laughs>
got a little black European going on because you damn sure ain't like <laughs> you should see, boy. You don't look like that. You don't like no Algonquin or no shit like that, nigga. You you Dutch. You came up here with the West Indies Company, nigga. You a goddamn colonizer. <laughs> How you kick him in the ass when he down? So you gonna kick a man while he down? I'm gonna jump on your shit with two feet, nigga. You gonna kick a man while he down? Nah, I'm gonna jump up and down on your shit with two feet. Go to sleep, Pan African. I'm a colonizer. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a colonizer. What are you doing here? If you're not a colonizer, what are you doing in this country, brother? Yeah, you a pirate, nigga. Ex pirate. <laughs> This nigga ass about here. This nigga Shane. That's my baby right there, man. I miss shit out of Shane. Let me see. What else we got? Hold on. Let me get that joint Ken sent. While we going to go get that, let me uh let's let's whoop another uh pan African. Uh what else we got out here? Uh Fillet, so I'm finna goddamn eat my little Chick Fil A, bro. Let y'all. I'm finna whoop another one. You know, I like the freaking like my big. Y'all know Chris Harris. Hey, y'all get my likes up. Let's let's match the uh people in here. We say we got 188. We got 140 likes. I'm finna beat up Chris Harris, and he got a homeboy over there, Team Osiris. I'm finna slap the shit out of him too. Yeah, nigga, big old chief, nigga. Um. And I'm about to find this other nigga uh, uh, who whooped another pan African. Not. Yeah, nigga, I'm Learn how right. to use Kelly, it. you know Melvin. <laughs> yeah. Melvin. Way to show that, look, there are different views um, amongst American black uh, black people, um, how they identify with that um, in this country alone. It's just not one... Hey y'all, let me know if y'all can hear uh if the audio cool. Let me know if y'all can hear the audio cool. Uh view, like you have your view on it and I have mine on it also. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, right. I definitely understand exactly what you're saying. We got big chief top cat in the building. Hold on, Domo, because I don't want you to go nowhere, Domo. Not you. Yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, I beat up Domo you. before too. Domo only play smart with you niggas. Yeah, I kicked that nigga in his ass too. Uh, yeah, that yeah, nigga. Oh, uh, nah, it, our little boy don't know. Come on, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, old chief. Cat. We got big chief in the building. Top cats in the building. What's up, silly motherfucker? One of my favorite fans right here. <laughs> I then took the jersey off and autographed it for him. <laughs> What's up, white boy? Nah, you come over here for I, you. Say he was a black patriot, like a white patriot to me. But what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come right in and put the clip in the nigga face. <laughs> yeah, y'all, I know y'all ain't around right here talking like y'all do. Boy, what's up? How y'all doing today? Uh huh. Turn up, you gold teeth motherfucker. Uh -huh. Turn up, <laughs> it's been a minute, bro. It's been a minute. <laughs> so what's up, man? What you want to come up here and talk some shit about, man? Man, I want you to um uh, um. Uh, I want I, I got a debate uh coming up, man. I got some Indians who need uh who need some um uh, work. Somebody who got some experience to come and stand in front of them. I want to see what my Indians got over there, man. I want to see if you can come over there and uh ask them some questions. I, okay, you trying to you want to test their knowledge on how they battle. Right, right, right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Make sure you know, those sure bow and arrows are sharp over there, okay? Cause you, you know, know you can't do nothing with me. Yeah, uh, when when you have time, you know you can't do nothing with me. You know what, what? I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, hey, 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 top cat, the panel open now. Oh, you got the best of the best, you got the best, of the best on here right now. I'm oh, going yeah. to I, matter of fact, Domo been looking to get an Avo body for the longest. I know he's been looking for Avo body. I know nah, need to look at Nah, nowhere Apple, so well, I ain't going to look at Well, I'm not an Apple. You know, we don't, we don't deal with the Apple paradigm, though. You know, we, not, we don't deal with Apple's. Okay, See, so, we're looking um, to get an elbow skin. If you're not an elbow, what you, what you consider yourself? You just say, you, you Damn, Domo, you, you just said you ain't want no trouble. 
Yeah, yeah, Kasadi Indian. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm a Kasadi Indian. Albo don't have a tribe or nobody come from. Albo is a belief system. Who All right, y'all. Look, let me make something clear. We were beefing with the Albos then, bro. Today we bringing it together, bro. We all gonna be one big family, bro. So that was then. This is now. Just focus on the Pan African ad whooping. And they're not African now. They're not identifying with, with being African now. So if you have to be an African to keep paying Africanism going, if you don't have no more Africans, then uh But it's yeah, not about race. Going. It's it's about people that happen to be African that are unified. Under bloodline, right? Under uh, under a bloodline, yeah, I can say that. But it's about unity. Even though I actually don't agree with pan Africanism. Miss Tanya, uh Miss Tanya says keeps a lot of crap going. What's that, mama? Uh tell us. What you talking about? Can you edify on that if you don't mind? But I got to be true to what it is. Yeah, I, I well, I agree with that. If you if you put it like that, but they would still need a people who are identifying with their African roots to even bring this unity to the table. And right now, uh, majority of the people in America now are uh, you know they're letting that African paradigm go. A lot of them now are identifying with their American Indian roots. <laughs> Well, I mean, let, let me ask this, though. Let me ask this. Um, why why identify as an Indian? That's a Indian. You said why? Why? I mean, if you if you have Indian bloodline, why not? I mean, what you gonna right, make but, us? But, but we know. No, no, no. no <laughs> I'm saying like, kind of like how like kind of like how niggas is critical of the term. Hey, but, you said why? Damn, nigga, you can only be who you are. Oh, you know. Uh, uh, Domo, a very intelligent brother. So, but the way maybe it was how he worded the question, right? <laughs> when I took it, how it processed to me, I'm like, it, but doctrines will fuck you up, though. You know what I'm saying? If you've been going by doctrines or, or any of that shit, a lot of these things are classifications, bro. But we're saying the problem is coming in the classifications. Like we should have a problem in one word you say you've been misclassified, but in the other word you okay with classifications. You okay with Aboriginal titles and shit like that. You okay with black titles and that damn nigga you you out here complaining about being Walter Pluckett and misclassified. So damn when we say, all right, well, let's go try to get back. Hold on, y'all. I found the uh hey uh um Ken, I ain't, it ain't have a uh, what's called them on that motherfucker though, like a time. Hold on, let me try to find the time. And go by what's on the paper, bro. That shit, very, uh, Cherokee family. How y'all got? You? Oh, I have all this shit. What language was that? Okay, here you go. Because if we're listening, Eric, who had by the doctrine. Hold on, y'all. Y'all ready for the catch a body? Hey, yeah, let's try to get over 200 likes today, y'all. We're going to open the panel up after this assault. What's up? What's up, bro? Why are you causing all this confusion in my chat? It's just an open forum. I didn't know y'all didn't like anyone to say anything outside of what's being said. That's called an echo chamber. So I'm not causing no confusion. Okay, okay. Um, So what's your business here today, sir? um, To learn to challenge information, to ask questions, hopefully without getting a cult-like response, you know, like I don't ever really, you know, I don't even know why I be getting blocked just because I, you know, it's like well, y'all I don't like block me. you, so I, I told them niggas don't block nobody no more. So. Yeah, they just put me in time out now. I appreciate it. Okay, that. bro, I don't want to hear all this whining shit. You know, nigga, just, do you want to fight or ask, not? Um, I always hear people referring to yeah, nigga, I don't want to hear that wine and shit, nigga. I, nigga, I see a pan African, nigga. I want to get out there. Not trying to hear that shit, nigga. Put your hands up, man. Put your hands up. Their grandmothers, and then, and, and I'm just curious, why is it always grandmama and never grandfather? Well, uh, I, I mean that ain't the case because I always hear people say their grandfather as well. So, like. My grand, my grandpa, uh, his he he the one, uh, that that um, 
they used to say was full blood Cherokee. But of course, Who's he had that? a mom and a daddy. Who's that? My family. My family. Oh, they used to say. So you know, when we was coming up, that's what they used to tell us. Okay. And how do you verify that? He got a mama. <laughs> Okay. He got a mom. He have a mama. Okay, so that's how you verify it. Yes, yes sir. sir. His Bible was a Cherokee idiot. Yes, sir. What was it? What was his daddy? His his daddy. They just called him Black. Oh, okay. So it's possible yeah. his daddy wasn't a Cherokee. Yes, sir. I it's mean, possible. you know, a it's lot possible of, he wasn't a Cherokee. If he was, they would have told us. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. So I mean a lot of um intimate What all, around all what era them. was this? Was what? What you're saying? These people had self hate and you know they didn't wanna Oh it was all hmm. over, man. It was yeah, all but like over. what era was <laughs> did this happen in? Not all area, over. but what what time period? Oh um <laughs> Yeah, I'm country. I'm I'm a, I'm a Southeast Indian. I was yeah. saying what era? He thought I was saying what area? I thought you said what area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Goddamn Yankee. Yeah, I used Yankee. to think. You know, I thought you was juvenile and shit. You you look and talk just like juvenile from the Hot Boys. Juvenile. Man, y'all tell me I sound like Jay Z. Some niggas tell me I sound like juvenile. I done heard all kind of wild shit, nigga. Why you sitting here? Oh, uh, admired by my motherfucking voice anyway, nigga. Trying to see who I sound like. You know what? You know who you remind me of? Nigga, get out of my motherfucking face. I'm sick of you, nigga. Had the other C dot undercover punk over here the other day trying to get a peek at me. Trying to see if my face match up with my voice and shit. You know what I'm saying? Instead of telling me, I'm a real nigga. Yeah, nigga, you're an undercover nigga. Yeah, in, a, in Atlanta. You understand me? Yeah, a nigga goddamn Melania. Instead of talking about, oh, uh, let me see your face. I bet you won't cam up. Or oh, that other nigga uh, uh, from Be The Power we caught out there, the nigga with the coconut hazel eye, uh, uh, eye contacts. They had to kick him out the group. He looking at niggas' asses when they pass by. Yeah, they had to get him out the group. Yeah, so this nigga right here, huh? Check this nigga out. You know what, who you remind me of? You favor a uh, juvenile from the hot boys. Used to always have his shirt off, waving the soldier rag. Yeah, yeah, these niggas here. Uh, Indian. <laughs> Juvie. So I, I really thought, I said, yo, that's juvenile, man, acting like an Indian. I used to swear you was juvenile, man. Like Juvenile, but, uh, rap about the Indians. Rap about but, uh, the Indian. But what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, you know, all that, you got Indian in your family. You know, you got that good hair. We didn't. That you know they used to put the hot comb, but, but let me ask you this: If man, what the fuck is you talking about? Y'all niggas need to start going out to places, man. Go fly it, man. Go take a vacation, road trip or something, man. Go places. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Because people always say, you know, they talk about grandma's doctrine, and even people like the cutie uh, Phoenix Moon talking about grandma killers. But grand, but why don't they accept everything else, Grandma? So Grandma was also a Christian. Most of your grandmothers, she right. also passed that down too. So, but what's the, Christian, what's your point on it though? <laughs> because if we're listening to Grandma, like Grandma's the authority, and like she got, you know, like you know, then you can't ignore the fact that Grandma was also a Christian. So well, the Grandma was was Grandma ignorant. She knew who she was, but she didn't know. Pan Africans talk uh, grandma to be a Christian. What are you talking about? Pan Africans colonized us with Christianity. What are you talking about? All your Pan African leaders are pastors in the church. All of your, your niggas running the back to Africa movement, nigga, are working with the church. These are pastors. Henry, uh, you name them. All these nigga pastors and Freemasons. So what the so that argument, nigga, y'all be running around here with that. A pan African can never use that argument. Boy, you better close your mouth about Jesus Christ. Pan African ain't got no business to hollering at no Hebrew Israelite talking about no religion. And you a pan African, nigga. You a goddamn Christian missionary. A way of life, then. Hey, weren't you a Hebrew Israelite? 
Ain't you yeah, a Hebrew was, Israelite? Nah, nah, I'm not a Hebrew. I was all of that shit. I'm none of all that. All right, then, bro. So why would you ask that question, bro? If you, in 2022, them in the situation where they even had motherfucking, they, was, they had people over them. You know, they had slave masters and shit. You got it, your own free will is yeah, believing in the, the Bible. That's not the so, same. Nah, that, you can't hold do on, no shit on. like that, bro. You wrong in the motherfucker for that. No, hold nigga, on, you brother. believe in the Bible by yourself. Nigga, they ain't had no goddamn choice. They were raised up in this shit. Okay, so, but. Yeah, nigga, you running around here with free will, nigga, missionary, holding the Sabbath. Out there teaching other motherfuckers on the internet to be to believe in this Bible, and they gonna come back talking about grandma. Well, you know, grandma was a Christian. Nigga, ain't you the same nigga when you on the internet trying to convince people, nigga, that Jesus was the way? Yeah, yeah, you like that same nigga that was running around this whole nigga telling niggas to come to the Bible, and you ain't even a slave. You ain't on a plantation. You got your own free will. And you running around this whole indoctrinate niggas on the Bible trying to bring niggas into Hebrew Israel Israelism. Talking about Jesus is the way. And you're gonna come out here talking about well, you well, you do know that granted believe in Jesus. They were also told that they were different things. That's what I'm saying. If, if grandma remembered this, nobody her, told them that they was nothing different, bro. That's that's the right. that's what a lie is. All right, you gotta, on, listen, I want you to understand. You're deflecting, on, bro. You're kind of deflecting, brother. You're deflecting to me. I'm saying if grandma knew who she was, and you're saying she knew she was an Indian, she would also know the ways of her people. And she taught you about Jesus and Christianity, which y'all reject. Yeah, okay. So my grandma, bro, um, the one one of them, she is. You know, they buried on the reservation, bro. So it's not she wear the customs, the dressing out. I got a I got the picture of her in the dress and shit I always put up. All right. Did she it's speak not, the language? She spoke the language. She grew up there. Her her brothers was the chiefs of the tribe. Okay. It, do you speak it? Did, does your family I don't I don't speak it? it? I don't speak the language. Does anybody in your family my my daughter, language? my daughter uh know how to greet and she know words and all of that shit there. From it, but yeah, I, I don't. I don't speak it. I don't practice it or nothing. She would have had to learn that from you or someone. I'm talking about. Is there anyone in your family that's still speaking the language they inherited? Nobody in my in my immediate family speak the language. No. What language was that? It was Kasadi. Why don't y'all speak the language? Well, my grandma left left the country. My daddy, mama left the country. When she was about eleven years old, came to Houston, so she wasn't raised up in that culture out there no more. So, yeah, that's why they didn't speak the language no more. So everybody but just her daddy the language. spoke the language. My great grandpa spoke the language because his mama was uh he was raised on the reservation with his mama, so he spoke yeah. the language. But what, what his daughter his it, it cut what out. Did his, what did your great grandpa's father speak? I don't know that his father went around. Hey. Jumbo ass shit like uh uh came together with that person has that Y DNA or that male the Bro, male listen, G. listen, let me hold tell on, you something. Bro, hold on, you bro. I wouldn't listen to no bro. shit like that from no nigga like you, bro. You don't know now no shit like that, bro. You ain't no goddamn like... scientist or no shit you like that. Bro, I don't brother, take no don't mumbo jumbo ass shit like that, bro. All right, listen, brother, bro, how in the hell? No, no, bro, you gotta listen to what you what you're saying right now. You are uh, not, bro. If we all raised in the same goddamn house, how in the hell are we anything different? Oh, am I saying am I exclude the Irish blood? I always said it. Nigga, I got Irish on this side, on my grandma, uh, uh, mama side, uh, uh, down that line. They had some Irish in their family too. My family end up, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, had a baby by an Irish man on that side too. So, all right, nigga, ain't nobody here to hide no motherfucking genealogy or not. The thing is, I'm saying I identify with my indigenous bloodline everybody here don't have no indigenous bloodline some of you niggas have european on no european bloodlines my european admixed just came into my indian grandmothers that shit you talking about an x and a y and a nigga i wouldn't listen to no shit no 
motherfucking Why YouTube not? scholar about no shit like that. You niggas ain't been in no school and learned nothing. You regret taking another nigga video. Actually, I don't want to hear no shit like that from none of you niggas. You ain't okay, finna come in here. Wait, nigga, hold on. Chief, he said he have been to school. Okay, you got a brother. mama and a daddy. Brother. That's who your ass come from. What do yeah. your bloodlines take you to? Let's talk okay. about yo. What do yours take you to? Hold on, brother, brother, because you just you did a lot of deflecting. First of all, I did ain't no deflecting. That's hold just on, that's on. just real. All right, you, you real nigga shit. I get it, bro. But the conversation, you you didn't deal with anything I said. First of all, I did go to school. I'm Man, not get out of here with that boy. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Um, I I just happened to study. And are you saying there's no such thing as male? Hey, y'all, let's get the likes over 200. Let's get the likes over 200, fam. Shout out to everybody in the building. We about to open up the panel. I hope some pan Africans in here who want to come take up for their people now. Lineage and female lineage? I didn't say that, all... brother. Hold on. If y'all if y'all, if y'all, y'all just got here, rewind the tape, and y'all will see how I did go off here. <laughs> so we had Chris Harris. We did had a few of these little pan African niggas out there who running around who feel like they got something. And we've been chopping them all down, man. We've been chopping them all down, man. All work easy work, man. The biggest, the baddest motherfuckers around here. Big old BCU shit. Oh, Cause that's all I described. Yeah, but we not finna do the do that shit, bro. That y'all niggas gonna quit talking to me like y'all smart. You don't know so shit. You're you not gotta, a smart you person. Hey, brother, man, don't come here talking to me with no shit like that, nigga. Brother, you about to get you mad got and start deflecting, brother. Ain't nothing to be mad about, it, brother. Right, oh, so brother, what we need to talk about. Hold on, hold on. You said, I'm just asking you, because you said what I said was was dumb or something. Is there a such thing as a male lineage and a female lineage? Because you it know is, you don't bro, even... but listen. All right. I... So when you when a when a woman has a, a a man, she you don't you don't carry the 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 female lineage. Oh, it stops at you, brother. But there's a line, there's a male line of so your lineage actually would go back to your irish forefather part of it so what i don't I'm have no problem is, with that brother okay i so acknowledge well, that all right i have it's no so, problem with it i have no insecurities right. about that brother all right cool so now now we was to keep going through your male lineage even beyond that irish person right it would keep going from right male to male father to a uh, father on, on, and back, bro. That's called <laughs> DNA, sir. Okay. That's called well, DNA. There's nothing, Sue. You don't have to be smart. Okay. Listen to me, family. You, you, you really, you really, this is my game right here. Um, you know, I was, I was one of the first people to openly talk about ad mixtures. So when, and I even put this in my, in my studies. So, because one thing is for sure, bro, you have to. This is my game. It's bloodline. Whatever the bloodline leads you, bro, that's who you are. You have to accept it, bro. Because that's how you got here. I am not ashamed of my bloodline. Because I'm going to tell you something. My family, when I'm going through my history of my bloodline, they have made, uh, uh, my people them have made contributions to the story of America. I don't have to use his story. I can use my story. And if we put our stories together, we'll rewrite his story. So my game is this here. My people, my European admissions did very well for themselves here. Did very well for that. There ain't no bombs, no raggedy ass niggas like, like you niggas ancestors. So, nah, man, I don't have to be ashamed of them. I tell niggas all the time, my people them was crypto Jews, man. Motherfucking Huguenots. These niggas were Huguenots. They was crypto Jews. They were Masons. Them motherfuckers had a whole lot of land. But when I go look for slave masters, only they was, and they, I even got slave master record on them, but that's my, my grandma is the slave. She the only one. Nigga only got one slave. And that's on what? I got two of those records. And in that in the in that land on one side, it's still in our family, bro. So now my people them did well. Nigga, I have absolutely nothing to be ashamed about about mine. And, and see, a nigga with none 
can't never shame a nigga who know who they are. You are a product of pan-Africanism. You are a product of the U.S. government, brother. You don't even know who you are. You are caught in the matrix of this. You were stolen from another. You don't even know shit about you. Or you don't even have a way to honor your ancestors because you don't even know their names. So now a, a nigga could never, uh, uh, you know, I'm the nigga who broke up that old, I'm full-blooded or we one thing. Nigga, I'm the one who opened it up. Because I raised my hand. I said, nigga, hey, man, look, black Europeans came here. And you nigga talking about all oh, you niggas with this black European. But I always beat the shit out you niggas when y'all niggas try to come out here. You niggas always end up getting taught. Because you stuck in a pan-African mindset. Pan-Africanism can't tell you about. See, your story, the story of your bloodline tells the story of America. If it was, if you really here in America. Okay. You don't have okay. to even go to college. Hold well, on, listen, brother. Listen. You don't gotta, brother. You don't have to go to college. You don't have to be a genius to understand so something so simple as the Y male lineage. That's not nothing. That's not rocket science. So what I'm saying is, if we was to taste your Y male in lineage back, just like you have a man, Irish get person, your ass up out of here with that bullshit. Listen, bro. Do you know that this is a matrilineal society, bro? Okay. This is matrilineal, bro. You in Indian, bro, you are who your mother is, bro. Okay. So it's it's not that shit you talking about. That's some European ass shit, nigga. You gotta take that shit back over there to Europe. No, no, you come in here European. with doctrine. You come in here talking about what, what the white doctrine? man told you, what the what white doctrine? boy told you. What doctrine? White boy told you that in the, in the nineteen eighties. The white boy, the white man told me about male lineage and told you about lineage. all the shit here you talking about. No, we and you coming here kicking it. Hold oh, on, nigga, this is a matrilineal society. So, what do they mean in the matrilineal society? Some try, some people are matrilineal, some are patrilineal. What, what, so, I, this on, is, brother, you I'm a Southeast statements. Indian, brother. What do hold they on, got but, to do with uh, uh, a matrilineal you, society? Hold on, I'm gonna tell you because you mean you lied. You said the white man taught me this. No, yeah, this white boy taught you that shit. This is it. The white this. white men didn't teach me nothing up because you can go back thousands of years. Man, go on, bro. Some were matri- some were matrilineal, some were patrilineal, bro. You're a liar. Stop lying to the people. The oh, white okay. man didn't All teach right. that in the eighty. Hey, wait. You, you say some? Hold on. Time out. Time out. If some was what tribes was patrilineal then? I don't, I don't know all. Why the all fuck the would you sit here and say son was matrilineal, son patrilineal? I mean, Nigga, this is America, Jack. This I, is I, a, a matrilineal I, I, I society. You here, made bro. a great point. I'm gonna show you how to how niggas be be doing cult shit. Since I don't know what I'm talking about, do you want to put some money up that we can show that there's some tribes in America that were matrilineal? Name them, bro. That were patri- no, no, we'll just come back on a show, Man, put up five hundred dollars. And we'll see if there were any Hey, brother, it's drops. not that serious, right? No, because no, 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 I know. I'm just saying because you keep saying I'm lying, I'm pseudo, and I'm just saying like, I mean, you brother, are why pseudo. are you doing it? Why are you attacking me personally? Bro, I really didn't. I never said none of them things. You you feel like that. This conversation had you feeling like you're a liar. You just called me a liar not even 60 seconds ago. You, you're a liar. You, you tried that shit. And, and I just brush it out. I say, no problem. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get a little closer to you because I'm finna hit you on the chin. Because we ain't finna play that victim him. shit, bro. All oh, right, so I'm playing a victim. Yeah, yeah bro. bro it's it's all good, bro. It's just it's a cool you. conversation, bro. We having a conversation. Oh, that's what I want to make sure. It's all good. Well, how about it's we're going to reset? Like, no problem. We're going to reset. Like you're getting mad and you making No, we're going to reset. Look, we're going to reset. Okay. So, all right, referee, break us up. Let's meet in the center of the ring. Hey, y'all, had y'all ever seen that, uh, what was that, Floyd Mayweather and, um, damn, what was that, and Ortiz? Now, since you got an opportunity to ask me questions, it's my turn. I'm a counter You never really so I, answered my question. Brother, you, I answered your question. What do you mean? Nah, you, and you if you didn't get your answer, we, we still moving on. All right, because nigga, I answered your goddamn questions, nigga. Okay. All right, okay. now uh, moving on. Um, hey y'all, and don't yeah. shoot nobody in the chat, bro. I don't, I don't want to tell y'all that again, bro. They gonna, they gonna do it anyway. 
because they're cult. Nigga, you need and to focus. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Ask me your question, bro. Right, right, right. All right. So, um, so about genetics. Listen, bro, you are not a fucking genetics. <laughs> I'm not finna talk talk to you about no goddamn genetics. You don't know you a YouTube nigga, bro. A uh, Hebrew Israelite slash Pan African slash no, all that no, other no, shit. I'm not bro. A Hebrew what the hell would brother. you know about gen- a nigga like you I, about genetics? Nigga, we ain't in jail. I know. We ain't in jail. I let your ass pass time. I will let you talk about. But nigga, we ain't finna talk about none of this shit. I wish I would no. listen to one of you bullshit ass YouTube yeah, scholars about some shit book. like that. All right, anyway, you on read, you don't know Brother, shit. You're a All right, no problem, bro. Let me, let me, uh, let's go here. Let's uh, go. Let's so, go. Uh, what, what are you, have you ever did your genealogy, brother? Uh, my family did some genealogy, yes. And what did you come up with? In terms of what? Genealogy. <laughs> Uh, right there, he let me know he nervous. Nigga trying to see what he throw. When you line a nigga up and say, "I right, it's my turn. Now I'm on offense. And yeah, nigga be trying to see what hand he gonna hit him with. Uh, what, and what, I mean. This already don't sound like the same dude. We didn't say that it's my turn. <laughs> he already don't sound like the same dude. What did they do? Because you said they did genealogy. What did they do? What did they consist of? Uh, they did a family tree where they track back our people through time. And um, there was actually, I have a, um, a great-great-grandmother who was a slave. Her name was Mama Creasy. We even found the, we even found the white family that owned them in Tennessee. <laughs> and they own a chain of laundromats to this day. I'm thinking about suing their ass. Hold on. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. Oh. Cause I don't believe in fairy tales and shit like that, nigga. You from Tennessee? Cashville, Tennessee. Cherokee. Uh, what's Cherokee. the what's the furthest you got in your genealogy? I just told you. What year was that? What I know. Um, I don't remember. It was very early, early 1900s. So you ain't even passing 1900. That's from, that's from what I know from uh, two of my aunts did a family genealogy. I didn't. I gotta. Look at the whole thing again, but they did a whole. But I know we we there was a uh, one of my oldest uh, grandmothers I was, was a slave. Yeah, but you ain't you in the early nineteen hundreds. We no slaves in the early nineteen hundreds. Hey y'all, <laughs> hey y'all, let's get the likes up. We finna catch another line as Pan African. Now we caught one today. Say he came in the eighteen thirties, right after the the slave trade. And said he said. He asked me, have I ever heard of the slave ship Kalachi? And so when I asked him, was his people on the slave ship Kalachi? He said, no. So I asked him, well, how the hell did they get here? YK came in here. We caught him, too, trying to play slave in the slave trade. And we caught his ass. Nigga timeline ain't matching up. We just caught a nigga the other day named Truis two days ago. He got caught with the same lie. Nigga couldn't get past 1863 before the proclamation. Why is all of these pan African to teaching you niggas to make up slave narratives and you niggas ain't even no damn slaves? So right here, we're about to witness a pan African execution. Brace yourself. This is uh uh uh, uh graphic. This is gonna be graphic. Hey y'all, let's get the likes over 200. I know you didn't come up here to lie to me, huh? I hope yeah, there were. I it was slaves in 1900s, brother. What were y'all yeah. enslaved at? It was. I don't. I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I could. Have, I could have the dates wrong. You know what I mean? It could be a little earlier, but um, I like. Nah, I hell nah, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? This shit don't work like that, bro. You fuck you mean, nigga? I got you. I got you, nigga. Nigga, you don't, get, nigga. What? Fuck you mean you could be wrong, you could be off a little bit. Nah, nigga. This is when you cut the ring off. No, uh no, bro. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> I'm gonna knock your ass out. <laughs> Ain't no time by time I hold up, think about it. You don't want to do this, don't throw your life away. Nah, you ain't talking about for the murder, you nigga. Come on, calm down. You don't want to do this. And I nah, nigga. 
I don't like Pan African. Fuck Pan Africans. I'm finna step on you, colonizing ass. Can't. But you like, asking we, me we talking about you family don't know, stories. You don't know about what you asking me. You just trying to. I'm, I know what I, I, I asked I, the question. I know so what I'm brother, asking I you. I just brother. told you what I know. Now. So you was a slave in the 1920s. No, what I'm saying is I could have I could have the date wrong. I'm not sure. I bro, just actually bro, you lying, bro. You sound. You know how you sound. Okay, you are Okay, I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> All right. So what side bro, was it you, on? Your you, motherfucker. No said, problem, bro. bro let's let's move on, like so bro. Let's move on people. from there, bro. No, you said, bro. Let's you move on from there. All that. these claims. You're so pseudo. You're gonna tell me about no problem, what you bro. I'm pseudo. Me. No problem. Yeah, we're bro, gonna go to another, bro. I don't want you to get emotional. I don't want you to get emotional. I want to have a conversation. All he, right, he so uh, no, no, no problem, bro. We're gonna take that. Yeah. You was enslaved in the 1920s. No, I, got I no wasn't, problem. I didn't say, yeah, right, right. Your family member, right? Hold on, brother, uh, but I want to ask say, you is, hold I heard on, you, brothers. No, it's brother, not a hold on, bro. We're gonna move on. 19, I know, it's, but it's you okay, get, bro. We're so gonna move you just on. get the lie. I never said nothing about no, come on, bro. Uh, uh, Mr. Um, uh, uh, move on, okay, no problem. So, um uh, what side was that? Was that your uh, mother or father side? My uh, father side. Okay. What about your mother side? Uh, I don't. I don't know how I ever went that far back on my mother's side, but you know, uh, I only know the oral history. You know, and what's the my, oral history? My, my grandfather's still alive. And... When I what's say oral, oral history, history, meaning. Hey, am I tripping? Do that nigga sound like he about to cry? <laughs> am I tripping, bro? Is it me? Or do he sound like he about to cry? You know, hey, you ever took a nigga wheel? Broke a nigga wheel? Broke a nigga spirit? You ever broke a nigga spirit, bro? Man, I got spirits in the bag, man, in the vacuum like Ghostbusters. You hear me? The Ghostbuster gun, man. You go and you suck them spirit, man. Yeah, man. I take niggas spirit. I, I break pan African spirits. Look at this boy. He's sitting here looking like a little boy now, tied to a chill. Like I got names and pictures. Like yo, this is your great grandfather. This is your great grandmother. This, you know, like like that. It was never no. Did your great grandfather, uh, uh, grandmother have a a, a mother, a great grandfather, and a great grandmother? Of course. Do you know them? No. No. So you don't know. So you don't even know who you are. I want to take his ass out back and make him pick cotton. All you niggas run out here. You don't know who you are. I'm taking you motherfucker back here to slavery. I'm going to tie you to a tree. I'm going to beat the shit out you. Okay. I want this whole motherfucking cotton pick nigga by sundown. You hear me? You pan-African ass nigga, boy. Oh, I got a plantation full of pan-African. You don't know who you are, boy. You know where you go. You go to slavery, boy. Well, I'm going to take your ass out back, boy, and put whaps all across your ass. You hear me? Boy, I'm going to take this motherfucker. Yeah, you don't know who you are? Yeah, pick it cotton today, nigga. Chain game. Yeah, going to the chain game, boy. No, I know who I am, sir. You don't okay. You don't know who your fam. You don't know your your story. You don't know who you are, where you come from. Yeah, I do. Yeah, so I do. who are you and where you come from? And uh, provide was, us with where did you get I that information? Born in hold on, hold on. I want you to understand the whole conversation. And listen, and after that, provide us with the information. Look, look, where did I you get the information? You. I was born in Nashville, Tennessee. And I no and shit. I, know, I thought you was from the East Coast. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, and I know who my people are. They're still here. My grandfather's still here. I, you know, he has a uh, say, kid. We gonna put them niggas ass on busy net. <laughs> you don't know where you from? I take them down there to Montreux. Them white boy gonna put dick up in you. Yeah, you gonna go get them doctors and lawyer uh, punks gonna come run up in you, nigga. Yeah, white doctors and surgeons, brain surgeons and shit gonna run up in you. I don't know if they gonna pay that much for these bad built ass pan Africans. I'm gonna have to put them niggas on bitch or that where the Mexicans gonna come through there and give them twenty five dollars for some head in the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them Mexicans gonna give them twenty five, thirty dollars for some head in the truck. You pan African don't know you, bitch. I'm putting you on the strip. You're walking bitch and net. I don't care about your feet hurt or take them heels out, dude. 
You understand me? Where you gonna fuck for forty dollars in the club? Trash, pan African trash, like the fuck for forty dollars in the club. Y'all heard Pimp C, man. Say, man, hey, man, say, man, you don't know who you is. I'm a tie ass to a tree, nigga. You gonna walk that motherfucking bitch in it, nigga. Yeah, nigga, you gonna walk bitch in it, you know. And I might, I'm gonna put your ass on fig, nigga. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to the strip in Vegas. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you out there. Sell that all uh, way say from Cashville. You gonna sell that Tennessee pussy nigga out there on fig nigga and, and goddamn me California nigga. Yeah, we going worldwide with the pimping nigga. You don't know who you are. Yeah, better have it cotton picked by sundown nigga. I'ma beat you. I'ma beat you just like the Pan African made up slave stories. Father's brother still here. I got aunts that are damn near ninety years old. That you know. To talk about shit, you know, that's far as it goes. But in terms of um, me telling you, like, I got some records from, like, I know my family from the 1700s. No, you'll find out that, yeah, a lot of, a lot of people are cut off at a certain rank because of, because of uh, chattel slavery. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, brother. We not going. Hold on, hold on, it, hold on, sir, sir, sir. We don't do that here. I apologize. Oh, okay. Maybe you don't know the politics here. Yeah, we don't. We you don't, don't make excuses truth, for slavery. You no, know, there was no what I got, listen, I mean? brother, you talking to somebody who got actual slave records. A lot right, of you so niggas be what talking. Excuse, what excuse a lot of y'all niggas be talking, bro. I can actually pull slave records. All I can right, actually sir, pull a ship but, manifest with motherfucker well, coming on there. I, I know what the shit look like. So how I'm talking that, about and pull it on my family. So we're so not going to make excuses for no slavery, bro. So what excuse did I make for slavery? You, why you, you saying why you can't oh, find a document? You're a scatterbrain, bro. I didn't make you no said way. you can't find a document and you stuck. No, people get I, stuck. I, yeah, a lot because of, of chattel did. slavery. That's right. That's true. So how in the hell I put they words in your mouth if that's what you said? But well, yeah, I better stop playing with TV. Should have been a lawyer. Man, I remember I got in trouble in school, man, when I was young. And they sent me to this shit called Teen Court. After school, we had to catch the bus over there to go to Teen Court. And nigga, oh, they had me in there, bro. And nigga, all my cases I won, nigga. You hear me? They had me up there. I was playing lawyer, nigga. I, on everything I love, nigga. Them folks told me, yo ass need to be a lawyer, nigga. Oh, nigga, I'm beating all dope cases, nigga. You hear me? I only want drug dealers to come pay me, nigga. I... Yeah, I only want to take drug cases, nigga. I'm we beating them all, nigga. Yeah, yeah, nigga. I, nigga, how the hell I put words in your mouth, nigga? And I'm sitting here listening to you. But you said I made an excuse for slavery. That's an excuse. Though. That's an excuse for why you ain't got your paperwork. And that no, shit ain't I, fine on the block. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't. I never said I had paperwork, and I don't want no paperwork. So you shouldn't so be I, talking, bro. No, no. Do no, you listen, understand no. where the game at now, um, sir? Now, well, in I, this new day, hold on, let me show you something, because you might didn't get the memo. Now, in this new day, niggas who don't have their paperwork and don't know who they are, they they can't talk. They worried oh, yes, it, they, they, they don't have no motherfucking say-so in what's going on in, in them. Because we about to protect our babies from you Where's niggas. Where's yours? Where's yours? Where's my what? Your paperwork. Right here. That now, point. You, right you, here right, so with me. me. Right here so with me. me. So, let me so ask listen, you listen to me. Hold on, bro. Because what bro, you need to do you is, scared, bro. What you, you I'm scared, scared of what? A nigga who you don't know who he have is. A conversation. A nigga who lying about, about he his family was enslaved in the 1920s. You want to come in here and lay on this pan African ass shit? Oh, somebody feel sorry. I'm a black man in America, nigga. You don't even know who you are. You, sir. you, my, you, nigga. We don't know where you come from. Maybe sir, Europe. Sir, you fucking around and mean, come straight out of Europe, nigga. You don't know. Hey, hey, calm down, brother. I never <laughs> mentioned 1920s. Bro, I yeah, you did. Met, you on, on record. Hold on, brother. Oh, yeah, we can put record. money on it. If I said if I said 1920s. Bro, I'm not trying. I'm not finna do no right. internet games and with you niggas and, and play and with you second, niggas about no money on the internet, All right. Brother. Secondly, I haven't even mentioned Pan-African in this conversation. That's and a Pan-African war cry, nigga. Shadow first, slavery. Uh, Brother, I you, I see why I hear niggas say child of slavery. Oh, that's just that's a pan African shit, nigga. Brother, I see how you got away with this information because you, all you do is deflect and deflect, and make what, bro. You on record? Bro, I'm trying, stating you don't know who the fuck you are. 
You don't know nobody past your great grandpa. That's a damn shame. And you out here talking about you a teacher, a master teacher. Did he have master teacher in his name, big shit, yeah, or some shit like that? Man. Master teacher master. of what? You so ain't know the hell you are, nigga. Right, that's so a, that's a crying him. shame. You need to take your ass over there and call right. your grandpa and, and ask him about your family, bro. You need to start. Right. That's what I'm saying. Niggas like right. you, right? And you've been around a long time. I ain't never did. Hey, y'all, we almost there. Let's get the likes over 200. We at uh 184. Oh, uh, we need 16 more likes to get over 200. Let's get the 200. Let's get the likes over 200. We drag Pan African. We drag them. Nigga, I, I told you I'd never lose to a Pan African. Go off here talking about I ain't debating top cat. Why you don't want to debate me? So, you know what? We playing clips of me beating the shit out of all you Pan Africans. And this just a few. Okay? We hang them. And, and y'all know these niggas. We hang them. Big ones, little ones, it don't matter, nigga. You understand me? This how we do Pan-Africans. Big old chief. This shit. Why? Because you the ex out your fan. Bro, go find out who you are in your goddamn right, so story. Me, Why talk, you out here so, trying to tell somebody so something? Let's talk about it, bro. We been talking. You don't know. I don't talk to niggas that don't know who they are. Right, I'm gonna let my know. nigga Big Seg holler at you. I don't talk to niggas who don't know who they are. I'm done with you. Don't All right, big stick. Oh, oh, I'm gonna right, tag you in, goddamn. I'm gonna throw it off the glass. I'm Brother, gone, Lex. You. Don't talk to All me right, no more. Let me tell you why. I don't give a you don't know. You don't know who you are. Sick, hell of this nigga. So, first of all, what I am, I am What's up, bro? I'm a, I, 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 first of all, I am not my body. That's what you need to Lord have mercy. Jesus Christ, bless me. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Identity of who we are first. Pseudo. Okay, you don't know. I don't, I don't talk to right. niggas uh, that don't know who they are. Right, I'm gonna let my nigga Big Seg holler at you. I don't, I don't talk know. to niggas who don't know who they are. Run. I'm don't done run, with sir. you. Don't All right, Big Seg. Oh, oh, I'm gonna right, tag you in, goddamn. I'm gonna throw it off the glass. I'm gone, Lex. Don't talk to me no more. Let me tell you why. I don't give a. You don't know. You don't know who you are. Seg, hell of this nigga. Hey y'all, hey y'all, let's get the likes over 200. We we need five more to get over 200. Brace yourself. Watch this shit here. So the nigga, I told y'all all these Pan Africans. Now they don't want to be Pan Africans no more. Yeah, you get them in there. I get the fuck nigga took all that Pan African. Came in this hoe, red, black, and green on. We stripped them ass naked like on New Jack City. Y'all remember they had that nigga walk out there ass naked out there with the pump to his head. Watch this nigga. Now he finna get away from all that Pan-African shit. Check him out, y'all. So, first of all, what I am, I am... What's up, bro? I'm a, I, 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 first of all, I am not my body. That's what you need to know first. Lord, have mercy. So, you ain't no, you ain't no Hebrew no more. You ain't no Kilmite. You ain't no Aboriginal no more. And now you're not a Pan-African? Damn. <laughs> Boy, you ain't never whooped a nigga that, that tried to turn into Casper the Ghost. Yeah, boy, I ain't never seen a nigga get his ass whooped and turn into Casper the Ghost. That nigga clicked his heel like Dorothy on, 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 on goddamn me, the yellow brick road. That nigga clicked his heels and said, I do not want to be here right now. I wish it was a Pan-African out there. Any Pan-African out there want to take any phase. I got your master teachers up there, nigga. I am the new master teacher, nigga. Your master teacher, niggas, was colonizers. Yeah, yeah, your master teacher. That's why they always coming out here now talking about they a priest. <laughs> nigga, a priest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, link in the chat. I wish, I wish a nigga would. Yeah, any anybody can get it. They can, man. Anybody can get it. We break Pan Africans' will. We take their souls. God damn me. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. We got company. Uh, Brother Rob Bourne, uh, the Aboriginal Killer. Uh, when did you get that name, brother? And how, how do one get a name like that? When you was on YouTube three years ago doing uh, videos on boxing. I was beating you up. You just, you're a new guy. But um, what's up? We sending you emails. You're not responding. What's good with this date for the Underground Railroad debate? What's up? 
Stop doing shadow boxing. Let's get to the date and stop running. Uh, brother, uh, 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 before we get to that, brother, and come on, I don't, man. I, I, you know, I hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go back to class. I gotta go back to my class. I gotta go back to Okay, class. okay. Well, well, check this out, bro. Check this out right here, right, boy. This is my, uh, uh, birthday, bro. I'm on holiday right now. Oh, okay. Bro. That's right. Do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm doing a little relaxing, bro, after I finish traveling and shit. You know, I didn't. I'd have been to Mexico, I'd have been to New Orleans, I'd have been to Galveston Island. I've been I've been I, I, moving I, I, around. So, I, 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 I so, Congo Square was. Did you go visit Congo Square? You see them voodoo over there? How'd nah, that I, I didn't get down there, man. <laughs> next time I next time I, 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 I make a trip down there, uh uh brother Rob Bourne, I will. But yeah, man, it's my birthday uh week, man. So I'm 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 doing a little bit of relaxing right now, man. But but but, but we're gonna get that though. Uh we have uh uh A one in the building, man. Uh um how you doing, A1? What you got for us? Man, you already know what it is. Uh, peace to God, peace to God, peace to God. I've written me North, South, Central, if you're joining out with me, man. Why motherfucking born? You back out of the You're you from New York, A1. I said, Rob born, you back out of the game, huh? Hey, listen, I'm always going to get, I'm always going to get for it, bro. I mean, you took an L, man. I understand you had most of your um, constituents among you at that time, but um, ultimately, you, ultimately you took an L. Look, and you, I just hey, you can, you can, you can say I want to say this and put it on record. Hold up. Was you in a state? Was you, was I wanna, you, did you, did you pay for a ticket? Did I want to say this. Ticket? Listen, look, look, I was what, there. No, I just, it's a question look. real quick. I, no, I got three minutes. I got to go back to my class. Y'all niggas got all the time. Well, well, hey, don't run, Rob Boy. You got bro. Aboriginal killer in your title when bro, Aboriginal I'm come in, up here. I'm in, now bro. the nigga got to go. In, I'm in school, bro. I now you got to go. I came See, in to get the date to you. Nah, you said you wanted to Yeah, yeah. This nigga got school, Aboriginal bro. killer when the Aboriginal come yeah, up here. Yeah, now you got to go. Bro, I see what's up. Listen, I'm not here for none of that. I'm here because of what we discussed. And said that you can say what you want. A one, I didn't see you wow, in that chat, bro. bro. I, was I didn't dead. see, a, I didn't I see you in the info. And I pulled up later on. on but I didn't see you in the. Hey, look, I just want to say one thing real quick. Let, let, listen to this, right? You can hear me, right? You can hear this, right? I can hear you, but I didn't see all you right, in the Zoom call. Right, listen, I was there. Listen, I asked your man. Right? I asked your man Garfield. Did he want to debate me? He doubled down and said he don't have enough information on this topic. I asked um Jabari. Do he want to debate me? Oh, it's crickets. Oh, he don't want to debate. Me. And you just took bro, an L, so I don't even see no reason. Yo, to you can you. no, bro. You can call it whatever you Rob want. Rob you got beat up over there, Rob Boyne. Hold on, Rob Boyne, because you yo, told me the other day you won, bro. Yo, hey, yo, bro, listen, listen. All, all we doing is this. He keep y'all keep talking about contestants. All of my niggas work and do all type of shit. I do that shit on my own, bro. Hey, but Rob Boyne, hold on, Rob Boyne. No, bro, come on, come on, man. Do the comment. 43, two more minutes. So, yo, everybody that's watched it, them 128 people, which hey, I didn't see you Hey, but why you tell me it. you won, bro, and then this hey, man yo, say you yo, lost? Can you, can you listen, brother? The people who saw the debate voted, bro, who paid, my nigga. And it was I a lot it. of I told there, you was I was there was more. There was no, you wasn't. Bro, bro. I was. I, was I, didn't I promise ticket, you, I was there. I promise. I promise you, okay. I was there. Maybe you I came promise. in later. Maybe you came in later. Whatever, yo, son. Listen, listen, listen. This is this 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 is how crazy it is. He did the same thing you did. He pulling up sources that say African and say it's not supposed to say that, but it say African. He bro, pulled that Yamasu. Nigga, I ain't never pulling no shit like I'm that. I'm not talking me, to you. I'm talking bro. to you. I'm talking. I'm talking to him. You let me say this without yelling. Yo, let me get say this without yelling. Let me get say this without yelling. I'm not trying to yell, bro. Yo, no, no, bro, he come on. Let me just let me just finish, though. Let me just. Yo, bro, Boy, let me just you finish what I'm saying, bro. Blood you blood wilding, bro. bro. All I'm Boy, telling you, you is this. Bro, listen. After your first round, and then it's time to, to rebut, and he's like, yo, I don't want to share my screen. I just want to talk. <laughs> you dead on the first round. Now, when he pulls up the source, he tried to show Yamasees and Negroes and all this other shit and try to hide the shit on the bottom. Because you tried that same source. I knew what it was. Hey, brother, pull that shit back in. What did it say to Yamasee, y'all? Oh, it's that African. Oh, you know they interject. And they said, they "Hold on, wait, 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 wait." Yeah, wait, wait. Right, it hurt. Bro. Yeah, oh, no. it right, hurt. All right, all right, listen. Hold Yo, hold on. I'm, I'm not done yet. No. Hold on, bro. I got, I gotta go. You gotta have all go. day. You niggas be online all day. Here he go. You go. You can stay on here with that shit. Listen, bro. Everything he pulled up, the shit say African, bro. Oh, it's not supposed to say that. That that's the colonizer. How you using sources that's making my point? 
I didn't even have to do shit. The shit was sad. That is the worst debate I ever had with somebody. Hebrews are better. But as it stands now, uh, my brother Top Cat said that he got his birthday. If you don't come around the birthday, I'm going to have to give Aboriginal power to Chief because you run. Hey, hey, Rob Boy, let me say this here to uh, you, bro. I'm going to have to give it to him. Hey, hold on, Rob Boy. I want to show you something, bro. You know you're on my time, right? <laughs> You nah, the same. Hold on, hold on, Rob Boy. Hold on, hold on, bro. You the oh. same guy nah, whose computer can't. got sick live, nigga, at the debate. You, you right. the nigga that ran from me, nigga. Uh, okay. No, you on okay. my time, nigga. Okay, okay. You Check a little nigga to me. Check it out. Check yeah, it out. I served Check you out. already. Check, nah, Check it out. Check real shit, out. Though, Check bro. it out. Okay, let's, you let's, you let's, had let's, your chance, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let's the world, it. bro. You let's know how many let's, people let's, came let's, there that day, bro. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, your computer okay. don't work, bro. Top, top cat, let's keep it a buck, top cat. Damn, let's keep it a buck. Let, 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 let's keep it a buck. Hey, one, hold on. Let me have this between. It's on tape, let, bro. Yo, no, let, let's keep it a buck, though. Let's keep it a buck, right? My shit fucked up. So I never saw me buy a brand new computer. I asked you. Nah, man, I want to hear yo, this yo, shit, man. Listen, listen, that's cool. <laughs> nigga, everybody saw me pulling shit out the box. Everybody saw one. you get scared, yeah, bro. Nah, whatever you say, bro. So now you hear, nigga, like listen, I'm on your time, hey, nigga. You listen, on my that, time, that's nigga. That's cool. When that's I nice, feel like coming nice out there job. punching on you, nah, I'm nice going to punch on you, nigga. Nah, nah, I'm nice celebrating job. my birthday nice right job. now. And nice you going to have to wait, little nigga. What's up? What up, bro? Nice try. So, so. You going to have to wait, little nigga. Listen, listen, hey, listen. Hey, hold on. I want to ask you a real question, though. Uh, uh, hey, what? I want to ask you a real question, brother. Oh, hey, what? Hey, what type of African are you, Rob Boy? Oh, I already told you I'm a person of African. <laughs> you never. I, what type? Listen, what type listen, of listen, African, listen, though? Listen, listen. I'm a West African, and I. What kind you. of West hold African, on, bro? On, that ain't telling me hold nothing. On, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Listen. Do you know or, did, or you hold don't? Hold on, bro. Hold on. Yeah, I do. And I'm so what is it, bro? Why bro, I'm, for two yo, days bro. I've been asking you, you hold ain't on, asking bro. me. Yo, bro, listen. He lied. Number one. Hey, number nigga one. lying, how yeah, he yeah, lying. Yeah, he I lied. show my I genealogy. You ain't never show your genealogy uh, online. We never showed you shit. And then I offered you a thousand dollars to do the shit. Man, we don't want to hear that shit, bro. We don't take Pan African money, bro. I know. I know. We don't take Pan African money. And it still stands. What's up? We don't take Pan African money, man. So you what type of African are you? With all of that being said, Let's what do type it. of African are listen, you? Listen, listen, I'll give you a thousand dollars right now. What you type of African are you? I'm Let's show my... are you acting Let's like you it. can't hear me? Let's do it right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I finished answering the question. Listen, listen, bro, I don't want to finish. I finished at three o'clock. Brother, it's not that o'clock. important. Rabo is not that important. Do you want that? Rabo, I do not. I do not. So you want it. So you It's the same thing you want. I do not. On the spot debate. Uh, on the spot debate. Nah, man, really. son, this is about something else, man. This is what this is. This is what you resort to, man. Yo, this I'm good, I'm bro. To. Listen, top guys, it, you can keep shadow boxing. Bro, that's a yeah. damn shame, Rob Boy. What it come down to, brother? What head, type bro. of African are you? Yeah, bro. What type yeah, of African bro. are you, Robert? You yeah. gotta stop these nonsense, these shenanigans you run around. Hey, yo, you was a new hey, being ass nigga, believing in more. You don't even count. I don't even know why you even oh. talking. Who's the new Oh, you talking? You oh, talk all that wild. I wouldn't ever know New Wapi. I wouldn't ever know New Wapi. Bro, bro no, you talking about. all that wild. I wasn't ever. You don't have man. no evidence Come of me on, ever man. being no New Wapi. You be talking all that wild. Yeah, 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 I do. I do. You a god body. Hold up. You a god body be talking about all these African spirits. Yeah, yeah, because we got something. We got something. We got something called Sean Pick one. 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 Pick one, pick one. So, one. so what type of African are you? If you got some Yo, kind of showing proof, when you want to, you want what type of African are you? Bro, why that's the hardest question for a Pan African answer? Nah, I, I never it. understood I that, that, man. For you niggas to be, for y'all to take up so much for Africa, y'all go use all these other colonizers and you using uh slave revolts and all of this to validate your Africanness, nigga. What type of African are you? Man, I don't, don't want to hear that other shit, you, nigga. We don't want to hear no real, DNA real, test real, shit, real, nigga. What tribe in Africa are you from? Y'all got all that shit to say about America, bro. Y'all got all that shit to say about America, but you niggas don't even. And Rob Bourne, I seen you get smoked by Africans, by real Africans. Rob Bourne, I seen you get smoked by real pan, by real Africans from Africa. All so when y'all be coming over here trying to tell us that shit. That shit don't be holding no weight. Cause when you told that shit to them Pan Africans, Rob Boy, they were smoking your ass. And you know what? Cujo Post in the it. chat right now. 
Cujo admitted yeah, it the other day yeah, that he yeah, saw yeah, that yeah. that you and him got beat up by the pan by the real Africans. Yeah, okay. So you don't remember that? You want me to play the tape on Clubhouse when them Africans got on you, bro? Yep. All right, what's up, man? What y'all got, man? Rob Boy, he don't want to play no more because we asked him what kind of African is. Y'all don't go to work, bro. I'm emailing you, bro, when I'm done. You on my time, though. He in class. Uh, now, nah, but shout out to him. Now, nah, y'all go to class, bro. I'm going to take care of your business, bro. We'll holler at you. Get your ass away from here, nigga. <laughs> I bet he wish he would have never hit that link, huh? <laughs> That nigga should have went on by this day, boy. He done fucked this whole little day up, bro. How the hell you come in here and get jumped on, man? Oh, yeah. Nigga, get your ass up out of here, nigga. You're on my time. How the hell you going to have all these people show up for a debate, nigga, and you get scared talking about Sarnetta went with you the best buy to go buy a new computer? I don't want to hear that shit, nigga. Get your ass away from here, nigga, and come back. When you do come back, come back with a tribe. I don't want to hear that shit. Uh, peace to the pounder, man. What's up with it? What y'all got? Peace, y'all. Hey, hey, Juan, you know that, what was it, 475 y'all was arguing about the other day he couldn't put up? He putting that shit up today. He mad, man. Hey, what's up? Do we have any Pan-Africans in the chat? Do we have any Pan-Africans in the chat? Uh, yeah, yeah, Can do we have any Pan-Africans who would like to join the panel? Uh, come one, come all. The link is in the chat. Come one, come all. The link is in the chat. <laughs> we put Pan Africans on their back, and that's a motherfucking fact. Yeah, this is America, Jack. They coming in here. You think you finna fly? I mean, why is it so hard, nigga? Why I been asking you for two days, nigga? What type of African you is, nigga? Talking about he been emailing me, nigga. You on my time? Hey, you talking about you a little nigga? I don't get nothing from this, and it's gonna be a seventy thirty per split. You ain't got no belts. Nigga, hell wrong with you. 70 30 purse split. You know what? I'm gonna stall your ass out in negotiations and make it go to a purse bid, nigga. Well, you're gonna have to take 30. Nigga, it's gonna have to be a 70 30. If they can't, if the camps can't come to an agreement, nigga, then nigga, they are ordered, nigga, the purse bid, nigga, and it's gonna be a 70 30 split. Hell wrong with you, nigga. You don't waste my time, then come back and go off here. You, 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 you got that pussy, boy. Uh, what they call it in Jamaica, y'all? What they call pussy in Jamaica? Pum pum. You got that pum pum, nigga. Yeah, that nigga got that pum pum. Yeah, nigga got that pum pum. Oh, uh, who is well, that? Oh, uh, they said somebody ten thousand up for like three years. Yeah, man, we ain't that. I told that nigga take that thousand and go buy a computer. Yeah, you out here off a thousand dollar debate, nigga, and you talking about your computer don't work. Nigga, you, you better get your ass away from here. <laughs> it, ain't that, it ain't just that one debate. He was like on the corner. Hey, one time. Got that pom -pom. Big fat Harry pom -pom. Yeah. Hey, what's up with it, Nagus? Hey, Nagus, you know what? Hey, Nagus, hit the link, fam. Hey, the other day you was trying to tell me something about that lady, the ambassador. And oh uh, damn, and when I went back and watched that part over, I said, damn, I wonder what he had to say about that uh that lady. So, Nagus, man, if you got some time, go on, pull up, come holler at me, man. And come tell me what you had to say about uh about that lady the other day. Hey, 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 that nigga, uh, Chief, Chief, Chief told that nigga, hit the uh link. That nigga question say, hey, question say, Chief, Chief, bro, I'm BCU. <laughs> say. Say, nigga, I wish y'all, nigga, we already made a nigga go change his outfit today. Nigga came in, this whole nigga, San Kofi down, nigga, red, black, and green, nigga. Oh, uh, nigga with unks coming down the back of his shit, nigga. That nigga said, damn, I ain't know I couldn't wear that over here. That nigga went to change clothes. Yeah, that nigga went to change his whole, his whole outfit. Oh, uh, all right. I can't hear you. That opening scene on Minister of Society when they're sitting at the table. I don't know whether they count the money or something. They're gambling, and, and the nigga like, uh, damn, 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 like, damn, what the fuck? He's like, nigga, you owe me money too? He's like, hell no, nah, but yeah, hell no, nah, but here, nigga, hey, you know that shit made me think about. 
Oh, uh, we was locked up. Oh, uh, and it was this nigga from the Southwest. He was a GD, and that nigga that he had did fifteen years. So on Fridays he threw his shoes out in the in the party, and it's freaking Friday. That mean lace up. You know what I'm saying? So it was this nigga named Crazy C, this six old nigga, man, big old black nigga. That was my nigga. Me and him ended up becoming real, real tight. But that nigga, uh, he went over there. And so uh, the nigga was on the phone. It was early morning. This nigga that doing push-ups on his knuckles. He tapped my bunk. He said, hey, today, today. So I go on lace up. Man, that nigga walked up to homeboy. He said, hey, we got a problem. Um, He said, we got a problem I don't know about. And for the nigga to even say something, man, he hit that nigga with an uppercut and brought that uh, brought that bitch around as a hook. Bam. And and I'm telling you, when the nigga hit the ground, his head hit the ground. Boom. He he sleep, eyes wide open. And this little blood nigga named Griff, he looked at him, Griff say, nigga, you hungry? <laughs> he puts that nigga whole bag, puts the whole bag in the floor. He said, nigga, you hungry? So they went and locked him up in the, in the day and that nigga came down there. Griff, that's my nigga, little Southwest, man. He say shit. That nigga looked at me. He said, I seen it in his eye. Cause them niggas were riding, buddy. But that was smoke signal. Hey, smoke signal, bro. I got, I got, I got to ask you this, this smoke signal, bro. Why you be letting them nigga beat you up like that over there on Garfield Town, bro? Man, you, and you keep you know, going back over there, bro. Hey, bro. You know them niggas got a policy, right? Which upon they are uh, expressly they expressly allowed to dominate the flow. You know, with these type of with, with this type of conduct, bro, it, it's hard. It, it's hard to, you know, make a sufficient or or a significant point, bro. But you know, I I, I just no, nah, because I'll be saying this like I like they me, be bro. trying to get they be getting kicks out for this shit. Like to be honest, is it gonna be a fair fade over there? It probably not. You know what I'm saying? But you be going over there, they be like taking turns with you, bro. I be like, man, why do this nigga keep going back over there, bro? And it make it look like they beating up Aboriginals when, when you be doing this sometimes. Yeah, man, you know they got they got what they call a mute button, bro. You know they got this thing where they can put you in the back. You know what I'm saying? So in the middle, in the middle of your exchange, bro, you don't get to get you don't get to land your plane. Well, it always look like you crashing, bro. But believe me, I'm not crashing. I just need. I just need a sufficient amount of time to express my point. Bro. That's all I be needing. But I, I enjoy the fight, bro. That's all. I just enjoy the fight. Bro, they don't, bro. Hey, hey, look, real quick, right? They've been doing that for years, my dude. So if you see the reason why a lot of us don't be over there, you see when I went over there, he put me, he put me in the back. When I was just, me and Rob Bourne was just going at it, you see, he put me in the back. And that's what they always do. They don't never come on. Rob Bourne, the only one to come on to any of these platforms. You know what I'm saying? None of them, Garfield don't want to debate. I don't want to debate, and no, don't none of them other dudes want to debate. So it's like at the end of the day, they just they just want to talk amongst. I thought Unk said playing. he was looking for a fade. I thought Unk. Like, oh, man, listen, it's dead. It, let's make that happen. I debate. Oh, I know he gonna bring um a saw M Tech with him. I got somebody for him. So it's like you know what I'm saying. That's who do all his research. A saw M Tech. You know what I'm saying? Since Jenny ain't there no more with him. So I already know who do all that. Um, who, and, and it's Ishmael ain't over there with him. So who who does? I don't I don't do research like that. He, he just do regurgitate research that they already researched. He don't he don't not no fucking research like because if he did, he wouldn't have opened his mouth and said that Ruth Shady and the whole um pyramid thing over in um Supe Corral or in Central and South America. And he wouldn't put out the date. He don't know the difference between BD and A E, bro. He don't even know what BC is. Yeah, I don't Garfield Garfield uh, came out yesterday on this podcast yesterday and told him that he ain't gonna fight me. He tried to play a tape of uh, when him and Rob Boyne came over here. In the tape, he said that they destroyed me. But it looked like uh, Rob Boyne was getting destroyed, and that motherfucker he turned it off and said, I'm not debating that guy. He's a comedian. So, I mean, I got goddamn nigga. It wasn't nothing funny about it. I just asked Rob Bourne, did he do Amazon Prime when he did his DNA test? So, goddamn nigga, what, what was, uh, you know, Rob Bourne ain't no African, bro. This right here just proved it to him again. That that was fucked up, what happened to him today. I kind of feel bad for you, Rob Bourne. I know you still listening, nigga. I feel bad for you, man. You shouldn't have hit that link, though. Well, Rob Bourne. 
um, he keep talking about the burial grounds where the Lenny Lenape, aka the Mahatas, was at, and where the so-called African burial ground, right? Nah, now, man, he AP, still talking about that. Yeah, don't even say African, say Negro burial ground, and that's the old map. I got three maps of that shit, and uh, the, right in the center has a circle say Negro burial burial ground. So I asked him, I said, so when was it? When was it African burial ground again? And uh, the source that he keeps bringing up with the Yamasi, right? The point of contention is to establish that it was already Negroes in America before 1492 and they wasn't born here in 1619 either, right? So that whole article where it talks about the Yamasi, right? And it talks about the mayor of Beaufort County. He clearly says that the Yamasi are Africans, right? This is now a court. This is what he said. He said the Yamasi are Africans and they was here before Columbus. So now, at that point in time, how do he know that they're Africans if they was here before Columbus and here before you was here? How do they know? You understand? How do they know that? How do they know the Yamasis are African? The Yamasis are the Tim Cohens, man. You know, the gig is up when you really know the real research, right? He, he's not, nobody's, nobody's in a position to where they can say that any of these Indian tribes are Africans. None of them are in any, any position to say that. They ain't in any position to say they ain't African. You feel exactly. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you hey, know what hey, they hey, say, hey, let hey. a silly man stand a silly man. Like, we ain't like, as far as the people is one thing, but these niggas, I ain't trying to convince them. They, bon voyage. We need to meet these niggas at the pier or at the airport and send them off. Hey, hold on, y'all. We got a, a, a gunner stepper in the building. Big stepping representing gunner, man. Where's, 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 where's Coast in the building, man? What's up with it, gunner? Oh, what's good, man? All praise to the Most High in the name of his son. Uh, you know, definitely up in hell. You know, uh, just please, listening please, to please. you about his son. Hey, is this the brother from New Orleans the other day? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was teaching you about the black African Mardi Gras Indians. Oh, you ain't teach. Oh, the one got taught about the Indians the other day? Yeah. I ain't know you was from Ghana. Why you ain't teach us about Ghana? When, when, when you thought umba was a French word, but I ain't now Frenchman. Creole. We, it was yeah, Creole. That, that's what it is, Creole, but it, it's a Swahili. Language. Yeah, no, Swahili. It ain't, that didn't say Swahili. They said Creole, brother. Right, right. So I'm convinced, but that, you know, you brothers, because you a funny dude, but I guess all you guys from Texas like that, like Charles. So you going to come buy tickets to my comedy show then? I'm going to do, do a comedy tour like, like Charleston White. I want you to, since I'm so funny, all you pan Africans, I always say, y'all only watch me because I'm funny. Y'all buy tickets and come to my comedy show then. I'm going to talk real bad about pan Africans and a whole lot of funny jokes about pan Africans. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you wouldn't disagree with that, bro, because, I mean, the information ain't, to be true, the information not there, bro, from none of you Indians that's trying to say there wasn't no slave trade. The information just not there, man. And just what I decided, bro. I'm not. E I'm not even coming with sources no more because y'all don't. Y'all don't even much accept historical. Damage. Well, y'all don't have the, the the primary source. The primary source of the slave trade, brother, would be the the descendants the of the victims. Right, the people themselves. Correct, and we don't have that, brother. And and that in that period of time, because see what y'all do, man. It's like no, 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 no. I don't want to get away from that, brother Gunner. Week, bro. Slavery didn't happen last week, bro. This happened three, four hundred, five hundred years ago, bro. So we coming into this land, bro, and all after the second, third generation is this land. We don't have no history about where we come from because we've been abducted, bro. So this brother, is that I'm is a that about. is that is this brother that is an excuse. That no, is a slave. That is a victim right. excuse. This is what I want to ask you, bro, because y'all some bad savages, right? Logically speaking, y'all say Africans weak and this and that, this and that. But we never said Africans are weak, brother. No, if, if Africans are strong, no, indigenous Africans are strong uh 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 people, brother. We never said right. they were weak. No, I'm saying I'm saying as far the as the indigenous Africans are our brothers. The right. Pan-Africans are our enemy. Right. Well, the Pan-Africans. You say the Pan-Africans are weak because we got here in slavery and they subdued us. and they. But just look at your situation. No, that's a that's a narrative. That's a fake narrative. That never happened. 
exactly. because like I said, we would need the 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 primary to that would be the the, the descendants of these people that came in the slave trade, and we can't seem to find them. You yeah, know, right. for the slave trade to be so real, where are the descendants of the slave trade, brother? Right, right. Again, so with all the sources out there, but like I said, man, you guys got to be trolling because it's all. So right what there. source? No, what source exactly it. would you we use for that? You got to understand what your I'm this, this Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to hear what I'm saying. All right, so. All right, brother. Um, we we need a primary for the transatlantic slave trade. You just agree with me that the primary, the most resourceful resource that could be used in this to prove this would be the people. Since the people are not here, we have to be their descendants. So we need someone who uh we need a descendant of the transatlantic slave trade, brother. That is the only primary source that we can use for this. Other than that, it's just a story, brother. So can you help us out, Brother Ghana? And can you be the source and be the primary source today to prove to us how did you come through the transatlantic slave trade, brother? All right, bro. So again, man, this is enough information out there for, for you brothers to learn that. But this is I'm I'm asking, I want to ask logical questions, right? So my question is this. So you guys say we've been here, right? This been our house, brother. Are you gonna just totally disregard the question that I just laid before you, brother? Okay, you just agreed to me that there's only one primary source to the slave trade, correct? Did you not agree to that? And your answer know. was the people. See, we have we have instant replay, we have instant replay over here. So, brother, right. before we have to waste the people time, would you agree that you just uh, uh agreed that the primary source would be the people? Correct. Okay, so we're here now. Can you be the primary source today, brother, to prove that the slave trade actually happened by proving that you are a descendant of the transatlantic slave trade? But they still have their records out from the brother. Do you have your records? I'm not worried about nobody else. Can't nobody well, that's, else that's, validate that's, you that's as an African history, brother, but your family. That's, that's history, because, bro. Okay, so we, you should have this history in your family, brother. Right. So so well so okay. So what year did your family leave Ghana and come to America? I, I wouldn't have the information. So brother, what are you doing out here calling you know, yourself a Ghana stepper, you know, brother? Literature. Brother, you how have no you know, right to call yourself a Ghana stepper, brother. Top cat. Again, how far this, you go back with your Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna answer that question right after yeah. I say this here, brother. Right. Again, today we we have you proved to us that there is no primary records for the transatlantic slave trade brother and i want to appreciate you for being uh uh for for this this teaching lesson for for being a vehicle of information for the people to see that there are no primary sources for the transatlantic slave trade again brother i thank you i want to open the panel up from here all right but no doubt hey, well, well, but this this all you say you was going to answer my question how far can you go back with your lineage because what you're asking me that's that's a false equivalency, bro. You cannot determine. He asked you about yourself. Property, specifically what? each person. You cannot find no evidence stating where each individual slave from Africa came from. Brother, that's why you have to do your genealogy. Hold on, hold on. But no pan African master but teachers has ever came that, and told you that. Listen, so listen, I will take listen, the time. As American Indian Aboriginal to tell you today, brother, to do your damn genealogy. Leave so all them books alone you read, brother, and go talk to your, your family. Go talk to, right to your, your family, to brother. Give it to us. Give me your genealogy. Bro, right. you have brother, to go do you your genealogy. Just, but he just, you that's how you end up in the situation you in today, brother. You guys are some type of psychosis, bro. That's what got you in this situation today, bro. You have been trying to figure out everything else about everything else instead of your damn self. And now we get here today and you can't even prove when your family got from Ghana to America, brother. You in bad shape, Pan-Africanism, brother. I blame it on Pan-Africanism, brother. You are a victim. Brother Ghana, you are a victim of Pan-African doctrine. 
Stop trolling the conversation. My dude, he That's telling you truth. He telling you the truth. You guys dude. are trolling, bro. My That's dude, we're not trolling. Y'all are trolling. All right, let me ask him a question then, Top. Let me ask him a question then. No, I'm telling you a victim. He's trying to get you some help. Top can't answer my question yet. Bro, he's trying to get he's you some help, man. That nigga said we trying to get you some help. Yeah. Here's the genealogy, man. Top Cat, tell me your genealogy and tell me how far back it go right now. Brother, well, I go all the way to I go back to the 1500s. Oh, no, oh, don't tell me. I go back to the 1500s, brother. Explain it to me. Explain I go back to the 1500s, brother. Give me people, time, places. And Listen, all. brother, it's too late. Right, you can't. It's too late. Hey, it's bro, too late, brother. My bro. genealogy is not gonna help you, brother. My genealogy is not gonna help you. But you don't have with your story, brother. Hey, uh, brother Superior, man, you had a question for him. Yeah, I, yeah, I had a question. Peace to the panel, man. Shout out to the chat, man. Salute to the you, man. Appreciate you, big chief. Yeah, I just had a question for the brother, man. Cause I listened the other day when y'all were dialoguing, and uh. He had some good points. You had some good points. But uh, well, I think the reason why the brother came back today is because that the information that you put out made him really question the things that he thought he had always known or come to know growing up. And uh, that's nah, just the really thing not. what it is. Hold on. I, hold on. Let me, hold on. Because of the fact that I can see already you change your profile. So my question is, why would if the white if the cracker is the colonizer, why would he the Spanish? Everybody else can put their history on the table, but when it comes to them, what, to what they did to Africans, it's this, it's, it's such a, it, it's a, it's like a top secret mission or something got lost. So with that being said, <laughs> if, if the conspiracy is against the African, why would they take you from, take us from Africa, bring us to America, and then hide the records of where we come from, while at the same time telling you that you're from Africa? You got to make that make sense. So that that's my question. Why is the conspiracy against Africa when all other colonizers, the Spanish, the French, the Dutch, every Portuguese, everybody else got their records on the board to what they did to each individual group? But when it comes to us trying to find out the African that was supposed to be coming to America through the slave trade, why is that history so obscure? Or when we put it on the board and ask about it, oh, it was hitting, it was illegal. It's all these other, you know what I'm saying, all these other things behind it instead of just being straight to the point. <laughs> It is who it is. All right, so my brother, this 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 is what I'm gonna say to you. I know I didn't learn anything new. Uh, I I've, I've always known about my indigenous American heritage. Like I see, my grandmother, she was she was named after the first French slash Indian fort in that area. So that's that's not my issue, man. My like I say, bro, my issue is the facts. My brother, th there is a plethora of information speaking on the African Ma'afa, bro. I mean, it, it it would be like me explaining to a child the difference between a cat and a dog and, the, and that child actually asking me that question. Like, you're asking me a question, bro, that's obvious to the known world, bro. I mean, you have indigenous African people saying this story. You have Europeans saying this story. You have American Indians speaking of this story. So again, I'm dealing with logic. Logically speaking, you guys are saying that an intruder came into your house, whooped your ass, took your children, changed your names, gave you a whole nother place of residence being Africa, and we not none the wiser except for 10, 20 niggas saying their grandma told them they're Indians. That's all we got. It ain't no 10 Listen, 20. No, it's no, more people. No 10, 20. It's, it's more it, people. It, it, hold on. No. Listen, listen, brother. Listen. Listen, brother. Listen. Listen. What you, what you need to understand is the people that care about themselves enough and question everything that we was taught. See, we can identify who the slave master is. Uh, I mean, the slave owner. Who the slave is and who is free during the era of this slavery. Uh, story that you're talking about so we're telling you that the records are there and just because you don't want to question yourself enough to find out who you are i mean it seemed like if you if you really wanted to be african there's a way to prove it i don't you you still haven't said what tribe you from or uh, none of that I, that means you honestly don't even care about africa enough to try to even find your way of getting off a boat. 
You see what I'm saying? Right. Because there is books. There is records. So that's why a lot of people have trouble over here because we can pull up our shit. We already know what the fuck going on. I mean, y'all still probably don't even know about the black European. So, so what it is, bro. He just, it, 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 oh, he just y'all said that he y'all basically is, stuck is American in, in, in time, bro. He had his and grandmother's the, named after the port. But Top asked him, you know, about his African side. He has no clue. Nothing, not no nothing except for the general public school system story. But he knows his American heritage, lineage, and connection here, and the names, how his people got their names. But he has no fucking clue about Africa and want to tell us about using logic. Hey, real quick, let me just say something real quick. Hey, 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 about New hey, look. Wait, hey, you know everything I about you, know, you don't know nothing about Ghana. I understand, but the stereotype is that y'all savages, bro. But let's not act like that, bro. Let's try. Nigga, this is America. We civilized the planet. Hey, hold on, y'all. Let A one, A one, trying to get his shit out. Look, I got one thing I want to say to you. First of all, right, when a brother sitting up there telling you you're not from Ghana, you don't have no proof you're from um Ghana. First of all, right, and see the whole thing was coming up next down the um pipe for the Pan Africans is we're gonna dismantle the whole DNA thing. We're gonna dismantle. We're gonna show that auto Zamon. Um, a mitochondria and the y, y, y DNA does not trace you to any historical um, ancestor. It doesn't, that, that's pseudoscience, brother. The whole African and all this shit came from eugenics, came from Garwin and Fran, Francis um, Bolton, all of them, the American colonization society, the um, Anglo-Saxon society. These are people who created this shit to put it in the school system that you've been taught. Now we sit up here telling you, you don't, you, you, you keep saying slave. One thing I hate about um Pan Africans or people who push that African shit, you don't know what a fucking slave is, bro. Y'all been running around here all this time talking about slave, a slave, a slave. Slaves are white people in this um country, brother. And if it was Negro slaves, because they had their mother was a slavery. That's how they became a slave. Hey y'all, hold on, just, hold on. Hey, when I do want to say this though, respectfully, that's this brother information. You know, that's that's his views and opinion. And I just want because you he's talking to you, Gunner. So I do want to just uh say that, but all right, turn up, finish going. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, what else can we prove? Can we prove that it was white slaves here? Can we prove that it was thousands upon hundreds of thousands of Negro slave owners? Before yes, sir. The, Both of those would be true. We can prove that there was okay, white slaves so, here and it was so black Negro right slavery. There, the terminology right. Slavic come from Slav. It was so only look, applied. Look, okay. Go ahead. I'm I telling you the truth. You laughing. Look, 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 do me a favor. Do this favor for me. Now, what I just told you, go research it and don't even ask me about it. If you don't know about it, you don't know what I'm talking about, go research it. Do not about question what? me on the spot. About everything I just said, the whole about the see, slam, look, the look, look, the whole, look, 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 look. when eugenics was created, eugenics was created first of all to dismiss where Europeans originally came from. Number one, right? It, that's the first thing that they did. When you read this shit, you'll realize that Europeans are not indigenous to no landmass. So what they started to do was this: they started to uh, um, um, contain um, people by ethnicity and racial classification on certain continents. So this is where you get all blacks are from Africa. We know all blacks are not from Africa because you got people in the Pacific coast who look just like us, who never came from Africa. So it's like, you know, at this point, so, 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 even when you get into the story of the American, you get into the story of this, this so-called slave, Anthony Johnson, according to them, oh, he was the one, he was the 19 some odd Negroes who was on the ship. He, him and three, four other people went on their own property and own slaves. Because what they had to do was join an apprenticeship. So they had to be taught how to be resourceful in, on, on our land, which is North, North, Africa, North America. You understand? So then from that time on, 1600s, all the way to 1865, you got black slave owners by a million? 
Come on, bro. It's like uh, the, the gig is up, bro. Black slave on about the millions. That's false. I do. I'm a. I, I, I by the millions. Cool. Hey, watch I'm this in. here. We'll do it like this here then. Hey, you from Louisiana? Um, why most of the slave owners in Louisiana was black, brother? That's a fact. Most of brother, you from Louisiana. Why would you even open your mouth about a black slave master? And you from one of the the capitals of black slave masters, Louisiana, nigga. <laughs> I'm one of the most right history. hung more niggas than anybody, nigga. Why? Because the black Look, people that was there wasn't the same as the, as the black indigenous state. black people that was there. Nigga, in 1920, nigga, that's when they labeled they they labeled all uh, uh they stopped labeling uh Indians colored in um in, in Louisiana. That was in the 1920s when they finally started doing that. Everybody know Louisiana is Indians, bro. You listen, family. You brought up your indi what your indigenous side is. Your indigenous side from Louisiana? Yes or no, brother? Donna? Nah, they 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 from Natchez, bro. They from Natchez. Okay, same. These are so the same. They, people. So they match as Indians. Did. Same people. My family. I got Natchez family. Bro, so watch this. Here. Right, see my man. my the first fort. That the French built with the Native Americans, the tuna. Man, right, the Natchez, the Natchez killed. That's, 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 uh, my, that's my grandmother's lineage, man. I understand we got. Indian Who told you that, though? Hey, top top brothers, hey hold on, y'all. Time out, right quick. Hold on, y'all. Watch this. Hey, but who told you that, though, brother Gunner? Where did you get this information? It's simple, bro. Just research. No, I'm saying, who told you that? You don't say, bro. So what? No, I I'm did, saying bro, that you say your feel, your grandma is named after the fort. When, when you look up the history of Louisiana, bro, you find it, and you see the story of Bienville and his brother coming there making forts. One of okay. the first forts that was built, probably the first or second, not the third, but the first or second. My grandmother carries that same name. My grandmother is from the area of Natchez. Did she my ever tell you the my story? Grandma, my grandmother. My actually, my mom tell me stories, and that's how I know. What, what did she tell you? you brothers know Black about people hold on, what did she tell you, bro? Hold on, y'all, time I, out. Y'all, I, 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 I want them to hear me. Hold on, let top work, man. Hey, Indians. Well, well, look, hold on, family. Hold on, relax, brother. Let me ask this question, brother. You're gonna get to ask the question, but damn, you don't stop the conversation. Me, conversation to say this, brother. Hold on, we're trying to go somewhere. I'm brother. There's an audience listening, bro. There's an audience. There's an audience listening. What you said, you got to at least get a decency for me to finish what you. Brother, and I and I do want to do that. I want to be civilized, though. Okay, so so brother, to be correct, you saying that your your mother told you these stories. What exact stories are you saying she told you? All right, but let's let's continue. All right, so this this what I'm saying, bro. This is how I know a lot of you, brother. Answer the question, family. It, it, Respectfully. It's not talking, it's not talking to the apples, but like, so when you talk to them, they tell you about the communities that they had within the black community. Brother, what do they have to do with what your mother told you? You just you, made a statement you saying had, that your mother... You had, Indian, you had Indian communities within black communities, and within those communities, <laughs> my mother told me about the things they did. How many of you brothers know what a fire talker is? If you guys are real. Listen, Indian. listen, brother, 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 That's a question, brother. Bro. Because you brother. didn't ask a question yet, bro. Let, what is let, a fire Y'all laughing, but he's not lying. You did what have blacks amongst talk, Native bro. communities. What is a fire talk? Listen, listen to me. Listen to me, family. Is, brother. What is a fire talk? Brother. It, okay, let me ask you this here. Do they have anything? Is it relevant to what your mother told you? It's very, it's very relevant. And if okay, you was well, a real Indian, you would have known what that was off the Brother, road. all Indians don't have the same culture, brother. So no, bro. what is that? All Indians some don't have the same culture, man, brother. We ain't never, we ain't never <laughs> had no fire, <laughs> fire walkers or none of that, that good <laughs> shit, man. Running, running deer. We ain't never named ourselves. We had nicknames, nigga. Kiki, Wai uh, Rai, all types. Hey man, I got I gotta get back to the reservation. I gotta get back to the reservation, but I'm gonna keep praying for you, brothers, man, for sprint, bro. But like I say, man, you got pray for your genealogy, pray for your family story. in your blood, bro. But you pray for your family story, brother. Listen to your family. Listen to them stories they told you. They never told you an African story. Bro, so you on a reservation telling people that they African? No, no, he's saying he's going back to work. But look, before you go back to work, family. 
Oh, uh, check me out. Oh, uh, can you give us an African story? You talking about fire walkers and shit? Hey, your family ever told you about an African story? Bro, we've been removed from Africa for over yes or no, years, brother. Bro. Yes or no. It, it's, it would be impossible. Bro. Yes or no? Did they teach you Logical African stories? Of the situation, bro. Come on, Donna, bro. I like you, bro. You out the end, no, man. God damn, fam. I'm just ask you a simple yeah, question. Bro, them black Did your family ahead, ever tell you about a, a African story? Uh, yes or no? Nah, they, she just carried over a lot of superstitions. Yes or no, brother? Very, very direct question. Culture. Yes yeah. or no, brother? Yeah. Yeah, like she, 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 she voodoo she is from America, brother. I'm sorry, voodoo's from no, America. No, listen, what I'm saying, my family carried a lot of traditions over from African culture, specifically like the voodoo. And they culture. told you that, so they told yeah. you that. Yeah. yeah what, okay. What? Like, how did that conversation go? If anybody have a parent or a grandparent that says don't whistle in the house or something like that, that's voodoo culture. Hey, listen, listen to me, brother. First, brother, first off, African the nigga, what house an African had? What, we, yeah, what house did an African have a whistle in? You wild. what the hell is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> what house did an African have a whistle in? You wild, man. All right, then, brother. I'm no, no, nah, don't go nowhere, nigga. Show me an African nigga. What house an African had to whistle in, nigga, before Americans went over there and built it up. Oh, nigga, then he ran around the room. Wood, try he to come around here with some shit like that. That what nigga said, I spit on the whistling broom, in the house. By the feet. Hold what on, we got a pan African, no, y'all. Oh, oh, he's, he's in shot. Oh, what house did the African have a whistle in? <laughs> you know, I, I don't play those games, bro. I, I'm not into Nigga, where are y'all, Scott? Y'all ain't even got no running water over there now, nigga. What motherfucking house you had to whistle in? Nigga, what stove you, you had to cook yo, on? Talking about Africans cook like us. Hey, like, them niggas said that Africans cook like us. Nigga, where the African got a stove? Like, what stove did an African have to cook on? Talking about you cooking like us. What stove you niggas had to cook on? You niggas ain't have no stove. Down cook, down 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 you down ain't down have a house for which to like Nigga, you better say that shit, nigga. Do do all, everybody on this panel know where their family at in them in the 50 states? Do everybody on this panel know all their family in the 50 states? Please lie and say yes. What you mean? All your family? Do you all know, of y'all know, know y'all family know, in the fifty states? I know enough of my family. You know enough? Do you know all of them, <laughs> nigga? Do you know all, all of yours? Nigga, that's millions Please of lie. You do about? you know all of do yours? All y'all know all y'all family in the fifty we states. Where tribe are you from? from? Yes. What tribe are you from? At from you, Africa. At, <laughs> tell me. Nobody in the chat. Do you know all of your family? Hey y'all, hold on, y'all. Let's break. Let's break. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the center of the ring. Hold on, we're gonna go back to the center of the ring. We're gonna do it like this here. All right, brother, what's your name and where you calling from? Brother Inshaw. Oh, you talking What's your me? name I and where you calling from? Top what's your name and where you calling from? Brother, this I'm is a show. I, I am running my podcast right now, brother. Me... Respectfully, you are a panelist right now, brother. So we need you. We're going to uh, give you the same respect as we give everyone oh, else here. Yeah. We've I'm asked sorry. them. I was well, get your motherfucking day. ass up out of here then, nigga. I was here the other day. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nigga talking about I'm out of here. Get your motherfucking ass from away from here. <laughs> that make me feel impulsive, boy. That make get, you get that genealogy be getting them, boy, after the Boy, that shit there. That shit there. That shit there, boy. <laughs> Damn. That nigga shit. That make me got that. Nigga, tuck that boy, tail. Taking nigga like, pistol like, from it, boy. That nigga do it. the ground, nigga. Hold that. Ooh, boy, you taking nigga <laughs> pistol out his head, bro. He man, he do whatever you want. Bitch, get on the ground. Lay down, ho. Yeah, go in that six nine. Them nigga all in the locker room. <laughs> Pan Africans, the one laying in the locker room in mud cloud. <laughs> boy shorts, nigga laying in summers in boy shorts and mud cloud jacket, nigga. Pan that's Africa crazy shit. though, man. Because you put that back on the boat, they you see they got to get on the dock though, like you always say though. What what port you coming in at? You put that on the boat that's just out there. Put them on a the boat that's just out there at sea. So they're trying to find a place to land. Now this is the shit that's getting me. They trying to use the Tariq shit with the maroons, and really the way they using it, maroon the maroon ain't never meant that. The Cimarron ain't never meant that. The word Cima in Spanish means high. It was the people that lived in the high elevations down there in the, in the mountains in the, in the southern part of the hemisphere. It had nothing to do with no goddamn slave. They just attached it to people and gave them that name. Sima is, it means hot. Maroon just means wild. All the shit about a maroon was a runaway. No, bro, that's not even the etymology of the word. 
that's not what it even means sema is spelled c-i-m-a it just means a high point the mountain peak so these are the Indians. these are the people that was living up in the back areas up in there or even they ran into those areas man when they so these people talking about man the samurai has shit to do with what they talking about and none of that man attaching that shit and say oh because it's a maroon that means it got to be a slave that ain't how it work man that's not the, that's not the truth of the matter that shit fake is cap and it's all pseudo when they saying that shit. Oh, the maroons were broke. No, that's that's not how. That's not that. That's not the picture, man. Hey, y'all, the link in the chat. Do we have anybody over here from Garfield Channel? Do we have any Pan Africans over in the building? Garfield put that uh, title up yesterday. I don't know why he do that. Then they come over talking about stop spar, stop sparring, uh, whatever the fuck he was talking about. Nigga, y'all sitting there with the title on. Then when I came on the show, I actually came up there. So nigga ended the show on me, told me come at three o'clock. Like, nigga, you a Pan-African. What you mean come back at three o'clock? Nigga, I know what time it is, bro. I've been on record for about a year and a half saying Garfield been running from me. I tell you only want to fight on religious niggas, Hebrews and niggas with guards, but he a, he a Pan-African, which is a Christian. So now, nah, man, yeah, now, nah, nigga, y'all, nigga, oh, uh, man, say, bro, what you want, bro? Are you ready to uh, follow the rules? You ain't even let me talk, top cats. Brother, this ain't your show. You're a panelist. Do you understand that? Respectfully, brother. If I ask you to introduce yourself to the audience, family, I tried. You... Kick me off. Okay, son. okay, let's start over. How I'm you doing, shy. brother? Where I'm you from calling Jersey. from? I'm from I'm from Jersey. Okay, um, um, uh, are you of African descent? I wouldn't know. What do you know? Who are you? What'd you say? I say, then who are you? Who do you descend from? My my great grandparents from the south. And what country? And what country or continent are they from? I said great grandparents from the south. North okay, Carolina brother, south. and you you still have to be from somewhere, brother. Who are you? I'm from America. That's all I. That's all so I. So you're know. an American. Yeah. How long America been called America, brother? I don't know. I don't okay, know. so you don't know who you are. Do you know how to pick cotton? I was born in nineteen in, in the nineties. Okay, don't worry about it. We'll teach you. Because I'm about to take you out to, to the cotton, cotton plant field. I'm gonna teach you how to pick cotton. Yes, sir. You don't know who you is, boy. I'm gonna put your ass in that field you and make you pick top, cotton. Top. You always got you got a lot of jokes. Now I'm square business. It's a damn shame. How old are you, boy? And you don't know how you are. I mean, you don't know who you are. Who told you I didn't know who I was? You just told me you didn't know who you were. Who are you then, bro? I didn't say that. Who are you? What do you descend from? What continent of the country you come from, brother? Your ancestors come from? My recent ancestors would be from the I South. I didn't ask you about your... Oh, from where? My recent ancestors would be from the South. My original ancestors, I couldn't tell you. You couldn't tell me? Because you don't know nothing about yourself. Who told you that? Go get that bag and get them gloves. That's what you do. All right, anybody else want, want this nigga, man? Now, the reason why I asked you when I yeah, came I'm on the gonna, first... Hold on, hold on. Can I ask what a question now? What part of the South your ancestors from? My grandmother is from South Carolina. My great, my great, my great grandmother and my great grandfather was from North Carolina by way of Colorado. And, and, and what doing? What years is this? Um. I would say early, early 1900s. Like that's when they would have been young. So early 1900s, your family from North Carolina, South Carolina. Yeah. Are, are, you, are you familiar with the history of North Carolina, South Carolina? I'm definitely. I know when black people got there. What year did black people get there? Black people. South Carolina. Come on, South Carolina. South Carolina. Can y'all hear me? Black people got to South Carolina in 1526. Mm. Is this the young shit from the days? Yeah, this is me. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna talk numbers today. It's me. I'm back. We're gonna talk about we're gonna talk all facts today. We ain't gonna so black people got to South Carolina. We ain't gonna freestyle, we ain't gonna do none of that. All right, how they got there? How they, how they got there? By way of slavery. Oh, the so conquistador was going through okay. Georgia. Oh, the conquest. Hold on. Yeah, let's play. So, now y'all facts in order today. You said what? I said black. I said black. I said I know how black people got there. I said black people. 
So uh, you said by way of slavery, though. So they had slavery in Georgia and the these six, conquistadors six was bringing black African slaves to South to Georgia. They were they were. This in is the how 1500s. black, huh? In the 1500s. Yes. They got the well, Georgia and South Carolina that, in 1526. Go look right now. Yo, brother, can we get a source on that, brother? Go look. Go Google it. Now, brother, can we get a source on? Uh, on All you gotta do is is Google when Carolina. black people first arrived in Georgia and South Carolina. Oh, okay. So you depending on that. You depending on that. Oh no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go back because I want to ask this first. What's our measurements of what's facts and what's not? What, what, well, let's, what's, let's, what's, let's, what's let's talk about what's not? We talking about yeah. We talk. He he. Uh, hold on. Okay. That, hold on, let me let me talk. No, because if we doing that, we got nothing to talk about. If we gonna say everything hold on, alive. let me hold on, let me let me talk. Alive, to you. We don't even need to have a conversation. Oh, bro. bro, can I talk? Can I okay, can I talk, bro? Look, this, this y'all gotta understand. This he's around my age, bro. Th look, you need a, a pencil and a piece of paper, and you need to backtrack who you descend from, and you need to talk to the old folks. That are alive, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, you don't All know what you're old, talking you can't about. Word him, you can't go Man, by word No, 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 no. Listen, 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 bro. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. listen, bro. listen, listen, listen. Because if you try to build a tree, listen, they have databases that have your family records. I need you to listen to me because I'm proud. I'm first off, I'm not your enemy, bro. I'm proud that you, you, you listen, 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 bro. No, listen, listen, because you you say you you from the '90s. So look, I'm. It's amazing you even made it this far all the way over here. So I'm telling you, your family records they have a database. So for you to understand what we're talking about, bro, you need to actually care about who your people are. You don't need to worry about what history is is, is saying because once you figure out how to build a tree, and then you understand that they have. Family, they they have databases. You will be able to understand who is telling the truth about history and who isn't. That's what you need to understand, bro. We we trying to help you, can but can you I, have uh, to care about the only. Can I? Can I? Can I, can I oh, real quick, hey, yeah, real quick said, though. You, you said, "Hey, hey, I, 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 hold on, Mike." Thank you. Yeah, y'all hear me? Yeah. Hey, look, bro. Any, anytime, anytime someone brings up the year, this year fifteen six, because in 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 this modern day and time, fifteen twenty six is being tightly associated with foundation of Black Americans. Bro, I believe he's he, he's probably from this this school of thought, this foundation of Black American school of thought, because he's real. He's real hard pressed on this 1526 narrative. That's just what came to my head, but yeah, go ahead. So you said that uh, the conquistadors brought black people over here. What was it to Georgia? Is that what you said? Yeah, they was exploring the Caribbean. And, and if they, they, came up, they came up the side, they, they was in Georgia. Okay. You look, these these, these, so, these people, these black Africans that was in Georgia, are the same people that would that would eventually go down to Florida. Okay, so they were brought here. So where did they come from? As slaves, Africa. What from part? What the documents say. Where Which at country? Now y'all saying y'all saying that this no, this ain't true. That's why I'm asking. Because What's you were legend? Asking, Hold on. Up here Hold on. Hold on. Know. Hold on. Uh, if we're gonna say this is a lie and stuff like that. I'm asking, what's the ground of proof? But like, I asked what, what, the, first, the burden of proof is on he who asserts. Hey, y'all, let me let's do it like this here since he want to come in here and chunk up that they can keep the door. Shit. Hey, what, what was the uh, um, hold on, like, hold on, hold on brother, hold on, making up this info hold on, brother. Oh, no, 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 listen to me, family, because first off, you, you got your dates incorrect, your timeline, Don't wrong. my date incorrect. Okay, so what year you say they got here? I what was the year? What year did the oh boy, Spanish had a first Carolina. settlement? I said 1526. 1526. Then, okay, that mission failed, brother. The 1520. Don't Listen, the 1526 mission failed, brother. 
Okay, the Spanish had eight missions, eight attempts okay, before they finally settled. And it South was Carolina, not it was Florida, not fifteen twenty six, brother. That's how we ended up fifteen twenty no, it was not. All right, because the Escamuco Indians was kicking you niggas ass in South Carolina. That's those are the, the real Eskimo people out black the, people. Yes, sir, they were. Who told they you they were that? black people? Now you're gonna have to prove that they not nigga. Now yo, now you talking about the 1526 mission. Hold on, brother. Because brother, they described them. Brother, these people described the Eskimoqua. They described who they were they and what color they people. were. They so I thought you people. knew what you was talking about. But they called them black Listen, people. Yeah, ain't nobody called nobody oh, black I, people big I, then back then. Fool ass nigga. Ain't nobody when nobody running yeah, around calling people black people back then. You niggas just start doing that shit after six after 69, the black power movement. Crazy ass little boy. Now let me show you something. Why you talking about some black people, nigga? Was the Spaniards that came over here were they black? Were the Spaniards that you the conquistadors were they black, brother? No, it was not. Okay, right here. Meet Juan Garrido, y'all. Okay, 16th century conquistador of African, Afro, Hispanic, American descent. Referred to as who? Right here on the screen, y'all. As black conquistadors with the S. So hold on, my nigga. Because oh, you, you come in here. Right. First off, your bars ain't together. No, because the 1526 ain't. mission failed. They didn't settle the 1565, nigga. That's St. Augustine. That's the first settlement, nigga, which was Tamuqua Indians down there, and they were black people. Again, if you knew what you was where talking about, you sit there with this. this. Come on, brother. Well, who the fuck is this? Indian well, who is the black conquistadors, brother? Are you just assuming that these dark people were black people, brother. Here go to here, here go right here. It's it's in your face. It's on the screen, brother. I'm, I don't have to assume a motherfucking thing. No, you said the Native Americans that was down, nigga. They was people. niggas too. Okay, hold on. We'll just go get a picture of them. Hold on. I'll be back, nigga. Y'all finish handling this. this, this, this right? Yeah, why are you doing that talk? Hey, and then to, to, to add on to... to add what on part to of that? South Carolina your people? Oh, so, like, like I said, you could literally Google. I have, I'm have. i looking at a list. But again, I can't even tell y'all. Google, what? We you telling tell you get your world. trees. Hold on, hold on. Y'all saying, oh, you can't go by history. You can't go by dates. You can't go by... Yo, nigga, I'm we ain't you. say that, nigga, because oh, no, I said your timeline you off. So look, so look, Top Cash just showed that, right? I could say that's a whole lie. I could you be can't. Like, oh, no, crazy. you can't. I you be, can't. I, yes, I can, because y'all You can say I, what you want to say. Put some bars up. Exactly. So w- that's what I'm saying. Like, what are we doing here? Like, Source up, just, nigga. We don't like it, so it's... We doing scholarship, so source up. Every, every, everything is irrelevant. It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. Everything's fake then. If we we doing, that, we doing, we doing scholarship, nigga. So torch up. When did oh, bro? Top cat, top cat. When you the what you mean? Hold on, bro. Cause, cause you, you, hold on. Cause you gonna make me tear your ass up like I did last time. I'm trying, I'm trying not. But you sound very. Listen, you sound very indoctrinated, ignorant. You sound very ignorant. That's how mad you are. Yeah, I think the new doctrine is. Bro, I'm not from a block. I'm not from a set. I'm not from a game, bro. I'm gonna tell you. One mic. One mic. You talking about information? Bro, nigga, the information is care about who you are, bro. Care about your grandmother and your grandmother's grandmother, bro. Hey, top cats, when black people got these, bro, stop calling yeah, my yeah, right nigga. Yeah, black, man. Right, listen, nigga, black people always was here. Nigga, go look up the Karanka with Indians, <laughs> nigga. Go look, go look up the Karanka with Indians. Go look up, nigga. Let me tell you something, nigga. The Mayans was in Texas, right nigga. Go look up the Mayans in San Antonio, Texas, nigga. The my nigga, go look up the Karanka with Indians, nigga. The other day, that's what you go do. Go look up the Caddo Confederacies, nigga. The Karanka with Confederacies, nigga. Go look it up, nigga. Go look it up. Man, what the hell is you talking about, nigga? With no Native Americans down here. Y'all said it wasn't no Indians in the South. Nigga, we ain't told. Why would we say ain't no Indians from the South? We we all from the South. What the hell is wrong with you, boy? Man, what the fuck would we say that from, nigga? This kid delusional. No, y'all delusional. Hey, I watched yeah. the live back. They said, Why you out of there? there? Hold on. Bro, you stopped us at South, South Carolina. Man. What happened in there? You, you, you stopped at South Carolina. Then, just a couple of years. He back. doesn't know. 
He doesn't know. This this brother this brother has not looked himself in the mirror and questioned who he was, question everything that he knows. He is a fucking look. All he know is that he descend from a fucking bitch. That's all he know. That is all he knows. You said that the other day, right? That is all he knows. You sit up on the panel, boy. You already strung up on the tree, nigga. You dead already, bro. And we done already took a selfie, bro. Right. Hold on. Look, look, look. You are look, dead already, bro. Look, 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 panel. Let's make sense of this, right? This same guy that said, I just, he just said, oh, I said, I, I just said from, from a bitch, right? So, y'all basically saying that, oh, we were already here. Oh, we, we been here. We the ones that been here, right? So, who was the bitches that let these people take our country? Brother, brother, we don't do pan African rhetoric around here. So we source okay, up. Okay, that's cool. So we source up around here, that, brother. And um, so hold on, hold on, brother, 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 brother. You steady trying to find? Hold on, hold on. Who right? said somebody took a country, bro? Oh, that's okay. you, pan Africans talking crazy. Why y'all don't own that's anything? Y'all, y'all pan African leaders is is. Listen, Why brother, your pan African leader, your pan African leaders are. We make it make sense. Your pan African oh, leaders so have always been governors right, and, cool. and politicians in this that country, nigga. So what that ain't true, nigga. Richard Allen and, and Absalom Jones are founding fathers. Okay, mm -hmm. now let me show you something. Here go your first contact tribes over here. They go your kings from um uh, Spain right here. He got one Garrido now. Now, right here, nigga. He go your uh first contact. Okay, nigga. This the Tamuqua Indians, nigga. Forgotten sacrifice, Native American involvement in construction. Of all, so who said, who mentioned the Mayans? You mentioned the Mayans. Now, hold on. Here go, now, right here, here go the people. You know the Mayans wasn't black, right? Brother, okay, we'll figure that out right after this. And so right here, nigga, when you come over here, um, here go to, uh, this is what the Indians look like down here, who they said they, they found. Here go the Indians right here, the Florida to Mugwin Indian. All right? So, so nigga, um, and right here, what it said, uh, one such that works in famous more emerald cluster in the Green Vault Museum. The statuette is was actually what based on images of indigenous Americans. OK, this is a, a, a indigenous American right here, bro. I want you, bro. You're going to have to uh, pull some sources up. OK, you talking about these niggas went black down there. This who the Spanish met when they first got down there, bro. These are the Florida Indians right here. So, and nigga, they even a, 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 a Mayan stock, but yo dumb ass talking about ain't no black Mayans, nigga, the Mayans went black. Then what yeah. color that was he? Hey, the, the nigga crazy because too, when you think about it, he don't even know about Charles V, right? Carlos I of Spain and, and the charter that he gave uh, Navarre. This 1526 to even come to the Gulf Coast. You know what I'm saying? So, a nigga had to give him the motherfucking yeah, charter. Yeah, That's why I told the nigga the other day, I don't give a yeah, fuck about them. He started telling me about the people who came. He said, nigga, fuck the people, nigga. I'm talking about the king. Yeah, then I'm going yeah. to go get the big nigga. Yeah, so he talking about slavery in Georgia in 1526. Man, you're, you're, what top telling you, your, your timeline is off, bro. Your dates is off. Y'all can hear me? And, and then the yeah, we hear your dumb man. With, and then the thing you fuck Watch with Georgia mouth. is that you gotta we hear your dumb ass. Georgia, man. Watch your mouth. All right, so here go the Mayans in, uh, right here, brother. You say they not black. This so was all this is the primary. Damn, they're the same people. They were brother. Black. This is a primary dark. right here. These they are primaries. They were dark. This is what you black. call primary, they brother. Dark, these are the people. Black. What Hold on. These are the people depicting black. themselves. Okay, so what dark people have dreadlocks then, bro? What other dark people got dreadlocks? All right, these people what? clearly have dreadlocks. So All you gotta do oh, is Google dreadlocks. You can see Mexico. Okay, so who, so what African tribe got dreadlocks? Wait, you said what? What African tribe I have don't know dreadlocks? What you're asking me about you keep talking All right, about then, nigga. So what the hell is you? who else got dreadlocks? People in the Caribbean and off the coast of southern Southern okay. America. All right, then, nigga. This that the don't same mean people. Dark don't mean <laughs> black though. <laughs> These are the He's same to people. Make it seem like dark mean black. You nigga, we ain't got to use dark old, or black. Old, nigga, we could just say warrior. the Mayans. We could just black say the Mayans. We can say the Aztec. We can say the Tamuquins. We can say the Eskimoquins. We can say we can we can just talk about the Kusa. We can we ain't gotta say black or none of that other shit that you pan African niggas, you R B G G ass niggas gotta say. 
That's the doctrine that y'all pan African teachers brought y'all that black shit and that word, nigga. We ain't gotta say that. But he go to people depicting themselves right, right here. Stop, Cass, can I ask you, a you ask Nola question? Can I ask you one simple question? Nah, nigga, don't talk to me. Show a source, yeah. nigga. Stop asking Why all can't these ask questions. You a question? What's up with it, Mayhem? Turn up one time. What's up with it, Chief? What's good? What up? What up? Yeah. Peace to the family. Oh, my boy, see Moses back. We ain't get to finish our build the other day. I was putting hands on your man, brothers. Shut up, up, man. Shut up, man. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Shot, no, shot. Straight in Dark on me, black. What does black mean? Hey, where your people from from South Carolina? Straightening them niggas out the other day. I ain't get a chance to holler at you. Shot, I got people from South Carolina, bro. What's up, though, Yeah, there's a link in the chat if you could click on it. I got a question for you, though. If dark don't mean black, what black mean? You said what black mean? Yeah. In the context, <laughs> in the, in the context of what crayons, people, what you said, you, said, you already said it. Three argument. You already was the one that said dark don't mean black. So whatever context. The reason why saying I'm saying that is because are, are the people in India, the country of India, are they black people? They dark. They dark as hell. Are they black? All right, so whatever context, whatever context, whatever context. Are they, oh no, wanna... see Moses. Answer that question. Are we considering Indians in India black? They dark. Too. I asked are you they a black? question. Why are you gonna ask me a question without answering it? I'm just. Uh, I am answering your question. With a question, though, when I when we talking, because here's the thing: the other day, right, when I kept saying black people, when I first came on the panel, shrugs and them kept saying, "Oh, we not black, we not black," right? You go and hold on. Let me talk. I asked you a conversation. Oh my god, God. let me talk. I'm about to show you how they contradicted themselves. I kept saying, "Yo, there was no black people." Hold on, Moses. I kept saying there was no black people up here. I kept saying that. Shrugs and them kept saying, "Yo, we not black." We not black. Then when Top Cats goes to use a, a Native American tribe of, of a, oh, the black warrior, the black warrior. Th- if you read about that black warrior, he's talking warrior, about being melanated. See Moses. He's talking that's about Lord. being melanated. See Moses, let me talk. I'm about to show you how they, you, you see how they don't, they don't want to let me talk. See Moses, see Moses, look. The word black see Moses, the I was using use black, black so you know what type of people I'm talking about. They well, want to use it when it's when it's convenient for them. Black. He tried to equate black to this to this to this warrior, this Native American warrior that nobody ever said was black. All they said he was dark. But you know what he did? He took dark and said, "Yo, he black." But earlier in the conversation, they kept what saying, "We're not black." We can't bro, you that. Oh, not black. bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You, you know, you just everybody don't need to, to breed, and and every uh, offspring don't survive. You know, uh, some niggas, just niggas need be to having this big choosy logic. Moses, I still want to know what, what black means to you. If dark is not black skin, hold on. When I say when I say mean? when I say black people, I'm talking about the people on this panel. We the people that's trying to figure this out. These other people ain't having no conversation no, like this. No, you are trying, trying to figure it out. We. No, you are Moses, trying to figure it Moses. out. You can hear me, Moses? Yeah, we can hear you. When I say black, I'm talking about for conversation's sake, so we know, you know, you got black people, white people, all white people linked the same. They from different places, right? But when I'm talking about black people, I'm talking, you got different black people. You got Jamaicans, you got Trinidadians, you got a bunch of Haitians. Pick a, it's the when I say black, I'm talking about black. Wait, yeah, I'm glad again? you brought up Jamaica. Yeah, I got some shit for Hold Garfield, on, Moses, boys. So all the people you just named are black. American. Yes, Haitians are black. But what I'm talking about in this context of this conversation, we talking about black Americans here. Not nobody that has recent family that came from Haiti, Jamaica, none of that. We talking about mm-hmm. black so people not. here. So Haitians is black, but now they're not black. I didn't well, never say you that. Were you listening to what I just said? And, and or you, you just trying to misquote black. me? Listen to what I'm saying, because I can hear myself. He is, I'm spinning he, he is, he is, he is, he is, no. Y'all hey, Moses, he is, he is doing it. Hey, All he knows is that shrugs. I hear you, Jay. I'm trying to understand where this dude's coming from. I, I'm, you can't, you can't, you can't. Listen, it, it, if it, niggas it, like Dave shut the fuck up, you would be. Stop cutting my wisdom, bitch. You stop cutting my wisdom while I'm talking. Mic. You don't know yeah, shit, man. bro. You still you talking about anyway, the word black, my man. Hey, hold on. You Moses. don't know. Hold, anything, on. Bro. hold up, James. Hold up, bro. Hold on. Hold on, James. Hold on, bro. We one mic, bro. We got a big audience, man. We're doing scholarship, so let's let's let, let's kind of dampen down the emotions, bro. Let's stick to the scholarship. All right. So you know, go ahead, man. Go ahead, Moses. 
It's on you, bro. I'm I'm still in the same boat of trying to ask you a question of what black means to you. So we understand in the context when you use it, what do you mean? One, I'm talking I just told one, you I'm talking sentence, about the average the I'm talking about and the Haitians average, in the black the average, the average black out. American that does not have no extra on them cuz I have friends that came over that that's from Haiti from I grew up with a lot of Jamaicans, Haitians, pick a place. They don't have the same story as us. They don't have the same oh my family came from South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. They don't have that same story as us. But they still black. All I'm saying is I'm when we having this conversation Y'all know who I'm talking about. You could play games and act like, oh, yeah, like Shrug said, oh, we not, but you, you know who I'm talking about. Now, when I say that, we can't intellectually and, 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 and being specific, we can't say everybody that's dark is black because that's why, that's why I just asked you, are the people in India, the country, like India, are they black? Y'all going to say no. So... Top cats up here trying to name all these groups. Oh, yeah, they dark. Oh, yeah, they dark, so they black. You cannot do that. You can't do that. That's what he doing. Oh, they dark. Oh, they, oh these people describe them as being dark, so they so black. You, you can't do cats. that. So you well, I think what Top Cats does is try to, to show you how the, the pop got mixed. No, he's just equating, yeah, those, oh, they said they was dark, they was black people, so yeah, there go us, we was here, ain't nobody that's stupid. That's how the pot doing. got mixed, that's how the pot got mixed, and that's how we- Hey, y'all, hold on, time out, y'all, right quick. Hey, peace to everybody in the building, hey, man, shout out to the homie Juvie, man, the homie Big Uni, man, repping that Mobile, Alabama, man, uh, and shout out to Peaceful Ruler, uh, for the cash apps, uh, appreciate that love in the cash app, y'all. All right, uh, y'all turn up, man. Y'all gonna get it pop. Hey, do we have anybody out there, uh, in in the chat that would like to join the panel? Do we have anybody out there who feel like this American Indian Aboriginal information is fake? It's a doctrine. If you're a Pan African, if we have anybody from Garfield Channel out there who want to come represent, uh, any of y'all, man, feel free to come up here. You would be giving a fair shot, bro. So uh, the link is in the chat, man. Come pull up, man, to get your ass up. I mean, come pull up and come build with us, man. Come chop it up. All right, y'all turn up. Shot, hit that link in the chat that I just put in the private chat. That might help you out a little bit. Post it again, Moses, because I had, I went off and came back on. Hey, uh, hey, beyond everything, Spider Man, are you a pan African brother? Okay, all right, the panel locked up. You got lucky, boy. If you was a pan African boy, you got lucky. The panel locked up. All right, y'all turn up. What's up with it, Shaq? Chief and Chief in the building. We got Zab, Zab, Zab. You, you, you came off the mic, yeah, Zab. Yeah, I was gonna say I got some shit for Garfield, man. Cause like I've been looking into a lot of Jamaican. Hey, your mic, very, your mic, real low, family. Your mic, no, real I'm low. Saying, I got some. You can hear me better. Nah, man. I'm trying to see how they be. Okay, say so edit, Mike. Let me see if I can turn you up. Ah, right, yes, yeah, not even let me. But uh, can you hear me. All right, go ahead. We can hear you. All right. What I was saying is. I got some shit for Garfield because I've been looking into a lot of the Arawak Jamaican history. And I remember I was on a panel with him and he kept saying that he got all this African shit in him. So I found some shit where they took some Jamaicans and he actually sent them back to Africa in that same location that he's saying that his DNA is showing. Like the British government took some Jamaicans because they were trying to take over Jamaica and they sent them to Africa. And that's facts. I got the records. I can't if I was if I was on my laptop, I would show you. But that's some crazy shit right there. Yeah, they 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 they've been doing that. That ain't nothing like I mean that's that's like Marcus Garvey and shit. They they've been they been did that since the very beginning. Yeah, that's over, crazy. Um, they snatch the niggas up in America, in the Americas, and sending them to Africa. Like, what the yeah, fuck is going on? To that point, 
Yeah, to that part. The, uh, what year was the this? Western what, what year was this? If you mind me, I got I, I'm, I'm, hey, hold on, y'all. Hey, hey, shout out to the homie Seven Goy. Shout out to Seven Goy in the cash. It, it was around the time of Shout out to the homie New Fat Boy. Because this and it wasn't. And in Jamaica, they were classifying them as. Come on, bro. I know y'all hear me, bro. I'm trying to do a. Uh, uh, su- a support shout out, bro. Somebody yeah, supported bro. the channel, bro. Y'all niggas quit over talking to me, especially if your ass ain't supported the channel. I'm trying to give a shout out to the people who supported. Shout out to Seven Go and Goddamn Me for support, and shout out to the homie New Fat Boy Fitness for the love and the cash up. All right, y'all turn up. All right, so here's the thing, though. Especially in Jamaica, the father was considered the slave master, and his children was considered slaves. That's how they were classifying it. So you got all these niggas thinking that their great 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 granddaddy was a white man, when it turns out their great great grandfather was a black man, and that's in the records. Yeah, either, yeah peace, peace. Peace. So this whole oh, history man. shit got me bugged out, yo. This whole shit is like, yo, what the fuck is really going on? You got all these niggas that own plantations, and they saying that those is Europeans. When you really look at it, that's a black. Irishman or a black Jamaican Arawak and then the British was actually sending some niggas who migrated over to Britain they were sending them over to Africa um peace to the panel can I let me can I interject some into this conversation and ask you guys get you guys opinion on it um is it true that Jamaica was a was 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 a originally a prison to hold Certain slaves and stuff. Yes, yes. The, any any okay. niggas in America that was unruly, they would send them to work in the fields in Jamaica, and it was also a pirate coast. So a lot of the Moors, um, you know about Blackbeard, and where he well, well it, it was called Pirates Bay at one point. So you had all of the Moors, all of the pirates that was ramshackling, running around all over the ocean, fucking shit up. Hey, no, nah, that's not true, bro. Jamaica wasn't no prison or no shit like that, bro. No, but they the, had prisoners the down there, though, right? Bro, the, the, the no, Spanish. they did have prisoners. They had, they had a couple no, prisoners. No, no, they was hustling in Jamaica, bro. Mm-hmm. You gotta understand. But I'm saying the, they had prisoners. Okay, so though. who brought the who brought the prisoners to Jamaica? What European nation would this be? Well, I guess it would be the British. No, no European brought them there. No European brought them there. So it, who, it, like, did, who, who, who made Jamaica a prison? Because it's That's indigenous people from Jamaica who was living there. That's what I'm saying. It was indigenous people there. But they were... So who made it a prison, though? Might have been one of the pirates. If, if no, I'm I saying who... who my, one of what pirates? An indigenous pirate or, or what, what type of pirate? Well, Jamaica was a pirate's coast. So if they did have prisoners there, it probably would have been the if British. If they did have them there, what... Who sent prison? Who made it into a prison? Because it was, 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 the white who would be the prisoner? The Irish. Okay, so let me do it like this here, bro. When the British started sending people out, it was 1627. Before they got to Jamaica, they were in Barbados. So once they started fucking with the sugar, uh, with the uh the Jews out of Brazil, they they left Barbados and built the colony in Jamaica. This never was so, a hold on, slow down, top cat. Was a refuge because slow a down, lot so of the high orc and the elite from the Scots and the Irish that left, they came to Jamaica. The largest plantation owners mm-hmm. in Jamaica were Irish. What these people, these Scottish Irish. It but wasn't a lot of those Scottish Irish 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 that come to even because well, hold on, the, back up for a minute, slow down because I'm trying to walk with you. Um, there so were a lot of saying, black Irish men too. You gotta, you gotta hold on, brother. That. The brother <clears throat> I'm just I'm just trying to follow along with what you were saying before I said where you walked it down. And when you, and there was indigenous, so you saying that was indigenous people there before they so when no when no people coming off no you know coming from the the uh, eastern part of the world, bringing people over to this new world, whatever. 
didn't drop the people off in Jamaica, like the, the people that were sick, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, well, the arrow went down, nobody was dropping black. them off there. Listen, man, okay, it, all right. The, no, the, I'm the asking because one of my one of my behavior black. friends told me that story, so they could be wrong. I'm just going off yeah, what they no, told they, me. That's that some Jamaica was nothing. Pan Africa okay, told right. us that right. Jamaica right. was an island and all the bad the the the, the slaves who refused to uh to right, work right. and I, they were sent out of them to Jamaica and it became no, nah, that's not what listen right. man. People found refuge in Jamaica. Jamaica's second most popular culture is Irish. That's why they feel in Irie. The first right. is the is the indigenous people of Jamaica who home it is. The Irish them went there. They listen. They will. They found refuge in 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 um Jamaica. It wasn't a prison. The people who were sent was prison came from the Americas. Came from North America colonies. So you, when you had the uh um uh, the wars where they were being, whether yeah. it be down in the south okay. coming out of Louisiana when the Chickasaw and them was. Was yeah. taking the slaves through Charleston, whether it be the uh 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 the, the, the fights that happened with the Dutch West Indies Company, they were sending now these were the rebel warrior Indians, I mean the warrior slaves that would be sent to these islands as prisoners. So yeah. those would actually be the American Indian story. That's the on the on the on the English side, those people found refuge there. Now they were sent there as indentured servants, they also was prisoners of war. Those who lost the civil wars in Europe, they were sent to Barbados first. I got the record. I sh it, it tell you how much the Scottish they paid for Scots, how much they paid for Irish. They had the boats, the manifest of the people who names were coming on there, what wars they fought in, they was the what war they were caught in, where they were held in prison at until they made their way to the island, whether it been Barbados or Jamaica, which extended to South Carolina. It never the play the prisoners or or the people who were being sitting there were being rebellious or were the people that was coming out the uh, North American colonies. So we got to highlight the American Indian Aboriginal present. Those are the people that talk about. It's not an African story. Why? Because when did they need have a need for African slaves in Jamaica? Never. Never. If we gonna go by their story, when would that 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 need come? And by That's that time, you already have Scots, you already have uh, Irish, you already have uh, indigenous people being sent out to the West Indies and these and these uh, these okay. islands. So, where another, another question that I remember not, West not Indian to with, with the Indian, that. like West Indian, because they were all are Indian. we saying that the Irish are originally the dark melanated people? No, they still a lot of those the black no, the, Highlanders. The Irish are the Irish are, are the dark melanated people. Okay, yeah, okay slow, down, slow down, down, slow down, because I'm walking with you. The Portuguese, are they considered the dark? Yes, sir. The, the Portuguese, Portuguese are the black the and, the Portuguese and the Romans and the Spanish. Are they considered the rich? Are they original? The dark color will be called yes, black sir. Folks. Portuguese, the uh, Portuguese, thank you, sir. Portuguese were Which? originally uh, melanated people. Another way we can find that because the king line of the Portugal goes down to Queen Charlotte. That's who she come from. The queen and, and the reason why I asked that top of, the, of, of the Portuguese kings, Queen Charlotte. The reason that's why the I line that that, she comes from. The reason why I asked you that because you was y'all was having a great discussion about when old boy was talking about the conquistadors coming over and 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 some of our minds when we talk about these people bringing other people from other parts that is we only in our minds not child probably but just regular regular people thinking that it's the pale face that's doing this. And we have to clarify this. They, they, they don't understand what genealogy you know what I mean? is. Hold on, let that's him why they right. Right. Uh, uh, That's why it's important. Out. Right there, you go. That's all I'm. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> now right. finish so, getting it out, brother. Yeah, I was. I was just saying that that some of us in our minds start if we don't do no research and think. So when even when you read these books and these stories and see these documentaries, you got to try to place yourself there and and be logical. You know what I'm saying? And say, okay, but hold on. Are we in, in in the mind thought thinking that everybody was a pale face that's doing these things? Because when we often see these documentaries and we see these authors and stuff, they always predict, uh, uh, per, uh, uh, predict a pale face behind some of these names. These indigenous well, that's pan Africanism. That's okay, that's cool. that was the. I'm walking with you. I'm with y'all. Yeah, that, with that's pan Africanism. I say this here too because I think you are you a pan African brother, Shaq? No, sir. I just found out that my um people, well, I'm, 
I'm, a, I'm originally from I'm Mississippian, baby. Born and raised in Mississippi. What, what ideology uh, you come from, come from, though? No, I'm coming from the ideology that we 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 uh we're Americans. We've been here. We we've been uh, indigenous. You're to this right? landmass. That we indigenous to this landmass because I asked okay, my father. Okay, no problem. So I, I yeah. talked this two years ago, man. Mm-hmm. And see, this is one of the things, bro, about the Aboriginal community, bro, and any community. Because Shaq, I think you from the Aboriginal community, right? No, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm following everybody. I'm trying to. I'm trying but I'm to saying you be together, around man, the so. Aboriginal community, like. No, I'll be around. I start off around here with y'all, man. And like, just okay, the, okay, the bushes, all right, man, all checking right. y'all out. No problem. Then I went, so, then I went over there to see what they here, got, bro. what they got this going on. I feel like, you know what I mean? That's why I feel like we have to start bringing the information together, bro. Because it's a lot of shit that we teach, man, that the game just now keep catching up to. And like, we taught this shit two years ago and never ready to move on to some new shit, but we really need to get an understanding on the, the old shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Fact. So, Nah, man, it ain't no sense for us to be claiming or uh, representing these things, bro. And we don't all have this. Why well, we got to get together and work to, 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 so everybody ain't saying different things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because when them niggas be running over there to the golf in them channel, everybody saying something different. You know what I'm saying? And it look crazy. You know what I'm saying? But listen, um, it ain't your fault, brother Shaq, because I blame it on pan Africanism. And this is why we continue to say that these. That it ain't no white man who taught us this shit. It was niggas. And it came in the form of Afrocentric or Pan-Africanism or black history. This is what's been giving us this indoctrination. They painted the white man into the story and made him the enemy. And that's why we don't know a lot of these true facts about history. That's been my whole game about Pan-Africanism. And so, yeah, we, we've been taught that all the Europeans were white and all of the and we find out during the time of colonization, every European king was black. We find out mm. that, that it's more black slave masters, that, that, that all of these, these racist states and all of this here was really being ran by black slave masters. Black founding fathers, black mm. presidents, black politicians, all through this country history. And so, <laughs> yeah, man, we've been painted a picture that these people were white by Pan-African. Now, to commit a crime like that against your own people, nigga, that is, no, nah, nigga, that is something that can't go unnoticed. We can't sweep that well, under the rug like it never happened. So when Dr. Cobb and James Smalls and these other Pan-African OGs come out here and want to say, okay, well, we indigenous, but we Africans came, we're not trying to hear nothing. See, y'all have officially made yourself the enemy of us because we've been indoctrinated by y'all. Y'all broke our families up. Y'all cut us away from our roots and who are indigenous people in time. Y'all help take away our story when we could have been focusing in and, 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 and keeping all of that, uh, that history. I mean, this shit been going on uh, since the 30s, the 40s, the 50s. Y'all have been working on p- pulling us away. And then when the 60s came, the black power, the 60s on down, they did the most damage by taking us away from our roots. Because at that time, we still had elders who had been born in the 1800s, who, 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 who mothers and grandmothers have actually had the story intact. And see, that's why these niggas were so crucial, them two, two on the, on the um, front of the picture, being in Dr. Clark. Because y'all took us from the root. Y'all took us from the root. And we got y'all motherfucking ass. And I smash Pan-Africans every chance I get. I drag me a Pan-African. Every day I get up is a good day to slay a pan, to scalp a Pan-African. Blow over, man. <laughs> okay, let me, ask, let me ask one more thing or just add something to that because I've been, like, off of what y'all been saying about the genealogy, I've been trying to go back and do mine, and I asked some of the oral you know, traditions from my father, which is never never left the move out of uh, Mississippi. All his family members on this side been there. And uh, I just found out that he said his mother, which would have been my grandmother, she died. She passed away in 2020 on a 90. Wow, well, she would. She turned 90, 91. You know, and all that COVID shit hit. So I just found out and asked him. I said, "Well, hey man, what what tribe you came from, dog? What tribe was your mom?" Man, he said Creole. And then I asked his sister. She's up in Detroit. She said that her mom was. I think she said Creole and Cherokee. Then I asked another friend of mine that's 92. She live up in. Uh, Massachusetts, but she came from out of Alabama. 
And some of my older friends is 80 and 90. I said, well, what, what Indian, what, what tribe are you from? She said, Cherokee. I said, well, damn. But she's, but, but one of them, the 90 year old, still, she still go by the, the story out the, the Bible that we all came from Egypt and we, you know, we enslaved for four, 400 years and stuff, but they still, you know, talk about the Cherokee, talk about certain Indian, Indian, um, you know, heritage that they have. So there is a misdirection that's going on that's being pushed. And I'm glad you guys are, you know, picking the pieces apart, man. And people are listening and people are, are, you know, gravitating to the energy, man. So I say salute to you guys on the panel. Y'all doing an excellent job, man. Hey, peace and power, man. Peace and power. Shout out to the homie uh Big Chief, man. Shout out BCU, man. Shout out to my brothers on the panel and shout out to the chat. And, and peace, the peace. Salute, Chief Chief. Man, salute, salute, my brother. You know it's nothing but love, man. But I, one of my questions I had, bro, is these niggas don't never bring no sources for nothing. It's all regurgitated or something. That if you research this and you learn this, where the sources? It seems like BCU chief, when niggas is asking them questions, that he pulling the sources. But anybody that he goes against that's in the ring with him, nobody else pulls sources, bro. And even BCU on the panel be dropping sources in the chat. So I, I don't understand, man. If we talking scholarship, we talking sources. So y'all just get, you 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 say what you say, then you get emotional about it. Like that's your source that's going to back it. You know, where's your sources, bro? In this game of boxing, when we talking points, setups, rounds, who won, Y'all niggas ain't never bringing no sources. So the next thing that you say, whoever that was just talking about, not cuz who was talking about his family, but that was talking about 15, 26. And when when you say that, and no, no disrespect, but when you say that, you got to have something to back it. But then the person that you're saying that to got something to back it and y'all just want to dismiss it. But you can't, like, he's pulling primary sources on shit. So. All right, that's all I'm saying, man. I, I'm I'm a mute up. I'll be right here, you know. But uh, where y'all sources at, nigga? God damn. Yeah, straight up bars. All right, but uh, I wanted to uh, kind of go back to uh, the point with the Ivory and the Jamaican. Uh, anybody ever anybody familiar with the Irish and the Hill of Tara, uh, and that monument out there, which is it's it's a mound. Anybody ever heard of that? I ain't heard of that one, big brother. Okay, look up the Hill of Tara. So the next question to that then is this is in, this is in Western Ireland, right? So with that, we talking about 600. What they get a date on is from 600 BC to 400 AD. So I need to find out what African culture or what African natures have been known to build mounds and why are we seeing mound structures? And if you look at it, it's in a circle. It's, it, it looks like a figure eight, right? It looks like the number eight, but it's a mound, right? So it's located in it's located in Ireland. It's been there, like I said, since uh 600 BC. But uh the, the uh geographical name is the Hill of Tara. So what African culture have been known to build mounds? And if so, then who are those people and who are, how did they get to Ireland? Because we see mounds in America. Show me, I want where are the mound builders in Africa? So if all people came from Africa and migrated out. Where did they how where did they begin a mound building culture? Okay. Yep. So let's let let's start from there. You can have a pyramids, nigga, but before you had a pyramid, let's just say hypothetically, okay, before you did that, where are the mound builders in Ireland in 600 BC? Ooh -wee. Go look up the hill of Tara. Go research that. And I want any African and show me and show me and, and show the people or get the people. An, an African civilization that were known for building mounds. I don't give a fuck you go from South Africa, East Africa, go around that whole motherfucker all the way down to the interior, the subs, all through Sub-Saharan, all the way down, you know, from where the Nile Valley, all the way down. Show me what mound building culture of Africans that left out of Africa and made their way to Ireland to build mounds. And I'll wait on that. I'll yield the flow on that, man. This is called a hill of Tara. Look it up. So figure eight. Look like a snake. Ain't nobody, no African got no response for that, man. We gonna let that 
let that simmer, man. Go, go ahead. Yeah, that's that's heavy. <laughs> now, one thing, my nigga James, man, be passionate, and I understand why. Because it's frustrating, man. Y'all niggas get on here and, you know, talk all this doctrine and all that type shit, bro. But the one thing that the agriculture that my nigga brought to the game is, bro, I, I would think more people would be excited to, to say, oh, shit, let me look up my genealogy and see what really went on. Because all you niggas is talking about, oh, the slave trade. But then when he asks you what year, you don't know. You don't know who. You ain't get past your great grandpa or even tried to. So where do y'all have a foot to stand on, bro? All I this told them the other day slavery started in America in the 1400s. Right, 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 right. But for the, for the most part, the people that, for the most part. So for the most part, you know, niggas will say they don't know what slave ship they came on. How they would they, they know, know, bro? How would no, I'm, they I'm know? not talking. I'm not listen, bro. If it if it don't apply, let it fly. I'm just trying to get this shit out. That's real a quick. bad question, y'all. Keep don't, I'm, I'm, what? No, no, no. Answer the question that my man just asked you. If you if you want to answer that, I'm making a statement. I'm just saying that all the documents is here. We're past the time of well, I don't know. Or yeah, we all just came on the slate, nigga. When, when, where, and how, bro? Where's your documents? What is your genealogy? You know what I'm saying? And that's just not to you. I'm talking to the overall, you know, Pan-Africanists and, and the, the Hebrews or whoever that say that they came on ships and that the Mafa, I heard a nigga talk about the Mafa or some shit, like, all of this shit is recently brought up. But when it comes down to your own, own story, not his story, what's your story? Like, we can, we, we, can, we can trace everything back. There's documentations for all this shit, whatever European that you're talking about, or even Indian, American Indian shit. So I... I but they no didn't sources, do, and then niggas they don't got no, no genealogy about about nothing. But when hold on, they didn't do about, individual documentation of these slaves that they were bringing. I'm telling you, they did because I no, can they find. Did not. Listen, they did. Hold on, they they we ain't got to yell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your name? Why wouldn't so, they? Though? They wasn't that's doing what I'm that saying. because they that's were bringing them over here as slaves. No, 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 no. Over here for like years. You can find. You can find this Listen, bro. You can find ship manifest. I found what ship that my people came on from the place that they came. You can find that and why they came exilement or or you know as a punishment for the P now this that that was his punishment to get sent over here. From, let's, 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 let's be fair. Energy. Let's be fair, Wait, fellas, guys. Say Wait, again. You said your family came from where? I got European lineage as well, brother. Okay. Yeah, we not we not ashamed of none of that shit, bro. We gonna keep it a bean. But my core, no, you keeping it my, a bean. These other guys ain't. Look, my core, no, my, you, you got to be around when they talk about genealogy. But look, my core is, is American. But the reason that I'm saying this is niggas ain't ashamed. You got to be able to trace your own story and you can tell what went on and what's going on. Now, he brought up a primary source for the, the way that the Indians looked when they came over here. Are you the one that said it wasn't no black people here before 18 or 15 something? Yep. And I brought up a source showing that they, there was no black people here. He's showing dark people. Source. That's why we had that dark conversation. He's right. So for, for conversation sake, conversation games, sake, bro. Let, let me ask you this, uh, Shai, for conversation sake, you just saying black meaning melanated people. No, I'm saying like us, like us. Cause like Indians, niggas, African-Americans yeah, so niggas. far. He's using, he's using these dark native Indians and saying that's no, us. That's no. whack. Right, That's but listen, this is what you gotta understand. But this how do you know how you know that? Oh, so you can't, man, you can't separate that because you don't have if, there's no you could literally, information about no, bro, you being listen, black when by, did by the, no DNA dirt, dude. Right. So when all, did the it's all a, when did the my bad thing, to cut man. you off, brother? Yeah. My bad, my bad. I let you I let nah, you, you good, let me drop this real quick. When it what the the point that niggas is making, bro, is to say that the first black people Look at the link I posted in the private chat. I'm gonna look at it. CNN? I'm gonna look at it. But saying that, see, this, this is what I mean. No, no I mean, the, I'm that, about to look at it right now. Sure. This this is is a give me a second. Give me a second. I'm about to land, and then y'all oh. got it. Hey, go ahead, go Hold on. Go ahead, Chief. Right. Go ahead. Go, go, call Chief. me. Call me. Go ahead. All right. So when you looking at the people that was over here prior to that, them first contact, first contact tribes, it it is the niggas that. Look like us, brother. And That's a lot of cat. people shit trace back to that. So, like you said, you said it's a lot of different type of black people. You know, you got different indigenous people from the Pacific coast, from Asia to, you know, so-called Africa to over here. 
right? So it was the, the original indigenous people of this land, right? Were the people that he showed, which a lot of us descend from that people, but you won't know if you don't do your genealogy, who, what, when, where, how. But to say that all black people came over here at one point in time is ridiculous because I didn't say that. So what what are you what are you saying about the fifteen twenty six? And I'm about to I'm gonna look at right, what's hold going. on hold on. Go ahead, my bad. Hey, hold on, y'all. Time out right quick, y'all. For y'all going to that. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, right quick for y'all going about go, one out, place. go all the way into that. Hey, Nagus, I thought you was gonna come jump on the panel, Nagus. I see you down there with a lot of chat scholarship. Come on up on the panel, goddamn. Oh, uh, let me see. Um, damn, we we kind of fool right now. Somebody trying to jump on. Oh, uh, we got we got another brother named Yannick down there. I wonder what he got to say. Uh, if it's Yannick, a Pan African, I I yield space for that man. Nah, nah, it's cool. You can um uh, keep building. Um, uh, but yeah, Nagus, I do want Nagus to come up though. Uh, Nagus, yeah. what's up, family? You told me you was gonna jump on. I saw your message down there. Say you was gonna jump on. Now they calling you a chat scholar. Oh, naked <laughs> the Congo chat scholar. Who jumped out? Hey, who jumped out of the panel? Shit. Um, oh. It's cool. James, oh. Moses, check that. Check that link in the. All right, Na- hey, Nagus. Hey, hey, Nagus. We got one more spot for you, family. We waiting on you. Come on with it. Do we have any other pan Africans in the building? Any dagger squad? Um, uh, I got me a few bodies out of dagger squad. Uh, what's that dude's name? He was over there moderating um one of the panels the other day with with my name in the title, and I'm like, bro, you a victim? All right, I'm finna go find it. I'm about to go find it. The- nah, it, it it ain't full now. Come on up, it ain't full. We got room. He talking about it's full. Nah, it, we got room, nigga. Ain't like somebody just let you. You VIP, somebody <laughs> gave stage your seat. Come on up here. Wait, you come next sit right you next to me. Next yeah, show, your chair right here by mine. Out, come on up. <laughs> we got just enough room. You yeah. just in luck. Yeah. Yannick, Yannick Dorsey. Uh, uh, I, I, I really want you to come up too, Yannick. I'm, you know, I might move myself out for you to come up, Yannick. Oh, uh, Yannick, come on with it. Y'all smell it? It's puss. Pussy. Uh, pussy. Uh, like pussy in this motherfucker. Pussy, on. pussy. I know I went tripping. Ooh, it smell like pussy up in here, man. Whole lot of Pan African pussy. Oh, All right, y'all yeah. keep the bill going. We'll see yeah. if a victim, <clears throat> I mean, we'll see if, if somebody will join the panel. No, I want to, I want to address, I want to ask the brother. This, this, this link you put in the back chat, though, brother. With the Creek Indians, brother. Please, brother, brother, brother. Is Mr. Waldo in the chat? Is the elder OG in the chat? Because, brother, this link you put up with the the Creeks, brother. Brother, don't do that, brother. Don't do that. Why are, why are black, black people? Black Creeks. Hold on. Let me why read. Are black black people Creeks expelled from tribe finally why? get their day in court. So who are the Black Creeks? Look at the picture. Not a Black Creek in the picture. This guy put up a link from December 1st, 2022. Three from CNN ago. saying that the Black Creeks have been expelled from the tribe, finally get their day in court 43 de- years later. Brother. Not a Black brother, Creek in what, the court. Is, is Mr. Waldo in, is Mr. Uh, is Mr. Waldo out there, man? I got because I I, I, I I need to let Mr. Waldo handle this one here. And this Sean, one here. This, this is, is what we're trying to is, do. We're trying to this show is, you. Like, you could, this is a damn shame. This I don't want a damn shame. I don't mean to cut you off, but I, this is the whole point of how we could just look at the headline look at the picture and read it and then just start to say, this is how we got here because people started lying to us and we just believed it on face value. But you got something in you got to say, there's something wrong here. That let me know that brother, you you got to get a little bit more up to par with, with what you're uh, saying. Uh, yeah. And so with your ass, people keep lying to your face. Don't let you know. Like, it's ahead, disrespectful. Okay. People keep lying to your face and then you're just going to Put it to somebody else, and you want us to accept, bro. It. What you looking at is people around a panel. Don't do that. Man, hey, I hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Time out, right quick, y'all. Time out, right quick. Let's go to the center of the ring. We're gonna do it like this here. 
beyond brother beyond uh uh everything uh welcome to the panel uh state your name and where you calling from family uh my name is uh cameron westbrook and i'm from uh i'm currently in san antonio texas but born in colorado okay uh so you're a cowboy i don't consider myself one it's just because like with the new journey that i'm on and stuff like that and i am trying to like find out the truth and stuff like that as well as like when you say the new journey you're on what journey would that be brother deconstructing from religion <laughs> what religion uh um have uh, uh took over your body christianity formally jesus huh? that, that motherfucking jesus okay uh is it the white boy or the, or the black jesus Mm, they believe Do you worship a white Jesus or a black Jesus, brother. I would say Jewish, but I don't. I don't worship. What color God. is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, brother, you so you've been you been worshiping somebody and you don't know what he look like. I mean, there is a thing they they said there is a thing in the book that says they can't have any images that represent this figure and. I just read but they that. also say in the book what color Jesus was, but I, they also had different pictures in the church. So that's why I'm saying, do you worship the white one or the black one? Or it don't really matter. To be honest, I don't I don't do that anymore. Cause like I've like the reason why um I don't get into that is because like my family will like snap and just like get Brother, Super. are you black or are you white, brother? I'm melanated. You the melanated. Reason is, the reason why I say that is because of me learning the word of like black. And, okay, and no problem. Are you an African, brother? I don't know. Like, I don't believe I don't believe that I'm African American because, like, um, I don't have anybody in my family that's African. So it, it's. So yeah, what I'm are you, brother? I don't know. Who like, are I... you? Do you know how to pick cotton? Nope. Well, I'm about to send your ass to the field. If you don't know who you is, I need that goddamn cotton pick back there. I need you to get a bag and some gloves. Oh, okay. Where are your family from? Uh, Colorado. Mom's side or dad's side? Um, my family is from Michigan. Oh, oh Michigan. Okay, so y'all came through the Great Migration. How do you get to Michigan? Did you come from the south? What part of the south did you leave from and end up in Michigan? Was it Mississippi? That I don't know. They just believe that they from Michigan because, like, they they my grandma's mother, who's my uh -huh. great grandmother, who had like. Okay, we'll do it like this here. What what's the furthest? Uh, uh, grandparent, you can go back to. I would probably say my great, uh, grandmother. Your great grandmother. So your mom's mom. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Um, your mom, uh, your grandma's mom. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. Would you like to know more about yourself? Because it's actually a way to find out who you are. Because you do have a mother and father, right? That's how you got here. I don't know my dad. That I didn't ask you that. I asked you how you got here, brother. Did it take a, a male and a female to get you here? Yep. Okay. So both of those, both of them have a mother and a father. So how the process works is we're gonna trace back from you, starting at you. We're gonna trace back to your mother and father, then we're gonna find their mothers and fathers, so on and so forth. And we see, and, and this will be our story, okay. So we don't you don't need Jesus to say you, you need an ancestor, somebody out your bloodline, somebody you come from, because you don't know Jesus and, and that nigga probably don't know you. Jesus at a whole house right now, uh getting his dick sucked and they gambling, they playing mad and shooting dice in the kitchen right now, waiting on licks, dofines and pills and weed and shit like this, sitting it. That's what Jesus at, nigga. You don't need to worry about him, he doing his thing. Or uh, you need to go in your genealogy, find out who your mother and father, mother and father, mother and father is as far back as you can get. All right. Don't read mm -hmm. another book. Don't listen to another scholar. Go. Don't read the Bible. Go find out who your family 
is, brother. And that's who you are. And that's the only way you can find that. Your nobody else in this world's story is more important than your story, not even that nigga Jesus. Like I say, he in the whole house, he's running the whole house right now, selling pussy out the projects, pills and weed and, and, and fentanyl and shit like that. Counterfeit money. Um, yeah, you don't need to worry about none of that shit no more. Free yourself. Go find your story, bro. Find out who you are. Next time I see you, know you, boy. I got a whole lot of cotton back there. I need pig, boy. And uh, yeah, I don't care about if you pricked yourself and you're gonna do it barefoot, just like the old way of Pan Africans taught us. Uh, all right, anybody else on the panel got something for the brother? Yeah, let me add to that. So, because when you ask your ancestors, they most likely you're gonna get the same I don't know to some of the questions. Ask them how they were living, and then you can start to understand the lifestyle of these people and connect it to the 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 lifestyle of the people that you read about, like. One of my um, grandparents and, or great, well, my grandparents, them and them cousins, they would always talk about how they used to eat wild game. They would live off the land. Like there's a way that you can take the information that they can give and then just start to paint the picture of what was going on, who they were and how that applies to today. Because, yes, when you ask them these questions, they're going to say the same thing. I don't know. Because it's indoctrination. But you can start as you start to get some answers, you can build your own narrative with what the information that you are getting. Yeah. That, let me ask y'all on the panel, not to cut. Let me ask y'all a question about some um, Indian, uh, you know, um, Indian tribes, uh, traditions and stuff. Is, is, is axe throwing something indigenous to American Indians or that's that's Native American uh, stuff that they're doing? Axe throwing. And archery and stuff like that. That's Native Everybody American. That. When you seen a nigga go get an army of Native American? <laughs> All right, the niggas who won the goddamn war over here was niggas. Uh -huh. All right, we the niggas who made all the artillery and all of the, the tanks, built the roads. Uh, yeah, when you don't hear nothing about a um a Native American doing nothing. What is Native? Give me something that's associated with Native American culture here. Maybe I think I need to play the tapes because y'all know I whooped Pan African, but I whooped a lot of Native Americans too in his own tape. One of my favorite moves on the Native American is to tell that nigga to give me some Native American culture. Hey, niggas, come on, bro. I'm saving your spot. Okay, there you go. Let me add to that top. All right, y'all turn up, turn up. Hey, y'all, it's lunchtime for me, man. So I'm finna run and go get me something to eat, goddamn. Feel free to goddamn me, give me some goddamn lunch or not, goddamn. Look at this nigga right <laughs> now. Go on, get off camera, bro. That Africa, when Africans start growing beers, niggas. Oh, hold on, top. Let me can I just add to that real quick? Yeah, hold on, you hold on. When Africans start growing beers, man, let me find out you European, with man. With you got more European than you, man. Beer, Say that again. When with Africans start beer. growing beers. A long time ago, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with yeah, you. What's you up, know with what it, man? Is. Turn up nah, one time. All right, y'all got the panel. Hey, Yannick, I'm watching you, Yannick. Don't go crazy. I know you said you need more. Hey, where you, you from, bro? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Who you talking to? You from Florida? Who me? Nah, hell yeah, nah. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, from, I'm from Texas, man. You know, we got some Florida Indians in the building, though. You from you from Texas? Yeah, I'm from Texas, man. I, I was born in Houston, but I but I was raised in Florida. What part of Houston? Um uh harris county bro what part what hood no uh, no i was just born there bro i was just born there i, I was born and raised there. <laughs> nigga you hear harris county i think it's selmo one or baker street nigga that's the jail high nigga i'm trying to figure out <laughs> yeah nigga what set you think <laughs> now nah, but y'all turn up i'm gonna go get some lunch man don't kill each other man y'all let's be respectful we got we do have a, a, a audience out there listening all right y'all turn up yeah, right, let me yeah, just, for let sure. me just add to the, the narrative of this na these Native Americans being from here. It never dawned on nobody how it's kind of weird how a Native American, like not even just in this picture, but just today, they are, if this was their land and all these invaders, including us and, you know, the white man came here and they took over, they seem mighty... I don't know what the word is, but like, brother, 
I, I, what you're saying is, is that if a Native American, we like how we've been taught, right? But, but in in the school system, it's it's been a secret. We, you learn way more about, uh, quote unquote, black history than Native Americans. Now, when it comes down to the Native Americans, you was taught that they was warriors and shit. But yeah, you ain't never ever seen uh, a Native American get into it with a white person. You ain't never seen these motherfuckers get into it. Go to war, or nothing. Yeah, exactly. talk on it. Not only that, they the ones getting paid off. They just living on reservation. They just happy as ever. So it's just they, right. they must have done great business if that is how it was. And so that it right. just doesn't. It should not make sense to anybody logically that this was it, it their didn't. thing. That people came on. It shouldn't. Tra- over and now running on it. Hold on, let me just finish the. the what is a Native American? Look, try try to try to no, find a Native a, American being in a tree. What is a, no, 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 define, no, 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 listen, define, no, listen, no, listen, 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 this is, this is common sense type shit. This is yeah. common sense. If white people hate Native Americans so bad, well, then them motherfuckers would be hung in a tree because the white men are the ones that killed them, right? And uh, supposedly they <laughs> destroyed the entire race. Can I ask y'all a question? One question. And, One question. Okay, but so be ready to accept the answer. Yes, yes, yeah, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. So, when you saying you're indigenous to, you're indigenous American, right? Or Aboriginal American. Now you got to define the word American because you can't be Aboriginal to American because American ain't even that they old. They can define the word, the word more. Yeah, you, the know, word. They got, yeah, you say, know, North, uh, North African you know, people. To the Mori people, Mori people, the Mori people, the Mori people, the Mori people. Let me get this one. Where the Mori people from? Where they from? Mauritania. They from Mauritania? Where is that located, brother? Right here in North America. And what state? Well, it ain't no state. They didn't have states right there, okay, brother. So where do we find this on the map, brother? What you mean? What map? We where do we find Mauritania in America on the map? Any, any you can find it anywhere in uh before let me see 15. What state would they be in, brother, today? Uh North Carolina. 15 uh, Watch this nigga say 15 26. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about 1500. Okay, bro. No problem, brother. Hold I'm on, y'all. Let me stay focused. You so, talking so, about colonies, bro. Y'all talking about okay, colonies. So help me out, brother. You say North Carolina. Yeah, my granddad is Berber. Okay, that's no right. I didn't ask you that. See, when they get the line. But look, no, I'm uh, serious. I'm, I'm being so honest. What you, part of North Carolina would that be in? Roper, Roper, North Carolina. This is what more than you was it? Yeah, no, it wasn't. I'm saying what I'm saying, brother, bro. I mean, brother, all those names that you call you North Carolina, Carolina, those are modern names, bro. Okay, no problem. What state today? What city state today? I just gave you the state. It'll more. be in North okay. Carolina. What's okay? What's what city? What city or town? I will know. I will know the actual city and town, bro. I'm just, I'm just giving you the, what the so land map is called at the time. Where can we find bro? that information, brother? Where can we find bro? that information? Matter of fact, you can go on Wikipedia, right, and go on. The, uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm going to give you a quick way how to examine it, bro. God have mercy. No, no, chill, so chill. Wikipedia I got you. I got you. Is tell no, no, no. I got you. I got you. I got you. Chill. Let me walk you through it, bro. Yes, Go look up. Go look up ancient Mauritania because the, it was an L at first. It was Lauritania. And then they changed it over a period of time to the M. What year did it change? Shit, we talking uh, after the Umi- Umiyad dynasty. This is in 630, what, 632 so AD? 632, they changed the, the M to yeah, L. Yeah, because the, the African was the first ones to come over here and colonize brother, us. Bro. Brother, brother, stop. You, now you took me to Africa. I thought I was in North Carolina. God damn it, I thought I was in North Carolina. No, I'm giving you the history. You got to get the proper history and dates, brother, bro, so well, you, you need to understand slow down, what happened, let's, bro. Let's just stay here because all I did was ask for a source. You told me to go to Wikipedia, and I ended up somewhere in Africa. Yeah, because you bro, don't know you how to read to read law. So I want I can't so, take it to so a treaty what, that you okay, don't know so how to read, bro. What city state in, in North Carolina again will we find more in Tania, brother? That's good. I told you where to go at, bro. And then I gave I'm giving you I'm giving brother, you what I'm city gonna give today? you the dynasty like, let's, that let's came go, over here and did it, bro. Let me help you out, right? No, I'm gonna give you the dynasty that came over here and did it. But I don't want I need to stay first. You gotta goddamn. I'm giving you a time period and date. You want a time period and date? I'm giving you time period and date. 632. The Umayyad dynasty came over here and colonized them. These people, all we all Moors anyway, bro. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand political science, bro. 
Hey, listen, listen. listen. I'll let you those call small yourself man. Indian. Indian, Indian is me, British. Brother. Hold on, the man. British call you that. Hold up, bro. I had to close the gate. I had to close my garage. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, Nagus, where you going, Nagus? Nagus, man, come on, bro. I'm dropping the link back down there for Nagus. Oh, brother Yannick. Oh, so you say, so in North Carolina, we find the Mauritania Moors in North Carolina. I tell you what you do. You can go get a map, right? A martyr map. And go 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 pull up Mor uh, Morocco, Mauritania, all these modern these modern map, this mar the modern Why map. You pull and it then, up, hold on, hold on. You pull them I can't up. do it right now, bro. I'm outside. I'm outside with my daughter. Now you can't pull it up. No, I'm not so home. I'm, not, I'm, I'm outside with my daughter. I'm home. That's why I didn't get, get on earlier, so you bro. Know, all right, so to be clear, so we can move off this point, you do not know what Mauritania is in New in North Carolina. It was called Maghrib Alasa, was it correct? You tell me, Hold North on. Carolina. It was Maghrib. Okay, Wait, North it was Carolina. Called... No, no, it was Maghrib. This this landmass over where we call North America was called Maghrib Alasa, right? On what map, brother? No, not right, nigga. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> right, On right. what map? You can find that uh, uh, primary resource uh, title twenty two section two one forty one one forty three primary resource. Map? That's that 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 On that's the law, map, bro. Brother? You can't defeat law, bro. Law what law is, the is name of the it's map, credible sir? in fact. Law deals in facts, bro. Brother, what's the name I of the map? You, I just gave you a primary source. Title 22, Section 2, 141 through 143. It's going to say oh, United man, States and Morocco, bro. bro. I'm telling you, bro. That's a primary source. That nigga that's a primary source, brother. That nigga went to do the remedy. That nigga took me to the book of do the remedy. Nigga, I asked law, you bro. the name of the map. I gave you a law case to, to, to verify what I'm saying to be true. No law case of no nigga going to jail or bro, having that's no that's a primary source, no bro. That's a primary nigga. source, bro. Nigga, that's I what, that's what judges define. So how are you going to... Do you hear yourself? I asked you a simple, simple question. You made you a what crazy map? wild man statement and said Mauritania is in America. And I asked you where. And I got to go through all this bullshit. I got to go read court cases and all this type of shit here, nigga, to find out some silly shit, the answer to some shit you said. It was so easy for you to tell me that Mauritania was in America. But now I got to read law books. I got to go type up Wikipedia. I got to look up the Umiyah dynasty. Nigga, where in the fuck? In Mauritania, it in North Carolina <laughs> for the last time, brother. <laughs> this 632, 632 AD. I'm taking before a white man came over here. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know your own history. The white man is your property. You don't even know your own history. Okay, so brother, hey, the white man is your property. We clear. brought these people over here. They was property. Okay, so what year the you say you, you say about, the Umiyah dynasty brought somebody over here in what year, brother? 632 AD. And where did they land? In Americas. What, what they call it in Morocco? America, America, what part, brother? That's Morocco. That was called Morocco. No, what part of America did bro, they we land? talking about Morocco, uh, Madrid, Alasa, the Great Madrid. That's what it's called, that. bro. Brother, are you it wasn't here? called no landmass of North America back then, bro. So, so today, let's just, okay, let's do it like this here. Let's just use the 50 states today as a reference. It wasn't so no states, can, brother. brother. Brother, brother, it's okay. I understand what you're saying. You're saying it was called the Magrid Allah or whatever the hell you said. Magrid right? Allah. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Me and Morocco I, I take on the that, way. brother. Walk with me. I, I'm walking with you now. We have okay. an audience out there, so we're going to paint this picture, right? So they don't really not might not be familiar with the Magrid Allah. So we're going to use in context, today's context, what area of Madrid Allah we're gonna use for a reference? We're gonna call it by the states that it ought to, that it is today. So help us out, brother. When they leave, okay. okay the great Madrid is to come here. The great Madrid. Hold on, let me explain to it to you, brother. That we have today, brother. Let, let me explain it to you. Let me explain it to you how 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 we came in this position that we in today. The great Madrid. I don't, Magritte, I don't I, nigga. I don't nigga. I didn't hold on, hold on, let me walk you. Civil you rights walk leader, you. nigga. I'm finna kick. I'm finna get your ass up out of here. I didn't ask yeah, you for crazy. solutions for black America, motherfucker. I asked you, <laughs> where the hell did they go in America out of the 50 states today, nigga, when the Umayyad came here in 600? I don't need no other motherfucking Malcolm X around here, nigga. I don't give a damn about your black American plan, nigga. Take that shit over there, the FBI or reparations movement, nigga. We want to know where the hell did these people come to in America, nigga, when the Umayyads got here. Nigga, your turn. Black power. You the one pushing that white agenda, bro. 
No, you call look, me hold on. Man, hold on, let me tell you something. Hold on, let me tell you something. Hold on, let me tell you something. Let me build with you real quick. When it come down to these wars, y'all always talk about. Hold on, listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Y'all always say some. Oh, hey, the white man, he was our slave, this and that. But where's your motherfucking records of the slave owner owning white slaves? My grandma, my grandma, my granddad, my grandfather originated from here on this side. My grandma came here in 17, 1760 for uh, uh, as a Moor for um, what it called a Morty Moor from Germany, and she had she owns seven hundred twenty acres right now in Maryland, nigga. I know my history. What the fuck you talking about? Hey, hey brother, can I ask you a question, brother? About I more. Where your, what? Where's your white slaves? Where's your white slaves? Because that's what y'all preaching. Bro? bro, they are property. You know what property means? You know what property means, bro? bro? I, where's your record? You know where's your record? You can't work. Where is your slave record? You came up on here. You came up on here. You came up on here. Where's your record? You sound like a black European, which you just admitted, you dumb ass. Where I'm are your questions? I want to ask a about the more. I want to ask a real question about the more. more information. You said he was from Germany. You said, didn't he just say he was from Germany? I said, you idiot. You idiot. You Hold idiot. On, let's, let's chill with you, the you name. Go look at the colony. Go look at the German colony, the Dutch colony in the 1600. Go look at the Dutch colony in the 1600. It was ran by black people, bitch. You don't know your history. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You got to know your history. You got to know your history. Hey, Dorsey. Dorsey, you got to chill, brother. I'm sorry, man. I apologize, bro. That's why I'm we know, like, coming on here, bro. I got to know. See what we can do to help our community. These people, bro, they always up, divide up, you, bro. bro. I don't want to come on here and argue with nobody, bro. Right, right. No, we understand that. Hey, 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 hold on, guys. Hold on, Jay. Real quick, Jay. We understand that, bro. We know, you know, we we like to do the uh, scholarship and keep the uh, emotions out of there. So it's all love. We all get there sometimes. So let's have a civil conversation for the people that's watching and listening, all right? Now, right, right, okay. Now, let me, let me let me let me let me explain something, bro. Let me. I'm, I'm just trying to show my stance because I, oh, Moors get a lot of heat because they don't understand what a Moor is. Moors only talk when we when that's that Moor, bro. A more, brother, is a Moor melanated a brother, a melanated being. A melanated bean, bro. That's that's what a more is. Melanated bean, bro. So you use the more as a, uh, as a hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta break my stand. I gotta clear my stance, bro. Because I'm not what y'all call one of these Orthodox Christians. A Christian to me is Christian. Melanated serotonin. The 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 the, the shit that go through your communal gland. Right, Christ, Christ, the Christian. Right, yeah. right. That's that's Christian. So I, I I my my stance is. I'm saying every European that calling themselves a Christian, they got to see me because they're not Christian. They don't have melanin. They don't have serotonin. The, okay, the, the I got you, the I got you. That's what a so more is, bro. So that's why they call us more rich. The God ones, bro. So I you am that, bro. More, you, you say I more. That, bro. Meaning, hold on, I got you. You say more like a descriptive term, the, the black, the Christian. No, Chris, no. Chris don't know means black, bro. Chris right, right, means right. melanin, serotonin. That's so what's in our you, DNA, it, bro. So a more is just about the melanin. Yes, yeah, it's a light being. It's a brother that's that's well knowledge, that's on his square, that's bring forth a light bearer, like the three wise men. That's uh you can find that date back in the uh Sumerian text. I'm a uh, light being I, I don't I come in peace, I don't come in the to, to, to right. argue, to fight. I just want to bring people. We just asked for your records. We just we just we just asked for your records. For all I know, you don't even know that what black records? Europeans exist. My records exist. from over here, oh, brother. My records from over here. You read it, Have you ever been in the military? Yeah, listen, Have listen, you got people listen, in the military? Not, listen. But listen, you're not going to sit here and act like Moors know what the fuck they talking about. They can't even prove not, that I black European is really It's not in their bloodline. You can't compare me to one of those hey, brothers. Brother, let me ask you a question there, bro. You can't compare me to those brothers. You got information about them. Let me ask you a question, brother. Go ahead, brother. All right. I want to ask you what diet did the Moors eat? What's their diet? What language did they speak? Indigenously, uh, uh, Amazigh, right. language, okay. uh, diet. We, uh, I don't, I don't eat, I don't eat pork, I don't eat meat. Period. 
You know no, what no, I mean? No, no, no. I said what is theirs because you, you're speaking what what was their diet? Their, their diet, they 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 eat greens. They if me if they if they did eat meat, it was lean meat. It was lean meat. They didn't eat pork and all that shit. You got more today that that's that's more, bro. I can't speak for uh -huh. how another more portray himself, bro. Because you have right okay. what we call um uh morskizos, right? Those people can't they, they have a different lifestyle as a Mori person, bro. Those are Christians, right? You talking about what they call modern day Mexicans. They they Christian, they Catholic. But me, bro, I don't follow none of that shit. But I still keep my culture. Cause guess what? All the, I can go through all the make sonic make sonic shit. That's our culture, bro. They stole that shit right. and they pat and put patents on that shit and start calling it through through society orders, bro. That's all they did. We didn't come under what we didn't come under no uh we didn't come under no uh Arab society. We came under the Egyptian society because that shit came from over here, bro. All of okay. it, and I do. Okay. What military? What military? Uh, weaponry? Uh, what? What would they call it? Military? What military? Who, which one? Mean? The Navy. The the, the that's why I was called the, the Montezuma Tripoli. They, the, the the Marine was named after the Moors. Okay. Pasha, Basha. Hey, so I'm asking these questions because people want to know these questions. So what yeah, weapons so you did they have? Bro, I'm telling you, go look up the uh, go look you know, up a brother. I'm asking name. you, brother, because uh, I don't brother. know. I'm asking you so we can get clarity. What you know? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, look up you, a brother you got a lot called of uh, El Younger. El Younger. He married into a uh, uh, the Ala the uh, Alawat tribe out of uh, Hawaii. Those people had married to the people. That's where the, you got the kingdom from. So you talk about the, the Moors from 700. The ones that was in uh, Spain? Talking, yeah, but listen, listen. Look okay. at the coins of Barbados, bro. All those Moorish people, bro. The uh, the 16, uh, 1762 Barbados coin. Meaning melanated was, people, right? That was a Moors. Go right. look at, you said it because they, they melanated or because of where they come from. Those are Moors. Right, like, Period. so you're using Moors, it like bro. for black people is what I'm saying. They was black. What we call to black today, but right, we right. wouldn't for, identify for, for them politically as black people. Right. We talking, yeah, yeah. We said, see, when we say more, bro, we talking on a political scale. That's how big our empire was. It stretched all the way into Africa, all the way to South America, up into Asia. Asia. So that, okay, go ahead. <clears throat> so you talking about the uh, Shanghai, the Shanghai dynasty? Those Moors, bro. I can show so you more. Any Moors call themselves the Negro? Carthaginians. Hannibal. Hannibal came from over here. All that shit. Y'all gotta on. understand y'all history. Hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down. History. Camus, slow all down. that shit come from more North America. Slow down, slow down, brother. You said Hannibal came yeah, from Yeah, that come from this, Hannibal Barker. Team. Hannibal Barker come from over this side. Hannibal Barker came over here. Can you show bro, up? Bro, bro, that's over why, here. bro, listen. No, go ahead. They, they killing us with the borderline. Y'all looking at borders. Okay. Take Strip the borders off, off of United States mouth and combine it to a a uh, early 1600 map you and you and this shit gonna uh, y'all gonna understand this shit perfectly bro go look at the names that they was calling this stuff and then go trace the name in its modern not in its modern form in its ancient form because you're gonna see the slow down because you're moving fast you said hannibal you said hannibal's hannibal father barker. Name was barker. hannibal barker I, I read, okay hannibal barker about, the great moor yeah that's him i could take you to medley medley the great king so of his Ethiopia. father name was what hold on what was hannibal's father name again uh, I gotta, I gotta, I can, I can look it up for you though, bro. I can, I can find it. I'm not home. I'm not home. I'm, not, I'm out with my daughter right now. I'm just walking from my daughter. And shit. So the story they told us about Hannibal getting beat by uh, this Africana this cat is, is is incorrect. Okay, now watch this. Let's go into that. Lil, so Lil, that Africana. Lil Africanus, that's what they start calling us. Cause that's who defeated us. The Romans took on the names of their conquer, who the people they conquered. So they start calling right. us African after Africanus. That's not politically sound because his name was an Africanus. His real name what was, was an Africanus. Uh, 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 that's a title. Uh, Africanus is Scipio. a title. Was yeah, his name uh, Scipio Cornelius? Scipio uh, Leo, uh, Leo, Leo, Leo or some shit like that. Scipio. What's his name? Scipio. Scipio Cornelius. Africa. Yeah, yeah, him, him, him. Yeah, the conqueror of Africa. Is that him. Yeah, look, bro. Look, 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 bro. Uh -huh. Africa, right? It was a right. small ass tribe called the Afar tribe. That's who Africans are modernly, those people. They come from the Afar tribe. 
after colonization, right? Because uh, Liberia, all those people came from North America. You do know they, they didn't call this stuff a far right. No, uh, no, I'm saying a far right, a far right tribe. That's a tribe in Africa. That's, that's name. Name. So that's where we get Afro from. Yeah, that's where they get the Afro, uh, uh, Afro, 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 uh, Afro, uh, Afro uh, no, uh, African. That's where they get the modern word African from, from a far right tribe, the far right the tribe. It, that's what they. Was two hundred? Was this two o? Was this two o one BC? Is that is that correct? Is that date correct? Yeah, in that area, in that time frame right there. Yes, 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 correct. The far right tribe. Okay, North, far right North tribe. Africa, aka Carthage, aka Tunis. Is that is that correct? I'm, I'm following along. With yeah, you. Carthage, Carthage, Tunis, all that. That's why we have uh okay. treaties. Because we those people. Okay, hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Did did Hannibal get killed by Africanus? You know, Scipio. Did he actually get killed by him? Because I'm, I'm I'm trying to follow along with the storyline. Yeah, uh, I Everybody think he said. did get killed by. Uh, he got succeeded by success. That was his successor. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Did he get killed by him? He said. Or he did think. he commit so, suicide? He think. Did he commit suicide? Was he the first suicide? You know. He's the more he said he suicide. I'm asking. But I really, I heard, I heard stories about he uh, committed suicide, but I can't really prove that. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't back that that time. I don't want to speak on that now. Because, because, yeah, it went because it went from superior, you know, Africana to okay, we found out this Scipio. Yeah, it was a title that they took on. Just okay. Okay. Have, are y'all familiar with Carlos Quintos? Vaguely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Carlos, go ahead about it. Car Carlos Quintos. You know, he was a Roman emperor, right? Was he black? If, if we yeah. if we if we looked at him back then, would he be considered black? Like yes, but name. also he was a part of that empire, what you call the Mor the Moroccan Empire. Okay, that's what I'm saying, bro. They twisted history. Um, they calling shit modern names over there that ain't really modern. It's How far do the here. Moroccan Empire go back? And is it is the Americas included in that Moroccan Empire? Yes, we are. We we the we the main we the main players in oh, in so everything. We started bro. the Moroccan Empire. Yes, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. They look, look. You take Has the word. Has it always America. been called the oh, Moroccan oh, 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 Empire? Let me, it, bro. Let me, let me right, help y'all understand. Go ahead. Let me go help y'all understand what I'm saying. Yep. You take the word American, right? It's coined by the Spanish. Check. Check. It's coined by the Spanish. Spanish. Are they black? Are, are these black Spanish? Or yeah, these yes, but I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna break it down to how you, how, how they tricked us, bro. So they burnt they trick Spanish. Us. Right, the word they American the come from piece. Moroccan. Watch this: the word American come from Al Moroccan. They drop the L, they slit. It's, it's called vowel shift, homonym, homonym, and ablock. They took the word just like they did with Shindu, Hindu to India. They did Maghrib Alasa, Al Morak, Morak, uh, Maraka, all the way to Amaru to back to American. I'm gonna show you how they did it. They dropped the you dropped the L. They brought the A uh, M over vowels interchangeable. They changed the O to an E, kept the R, dropped one of the R's, slid the slid C over, uh, added a <coughs> added a uh, I and an A. That's it. And they kept the N at the end. American, you got the word American. It's called Ablock Humming shit, bro. You got to study these things. So the Moroccan Empire goes all the way back. Uh, was it called uh, Morocco? Bro, we the started Morocco? everything. Oh, no, I, no, listen, I, gotta, listen. I just want to ask, was it called Nativity. Al the word go nation goes back to the word nativity, the mother. You have an umbilical cord, right? And so what about Morocco is what I'm asking. My bad. Morocco is know, over here. They talking Moroccan about the kingdom. Empire? Yeah, you talking about the kingdom. That was called Makish. Makish. You know the whole empire. Was it always called the Moroccan Empire? No, 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 no. That's over time. See, uh, the Moroccan Empire, because it was Zarifian dynasty, all these dynasties put together became the Moroccan Empire. Which we was called, the stronghold over here. Like the, strong, the stronghold was over here. Hold on, let the him, let him finish, and what it called? The, no, no, the stronghold was over here, because they even usurped Britain, bro. I'm going to show you how they did it. Y'all be thinking our people sold us out like that, but it really didn't happen like that, bro. They yeah, overthrew us. They overthrew us. We get some work. We get some work. They right, hold on, we get some work. Because watch this. Watch hold this. On, we get some work. You can we take the Confederate somewhere. flag and the Britain flag, right? You can take the Confederate right, flag and the Britain flag. That goes all the way back to ancient Egypt on noon. When he had this, when, 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 which called the uh, Galactic Cross, bro. Yeah, all okay, that. Now all hold that on, shit, bro. 
All that's our shit. Okay, we get somewhere. They I'm dealing usurp, with you. I'm listening. They, usurp, listen, they listen. usurped it. They usurped. Look, look up the word usurp. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on. We we building, bro. Now, can you share your screen and pull up your family records? I'm not home, bro. I'm so not home. That's what I but I can give you the references to find this shit. Oh, I'm so not. We can't see the find this stuff, though. <laughs> so if all these places you got, you say you got the Americas, you got Asia, you got Africa, and it was, bro, one, it was all one dynasty, bro. Right, it was so all connected. Said, so, so you have more, bro. Don't you think every every black people across, so called black people across the planet? Hold on, you, you have a coat of arms. Hold on, y'all. How did it become? A, how did it become a Moroccan empire? Like, when? Where can you take us back? That family, all these bro. It's family. It's family. It's family. It's family. They what came family? What family? What family? What's your coat of arms? What's our coat of arms? Look at you. Can Google my coat of arms. There's more. You gonna see the red? You gonna see the red fans on it and everything? But I'm saying this goes back. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm trying to so see how it how it ties to you. I'm trying okay. to see how it ties you ever to you. Heard of the you ever, you ever heard? Okay, let's 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 do it let's this hit way. Let's hit him with that. Heard he don't even know. Toy. He don't know. I know, I know what. he don't know. I don't, I don't know what. Your own I don't genealogy. Know what. I don't know what about your own genealogy. What you mean? I don't know. I just gave you my damn genealogy, boy. You should been listening. Well, no, you heard what he just asked you. I heard you say something about your grandparents and stuff. So, no, no smoke. No I'm smoke. But he just asked you. He just asked you. How does it? How does it tie to you? Go ahead, go ahead, bro. I hear what you said. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. Nah, I'm he was I, I wanted to know about, you know, because you said families, but he was saying that how can you tie it to you? Is all I was Oh, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, right. good question, brother. Good question. Good question. Okay. All right, my mom, screen. I'm gonna, I, I can't do it like that, bro. I'm just Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you facts, oh, though, bro. People know me on here, bro. No, 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 because this is how you indoctrinate people. No, we're not oh, talking no, no, about... I don't do that, bro. I don't do that, bro. I don't do that. We're talking about you. You say you from the Moroccan Empire. I don't talk about me. I can't talk about nobody else but me, bro. Tie it to you. Talk. You don't need to think about nobody else. You need to think about you. Look yourself in the mirror. How is it tied to you? Bruh, Fuck out of here, bro. Bruh, listen here. Listen here, bro. Hear me out. Hear me out. Matter of fact, go to go. You can go on. You say how I get tired of me. I'm gonna give you my coat of arms. It's, it's right on Google, bro. You can go to my coat of coat of arms and I'm gonna show you I'm a more. The fuck is you talking about? Well, you already told us that you German, so no, I'm not German, bro. Bro, you who who made the German language? Where where all that shit come from, bro? Tell me. Where it come you from? Your people. No, 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 no. Y'all making y'all making false ass statements, bro. No, go ahead, go ahead. Where no, you making from? false claims. You got now. Where you got to prove from? your claim that you got to prove your, from, your claim that Ger Germans Germans invented that language. No, no, no. He, he no, he no, no. Y'all made a claim that I'm German. You bro. made a claim that I'm German. No, you got to prove that I'm German, and you got to prove that. No, he heard you say that Moors that the Moors was uh uh Germany. So he saying that that's you did say something about Germany and the Moors. So Bruh. I'm asking you what language to move forward. You said something about families, and you Bruh. said something about the. Language. Have you ever heard of the North, the Nordics, the Nordics? Yep, yep, yep. Who were those people? No, you tell me. I'm no, not. No, 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 no. You y'all making claims, bro. We, we not. Go ahead. We pass that, bro. Go ahead. The people in the court of law. law. He was, he court was law. trying to say how you tie yourself. Walk yourself back into that. How how you? Okay, get okay. I'm gonna watch it. Watch it. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you. How you can even find German names over here, all this stuff over here, because at one point in time, North America was called Phoenician land. Is I'm is I'm lying? Is I'm lying? And what is Phoenician land? The modern day Europe. Come on, bro, y'all gotta wake the fuck up, you, bro. I mean, up, bro. It, it. How can you make that to your people, man? Okay, oh, I just told you. Back down go, to your people. Go, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 ancient. Moors, the ancient no, no, no. Moors. Your family, family, brother. Brother. Oh, your family, brother. I'm gonna give, give you names, bro. bro. So y'all can lick this stuff up. Listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me, let me, let me build with him real quick. Hold on, brother. I'm gonna give you a source so y'all can lick it up. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Somebody to actually understand anything you're talking about, bro. You need proof. You need. You need to tie it to your proof. 
I'm finna give you a call. That's true. 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 You're a good dude too, brother. I appreciate you being here, family. Uh, what's up with it, Nagas, man? What you got, bro? Y'all run the point. What you think, bro? Bring the ball up quick, man. You got it, man. Wherever you want to go with it. Hey, can y'all talk about the Palatine Moors in um Texas, bro? Nah, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, bro. Uh, Moors history is fake. Bro, the Palatine Moors in, in, in Texas, bro. No colonizer history, man. If we gonna do that, or y'all gonna talk? Do you, we can talk about? If we gonna talk about more, we can talk about how they came over here as colonizers. Which one? How, we got the European. Now, which one you claiming? Which one you claiming? You claiming the Europeans or you claiming the the natives? Because I'm a native more. Man, my family. I'm was a native more now. Tribe, nigga. I, I, I'm claiming. Nigga, I'm my bloodline. Was it, nigga, my was, it, was it? Was it? Was it? Is Cherokee a language or is Cherokee a people? Cherokee is Cherokee is a word out of the Iroquois language, meaning shit like keep meaning people of fire, brother. And right, it's not. It's not a people. It's not a people. No, correct. Sir, they adopted it. It's people. So Ani will. Ani will will be the real people, right? Well, not in everybody's case, brother. That's not a plan, case. because my grandmother's honey. Uh, uh, but everybody Ani will. will. Ani will, though, bro. But my grandmother, my grandmother that. died at 106. Everyone's so parents died at 106. Ani will, bro. My grandma died at 106 in Florida, and I and I descend from her. That's my mother's mother's mother. All right, what they got to do with a moor? Cause yeah, what that's that got to do with the Nazi, the Nazi uh, uh, right, confederation? Right, 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 family, look, we're gonna come back around to you. Hold that point. Oh, right, oh, so you don't want me to? You, you, you went down. You, you went down. I'm telling you, you went down. The hunting the Nazi, 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 the hunting the Alright, I ain't finna play with no nigga. What's up with it, niggas, man? You got the ball. Bring the ball up quick, man. I know you're not a hoop, huh? I know basketball and business to the Americas, man, but y'all, I know y'all try to play a little ball out there, man. Ball on you, man. Bring it up quick, whatever topic you want. I mean, basketball, basketball is kind of, it's, 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 it's all right. I used to do my own thing, but obviously we're more into football or what you guys call the uh, soccer, you know what I mean? Yeah, you want to play yeah. soccer and shit. Well, you know, Indians yeah. created tobacco. We marijuana and tobacco come from America. <laughs> we smoke too much to be running up and down them soccer fields now, man. Yeah. But now, uh, nah. now, I'm gonna turn up. I got you. Now, me personally, I just wanted to take it back to uh, the whole conversation with Jamaica and stuff, like the maroons out there and stuff. I was, I was more interested in that, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, that was more interesting to me, Jeez. like. Because when when you when you go to the when you go to the depth of it and you go to the maroons and what they say about themselves, these are runaway so-called slaves. Slaves at all. These people weren't conquered. These people weren't were, uh, indoctrinated by 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 Europeans, right? So these people, when you speak to these people, when these people speak and and, and especially when they speak their language, right? They tell you where they come from. They tell you where the majority of them come from, and they always go back to what you call Ghana. So. I want to know what, what you have to do. What year we're gonna You're breaking up, bro. What year we're gonna put people into now because we gotta go to the slave port. The slave port there would be what animal You're breaking up. The slave port that they would have to come out. The slave port that they would come out of for Ghana, that would be Anamai Boo. Are you referring to Anamai Boo? Say that again. The slave court out of Ghana, is it? Are you referring to Anamai Boo? I've never heard of that word. That is. <laughs> Yo. I think his mic breaking up. Hold on. Top Cats, you still there? Yeah, yeah. His, his, his connection is bad out there, bro. Mike. But yeah, but anyway, by the time he comes back, right, like I said, right, 
let's look at what the Maroons of Jamaica say about themselves, right? We can't ignore that. What do they say about themselves? They say they're Africans. Where, where you, can you prove you got a, you got a source for us? What's I mean, tribe he's from? Hold on, hold on. What tribe are you from? Who's the name the of what's the name of the maroon that said he's from Africa? What's his name? Yeah, you have different maroons. You have the maroons in a near you have maroons in uh I think Saint Elizabeth, I think. You talk about Kujo. Kujo um, said he was an Indian, he said he was an Arawak. No, no, no. I'm talking about maroons like Queen Nanny. Where does what's Queen Nanny come what's from? The name of the, what's the name of the maroon that said that he an African? What's his name? Queen Nanny. The national hero of Jamaica, Queen Nanny. All right, we got to pull that source oh, of her Nanny. and her info. Yeah, Queen Nanny, national hero of Jamaica, one of the national heroes of Jamaica. All right, and she used to be a lot of person, person and power, and we know everybody in power in every land is, is corrupt. Nanny, she used to use... She Queen, used to use that lady no. was European. That, that's that lady was European. No, 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 no. She and wasn't European. Was that, that lady was born in Ghana. And she was taken out there in Jamaica as a so-called slave, right? That's and she used to true. practice. And she used to practice. What's your parents' name? She used to, she used parents? to practice. She think, personally, she, I think she's a folklore because her story is the same as Harriet Tubman. That the whole freeing right. slaves out of the plantation. Her, they're, that they're shit right. is a right. folklore. Because it's so crazy how that whole story. Saying, who is her, her parents? Because that's a folklore, bro. They they it's start off as a slave and then they become your hero. Hold on, hold on. They start off as a slave and then they become your hero, but don't do shit for you in present day time. Right, what that shit don't even make sense. I don't think what hero? What, 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 what hero exactly? Man, you're breaking up bad, bro. It don't even make sense. A slave becomes a queen, and that's a queen. Queen Nanny's got a totally, queen, queen Nanny's got a totally different story to uh, uh, Arya Tubman. Totally different story. There might be some correlations, but it's totally different. Number one, Arya Tubman well, was a Christian. Uh, I think, uh, the well, no, they, they right? talking about the base of the story, right. uh, Negus. The base of it, the foundation of the story. Yeah, yeah, we're not no, talking about religion. No, we're not talking about what religion people were. We're saying. What state they said they were stolen from Africa, they were slaves, and then they fought back, and then now they're your they're they're your national hero. But yet but you can't take anything. No, listen, okay. You you sitting here bringing up one of your national heroes. You're sitting there bringing up one of your national heroes. Where has that gotten the Caribs? Tell me that. Bro, listen. Number one, yeah, I'm not from Jamaica, right? I'm not from Jamaica. No, that was a question. I just, I just, I just stepped in before when people was talking about Jamaica, and I was taking some notes, right? And I was saying to myself, people are saying, right, these people were indigenous or uh, Aboriginal to I'm um, Jamaica, right? Okay, and I'm telling you, you're a real person. Of course you are. There's too much. There's too much. Right, hold on now a second. So why would they put this? Why would they put this? Why would they put this person as a national hero if she was made up? Why She's a national hero. Right? Christmas Christmas Santa Claus every year. The Jamaican dollar. If you, if you go, if you look up the Jamaican dollar, you will see Queen Nanny on the Jamaican dollar. I mean, it's just so like Harriet Harriet Tubman in that turn. I got you. I'm gonna put it up right now. I'm because I'm going to Wikipedia. It says much of what is known about her comes from oral history. As little textual evidence exists, she's a legend. She's not a real person. Who, who just pulled that? Who pulled that? Pulled that. Time out, everybody. Time out, everybody. Who just pulled that? I think he was pulling that against. That's me, Zap. I pulled it. Can you can you say that a little louder for the people, brother? We got people about cheap seats. Some people standing out in the parking lot. Can you say that a little louder for the people? In the back? <laughs> Much of what is known about her comes from oral history. As little textual evidence exists, right? Wow, sound like a pan African story to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold and her story hold is very similar to Harriet Tubman. Hold on a second. Man. It says you're yeah, much. You didn't say you just, all of it. You just said there's so much written about. What does much mean? What, what does much mean? What, what does that mean to you? How much, much is much, much to you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a majority, right? It's a majority, but not all of it. 
not all of it. Meaning, meaning, right? A lot of it is oral traditions, yeah, or oral um, uh, being passed down by oral traditions. And the other side of it, there is some. You know, there is certain things written about her. That's why she, she got. She's a, do you she got any descendants that's still alive? As far as as far as I know, she never had no children out there. As far as I know. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Like she did, man. Man. Nah, that's how I heard it, man. Why is the oral tradition never enough? But but this very true. Anyway, let's go. Okay, all right. No, 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 she didn't do no let's, fucking. She was just doing all of the fighting. Yeah, she didn't do bro, no let's... fucking. <laughs> yeah, you got all these big old no, strong soldier no warriors <laughs> around you protecting the movement, and you don't want none of that dick. I don't know about all that, man. You just do it. Yeah, you just want to shoot. You don't want to do no fucking, huh? Yeah, you think you better come ruling the kingdom. And I ain't going to want to run no dick up in you. And you the queen? Nah, I'm going to want to fuck something. And so, yeah, and so she ain't got no kids. She spent all her time fighting instead of fucking. Well, I feel, I feel like you guys are trying to do that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. What about the fact they said she had magical powers, like she was a, a no, Obia princess? Yeah, she was into Obia. And if you look into Obia, right, it's basically an African, an indig indigenous African spiritual system, right? So, so you have to I'm ask yourself. A lot of this shit is very mythical. Um, that shit is it's it, a it, legend. It, it's, it's the true theory. Mythical type that shit is the true theory that he believed in. You do know, you do know Jamaicans to this day, right? Practice Obia, right? To this day. Or what I'm they call science. Obia. Obia. I'm saying like they saying that she had magical powers. Yeah, like she, she had magical powers based, right, based, based on this earth spiritual system, which was Obia, right? They're trying to say she had some mystic powers and so on and so forth. I'm trying to say she, she wasn't a real person. I want you to prove I'm, that she was a, a real walking human being. I'm, I'm, obviously, it's going to be hard to say because at the end of the day, uh, we don't have more. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. it was so hold on, documented. I'm, no, but, no, I'm saying it's going to be hard to prove. Right, let me it's ask you this. Hard, it's going to be hard Why to prove. Why do you think her story is very similar to the Harriet Tubman story? It's like the same narrative. Like she was freeing slaves and bringing them off. All right, let Why me answer that. No, number number one, yeah, Aria Tubman was born in North America. That's number one. Uh, uh, Queen Nanny was born in Africa. Two different things. That's the first two differences. First of all, so yeah. where is she this shit manifest in the records of her being transported? Yeah, hold, on. hold on. She was Where's born the tomb out at? There. Does she have a tomb where they buried her? Because obviously they would have buried someone of importance no, because like, a lot of, yeah. as you know yourself as you know yourself a lot of our freedom fighters were murdered and mutilated so, right? so they ain't so she was a Bro, queen so they ain't got no two hold on time hold on, hold on. Hold on. what a damn <laughs> Bro, is look Jesus? how Jesus? Is, what is, what is, is, they they same grace like jesus said though <laughs> Listen, yeah yeah look yeah, how, yeah yeah i think she over there with jesus them buried it and Bro, do, the do this sound? Do this? This don't up. sound crazy to you, Nate? Nah, listen, y'all, on some real shit. Bro, are we really? That's the, you said it was a lot going on at that time. So what did we Look, get this the miraculous this story? Right Harry, Rob Bourne just brought up my room, and, and I, I appreciate this, brother, because I was gonna put a belt across Rob Bourne on the same night. I was gonna ask him some of these same questions, brother. Where is the proof? Now watch this right here. It says some claim that Queen Nanny lived to be an old woman dying of natural causes. The exact date of her death remains a mystery. Part of the confusion is that Nanny is an honorific title, and many high-ranking women were called that in Maroon time. Damn. So they don't so even know when she died. They, they don't know nothing. It's like she was a concocted, a mythical figure, bro. For sure. And, 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 and what you read? Really a many, a many did. You said that was a title, a high-ranking title. Exactly, Shrug. So many people you're saying could be that individual. Sound like exactly. That sounds familiar. That story shit, sounds so familiar. Exactly. It sounds like some poker honey shit, Shrug. I, thought yeah, I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it, but you know you don't fucked up, right? <laughs> um, all right, listen. Hey, walk sure, the plank, I mean. boy. Now hold on, y'all. Let's be fair. I'll give him a chance. Give, give all him right, chance. all right. Put put the arrows the down. He said it was fully documented. Put the arrows down. 
All right, man, it's taking enough of a beating, go, Ma. Uh, all right, uh, yep. uh, 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 come on, uh, go on, niggas. You got it, bro. You got action. Right, okay, listen, uh, uh, even if I give you, right, even if I give you the Queen Nanny thing, yeah, which I, like I said, you can, there's, there's a few sources out there, and the, even the Maroons that she, the, the, the Maroon community that she founded, yeah, speak about her, right? And then and, and, and always bring her up and stuff like that, right? I'm saying it now, yeah. Now, let's go to the what the Maroons say about themselves. We're not going to run around. We're not going to buck dance. What do the Maroons of Jamaica that lives in the hills, right? In the, in the, in the, in the bush, right? What do they say about themselves? And these people, remember now, these people were indoctrinated. They were educated we this, by the group. Where do we find this source? It what they're saying is it. You can you can easily you can easily just Google yeah or go on um. What you it, reading it from? Where are you getting what? this information from? Yeah, I want to see what he what you got. Because I've spoken to uh, to Maroon. I've well, you know we can't use good. that in court today, right? You know, you know that that wouldn't be valid in court of law, brother. Unless you had the witness here today with you. If not, you brother, know we can't brother, use it in, in my respectfully, court. Respectfully, right? Respectfully, a lot of you claim that your grandmother told you this and that. Yeah, right? but bro, I can let you hear my grandma say it though. Respectfully, respectfully, right? A lot of you only have your grandmothers and so on and so forth to, to clarify that you are indigenous. But, or but a lot of us did our genealogy, too. A lot of us did our genealogy, too. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a mother. Bro. You are sitting here trying to say that we are up here. Hold on, brother. You are calling me a liar, bro. That's what you're doing when I cared enough about myself to find out who the fuck I was. And that's how I can tie myself to a, a, a fucked up ass treaty. It's called a porch uh, treaty. So you want to sit here and lie to my face and tell me that I'm not who I say I am because I put in the homework and I'm not I'm distracted you, by right, niggas right, like Martin Luther King and fucking right, whatever the fuck you talking about. Hey, y'all, hold, hold, right, hold on, let's do this here. Let's do this here. Because I want to just give you an example, right? A small example, because... Listen, brother, I get it. You know, it might do sound crazy. So this is what I like to do to people, right? Uh, uh, I won't, I like to press play. That's not Jamaica, bro. Nah, this ain't Jamaica. This, 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 this is America, though. Now, hold on, listen, hold on. Listen to me, family. This is me talking. This is my grandma going to say it for herself. <laughs> Because I might be lying. I might just be another nigga on the internet that I hear lying. So li listen up. <laughs> hey, we can't hear nothing, Top. Oh, damn. Hold up. All right. Hold up. Hold up. I know what's wrong. All right, that was my bad. Damn, that shit happened to me on Sarnetta. <laughs> I feel All that. is well, man. All right, um, all right, here we go. We got action. All right, so again, man, for the people just now coming in, this, you know, I know a lot of people do say that, and and for people don't be thinking them stories true. I'm living proof that those stories are true. What our grandparents are telling us. And so listen to um one of my grandma was telling me. Um yeah, that, listen, I never said otherwise though. I was trying to I was trying to I was, I was, I was, I was, I was trying to say that would take us to the Indian reservation down there. So we could see who the Indians was, but Mama Sarah was related to the Indians. She was an Indian. She was um if you seen her, she had real long hair when we were children, but as she got older, you know, her hair came out. But uh yeah, okay. Ruth looked like an Indian. Hey, this is my grandma, grandma right here, bro. This her dressed in her Indian go up. Her family was the chiefs of the tribe during the Texas Revolution. Oh, okay. This is my grandma, grandma. So uh you remember the reservation? This is a picture of her. This why was it in Livingston? It was in Livingston. Okay, yeah, I, I know that one. All right, so yeah, this is the picture of her right here. This is my grandma right here on the reservation. She ran the store on the reservation. It was only one. 
and she ran the motherfucker. So uh, now nah, my story, I really be deep. I know a lot of people like to say, "Damn, y'all still ain't hear no song. Still no song." Nah, I can hear you. No, nah, I'm talking about when I, I played the video. Bit. Y'all still ain't hear the video. Yeah, no, who's able to hear it a lot better? Okay, all right. yeah, it was better than the first time. All right, yeah. So um he said this elder abuse, brother. Yeah, what 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 is abuse about it? Nigga, see, this my thing with y'all, y'all niggas there, man. Oh uh, you said that. Oh uh, no, nah, somebody in the chat, somebody elder abuse. All right, check this oh. out. Where was your ancestor at? At 17 and 1800. And if you don't know your ancestors, you know your whole ancestry tree, and you want to learn as much as you can. Hey, this is my family. Hey, niggas, this is what I'll be telling people, bro. Because can y'all hear that? Yeah. Okay, now this this my family, bro. This is why I say the things I say. This not it ain't no book or nothing that they tell you this here, bro. This is my family. They this is this. They the ones I ain't know nothing about that Indian shit like they talking about. Um, I knew about my mama's side for it being Cherokee, but this side of my family, the ones who come from the Chiefs, they wasn't fucking around, nigga. You gonna know who the fuck you are. Now listen to him talking to me. Where was your ancestor at? At 17 and 1800. And if you don't know your ancestral tree, know your whole ancestral tree, and you wanna learn as much as you can. Where your grandma living? Uh huh. One day I'm gonna be gone. You gotta document the information I give you. And all this stuff in my head, I need to write it down. And I'm gonna tell you something. In the, if I, if you don't see it, if I don't see it in my lifetime, you gonna see what this is gonna be worth in your lifetime. And if you don't see what this is gonna be worth in your lifetime, your daughter's gonna see what it's worth in her lifetime. Hey, did you hear that, brother Nagus? I heard that. So that that's where my passion for this shit come from. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, bro, I can't let my people them down. So that Amy right there that was speaking when she was 17 years old, she in her 60s now. They took her out on the land, her and her other 17-year-old cousin that was from the Louisiana side. So she was representing the Texas side of our family. Took them in the graveyard, made them write down all the, the names on the grave sites. And when they came back, they told them who they were. I also got that audio of her telling me that too. And so she picked me out of all my cousins and, 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 and all of that. She picked me one day and I was in the streets, running the streets, bro, real live dough boy, all the way there. And she tapped me and said, hey, man. And when she set me down, she told me they gave it to me and I had to pass it down. I'm going to give it to you. You gonna have to take this shit. And so don't this why I come tell niggas, hey man, go do your genealogy, go call your family, man, go look into your because that's how they gave it to me. And so when people say they have these stories or their family telling them, I want to be a, a vehicle to show people that hey, this really does happen. So that's why I recorded some of these conversations and this actually happening. And so yeah, I'll be the proof. You understand me that these are these stories are happening to people who they been misclassified as black Americans. And so yeah, yeah, man, my family will will goddamn be an example. But that's where my passion come from. And that's why I always tell niggas, hey, hold on, man. Look out, I'm a little different. You know, I'm here on, on call, I'm on a mission. So I'm knocking down anything and get in the way. You know what I'm saying? Now I, I cause I can't go back and tell them people that I failed. And so, yeah, my grandma and my auntie and them still alive. So I can't go back and say, hey, I failed you. Now, so I'm I'm going for the win. Now, nah, for real, but I feel like you misunderstood like, what I was trying to get at. Like, you know what I mean? Because what I was trying to get at is that you have your grandmother and so on and so forth with stories, right? And I'm trying to say, like, the same comparison with the Maroons out there. Because like I said, these people weren't in contact. Even better yet. These people was isolated from the other so-called slaves that was on the island, isolated from the so-called British and the Spaniards, right? So these people have oral tradition that's coming from the first people that ran away to today. These people are sovereign in Jamaica. They have their own 
the whole uh, uh, communities out there that's not governed by Jamaican law, if if you want, like the self-governing people. Hey, let me right? ask you some questions here, bro, because I really can bring up some sources that I think can make this here real clear. But I want to ask you, when did the uh, Maroons, when did who, wh when did the Maroon slave population start? Did it start, what European nation did it start from? I believe it started with the Spanish. And I, you know, when I was hoping and then, and then, and then the British. If you say that, brother, guess what? You would be correct. You would be correct, brother. Now let's dive a little deeper. So the, are the Spanish, again, I think I actually it's just, are the Spanish running African slaves, my brother? Into the well, land of Jamaica? The, the Spanish, as we can both agree, they were more slave traders, right? But they also had a few... Where were they uh, getting slaves, like, brother? Where were the Spanish in West Africa snatching slaves out of Ghana? I mean, you, you do have countries in Africa that speak Spanish, right? You have Guinea... Uh, Guinea well, I think we're talking it's, about Ghana. Let's, let's stay focused. Pardon? Let's stay focused. We're talking about Ghana. Yeah. Right, obviously they they slave traders, so they buying they are buying slaves from over from over Europeans. You know that was happening, right? The French was buying slaves from the English and vice versa. Because we're talking about the the Maroons. The Maroon story is is it starts with the indigenous population and the Spanish. It's not we not Brit British ain't even got that yet. We ain't worried right. about. That. So I'm trying to figure out where did the Spanish get slaves from Ghana. Like I said, right, a lot right. of these slaves. It's gonna be hard to prove that. But a lot of the slaves were bought by. Because the from story was the British come, brother. The ports Say that of again? the ports of Ghana is not gonna start until the British come. By this being the Maroons being a Spanish story, brother, we have to now place the Ghana slaves in West Africa at the time of the Spanish, bro. And there's no. no, no the maroon starts with the African slaves that's running away. That's where it starts from. Well, it don't start with the indigenous people. Okay, it don't so start with the Let's Alabama. do it like this here, then, brother. Um, did the um did the Spanish enslave the indigenous population? Of course, they did at some point. Of course. Okay. Did, yeah. Now, did they enslave them before this? The Africans got there. Hundred percent. Okay, now if these people that what did the Maroons do? The Maroons, once the British came, because this was it's not a conversation of Maroons before the British come. Once the British come, guess who are going to team up? You're going to have the indigenous population team up with who the Spanish, and these people will leave and, and go into the mountain. This is who will become the Maroons now with the Spanish okay. population. Well, they white or black? Okay, okay, okay. all right. Listen, listen. Hold that's on, fine. Are the Spanish white or black? Uh, we already had this going. You're going to see the black. <laughs> this is my game right here. These are black Spaniards. Or going the this this population of mixture is going to be the Spanish, and it's going to be the indigenous population of this area who are going to okay, retreat the mountains, evading the British. They will become okay. the Maroons. This is before the British gonna bring Gunner over. Oh man, now I'm the biggest, baddest motherfucker. Chief Spain, you're talking about the problem. You're not, you're not, you're not, not letting me cook right now. You're not letting me cook right now. That's why. <laughs> if you do not have a timeline on colonization, brother, you cannot do nothing with Top Cat, you're not, man. You're not, you're not letting me cook right now. Nice, man. What that nigga say? I'm the one that's so all night long. Oh, boy, I studied so many hours and so many days and nights nice to get it right. Now you can't just walk up in here, man. You're going to have to have a timeline if you're talking about colonization, man. Listen, one question. That nigga. One question is going to kill all of that, right? One question is going to kill all of that, right? And my question to you is, if the first so-called Maroons, like you're saying, where they were Spaniards and they were indigenous people, tell me why those African culture became so dominant. To this day, African culture amongst the Maroons over there is the most dominant culture over there. Brother, that is not true. What, what do you mean that's not true? You can go right now. Hold on. Sorry, sorry, bro. Yeah. You can what? go right now. You can play, you can go right now, play a video of Maroons over there that's talking and, and explaining and, and, and showing you certain things. Those things are African, those things are not our work. 
Help me, help, me, help me out, brother. What's, what exactly is happening? Like African. I just said to you, like I just said to you, Obia. Obia is African. To this day, it's practiced over there in, 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 in places like Ghana. You can't run away from that, bro. No, yes, we can, brother. These people are playing these play, these people are gonna... <laughs> people in Ghana practicing that shit before colonization. And you can't do bro, it. Bro, it's impossible. You cannot prove you cannot prove that Obia was already practiced over there before Africans arrived there or something. Bro, you're gonna have to show there. me Africans practicing this shit before colonization. <laughs> Bro, it's, 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 you can literally, you can literally. Let me ask, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me ask him this. Um, what, gonna have to let what boat you came from? What boat you what? came from? What, what African tribe? Give me a tribe. Now you, now well, yeah, yeah, you got a wrong one. Yeah, that's, yeah, you got a wrong one. You, you got a wrong no, 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 no. This is real African right here. Yeah. It got okay. my stuff. Okay, because okay. I, 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 they got a lot of traffic going through the Caribs. I, I'm sliding in and out, so I'm I'm trying to figure out because I know who went there and I I understand everything that's going on, but it's like, all right, I, let I me. Mean, he, let, let me I mean, he already, he already. Look, hold on. You already presented somebody that's like Harriet Tubman. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it, it's real hard to. No, no, no. Where that that this figure that you're talking about, where has that gotten the caribs? That's what I'm where wh when are you gonna turn a page? When are you gonna you actually the, start questioning yeah, these heroes that you have? Right, right, hold on, hold on. Let me can I can I can answer that without being cut off there if it's two to ten seconds. Listen, I mean, yeah, why, have, you even, have, have you even have you all even figured out a strategy? Have you even have you even figured out have you even figured out a strategy? Dang, bro, you gotta you gotta let them get it out because we gotta yeah, order. We want them to hear. So just in case. So yeah, we gonna let them go, and then we got sunlight, baby. Hey man, right, that's what energy sunlight, bro, is like, bro, we gotta let, we gotta, bro. When it's y'all turn, y'all gonna want me to make sure y'all baby get y'all whole spill out too. So we gotta be respectful and just let everybody get it out, even if we agree or disagree, bro. Nah, we I ain't feeling how y'all jumped on little bro, man. Bro, hold on, bro, cause yeah. you can get it too. <laughs> so uh, niggas, go ahead, and then sunlight. Lace up, cause me and you gonna get out there after after you finish. Since that's what you're right, looking for, I got you. I'm, I'm, right, yeah, I'm still. Right, I'm still in first. You ain't feeling the no Willie Lynch vibes, man. What's up, man? Hey, my my bad, my bad, Nagus. I was just trying to prove a point that your story isn't everybody's story in the Caribs. That's all I was trying to say. That's that's cool, but we was talking about Jamaica, right? And if you speak to Jamaican people, that's what they believe. So you can't go and tell them that Queen Nanny isn't a national hero, that Queen Nanny was not a real person. To them, especially to the Maroons, because not everybody in Jamaica is a Maroon, right? To Maroon people, especially from her, from her community that she built, because there's different Maroon communities in, in Jamaica. There's about, there's about three or four, I believe, different communities throughout the island, right? Her community, if you go and speak to those people, or if you just pull up the, the videos of these people talking, these people really believe in the Queen. Hey, you can chill, world. I know you see and me. These people were not indoctrinated. That's what people keep going over. These people are not educated, indoctrinated, got nothing to do with the British. Just these people can barely, these people, these people can barely speak English, bro. These people speak tweet. They speak in an African dialect, bro. Man, when you hear them, speak, right. that's what it is. What is it, son? Tui is not an English like, language, bro. bro regardless, listen, listen, listen. You cannot say it's not. It's not. It's not. You can't say. It, you can't say it's not ancient when you have people of ancient time in Africa that was speaking it. You have that's people speaking before they knew them. What civilization? You have the two. You have you have the three people of Ghana people that been with that them niggas was was okay. What a scripted? What we find they scripted them writing they script in West Africa doing colonization. Bro, you, you know what? You're very smart. West, top, 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 top. West Africans writing when when the when the colonizers got there. You know them well. You know damn well. Africa has the same issue with America. 
meaning these people have destroyed a lot of the of the scripts yeah, a bro, lot yeah, of the, yeah, yeah, hold on a second hold on hold on hold on hold on a, hold on a second because no, no, said, hold on. when it's time to source up when it comes to no spirit. no because you're gonna you're you're gonna have the same issue if someone asks you where is the ancient writing system of the cherokee and the blackfoot and all these different people they, we, have, they don't have no writing system and we're gonna show you the writing system. Speak some of There is no there, there is no writing system in North America from none of these people that most of you claim to come from. Most that. of the tribe that, most that. of the tribe that most of the tribes that you black Aboriginal claim to come from have no writing system. It's impossible. We don't see that in no scholarship unless you made it up. So Africa, especially West Africa, has the same issue. There's a lot of things that was done in I Africa. A lot of people. Because they actually was writing you know? in the the West Africa, brother. It just there is no. What I'm trying to no, you you miss, you're, you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say, I'm not saying there wasn't. I'm saying most of them were destroyed and 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 I basically erased. Well, you know what part was destroyed when these niggas be trying to make these new languages that was created out of colonization, which I'm approved. I already did a lecture on it, the making of African American uh of the African hoax or something. I don't remember the title, but I went through all the languages and how they created them. So, and that one you just brought up. No, was no, 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 no. Bro, right. listen to me. For Thanks example, like, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me give you my example. Right, son, hey, hold on, y'all right quick, naked. One second. Hey, what's up, son? Like, let's get that. Peace, G. What's happening, man? I'm just trying right, to figure out what's the like. argument, man. It's been six hours, man. What, yeah, what just say, you ain't like how your Moore's homeboy got done and you want to take up for him. So I did it. I'm trying to figure out what we what nah, what's, I what mean, we're look, my whole argument is different. I'm not I'm not really here to stand up for, for nobody. I don't I don't know nobody claiming uh this, that, on the oh, third. Like real air walking in the motherfucking I'm trying to figure out. Uh, time I, time I, like, like, mad at people for one minute. Hold on. 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 Hey, mm. cut. What's going hey, we got on, a man? real Aaron walking in the building, man. Because the brother yeah, yeah. said, they speak Hey, Aaron walking, make it make sense, man. Yeah, full blood. Well, let me tell you something. My father sits. I'm not here. Me. None of these niggas saying, man. My father sits. Yeah, company maroon. And uh, the Trelawney town seats of the maroons. He's a chief. Is, um, I have a long history of chiefdom into those tribes over there. And you said that the African never heard that in my life. Hold on, what what community are you from? What 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 our community are you from? Well, we are what you call a Parkey people. We are what are you, you call. The Windward and the Leeward tribe, east and the west. They're different bands. So what band are you talking about? I'm talking about the Maroons in Jamaica. <laughs> okay. The largest Maroon settlement is called the Flagstaff people. And that's their compound. My last name, that's what gave that place that name. I won't tell you my last name, bro. So, Which place you talking about? In Jamaica. Well, what were these different communities in Jamaica? Maybe? Oh, sure. You have what you'd call the Yen Kun Kun Pikibu tribe, which is a windward, and I'm the Leeward people, which is a parky. Okay, so are you saying amongst your people there is nobody that speaks about coming from Africa at all? No, we don't know nothing of such. The only thing we know about it is when they went there, they colonized it. I don't know about that, brother, because there's, 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 I've spoken to Maroons. I've spoken to Maroons in Jamaica, and I even tried to listen to the dialect. You're speaking Obviously, to a Maroon from Jamaica right now, brother. The brother, that, bro, brother bloodline is from bro, the chief. <laughs> Listen, dude, say, listen, man, I got all type of people. He one of the big homies over here. He'll moderate in the chat. Bro, he that's cool. Walking that's from the dirt. I'm going to tell you something. Good. You see that 
Creole people in West Africa, which maybe you came out of that line, that English Creole, that came from right here in the Americas, baby. No, you're talking and about patchwork. You know, most of the food you eat, we gave it to you. I don't know. You hear me? <laughs> I don't the know about the food. Hold on. The streets you drive on, the buildings you see that look like ours, we gave that to you. The university, that's, that's the cities. So have some respect. That's, that's not true See? because you can go back to you can go back to the kingdom of Aktu that had pavement roads you don't in East Africa. Kingdom, the, the, the kingdom one? of Aktu. Tell me. Which one? The kingdom of Aksu had pavement roads before oh, Europeans Aksum. arrived there. Aksum. The Europeans. The Aksumites. The Aksumites. Oh, the if you, if the Aksumites. Yes. If you look Aksumites. at the. If you, if you look at the castle that you see in Europe, a lot of it was modeled after the, the uh, what's it called? Yeah, Mali, but, you know, uh, yeah, but listen, the people in Ethiopia does not consider themselves to be African anyway. Um, that's, that's you don't break story, bread brother. with you. They won't break bread with you. You know that. Come on. Yeah, but that's another story, my bro. I I, I know where you're coming from, but that's another story. The fact yeah. that they are African. Yeah, but a lot of them are made of Arab. Yeah, but those people are Sabians. They're from the west uh, of, on the Red Sea. Come on now. The Yemen they're from the west. They're the Yemenites. Come on now. You tell they, me. They, they, they mix with Arabs and Indians and stuff, so they're a bit yeah. confused, you know. They're very confused out there. Okay. But, uh, never, nevertheless, right? Nevertheless, I personally myself, and I wouldn't lie about this, it's easy, easy to look up to. Yeah? There's, there's many modern communities within yeah, Africa. But you're talking Jamaica. scholarships, man. Leave the scholarships yeah, alone. You, you're talking scholarships. Um, scholarship no, I'm talking about. No, no, no. I'm talking about old tradition from the people that on the land right now. Listen, the people that's in Jamaica attach, right now saying this. Yeah, but why are you trying to attach yourself to me? I'm not trying to attach myself to you. I'm not trying to do either. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying Listen. to gauge where you're where you're coming Listen. from. Um, you from uh, you from London? I can hear the accent, right? I'm not from there, but I live there at the moment, yeah. Good, you live in London. And let me tell you something. My grandparents grew up in the streets of London. My grandfather fought in the Crimea War, and he took the Ottoman and created Syria-Palestine, and gave to the crown Syria-Palestine as a Christmas gift. Now, let me tell you something, you see? My grandfather, father, that that fought in those wars, they were what you call the Royal Seamen, which you call a West Indian Regiment. You look everything up that I'm telling you. All right, it's right there. You type them, you're going to be a military record, which is one of the oldest military records in the Americas because they were the Royal Military Regiment of the Crown. You see, now let me tell you this. When we came to North Africa, that's why you know the Egyptians use the, use the Egyptian pound, recognize who were there. Okay, and who gave them a canal too, just like the Panama Canal. It all came from the Americas, man. You have to understand certain things. Um, you have to understand that. When the Africans just start coming into London in the 1970s, late 70s, early 80s, guys like you would come in and act like the West Indian people. Our music, food, everything, you'd never say you're African. Thank God for the, what you call reggae, um, for what you call today the Afrobeat to give you an identity. And it still resembles, all of it resembles music from the Americas, from hip hop, reggae, and calypso. So you have to, you can't tell me I'm something with my cornbread and my macaroni and cheese in your mouth, telling me that I am something I don't do that. Recognize man. All right, cut, I'm off, man. I should end it. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> you got to recognize, man. You need to recognize, man. You got to tell somebody. Yes, you got to recognize, or else I come with a chopper. Peace, peace, big G, peace, big G. <laughs> oh, God. Right, just, just, yo, this, the brother, you know, out of respect, I didn't want to cut him off too much, right? 
but he said things like, um, I'm going to touch on the last thing that he said. It is true. A lot of Africans, right, when they was arriving in, in the UK and stuff, um, they were they were very embarrassed, right, because we know the stereotype, right? So a lot of them was clinging to other identities, like, for example, Caribbean people, because there was a lot of Caribbean people here way before Africans arrived, right? So a lot, of, especially Jamaican culture. So you had a lot of Africans from Nigeria, Ghana, Zimbabwe, South Africa that was claiming that that were that would rather claim to be Jamaican than to be because it was cool at the time. They had Bob Marley, they had all these different things, but it wasn't cool to be African. You know what I'm trying to say? It was always been just like pretty much today. It's always kind of looked upon to be African. You're African, you get oh, you you live in in huts and all this type of shit, but. You know what I'm trying to say? So a lot of them were taking on this cost, the, those those type of cultures, right? But nowadays, now the stood now remember now, I've grew up in France, right? The issue of Africans claiming to be Caribbean only happens in places like the UK. But in France, where I've been, I've lived for almost 10, 15 years, right? Those people that's over there, the Africans, they are proud to be African because the majority of black people in, in France are mainly from directly from the continent. You know, but those that went to the UK, because obviously the coming there, there's, there's already black people there. They're claiming to be more Jamaican and so on and so forth, because that was cool to be Jamaican. But the Jamaican culture isn't big in France. There's not a lot of Jamaican people in France. So it, we have to be careful. We have to look at the context once again. And me, that's what I like. I, I like, uh, I love the way I kind of grew up, because I grew up uh, pretty much in three different countries. I grew up in Africa. I grew up in France and I grew up now in, in, in the UK, right? So I can see how black people or African people have behaved in, in those three different countries. You know what I'm trying to say? So like I said yeah, again, I, yeah, we have to be very careful. Like, yeah, I feel what? I feel what you're saying. If you no, li listen, if you descend yes, from Africans, that, that's 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 your story. You see what I'm saying? Like we don't put everybody in a box, just like I said. No, no, people, no. people that come from the listen, people that come from the Caribs, they don't all have the same story. So I ain't got nothing against no Africans. I just don't respect if you can't prove that you are African. Like I, I never grew up in African culture, bro. I come from farmers, brick masons, bro. Like I already told you the porch, the uh porch uh Creek Treaty. Like uh, there's there's no fronting over here, bro. Like. We do the extensive homework as to who we are, bro, to notify everybody else. Like, yeah, just because you melanated, that doesn't mean that you are African or come from Africa. Yeah, I think uh, I hate we what you're saying, but I'm, I'm, I've, I've never, I've never tried to, to try to imply that, uh, try to put everyone in one boat type of thing. Uh, from from when the first time I, I come on this platform and trying to speak and stuff, I'm never ever trying to imply that. So you might be talking about other people, other pan Africans, but I'm I'm not one of those. You know, I'm not one no, of those. No, you said no. You said no. You hold on, just respect. You said we go off of oral of what Grandma said. No, we respected what Grandma said, and we also have the proof. I have records. I you have records of more people being slave owners and slaves. I have records of what they were doing. They were owning that's land, cool, bro. So that's whatever cool, you're trying that's... to, but I'm you're, saying you're that that is true. That you're is true. You understood what I said. That could be your truth and your story, right? That's fine. That's fair enough. What I was trying to say, right, was that you use your grand, uh, not just you. I mean, like people in general. A lot of people are using their grandmother or this and their grandmother that. And I'm saying I was trying to use the same comparison with the maroons in Jamaica. Right, some of the communities marooned in Jamaica, they have the same. You, you you can't tell them well, prove it in the records. They're gonna tell you we're getting this from oral tradition. I got, they're gonna tell you they got this from their grandmothers too. And you, a lot of you, try to dismiss it and be like, oh no, we you have can't. to show it in records and write in and stuff before. No, you know, because you're gonna have this. A lot of you gonna have the same, uh, uh, the same fight and the same uh, struggle. To prove a lot of the same. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second, bro. You're speaking on people that aren't related to you. You are speaking on people that aren't related to you. Everybody doesn't have the same story. But well, that's what I'm you saying. Right, you're not, you're not paying quick, attention bro. to what I'm saying, bro. You're not, you're not paying no, attention. Real quick, real quick. 
real quick, Nagos. He going I, I get what you he get what you saying, and I get what you saying as far as you know, his oral tradition has passed down. The reason that we said, you know, uh, right, right, real quick. So the reason that we said connected to you is because that we talking about a mythical figure. Like we was, we were taught about Nat Turner, Harriet Tubman, and other mythical figures, but we were also told that they don't have any descendants. So you got mysteries around their births and deaths, and you don't know, you know what I'm saying? Then you get this story with an overall title like Pocahontas, and um, we like, all right, well, the reason why we say poor records on her is because we talking about a mythical figure. Like he can, he can tell you about his granddad and then pull the records on his granddad or great, great, great granddad and say, all right, this is what it is. But we can't do that on that mythical story that we getting. So when you bring up somebody that prominent or a story that prominent, we say improve that story. I, no, I heard that. We probably, we probably can't pull the records because it said it was a title, you know, that was given. So you probably go on these lodges and orders, you know. No, this is awesome. I, I totally, I totally understand. Yeah, what, what you were saying. Yeah, what people were saying. What I'm trying to get at is that right this year, the people, the for example, Queen Nanny, right, the maroon community that she that she formed, right. These people are still alive today. You're not talking about people that just disappeared, that just became part of the normal population in Jamaica. These people are still isolated today in the hills of Jamaica. When you go to speak to these people, you can pull the videos on, on, on YouTube right now. Of these people hey, but talking. look, bro, we ain't got to pull videos now. Like, we just you know, had, we had real no, Aaron Watkin yeah, Maroons coming from chieftain families, bro, who come from the no, land. I, who are, still, who are telling us a totally different story than what you were saying right now, and that's why I talk, that's why I say I say look, bro, I say this is gonna be the court of law. If you was gonna come in here with secondhand information, then that we wouldn't be able to take that in the court of law, brother. So what we had was a real era walking. You said let the people speak for themselves. So era walking came and spoke for himself. He said they don't know nothing about the African shit you talking about. He well, comes from the land. Them. But listen, listen we to him, him. He still got his accent, everything, bro. Bro, respectfully, he is an Arawak. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about those that are of African descent. You know, you know, like what the, African the, tribe are they from? from? They mostly from the Akan tribe, the Akan Ashanti tribe. That's and where they where, mostly come okay, from. And, where, and what year did they get sent to Jamaica? Most of them. Brother, do you know the Shanti is a two tribe? In the 1600s. What? And who? The Shanti, when? When did the Shanti yeah. get sent to Jamaica, brother? The, the, the Akan people, the Akan people, oh, along the with Oba, You said Ashanti. Yeah, but Ashantis are Akans. Okay, it's so, or, 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 okay, like, would these people be labeled Ashantis at that time? At the time, but you know, they, they, they call Asant, Asanti, but obviously we pronounce it Ashanti. In Ashanti, a, in a, listen, but do okay, what year was the Ashanti tribe created? But it's, it's going to be hard to prove what well, year. Not, brother, the information is online. The yeah, Ashanti the is not an ancient but, tribe. The Ashanti is a but, tribe that was created through colonization. That's why the chief of the Ashanti don't, tribe was a German. Okay. <laughs> You laughing, bro. I man, no, now Nagus, the, I, one thing about the, me, Nagus, Nagus, I why think I, I have been to be fair. I think I think the things that I say, I I'm still in first grade. I'm still I'm still in first grade. I actually swiss up on. So I can show you, brother, that when the Shanti was created, who was the first oh, chief? I can show you that this was a creation out of colonization. Hell, Dr. John Henry Clark even tell you this. And so, yeah, man, I can prove that easy. Ashanti ain't nothing. Ashanti is a tribe that was created out of colonization. Yes, because it was a mixed race tribe. I can prove that. It's and not so, a mixed yeah, race tribe. That'd be super it's easy, Ashanti, man. I got, the I got the PDF people. right here. Bro, the Ashanti people, they are a subgroup of the Akan people. The Akan people, you can find them throughout West Africa, right? What you're trying to talk about, if you're talking about modern day, the country you call Ghana today, you can say that was kind of the European construct. But the tribe, the Akan people are a very ancient people, bro. They've been in West Africa for a long time, bro. The Akan say they are not originally from West Africa, brother. 
The country but once it was, migrated you're, you're down moving, into West Africa. You're moving the goalpost once again. Because so one minute when I are they people from? Are they West Africans or not? Because bro, in, they, in their history, they say they're not from West Africa. Bro, hold on a second. Nevertheless, yeah, I'm, those, I'm those here, people, man, right, those people, those people have been in West Africa for over two, three thousands of years. No, bro. that's not what they say, brother. They don't say that. I'm sorry. That's you cannot what, show bro, me the cunt saying that. The cunt do let, not let say that. Some, hold the on a second. Say they are from North Africa, brother. I can show you hold myself. On. Hold on, hold on. First of all, yeah, it's going to be hard for you to prove that all the account people saying that because you have subgroups and every subgroup got their own, they've got their own uh, old, uh, traditions. Some say they come from the Middle East. Some say they come from Kemet or Egypt. Some say they come right. from North Africa. Right. Exactly. So that's what I'm trying to say. So when you, you can't just generalize all of them in one group. No, we can't. We you know can't. They, they never we said they've been, they moved there thousands of years ago. No, know. no, one thing, this, this, this is what I said. Now, you, you didn't hear what I said. I said, right, those people, you can you can do archaeology, right, and you can find those people been in West Africa for two, three thousand years, bro. They've been there already. They've been there for thousands of years. They might have come from somewhere else before that, but they've been on the, in West Africa for at least two, three thousand years, bro, before they come from anywhere else. And you can go to the archaeology, you can go to the to some uh, some of them uh, old oh, tradition. They in Egypt? Damn. So how long ago were they in Egypt, and how long were they in Egypt? If they've been there two thousand oh, years me, ago, me, how long have they me, been in Egypt? <laughs> let me break it. Let you me break it saying? down. Let me let me break it down to you. Yeah. First of all, yeah, I believe a lot of them came from the the Bantu expansion, right? I don't believe what they're trying to use as the as the story where the Bantu exp uh, expansion started from. Oh, this is your theory. Know, it's not That's my. It's more old tradition. Your theory. No, no, it's oral tradition that I've I've, I've heard from my elders. So it's what like you heard. Do you elders? know, in the what? you know, what? I actually have a a, a a tape. Have you ever heard of Clubhouse niggas? Clubhouse, yeah, yeah, but it's full okay, of. Okay, so I was on Clubhouse and I was talking to the current people on there. It's recorded somewhere, man. I'm bad with the names of the videos, but I'm actually talking to them, bro, and they're telling me they're not saying what you're saying, bro. The people from there, they are not saying what you're saying. And a lot of the things that I'm saying, they were agreeing with me, brother. No, Even like when it came down to the Ashanti. Because if we don't talk about Ghana, I can pull the PowerPoint up on Ghana right now. We can, you know, I, I, I never said I never said it was that. Listen, you, you're not paying attention. I never said you was wrong. I said you cannot prove that all of them. I agree no, to what I you're saying. To you're going to find, you're going to find, hold on, hold on, brother. Let's do it slowly, I'm right? You're going to you. find, you're going to find some that's going to agree with you, and you're going to find some that's going to totally I disagree with you. So, which one are you going to go with? You're going to go with those that fit your narrative, right? Because I can tell you right now, some of them claim they're from Egypt. Some of them don't even tell you they're from Sumeria, bro. Someone that would tell you from, and someone that would tell you the ancestors came directly from freaking uh, uh, the, the stars of, uh, in the universe, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's going to be difficult for you to show me all the Akan people. No, what saying it sounds like it's difficult is for Africans to prove anything. <laughs> that's but, what, but, that's but, what it sounds like. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. It's difficult for Africans to prove like, like anything. That's, that's, like, that's like the kettle calling the pot black, bro. Because you're gonna have the same issue. Oh, no, bro, we can prove it. Listen, brother, do you know we have over two thousand more pyramids than Africa? Do you know we those still are, have? Like, I use those my nation, pyramids. for example, to be clear. Those, my nation, those I know, me, right? Those, we have a mound, those, right, in Georgia called Mount Pyramid. That is so. Mind. We have civilization. We have our stories intact, brother. It's not. Hold on a second, bro. Okay, let's slow down. Slow it down. What is the definition of civilization? Can you pull the definition of civilization? Because I can tell you right now, you never had civilization in America that's older brother, than Africa. Brother, we man, have get your ass out of here, we man. Have no, you, you, we cannot, have, you cannot, we have you cannot, you cannot. Hold on, brother. All of our civilization, we got uh, uh, irrigation. We have running water here. You understand me? No. We have uh, uh, agriculture <laughs> cool. here. That's we cool. have yes, uh, farming, agriculture. We have fishing. Yeah. We have goddamn yeah. me uh 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 
uh, uh, spiritual system. system. We the ones yeah. mapped out the stars, and we also have uh, uh, masonry we here. Wrong, by the way. We, we have all wrong. the elements of civilization here, which we which still stands today. We can still go to them today because BCU Brother. we have been there. We walked them grounds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, me? Hold so on. yeah, no, nah, man, here no, the African ain't got. He can't way up to that. What? What stove I mean, did Africa okay, hold on a second. Hold on, what hold on a second. Did right? hold, on, hold on, hold on, slow, slow down, slow down. See, that's one thing I didn't want. I don't want to do no like like scoring points points against each other, right? Because I want to actually build it. No oh, man, we couldn't right? do that because I'll be yeah, cheap because an African can't put up no civilization up against America, bro. We like you ahead of Africa, including Egypt. Um, you okay, let me, ask you one question. What, let me ask you one question. Name me, name, name me one thing. Hey, hold right? on, Shrugs, your mic super duper low, Shrugs. Like, super low. All right, Nate, like, up. Right, right. I was going to say, my question to you is this, right? When we talk about civilization, there are different categories, right? Yes, uh, 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 agriculture, uh, spiritual system, government. Uh, also, you're going to have to have writing and so on and so forth. What I'm trying to say to you, when you look at all those elements, right, all, this is why when you go to, to the vast majority of scholars, right, they always tell you it's between Africa and the so-called Middle East, right, where civilization come from, right? You don't, you don't, hear, you don't hear America in a picture, bro. Because uh, when you, you look, know, when, when you you the the just got to ask you what the man said, bro, can I, like, can I, can I, I've been through all this. Y'all got to let him land, bro, because I don't want it to look like it's unfair. You know, so we got to oh, land. Brother Nagus, land, please. Bro, you're going to have your time. I'm not going to interrupt you like you do, right? No problem, Nagus. Let's just let's just go. Stay focused, man. So with, with, with that being said, right, with that being said, when you go into when you go into scholarship, right, there are categories once again, right? When you go to all three of them, the only pe the only continents that get spoken about in history or in scholarship is Africa, is between Africa and civilization you see in uh, in Mesopotamia. You don't see, and then after that you see India and so on that come after. America is actually America is actually uh, 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 kind of last if you talk about civilization because you guys don't have rights and systems, bro. Okay, so it's we'll do it like this here, then, family. We'll do it like this here, brother. Mm -hmm. Nagy. All hold, hold, the, the hold civilizations in Mesopotamia, the civilization yeah. in Egypt, um, we have civilizations older here. Hey, did y'all? Is anybody in here? Okay, hold on, let me show you something, brother, because they took a picture. Okay, they we just BCU just went to a site called the LSU Mounds, and I, I gotta get the pictures from them because I ain't go out there with them that morning. But on the on the um historical uh site there, uh, it states that these this this civilization is older than the civilizations in Giza. What is the first uh pyramid built by uh, in, in, in in Egypt? It would be the step pyramid, correct? Well, when we take you to Corral, Supe, and uh, when we take you to Corral and in, in, in Peru, they have the a step pyramids there, which are older than the pyramids in Egypt. Is so the, people, the, the, the Pan-Africanism Pan -Africanism will write that out. But uh, now, uh, since no, the no, no. they've been saying that the civilizations in America are by far older than the civilizations in Egypt. I'll give you another example. You can take Egypt's oldest gods, right? Let's take Anubis, one of their oldest gods. And he, he is a depiction of a uh, cholo dog, which is indigenous to, to Mexico. All of the Egyptian deities that are animals are indigenous. The animals are indigenous to here in the Americas, brother. So yeah, now nah, I mean, you know y'all can't y'all you can't put Africa, including Egypt, on side of America for a civilization. Let me, let, me, let me kick it. Let me kick it again. Junior, right grab the car. Yeah. Superior, pop the trunk. Let me let me let me just kick it again. Big, yeah, yeah, can you pull that right. article up? Name me. Name me. Can, name can you pull me that article up, big? I'll put it in the back. Name me anything remotely close, right? To the uh, math mathematical mathematical tool, yeah, called the Ashango bone that was found in Congo, that is that that you can find in America. So let me say that again, right? Can you find any membership? 
hold on yeah, a second. Yeah. Name me, can, can you name me anything older that was used to do to basically uh, as a mathematical tool, right? In the Americas, that's older than the Ashango bone that was found in Congo. And that bone is over two thousand, more than twenty thousand years, and people are doing well, people are doing. Okay. When did they find that, that bone? When did they find it? It was found in Congo, Uganda area. What year, brother? Am I asking? Cause there's some recent shit. What year was it Pan found? Um, I have no. It was not. It's not pants. Stop. Stop trying to say everything is pan African. What year it's is it? Uh, or did I get it up to you? Recent. I think it was in 19, 19, 60, 70s, I, I think it was found. And what year yeah, was the height of this Pan African when they started putting it? Come on, bro, stop it, man. That shit bro, come out of African bro, studies. No, you're come running now. You're running. Studies, brother. You're running. Top cat, respectfully, you're running now. You're gonna have to show me anything brother. that's remotely close to that in the Americas. You're not gonna find it nowhere around okay, the world. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this here. You're not gonna find anything close to your Chango bone anywhere around the world, bro. Brother, that's that twenty thousand years ago. That bone is what? fake, bro. The bone is prove fake. That it's okay, prove, prove that it's prove that it's it, fake. Look, look it. y'all just found it. That shit no different than the Dead Sea Scrolls. Prove, no, prove you it. You're just talking now. Prove that it's fake, bro. Prove that it's fake. That, that shit uh, uh younger than the the, the uh, I mean that shit that's some uh, um um Dead Sea Scrolls so, shit, bro. Hold, hold, hold on a second. So are you telling me that white people are gonna say that Africans, the same continent they've been looking down upon? The same continent they make fun of, of having no civilization, but out of nowhere they're gonna come out and tell us That's that. That's what happened. So who brought it out? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second, bro. Let me land. Let me land. Let me, let, let me land. Let me land. Right. So this continent that everyone looks upon down here, yeah, they look down on Africa. Africa got no civilization. Africans are dirty. Africa, there's nothing in Africa, right? But now the same racist Europeans, right? The same Eurocentric people are gonna come out one day out of their mind, right, and talk about. Yeah, this African had a, a mathematical tool that's 20,000 years old, and, we, and they're scratching their head thinking, How did this uncivilized so people? Is that the mathematical tool, tool you used, brother? You what? Is that your final answer that it's the oldest mathematical tool used? It's the oldest, it's yes. It's older than anything in America. Hold on, hold on, family. Let's do this here. So, during that time, a Leopold and them, where did we see them using this bone? Do we see them using this bone during the time of colonization? At any bro, point do you know what? colonization, <laughs> do we see them using this bone? Brother, this bone was used yet yeah, during ancient times, bro. We, you're talking okay, about so 20,000 years ago. Do we see them using ago. this doing, uh, 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 20, years ago, bro. bro? Say that again. I say, do we see them using this during the periods of colonization? Where do we see African... In Congo, using this at, at the uh, in eighteen hundreds, you, you know how you see people using it because if you know about how people count in Africa, right? We count not in Africa, so in Congo, right? Which is in Africa, obviously, but there are people count in Congo, right? They count in odd numbers, and that's the exact same way when you look at the Ashango bone. If you read about it and you study it, the numbers are in odd orders. People in Congo, that's how they count. You know what I'm okay, saying? They counted uh, numbers. Uh, have you ever heard of the abacus, brother? Have you ever heard of the abacus? Ever heard of what? The abacus. No, no, I've never heard of that. What's the that? abacus is the oldest form of record keeping, brother. And that comes from here. The the um now it was it was famous over there in the Middle East, <laughs> and it came in under uh Pope Sylvester II. Okay, Pope Sylvester II. Now, that's the number. That's the number to do with the Okay, it was called an abacus. All right, now this is something that we can prove that niggas was using throughout history, all the way up into colonization, brother. And now of record keeping, which is the oldest. It was it was a calculator. Okay, and this here is coming from the Americas, but we find them using this in Mesopotamia and uh um. The Middle East and, and over in these areas. So yeah, our form, which is way more accurate than your bone, which is found in the 1900s. That's why I say, prove to me people was practicing this here in Africa in the 1500s, the 1600s, the 1700s, the 1800s. Okay, my question, my question, in the 1960s on the civil rights uh, era. Okay, okay. My my question <laughs> you to you. Older than the advocates, man, because they they found who, who, them 
He was initially here uh, over a thousand years ago uh, up in, in America. We have proof of this. So uh, where, was it, where, was it, where was it from in America? What part of America? Because America is, is very big. Where was it Meso, from? Uh, it was used in Mesoamerica. It was used in the Mississippi, uh, uh, used by the tribes in the southeast and the Mississippi. What's the them, also the West Coast tribes. What's right what's here, this question right here. Right here shows from the West Coast. Educators of Mesoamerican map tool are uh, used in Arizona. And so, yeah, man, um, we also have southeast and Mississippian tribes uh, using this. We also had an Aztec and Mayas yeah. using this. So uh, this is found throughout the Americas, but it was adopted by Pope Sylvester II, and this was back in nine uh, uh, in the ninth century. So hey, you're telling me, hey, and top that—that's what we use. Like we used to use them in Head Start for people that don't know what it is. It's the little thing with the beads on it on the rails. Talk to them. You, slide, Talk to them. you slide it over. That's how we learn how to count. We was taught that, and I, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in Mississippi, but that's the first one of the first ways um, they taught the children to count a head start was the abacus. It looked like it looked, you look at it, it looked like a little toy, but you slide a bit. It looked like a toy. They still yeah. use it for little you know what toys saying? now. You had the yellow, the red, the green, green the blue, the green. Yeah, yeah. you slide yeah. the red. Mm -hmm. That's up. That, that ancient well, that American, still like uh, technology. Not a bone that they found in the 1960s, brother. Some, is, that, is, that older, is, is that older than 20,000 years old? Brother, you would have to show us a culture practice in that. You have to show that we don't just, just find a bone on the I ground and say, you. all right, this I is what this was used for. And we have no proof of those those same people using it all I the just, way up until colonization or before I just, colonization. I told you, right, the markings on the bones, if you look at it, right, if you go and study the bone, the, the numeral counting on it is in odd numbers, right? And the people to this day in Congo, that's how they count, right? This is how they count. We count in odd numbers, bro. And it's the same it way. Show y'all using that bone. Show y'all using that bone. Why are we going to use that bone yeah. in modern times, bro? We're in 21st okay, so century. Okay, so what were y'all using this to do using that to it? Say that again. What were y'all using during the time of colonization, did? Well, when they found y'all, yeah. when did y'all stop using the bone? Since we can't find y'all using it, when when can we find, when did y'all stop using it? It's going to be hard wasn't to the do. the topic civilization. He's bringing one femur bone to the party. He got a bone in his thing. back pocket. Is it? You know, paying everything. Little bones and schools and scientists. This, so, this, like, but, but this is this an argument. Let, let, let me read this. Like, there's so much more we can bring up that you can't even you can't even equate to it, bro. That we that you see through our night the Nile Valley, bro. The oldest calendar yeah. is in Africa. The oldest calendar is found where. Where is the oldest calendar found? In Mexico. Which is in Mexico. No, 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 no. In Mexico. No, 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 okay, so what calendar system did y'all go out for, brother? Listen, let like me I tell you it, why. Okay, why did y'all have to change y'all calendar system then? Because y'all dates was out for us for the agriculture, bro. Y'all dates was out. That's why y'all 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 pyramids are bent in Egypt. Y'all was fucking up out there. We ain't got no bent pyramids no, out here. No, all, no, I was no. was, all I was shit was okay. built right the first time. Y'all made <laughs> Let me mistakes. Just... Y'all had to change. <laughs> yeah, to the shit was leaning. <laughs> Why did y'all change? <laughs> that shit was leaning, bro. <laughs> y'all changed calendars <laughs> because y'all seasons were off, bro. And y'all, yeah, y'all seasons no were off. Color. Listen, there was no scholar in their right mind that can ever compare any pyramids in America compared to those in, in it, for example, like the Pyramid of Giza. First of all, one stone, you know how much the stone weighed? One stone. You guys was using mud and clay, bro. You know, using stone. Name a pyramid that's using you know, that's made out of clay. Name a pyramid it that's one made stone, out of clay. One stone was more than two tons, bro. One stone was... What pyramid you know, is about made out of clay? You're talking about a different... You're talking bro, about I just showed you. Different. I just showed a video of me at the pyramids. What pyramid? And I've been what, down, I've been the what, is what is it so made of? What is it made of? made out of wood and clay, brother. What, what was it made of? What was it made of? What was the stone made of? What though? pyramid is made out of? It ain't made out of mud and clay. That's one the one, one that you were doing. Okay. Is okay. Named out of mud and clay, brother. You said well, it. The, oh, yes, I did say it because some of them are made of mud and clay, bro. They don't made of well, hard stone. Like the ones in Egypt. They don't made of granite. 
They're not made of granite, bro. It's pyramid, brother. The one that you were you were standing in front of, right? Where you were talking, the video that you showed me. It's made before. out of muddy clay. No, I'm asking you, what is it made of? What's oh, the material? Okay. Well, you, you, it ain't muddy clay. But I'm asking yeah, you what it is. Yeah, it is we have pyramids made clay, out of different buddy. material, though, man. It depends on what tribe well, you're you, the, you, okay. the shell Indians okay. down in Florida, the, the pyramids down here, it depends on what tribe was building and where they was at. You see what I'm saying? So it's not a definite. We got many regions across the, the U.S. It depends on That's what you're talking about. You understand what I'm saying? So when you're saying what is, but then niggas that go back to, you know, you saying you weren't trying to generalize, but you're trying to take the Taino people and make them African. You see what I'm saying? And that question no, is- No, no, I've never done that. I've never done a Taino people. No, but you're saying that Maroons are African. Maroon has what nothing the, to do with the African, African people. people. Brother, but listen to what I'm saying. The Maroon Hold culture on. or the Maroon people, Maroon, first of all, didn't have any negative connotations to a slave until the British after that. And essentially the root of the word, the naturalness of the word, it just, uh, it means wild arrow or wild Indian. The Indians are those people that stayed in the mountains on the island at the high peak. That's what it meant. The word slave was okay, just okay, sit, what, what in, uh, inserted in there and it became to try to make it synonymous. But Maroons are not significantly uh, synonymous to a slave culture, brother. That's the first thing right, we got to get out of here. You know, y'all can't cool. take the maroon cool. Spanish and say, oh, maroons are Africans. Those are African slaves. Okay. Bro, okay. Let me ask you know your I'm question. Saying? Let me ask your question right there. Hopefully you can answer it. Superior minds, right? Oh, hold on, no niggas. Because you, you ask, ask a right? lot of questions so, and don't, so, so don't can you, can prove you nothing. Explain to me? Yo, hold can on you, real quick. Because you, you had a, a firsthand account from a man who is from over there. And you're dismissing exactly. his over words. There, bro. You want to go and pick up a goddamn caveman femur bone. And be specific about the Congo and, and some masses. No, no, no. Those, that, that were, was gonna pay were just told and proved. So you're telling me cavemen was doing those type of mouth? I'm speaking, man. You've been talking and questioning and answering questions with questions. Hold on one second. The yeah, conversation started about civilization. Question. You brought up mm -hmm. the, the Nile. There's no way you could deny the Nile. Well, these uh, downtown in Miami, you know, building fell or whatever, they demolished it. They already knew about it from what I've been reading. Um, and they're trying to build condos over it again, but they found an Indian civilization, you know, and, and this uh, recent article that just came out, a uh, number of artifacts dating back 7,000 years around the time that would be later become the Old Testament Bible was being assembled. According to historical uh, estimates were found on a parcel of land in the city of Brick, Brickell, uh, off Brickell Avenue near the mouth of the Miami River. Um, Harvard Indians on the other side, where's it at? Uh, damn. Oh, while Pestle, a professor at the bioarchaeology at the University of Miami, told news outlets WPLG on Monday that the site was older than the pyramids. It is older than the Colosseum in Rome and is a site that has great uh, antiquity. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, but I don't know. All your arguments are moot. You have no no sources, no proof, no nothing. You're going with emotions and feelings, and tell people they're moving the goalpost when you done move the goalpost, raised it up and down, like it's just so you could dunk on the motherfucker. And you still missing, like <laughs> this shit is crazy. Like I said, have you heard? Have you have you heard of the Adam Adam Adam's calendar? Have you heard of Adam Kalender? Well, weren't we talking about civilization? Then we talking about civilization. Weren't we talking about civilization? Well, that's what I'm asking. Have you heard of the Adams? Uh, well, Adams let's talk about calendar. civilization. Let's not worry about calendars right now because your number system already well, got the water. So because let's prove a civilization like because your arguments about people and you're putting these brands, labels, titles, and mythical stories on people. But Big just showed you his family talking. Big, did that, that video go through that uh, text you? Hey, clip what? a little piece of, of my family telling me uh, something about a, a you know, I just a want, I just great, great grandmother. Just want so what can I you just, prove up here today? Because I, I, I posted a few links on the chat. Right? I just, I just want to, I just want to, I just want so much to tell me why is African culture so prominent in Africa, in, in Jamaica?
Show me why is it so prominent? If these people is are it, indigenous, is it, why is, is it, it prominent? Is it African or are you just related to that? And why do you no, not it, make it, a distinction it, when you want to take like, something? Okay, listen. All right. Let me, let me, let me, uh, uh, let me, can I ask a question let to the brother? Me, about, you were saying something about me, the kind of shot. Let me kick into another gear, right? I'm going to be more specific now, right? In, in Jamaica, you have people that practice kumina, right? Kumina is another spiritual system. Some practice obia, some practice voodoo, and some practice kumina. Kumina is practiced in St. Thomas in Jamaica. If you're familiar with Jamaica, St. Thomas is where, if you know anything, where uh, the artist, dancehall artist, popcorn is from, popcorn is from, right? St. Thomas. Those people, a lot of them out there in St. Thomas practice kumina. And guess what? Kumina is a, you can find the same exact spiritual system in Congo where I am from. We still practice Kumina to this day, the exact same way, the same deities, the same, the same, uh, uh, what's it called? Hold on a second, please. The same, the same deities, the same, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, rituals, yeah, what we use it to, to sacrifice and so on and so forth. So how are these people, if they're not from Africa, where are they getting these things from? And why is it so... Exactly the same. Where did you from? say that they practice Christianity in Jamaica? Is that was that said earlier? No, I, I believe. No, I said Kumina. It's it's called Kumina. Where at? Somebody said something about Christianity. No, well, no, they practice. It's practice in Saint Thomas in Jamaica. Saint Thomas. Well, wh whatever. Whoever practices Christianity, why is you know all that shit in Kemet the same thing as the motherfucking Bible? Why? Why? Bro, Why you're going so much with your running now, bro. Like, come hey, on, yeah, hold on, time out right quick, about, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody, hold on, everybody, time out right quick. Hey, brother Garfield. Hey, brother Garfield, how you doing today, brother man? Real, real good to see you, man. Uh, uh brother Garfield says, "Okay, I'm live. Jump on when you're ready." What, 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 what's going on? I did I uh did I have a date? to uh come to your town uh brother we had a visit today by a brother by the name of rob Bowen. if you would like to rewind the tape to see what happened to rob Bowen, i want to i want to warn you brother uh yeah we beat him down we beat him down today and uh i felt kind of bad man for doing rob Bowen like that because rob Bowen, my my homeboy man he's my old homeboy bro and uh who we beat him down? You know what? I, I I let we even brought in Aboriginals. Aboriginals got punches and kicks in on them today too, man. And so, uh, yeah, Garfield, why don't you hop on the panel over here today, and I will hop on your panel. Okay, brother, let me drop the link down there. Why don't you hop on the panel over here? Why you live? Somebody come on over. We live like me and you talked about something. What happened when I came through that last night? I didn't feel like a guest. You know, y'all, y'all, y'all told me to come back another time. And Garfield, when you gonna stand up and fight like a man? Whoo, boy! I hope you rewind this tape back today. You know what? How about you go live, and while you live, you jump on the panel over here, brother, so you can still feel like you're at home. How about we do it like that, brother? How about you jump on you while you live? You click the link and you hop on my panel. And you can still be at home live on your panel, brother. How about we do it like this? Okay, because I'm feeling real good about myself today. We we got down on about, ooh, I can't even count how many pan every we dust out. Oh, uh, and uh brother, you can be next. You really, really can be next, brother. But you know what? I think you smart. I think you smart, and I think I think you don't want no parts of big team. Whoo, big old bad motherfucker. I don't think you can handle that. Garfield, I remember you said polite convinced you, polite made you believe that you could do this. Well, guess what? So, so you need to go knock on the polite door and tell and, and say, hey man, why in the hell did you make me want to do this? Because when it come a day where I got to go out there and fight this big old ass Indian chief man and I don't want no parts of it. 
<laughs> nigga, I will send your ass back to the Jacobite Pavilion. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna send your ass back to the Jacobite Rebellion. Fucking with me, nigga. Watch we gonna step, find out which goddamn out. slave plantation only family you come from out of the out of our out of all Jamaica. Cause see, I think y'all own slaves out there. Yeah, I think you from a, a descendant of a slave on the family in Irish. You try to cover it up with a pan African story. Yeah, that Aki yeah. ain't gonna save you, nigga. Yeah, I don't give a damn about you eating Aki, nigga. She let me, or uh, my gunner bitch let me taste Aki before I tasted the foo foo with all of that shit, uh, nigga. I didn't like it. Yeah, let me tell you that. I'll be the first to tell you, I ain't like it, nigga. And I don't like my fish with the head and the eyes on it, nigga. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> once you go live, and if you feel safe, <laughs> hop on this panel, nigga. And yeah, I'll come over there. Yeah. But it's, until you stop uh, uh, acting like you got that poom poom, you know, I, I don't know how we gonna do this. You told your people yesterday you ain't gonna debate me. And I'm trying to figure out what did I do, man, to make you not want to debate me now, Garfield, brother. Oh, okay. You better get your ass on. All right, y'all can turn up. <laughs> I seen him dying and I said, ooh. I, I tried I to do that line out there. Yeah. I don't think respectfully, I don't think you're ready for Garfield. Bro. Just sit back and relax. You don't think I'm ready for Garfield? Right. Hey, watch y'all. Hey, watch this here, y'all. Naked. Why, why you say that? Honestly. Respectfully, because I mean, the brother brings sources, bro. Source up, man. That's that's the main thing. The brother brings bring sources, bro. That's the main thing. You okay. know what I mean? So I'm not so saying you can't you do it. The best scholar is over there. The best scholar. It's hard to say, bro. Right? Uh, for me personally, right, my favorite will be someone like Brother Smash Rockwell. But he's not a debater. This brother is he's probably I, I, my favorite. I've never heard of him. Well, you need to look him up. Smash is trust me, Smash is, is a Tell beast. Him let bro. me get a fade. <laughs> bro, are you not, you're not ready for that. I like shit down, bro. I, I, I want to fade. You talking about a nigga I don't, bad. I don't, I don't I think he's going to... I don't think he's going to debate you. I don't know, but... Uh, see, you for told me, me you ain't think Jabari. Yesterday, you told me that I need to fight Rob Bourne or Jabari. Then you said Jabari was too big that he wouldn't fight me. Yeah. And come to find out, I already I mean, knocked him the guy. I ain't beat him <laughs> I mean, up. I beat was, him up bad. Respect, so, respectfully... Respectfully, that was a discussion you had with Jabari. That wasn't a debate. That no, was a no, discussion. that was a debate, bro. What you mean? It was set up as a debate. Do you know how many people was in there, bro? It, this was, uh, this was big. I sure because I tried to look. This I tried nigga to look is up. king of of changing. You know the narratives and that parameters of what they are. This was a, and you know no, what? No, I, I ended up fighting uh, Jabari. You, I'm Jabari. I'm Jabari, I'm Jabari called out Dan Callaway, bro. So that's how me and Jabari end up fighting. So no, take it. I take yeah. you back. So this is what happened. Me and Rob Bourne was supposed to fall. So if okay. today if you was watching when Rob Bourne came over here, I told him, nigga, you the nigga that ran. And what he told me, he had to go, I had to go buy a new computer and all of that. Now, nah, bro, we was live. So I never took it off his page, but I still have it. Okay. They started him over three times and Rob Bourne quit on the stool. He said, all right, man, um, all right, I ain't going to be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? No, this was in front of everybody. That's why I told them today, nigga, you a little nigga to me. So you know what they did? <laughs> they had, and, and, and Sarnetta didn't like that. So you know what they did? They went and got Jabari, okay? And they said, okay, right. now we finna go get our best nigga because maybe he can't fuck with Top Cat. So when I get over there, oh, I beat the shit out of Jabari. Now who can y'all, what do you mean, Garfield? Garfield not a top scholar over there. Man, I will beat the shit out of Garfield. Look, I play the tape back. I want to see it. Now, I want to see it, bro. I play the tape back with Sarnetta, telling Garfield and them like, "Damn, I ain't know y'all was, you know, nigga." I won rookie of the year. Sarnetta in my rookie year, bro, and I only had like five. I probably had like seven months of uh of in the game, bro. And they had and Sarnetta and them had already crowned me rookie of the year. They already knew I was gonna be that the next nigga, and so now we here now. And we, I can't get a fade. I done beat up the toughest <laughs> nigga they have. Ain't no, that's why you think them niggas, them niggas don't want to fuck with me, man. There ain't, it's no one that a pan African go get. You can dig up Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark. I smoke them too, because that's nah, the respect fake they though, talk. Respect those are ancestors, though. Respectfully. Man, respectfully, those are colonizers. So, nigga, yeah, if y'all love the white man or nigga who colonized y'all, then that's pan African business. But over here, what we gonna teach an American Indian Aboriginal, we don't fuck with colonizers. 
So yeah, we ain't got no respect for no colonizer. Nigga, you colonized us. And so yeah, man, that uh, uh Deuteronomy t- Revelation 10, he who leadeth into <laughs> captivity shall go into captivity, god damn it. Big old okay. How, how how about how about the, the native tribes or the Aboriginal tribe that was enslaved each other? How about that? Are you gonna get reparations what from about them as it, well? Brother, mm-hmm. I, you want a, a study on that? We teach that. Right. Okay, then. So you said you shot you led into slavery. You, no, 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 you just brought up something. You just brought up something that we teach. You don't know no, nothing, bro. Yeah, we're well, not. We don't hide history over here, bro. We are not biased at all. We not finna make people think. Oh, the Talk uh, see, I know you are not biased. Uh, you know, I don't get a lot of love. I'm not a fan favorite because I tell the truth about what happened here in America. The the U.S. government, how question. people thought that this was a foreign government. No, this was created by American Indians. The the slave That's trade right. here, uh, the slave trade happened in America before it happened in Africa. The so one question here was an indigenous slave trade where Indian tribes did enslave other Indian tribes and sold them off into the to the West Indies. Oh yeah, I have I have Indian slavery on there. You can watch it for free on my website www.bigchiefuniversity.com is on there for free and it teaches okay, you about uh, right. yeah indian slavery these niggas that's listen, right. listen it's in our genealogy one side of your that's, genealogy that's cool. might be fighting the question, for uh, the u.s expansion the other side fighting against it listen i'm bloodline related to uh one of the coldest niggas they ever do it, and that's osceola a, a nigga who fought against u.s expansion or uh, a, a warrior chief and so, nigga, that's in my bloodline. That's who. That's why I act like I act. My grandma still had a, the last name from that line that that uh that I come from in that. That's my Indian family from Alabama. They came here. Yeah, man, that's who I am. And so, yeah, nigga, I always fight against. Col- I got a a family history of fighting against the colonizers, nigga. It's in my bloodline. So I'm a, I'm a return of the ancestors and a lot of these people that's with me that didn't walk with us. You know what I'm saying? That's here today. You know, but I, I feel like this here though, man. Um oh now nah, we teach about it, bro. You gotta get a good with the bad, the ugly, even if you got black European ancestry, even if you have African or whatever. My game is this here. Ain't no shame in that. Because I feel like you should know your story and be proud of it. You know what I mean? That's what I teach. I ain't we ain't anti nothing but the tr uh, but 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 colonization and false information, you did. We bloodline over everything though. But right. that's why I say I I rather listen to you to the other ones because the other ones now they 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 never admit that they would never admit that they, that was going on right. That's why I asked you the question that I asked. I wasn't making a statement. I was asking you a question. I, did that happen now, as well? Real. Some people would deny it, and, you know, and try to make it like we the victims in the story. It wouldn't be possible for any colonization not to happen if the people here did. Thank you. That's what I was asking you to get just to gauge where, where you were standing when it comes to that. Because I know other people, other Aboriginals that I've listened to, they deny all of that. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's a fact. Because they, they ain't do their genealogy. I so they don't do it. Well, what, what, what uh, African tribes sold the so called Black Americans to the goddamn Europeans? I want some names. You what? I want some names. Names from what? For what? For the African tribes, the so-called so so-called Black Americans to the Europeans. They just had the movie Warrior King come out, and they was talking I want about some that. names. You got some names, brother? Uh, uh, what's the name of that tribe out there? In, um, the homie Warrior tribe. King. That's the one. Homies. Right. Okay. That's what they say. The Clotilde story attached to. Uh, you had to, uh, Ashanti was a slave raiding tribe. Uh, Uh-oh. Yeah, the Ashanti, you had to fool Coming them. out of Ghana, right? You Goddamn right. You had to fool Now, now, now slow down, Top Cat, because I want to ask him, where did the Ashanti and the Khan, where did, where did they originate from? Because they ain't originally from Ghana. So where did they come from? Migrate from? Well, we, we kind of touched on that earlier. Yeah, before, we just talked said, about that one. Yeah, yeah we so talked about another one. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where did they come from? I didn't hear it. Because I was trying to get on it to ask that question. De- depending on who you speak to, which which top group you speak to, some will claim to be Israelites. They come from Israel. 
Some would claim to be uh, from Egypt. Some would claim to be from uh, uh, Sumer or, or Sumeria. Some would claim to be from North Africa. So it's, it's, it's hard to say, bro. It's really hard to say. It depends who you talk to. Right, right. So which, on which ones came from East Africa, migrated from East Africa? But once again, it's going to be hard for me to tell you which one, because number one, I'm not right. from there, so it's going to be hard for me to tell right. you which one comes from East Africa or East. Uh, you know what I mean? It's going to be hard. The reason for me why to I asked, brother, um, because mm -hmm. I see not the catch, I see that a um, a Shanti Prince, one of the older, older, I guess, one of the older ladies from you know that tribe or whatever, and she mentioned that they actually originated from the East East African area and they migrated down to the West over the Ghana area. So that's the reason why I asked. You know. I'm, 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 yeah, I mean, I understand that, but a lot of that's what I was I was getting at before we when I was talking. I was trying to speak about the Bantu expansion because a lot of the so-called scholars, Europeans, pay our face. They're trying to say the Bantu expansion started around uh, West Africa, which is a lie because according to our oral traditions, most of us, ninety-nine percent of us, would tell you we came from Northeast Africa or we came down from Northeast Africa, which we around Egypt and so on and so forth. So. That's why a lot of African tribes that's in West Africa and Central Africa and even Southern Africa would tell you they come from up there, basically. You know, so for example, if I'm from Congo, right, I can tell you right now, the people that you call Khoisan, the people was, those people was actually near Central Africa. We, the Bantu people, we push them towards the South. So it's the same thing with the Twa people, the Shaw people, the Pygmy people, the Twa people, those people was, that was their land. Central Africa was, was their land. But when the, the Bantu came, came into Africa, obviously through war and whatever it is, yeah, we pushed them towards the forest or towards the Congo forest and towards the southern areas, you know? So, what, but, but that happened. What year did the Twa people, do, do you have ahead, any information where you, the Twa people came this way, came, came toward this way, or migrated this way? The Twa. Uh, to be honest, uh, as far as I know, the Twa people have been there for a very long time in Central Africa. So it's hard to say. And I'm plus, saying they never came this way? And no Twa people came over? They didn't do, make no voyage over Twa? This uh, there, was, there was one that was famous. That's, that was from Congo. Uh, it, was, it was put in one of those human, uh, human museums. Uh, human, what's it called? A human zoo type of thing. I forget his name. Is the true Saint Patrick Oceania. is uh from the Twa from the Twa people? Saint Patrick. I, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard that I've heard that doctrine before, but there was no proper evidence to show that uh, these people was these people was a uh, Twa people. Oh, uh, you know oh, that's what people say. Oh, okay, one more, one more. Are the Twa people indigenous? Are they uh, would they be considered Irish people too? Or? But, but that's I've what I'm trying to say. Irish. Like, there's there's right. not enough evidence. There's not enough evidence to make that claim. But I've heard that claim okay. before, yeah. Yeah, there's not enough right. evidence, though. As far as, I, as far as I know, the Twa people is one of the oldest people on Earth, and they've been in Central Africa for a long time, you know, based on archaeology and so on and so forth. They've been there for a long Even the DNA says it all. They've been there for a long time. And I'm talking tens of tens of thousands of years. Ago. Is there not enough evidence, or you just don't have any, any knowledge of it? Or one accepted. I mean, if, if 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 you can get if you can get me any uh, any any sources that shows otherwise, but everything I'm we've given you uh, talked around it and, and, and you know no, double no, backed on your no, word and no, I didn't mean no, this. No, not specifically no, that. No, There's no records for this, but you can tell us that. It's like I mean, what do you know? <laughs> We don't know nothing. He he sat there and thought he was gonna knock us out with a with a with a left hand a trick. <laughs> and, and it's like, bro, like we 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 teach. Put some pressure we teach. on that. Oh, on his neck. He's now bad. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Number one, yeah, I never wanted to do the conversation where we trying to do like you know score points or someone at all for. Well, I've got this. And that's, I'm all this That's, that's all you've been doing. That's all you've been doing. You said why? I, 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 did say, I, did, I did say I didn't want to have a conversation. Like the, the last time I, I was, I came on here. Me and Topka had a good boat. Yeah, and it wasn't about trying to basically measure your big size. Didn't you, you know, take didn't a people's say, spiritual system over here and put it in Africa? No, no, That's no, no, because from here, like, the, like, the two like, things like, they tell like, you not to ever talk about is religion and politics. <laughs> you came you're up gonna, here and did just gonna, that. You're gonna have to prove to me, you're gonna have to prove to me that those spiritual no, systems you're the one who's making the claim. Hey, hold on, y'all. Time out, y'all. Time out, y'all. Look, we're gonna do it like this here, y'all. We're gonna reset gonna in the center it. of the ring. We're gonna reset in the center of the ring. All right, we have brother, uh, red, black, and green just stepped in the building. What's your name? Where you calling from, family? 
Peace, family. This is Afro Diaspora News, and I'm calling them from you Mexico. Get this right Mexican now. colonizer out of here. He wants you to call ice. Yeah. <laughs> he can't no, even look. He can't even hold his jealousy in. Nah, nah. Look, time out, y'all. Look, this this my game though. Now, I, I I I want people to come up with with you know from different um. um yeah, no, I'm just I'm just joking, mother. Nah, nah, it's all good, but um. You know, so I do, I do be like respecting other people, Bill, and and I don't want people to think that's a place like this here. You know what I'm saying? So by y'all all representing on uh, the Jag with the U, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to be labeled as you know a place where people can't come get their shit out of here. So that's why I always be saying, you know, let's leave the flow open, man, and um, you know, and we'll just deal with them in scholarship. So uh, yes, sir. let's start all over again, brother. Um. What's your name? Where you calling from, family? Yeah, and I appreciate that, Top Cats. Uh, my name, this is Afro Diaspora News, and I'm calling them from Mexico. Okay. And really, this will be brief. Uh, I'll get right to it, really. Uh, right now, we're spending too much time debating whether or not we are American Aboriginal. We know that we are. My question is, with all due respect, what tactics are we willing to implement to stop the constant influx of illegal aliens into our Aboriginal American ancestral lands? Listen to me, brother. Go call the NAACP and talk to them about that. <laughs> well, let me say this. <laughs> hold on. Now's not the time to joke, brother. Now's not the time to joke, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now's not the time to joke. Hold on. The NAACP ain't going to do shit. What we need to do is call ICE. Listen, brother. Let me ask the brother, man. Can I ask him a good, good question, on, though, cousin? Hold on, hold on. There's right, too many on, people on, talking on. at one time. Get something clear with him, brother. We're not looking for the next Malcolm X here. We're not looking for the next red, black, and green revolutionary uh, soldier here. Because when, when, when y'all let them be executed, ain't none of y'all ride. Ain't none of y'all. That's a deflection. Yeah, yeah, I'm asking your suggestion. Enough for them. Brother, so, yeah, I'm asking your suggestion. Brother, brother. Leaders, hold on, hold on, brother. Niggas. What are you talking when about? Let them get killed. You let them get killed in vain. You don't even yes. hold a message. Yeah. Honor yeah. Them. Right. Martin Luther King, Mega Evers. Okay. So we're not looking for a nigga. All right. So what are you going to do to protect America, your brother. land, brother? Nigga, now that you got that out, I am in the state of Texas. Hold on, brother. Right now that you got, you're yeah, outnumbered in Texas by niggas. Mexicans. So, yeah, you're outnumbered by Mexicans right in Texas. Arms, nigga, and, 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 yeah, and, and you're still and outnumbered by Mexicans. So you're outnumbered by Mexicans. For a revolutionary brother. Brother. Hold on. Top cats. Who lives in Mexico, okay? Is your brain not working? Is your brain not working? you going to be on your form in Mexico. All right. And Mexicans is in Texas. Yeah. Why we Mexicans are in Texas. You are in, in the U.S. It's Mexicans in Texas. Texas. Listen, bro, I don't give a damn. It's Mexicans in Texas. Mexico is his own It's country, Mexicans nigga. in Texas. You need a passport. It's Mexicans in Texas. Brother, it's Mexicans in Texas with no passport. It's Mexicans in Texas with no passport. It's Mexicans in Texas with no passport. You can't hear from Mexico with no passport. It's Mexican. You, you, it's Mexicans in Texas with no passport. It's Mexicans from Jersey with no passport. It's Mexicans in Texas with no passport. It's Mexicans in Texas with no passport. It's Mexicans in Texas with no passport. Are you from Jersey? I don't give a damn. So back to the focal point. What are you going to do to protect your land? He's from Maryland. You said let him. So let him take your land over. You're a dumb nigga. Top cat. You're a dumb nigga. Top cat. You're a dumb question, bro. Top cat, you're a dumb nigga. You yeah, gonna let him take the land over you? Right. That's you are. Top America cat, you gonna let him take the land over you? Said let him come. You said let him come. Let him come. Well, where is you can't go to their land with no passport. The, the you cannot go to their land with no passport. Let him come. Top cat, you're a dumb nigga. You can't go to their land with no passport. He ain't in Mexico talking to shit. You can't go to their land with no passport. Brother, did buy it. You can't go to their land with no passport. Hey, yes and you no. You can't go to their country with no passport. Hold on, y'all. Time out, y'all, because I, I, I guess my yeah, mic. Please, one at a time. Hey, hey, listen, you can't go to their country with no Afro, passport. Afro, Afro, brother, listen. Brother, did the Biden administration let these people come here? All right, let me respond to that well, yes without being no, cut brother, off. Brother, it's a direct question. I'm sure, yeah, let me respond without yes being cut no, off. No, nigga, I don't need no motherfucking speech, I'm trying to nigga. respond. You still talking. Do you yes want to answer, no. nigga? Do you want to yes answer, no. nigga? Yes, yes, no. answer. yes I'm yes trying no. to respond. Yes, I'm trying to respond. I'm trying to respond. Okay, yes or no? The respond, response yes is, or no? Yes, the response is, nigga, you can't go to their country with no passport. So, Checkmate. Nigga, I just oh left their country last week. Checkmate. 
You had to get the passport last week with a passport. So what, nigga? All right, the nigga. So they can't come to your country without a passport. You dumb nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Yeah, that's why they outnumber you in Texas. That's why you're outnumbered. That's why you're outnumbered in Texas. You dumb nigga. Nigga, you're elected nigga, officials. Yeah, elected yeah, elected 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 are Hispanic. No black. We yeah, have you're Hispanic. Population yeah, elected, in the country, family. Yeah, elected officials are Hispanic. Let's talk about Come it. This this thing, nigga. Nigga. Yeah, where elected, elected officials are Hispanic. You're a dumb nigga. Hey, watch this here, y'all. You're a dumb nigga. Hold on, hold on. You're a dumb nigga. I'm asking. I'm asking. Hey, hold on. Where's your birthday? This nigga living in Mexico. Guess who his political... His Mexicans are Live in the oh, U.S. It's Mexicans that live in the U.S. It's Mexicans that live in the U.S. Government, brother. It's just like Mexicans are in the U.S. You dumb nigga. Okay, yeah, so we got to play offense and defense. So you who, dumb nigga. So what, we gotta nigga, got to play offense and defense. Offense and defense. You dumb nigga. Top cats are dumb niggas. You have a breeding farm down there. You can talk about numbers. What is the difference, brother? Yeah, that's not the difference. Yeah, let me respond. Let me respond. Let me let me respond. Top cats, you're a dumb nigga. Let me respond. You're a dumb nigga. I'm trying to respond to you. Are you aware that Americans are just you're fine Mexico City right nigga, now. Nigga, do I give up? Do I like? You're I a, a dumb nigga. Hold on. Do you know what the word geopolitics means? I do you know what the word means? Fuck about no geopolitics. <laughs> All right. Well, look, I'm gonna drop down. You're a dumb nigga. Thank oh, you. Oh, so you work with the Democratic Party? That's what you. Thank you. You work with the Democratic Party, man. He's deflected, dog. I asked him, Have you ever called to the Albert and show and act and presented these questions to him as a resolution, brother? I don't know, but look, Afro. don't he sound? I Afro. Think he sound hey, no, like he was like he, he lived, y'all. He lived, y'all. He lived. I think it's the Democratic game, Party, man. How the hell a nigga? How, how the hell a a, revol, a black power revolutionary fighter gonna help us in Mexico? That's what he just told us. So you want me to go out here and start a war in the country, go fight while you on your phone picking jalapenos and motherfucking tomatoes, nigga? <laughs> I, yeah, all the way out the way of gunfire. Nigga talking about but, but what me, do I think about nigga the motherfucking government bringing them over. They've been bringing them over since by first day in office. He signed the policy to bring them over. Nigga, you so that's what I want to ask to the NAACP, the Black Caucus, and and all the mother motherfuckers about that. Nigga, you want me to start? You got to be working with them, dog, against these people because they bringing Mexicans over here when you living around nothing but Mexicans. I hope they hear you and catch your motherfucking ass out there, nigga. And, and do you and yeah, nigga? I hope I hope they put you on the back of a motherfucking truck. Yeah, nigga, slay, yeah, over, nigga. Nigga. Hey, yeah, yeah, nigga, they, they, they need to they need hey, to tap is, your lines and hear the shit you on the internet saying and come get your funky ass while you are. But there, that's what nigga. I wanted to ask him though, because he stated that they down. He said uh, black Americans, Americans down there colonizing Mexico City. So that means he working with some companies, just like um whatever um vice versa. They coming over here. He got to be working with some companies to go down there that's doing it. Because if you're doing it independently, we know how that ends. The mm -hmm. Aboriginal people down there, the Indigenous people down there, they don't like Americans coming mm -hmm. down there and buying up their land. He they, doing they, something because he's down there with business, doing business, fact. and acquiring yeah. real estate and development. So he, 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 he in the embassy or something. Yeah, he ain't right. he doing he it. If he, with he, he doing it with somebody. He working with somebody, dog, for real. Cointel pro and all them red, black, and anytime a nigga got on red, black, and green, you know that nigga a government. He working with the government. A government I bet. agent. I bet that nigga ass ain't around there waving no African flag over there talking that bullshit. No, 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 no. <laughs> bet you ain't doing that shit, nigga. <laughs> that nigga bet flipping his ass. I bet you that nigga passport. is not in Mexico. Walk around to my some goddamn it all. With that red, black, and green flag, I guarantee you they're going to make a chalupa out there, nigga. Ass. Man. Now they're gonna make a chalupa out your mother. So they're gonna make a chalupa out your father, hey, you bitch. bitch. Don't come up here talking about that. Stupid they're gonna ass. make a chalupa out your father, immature. you whore. You definitely immature ass jokes. So let's let's be respectful. <laughs> let's be respectful, though, fam. <laughs> let's be respectful. <laughs> let's, be respectful. <laughs> let's keep it respectful, <laughs> fam. Let's keep it respectful. Fuck you, Rose. Let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. We in the mix, We in the mix. We beat beat your bitch. Ass up, nigga. You in a pit full of jaguars, nigga. We'll beat your bitch ass down to the ground, nigga. Come here being this being disrespectful, 
Man, get your whole ass away from here, nigga. How about that, nigga? Go, go over there, nigga. I hope the cartel tap your line and catch your bitch ass, nigga. <laughs> I need Vin Rames, homie, from uh, Pulp Fiction when he said he gonna bring some real hard hitting pipe playing motherfuckers to deal with this boy. <laughs> hey, man, we've been whooping shit out Pan Africa today, bro. Pan Africa having it bad, bro. Nah, man. No, where Junior at? He was supposed to go get the U Haul because the trunk is full. <laughs> oh, hey, y'all, that's the same cat y'all that said the other day that he came from, his family came from Cameroon, right? He did. I so don't how, remember him like Yeah, that. yeah, I'm short was on her. I, I was listening I think to that Cameroon, short was to Maryland, to, to yeah. Mexico. How did he end up in Mexico? Yeah, how long he been down there? I don't know. I can't remember. I first heard it on AP channel. Uh he was spewing the same shit, you know, just down there colonizing, proud of it. And uh we need to be calling ICE, you know, just Yeah, I ain't need to call same. ICE on his bitch ass and get his his uh, passport revoked. But see, he, yeah. I'm listening. He, he said something key about Cameroon that it was up on a dictatorship. So then he was trying to, how you gonna try to delegate for us to <laughs> to connect with them over there, nigga? Nigga, you ain't got no authority over there, nigga. The, 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 the wage no motherfucking treaty deals, nigga. For no Americans that go over there at the Cameroon fool. Stop it, man. Yeah, shit, man. Society 2023. So like, I, I, got a question in, right? sense, I got a question in. So if they say the Maroons are African, so are the Maroons from Cameroon? That's what y'all saying. So the, all these maroons, these Africans that y'all saying are, are so-called maroons on on this side of the continent, right? No, they are from Cameroon. No. So okay, then how, what? Cameroon, maroon, Cameroon. So how yeah, you Cameroon? but you have to understand the, the 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 name Cameroon is like a German construct, so it's not really oh, like oh, well, yeah, huh, really. You know I mean? no, I'm, I'm, not gonna show, I'm not going to show. I'm not going to. I'm not going to book that. I'm not going to book Cameroon is not indigenous to the land. The the, the name so. It's not, it don't maroon, have no correlation maroon. to maroon. Maroon, I, I believe, is from is Spanish, but some sources also claim French. Because I speak French, right? Maroon would not be, it'd be marron, which means brownish. You know, if you look, if you look it up now, some sources say it comes from the French, but more Where sources claim French. Pardon? Where was your home? Say that again. Where was hey, your Jose home? Hey, Jose Quavo, come up. Come on the panel, Jose Quavo. Jose Quavo, you've been doing a little too much typing down there, bro. Uh, I don't want you to get arthritis. So hit that link, Jose Quavo, <laughs> and, and bring your ass up here. What would you say before, bro? Sam, where was your home? Not the UK where you moved to, but your, your homeland. Congo. The one with the C or the K? I, I don't subscribe oh. to the one with the C. only K. Oh, you that's, have to, the, that's what you're throwing on us, so we got we to gotta walk with it. No, 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 no. The reason why respectfully... Are you related the to that they, bone that they found? That the, femur club? The, 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 well, to be honest, my people, my lineage come from more of Central West. So, you know, Congo is a big place where it's a big... Okay. It's a big territory. So, oh, yeah, my my lineage is more of Central West Africa. So where the bone was found, what that's is that? East what? What is that called? Or is just Central West Congo? Central West, like I said, like right, Central West Africa. So oh, you Central West a, Africa, so you're not from Congo. No, no let the no. brother speak. Let him speak. Shut up. That you know, what I'm trying to say is right. I'm. You see, like for example. You have people in a state that's from west, the west coast, the east coast, southern states. I'm from the so, so, uh, the west side of Congo. I'm not from the east. You know, the bone, the Ashanti country was states yeah. within it. You what? So Congo is a country with states within it. No, no, no. You don't understand what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say. Yeah, well, you just made an example of like the west coast and then down south, and also yeah, we have different, different states to, within it. I'm trying to make you understand in the sense that it's the same country, but you have different places. So, for example, what what people do on the West Coast is not similar to what people do on the East Coast, for example. So, I'm, I'm my lineage, as far as I know, come from the West side or Central West Africa side of Congo. 
So what happened in the east coast, in, in the east side of Congo, for example, towards Goma and stuff like that, and Kivu? No, well, that's the, about you. Well, if it, yeah, if it don't apply to you and your people, yeah. No, but that's what, no, but not necessarily. You can't really say that because no, that's you what just I said that. I didn't say that. I'm just saying I'm asking about you. I'm trying to learn about you. Yeah, and I've, and that's what I'm telling you, right? He's teaching, as bro. Far I, as far as I know, my lineage is from more towards the west side or the yeah the west of congo right so things that's happened towards the east i'm not too familiar with that yeah so you know can you tell me about the west that's what i'm saying i don't i don't care what about, you the want to know about what you want to know about the west. I'm, I'm trying to learn you've been telling I mean, me you interrupting them so if I'm you want to learn why you keep interrupting them my name shut your bitch bitch he say he's from the Congo. Nigga, shut up. If you ain't from the Congo or think you from that Congo, shut your ass up, bro. Damn. Y'all the ones Let talking. Me, I'm trying to listen. Talk. Y'all the ones cutting them up. Yeah, I'm what, what, to shut, shut up, bro. Shut up. You are in Mexico. You <laughs> All right, bro. Shut up. Shut Mexicans up. are in the U.S. What's your point? Man, get your sweet Check ass out of town, man. Let's be respectful, family. 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 Let's be respectful. No, bro, you, you let be respectful. Let the African brother continue. Let, let the niggas talk. Nigga, he, he, he said he believed he from the Congo. What do you want to know about that side of Congo, bro? I was just trying to learn because you had information about everybody, you know, around here and, and uh, on the panel. So I was just curious. I, I just wanted to know about where you're from. I knew you lived in the oh, UK yeah. and just trying to build what you're trying to learn. Okay. Um, I, ex I kind of explained it the first time when I come on. So Brother Top Cat would have. Yeah, I, was, uh, I don't remember. Hey, hold on. Know. Stop. Slow oh, down. What side. language did you speak over there in West, the West Congo then? What language? What's hey, the, nah, look, I mean, look, what's look, the culture I like? I'll I say this here, right? Uh, me and the brother had a long, long, detailed conversation. I wouldn't make him. I would ask him to go back over it. I think we 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 uh we talked for about three hours. So I give him that um we 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 can go to something different. You know what I'm saying? We can find something else to talk about. Who just so I think who just came in on the far right? Um. That's first out. What's up, first out? What you got? Hey, hey, listen, He's family. Like Quavo, if you're not gonna come up, then get the fuck away from here, nigga. If you ain't gonna bring your scary ass up here, get your punk ass away from here, nigga. We don't drink Jose Quavo. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, yeah, man. Peace to the chat, man. Peace to the ladies and talk cat. Yeah, hey, Top Cash, man, I just wanted to say, man, this this red, black, and green clown, man, I just ran this nigga off a panel the other day. He was claiming he was in Puerto Rico. Now he's claiming Mexico. I really think the nigga's yeah. fine, man. I got a house there, too. He's oh, a man. Man. I mean, You can look at my page. down in Panama, too. That nigga said he was in Panama. He was buying land in Panama, yeah, too. Panama. Hey, yeah, look at, look at my, uh, I got my real estate on my page. I got a passport. I got my real estate on my page. Yeah, no, he paid. Man, they caught your dumb ass. Airbnb, come out your guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Boy, so you been running around lying everywhere you go, huh? Yeah, yeah. But family, you have to look at. Let me just say this, family. How will we preserve our communities? How will we preserve our communities in the U.S. Bro, when we are being flooded by illegal aliens? That's why we don't trust <laughs> niggas in red, black, and green now, bro. Y'all niggas be lying yes. like a motherfucker. You're deflecting. I'm asking hey, how will we man. preserve our communities? You have invited nobody on the platform to come down there in, in your your home, your uh, different places. You, you yeah, you come see. Well, listen, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm in Tijuana. Let me tell you where I'm at, family. Right now. I'm in Tijuana. Yeah, I do have a house in San Juan, Puerto Rico, but right now... Are you inviting I'm, us to come down and kick it, though? Let me come to your house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Facts, though. Listen, anybody listening, if you're in Tijuana, my email address is afrodiasporanews at gmail.com. Let's link up, really. And if you're in San Juan, you can link up with me. Or hey, Panama do you be with Pan-African Strike Back? You be over there with Brandon, big ass. <laughs> I got love for him. <laughs> hey, I, I got be love Brandon for him, too. All right, family, but let's yeah, I unify. A lot of Pan Africans, bro. I, All right, but I let's beat up on the colonists, though. Pan African on, on YouTube, almost, bro. I got. A, a Why nice you not beating up on the colonists, though? Yeah. Why you not beating up on the colonists, though? Well, Y'all are the colonists, Pan African. Wow, right? so yeah, so you ain't gonna do. You ain't got no smoke for the Caucasians, yeah, huh? Right, nigga, you ain't got no smoke for the Caucasians, huh? 
You ain't got you no smoke for the Asian. No smoke for the Asian, bro. No smoke for the Latinos. Wow, you coons. Yo, you niggas is coons. Yeah, you boy. niggas is coons. <laughs> really, you hey, niggas hey, is coons. You, hey, you better not, hey. Hey, brother, you better not let them Latinos who you uh talking about. You're going to get stumped all They like, agree so, with me. First of all, they agree. No, they agree. Stop it's playing funny them, you them say them Latinos, That's how I know y'all niggas don't, don't travel. That. Let me show don't y'all. Do y'all don't Yo, travel. Baby mama, Are you on way, though, Let me tell y'all. In Puerto Rico, ICE drives around, literally. Well, you Latino. Your baby mama a Latino. So you ain't got no Latino baby mama? I got two Puerto Rican baby mothers. They both from okay, Africa. Okay, then. Well, you ain't no real black power. <laughs> they, nigga, what I'm saying. they represent the same flag. They got a white flag. woman. They got a white they represent baby the flag mama. with me. They fly yeah, this yeah, flag yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Nah, see, that's they what fly, I be they saying, talking bro. to me. They talking tell to me. me. Tell me. They talking tell me to me. That a pan African do that. <laughs> Don't be that jealous, man. Don't be jealous. For the white man. My baby mother talking to me. Listen, bro. My baby why, mother's talking to me. Why you here with this red, black, and revolutionary message, nigga? Yes. But you out yes. here having kids, nigga, outside of your race. My baby mother's blacking to me. Man, no, she not, bro. You got Latino. Hey, that's how you ain't been bro. nowhere. That's how you, you ain't been to Puerto Rico. Bro. You hey, brother, have you ever got a fist fight with a white boy? That's how y'all ain't been nowhere, man. Have you ever got a fist fight with a white boy? I hate it now. One on one. Nick, you sound like now y'all hating. Now y'all hating on my Puerto Rican baby mother. I hate Puerto Rican baby mother. Y'all hating on my Puerto Rican baby mother. Y'all hating on my Puerto Rican baby mothers? Come on, man. Look at it. What's wrong with that a black woman? It out, man. Why you ain't get you no strong black African woman? My baby mothers is oh, black. BG. The, the Puerto Rican baby mothers African is black. They black. They both are black. black. Family. What about the black family? They got One of them got dreadlocks. They both black. What about the black family? <laughs> oh, he a passport, bro. Yeah, he a passport, bro. I got the positive passport, bros. I represent, the positive with it. I represent the positive passport, brothers. I represent the positive passport, brothers. He, he hates black women. Brothers. He down there paying for it. Never. I yeah, never tricked off in my life. A, 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 I'm anti-tricking. I know yeah, that's your jealousy trying talking. Trying find Shit, my baby mother's so got more. My baby mother's family's, family's got more money than my family's. That's a fact. <laughs> my baby mother. I came man, up. Shut up, nigga. You're lying. Shut up, man. Yeah, hey, 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 Hold I on. Economics. I got I two. It. Hold on. I got two Puerto Rican baby mothers, one African American baby mother. I shout out all of them. I love all of y'all. I would never betray y'all. These niggas on the panel are just haters. Man, that's shut all. up. That's shut all that is, baby. They hate you. These niggas on the panel are haters. These niggas are haters. That's all. Right. This nigga going to hate you. Hey, don't listen to these things. Don't listen to these things. Don't listen to these things. That nigga down the pen ring. Boy, I got down. Boy, that nigga on that bitch. You feel like, I love you. What are you doing, man? That nigga gonna catch A's down there, buddy. He gonna catch A's down there. That nigga gonna come back with stick balls. Hey, you doing what I'm talking about, y'all. Nigga, she got pipe long. Go ahead with that shit. Hey, man, that's the equivalent. Hey, man, that's the equivalent of, like you say, man, being with a chick here, man, on uh, A, man. We get it, dog. It's economic for you, brother. Just be real with it. Stop. I stop told y'all that red, you black, it. and green be looking funny, man. I'm telling you, these niggas. I, everything about them, bro, has got something to do with a white woman or, or white politics, bro. Y'all hey, man, ain't they fucking you? What you gonna do? Ain't they fucking you? Fuck all them, them Pan African scholars, they teach us to be great revolution Pan African. All of them had white women. All of them. No, all no, 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 I love my black women, man. I don't care, man. Light skin, dark skin, black women, man. I don't care, bro. Hey, yeah, over 70% of them uh, went the other way. I wonder why. I think they were black European. That's why. Because they were. Just like the nigga that said he was from Germany.
Hey, I got a question for uh, niggas. Niggas, what percentage, right? What percentage? All right, Africa is a Africa is a, a big continent, vast, many different countries. In your estimation, right? Because you probably it's probably no definite number. What percentage of people on the African continent and what area would you say actually believe in a pan African ideology? Ooh, that's a good question. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I would say right. Or just give some nations that you know of that I would, I would say pan African I would say, ideology. Is it East I would say African, a West African, South? What area South yeah, problem most likely. that that mostly will, will follow that ideology of pan African because we know it's new. You know, we're talking about yeah. the nineteen. So, what what areas yeah. or regions would you say? Most likely, uh, West and Central Africa. Most of them, most people that subscribe to pan Africanism are from West and Central Africa. But obviously, you see those in Southern Africa that believe in pan Africanism as well. You know what I mean? And, and you have a small minority in East Africa as well. But East Africa is very tricky because there's so much mixture going on over there. So a lot of them don't even subscribe to being African, to be honest. Too. So that's a that's another story. But to answer your well, question, well, um, the, the, go ahead. Uh -huh. I'm not, why why, why um, Ethiopians and other other uh, so-called Africans? Why y'all don't connect, man? Build, you know, build, build a great nation, yeah. great army and shit like that, dog. What's good? I mean, I mean, that goes back to what I kind of said, like, there's a lot of mixture that happened in East Africa. You know, you have, you have Arabs that come, that came in, Arabs, you know, you have Indians that came in at some point. So a lot of them are basically lost in a sense, you know what I mean? So they rather, they rather look at places like Mecca as they, as they, as they, as they, as they you know, as their uh, homeland. They might, they rather look at India, I don't know. So there's a lot of confusion out there, you know what I mean? So... It's a hard one, bro. But to be honest, most of the most of the so-called disagreement is is coming from East Africans. East Africans really don't rock West Africans and Central Africans. That happens in Europe. That happens even if even, even y'all over there in North America, right? In America, like right? if you pay attention, you will see like people like Somalis and Ethiopians. They stay by themselves. They don't really rock with over Africans. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, and even me myself as a as a as a bantu, you can say right. I don't I don't get it. Like why they don't really effort us. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. So that's why I I also don't like the fact that when people love to generalize Africa because we we don't you know what I mean this it's not what people trying to make out like it's this uh, utopian type of continent far from it. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Well, see, that's the same uh, kind of stance we take is that to generalize and say that all black people over here are part of the slave trade or were brought here that's the same argument we have and we're saying well we have our documents we have our old stories but we don't get right. the respect when we say that because of pan-africanism you see what i'm saying because people want to try to generalize and say oh some people had an experience under this uh slavery under this uh this this colonization and slavery thing some people had a real live experience with that other right. people did not. Just as Africa is big, America is big. Many little communities. So to say that the European had powers like that and they came and they just, all of us are here are the same. It's it's generalizing. So that's where we at today with the argument. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, but what we have now is that it's so entrenched into the community, you know, circa 1920, Marcus Garvey. All right. Because black power was first coined in 1966 down in Mississippi, um, my, in the area where I grew up at you know, through Stokely yeah. Carmichael, who is from right. another country, right? He's not even from America. Africa, right? <laughs> okay. So, I'm just playing with you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, that's, that, that's cool. So that's what, um, that's where we, we, we come in at and say, hold on, we're showing you the records. We're telling you oral stories. We're showing sources. So why is it hard for people who believe in Pan-Africanism or are from mostly West Africa, those areas, because that's where I see it at. Why is it right. so hard for them to digest that now that we're saying, hold up, man, this story that's been told is wrong. You know, we want right. respect and that's where we're at. But we, we, we're we having an uphill battle because we all came from Africa is entrenched in most people's minds. Right. Mm -hmm. So that that's where we're trying to get over the hump at. But we're telling our stories 
And I'm glad, you know, people like yourself come up and have some type of understanding. But at the end of the day, you're from Africa. Your affinity is going to be for Africa. You understand? Mm -hmm. So our affinity is going to be for our homeland or our bloodline where we know we come from, where we can for put sure. it up, you know, on documents. So mm -hmm. I would put it like this. If I went into the court and I said, uh, I'm American and they say, no, you're from Africa. Well, they, well, the documents that show that I'm from Africa, I got plenty of documents that show my American lineage, right? Mm -hmm. All the way back I'm before the formation of this country, uh, what they would call the U.S. So while the African documents hidden, but they telling us we came from Africa, but there are no documents. It's all, oh, they were destroyed. It's all this big conspiracy, right? When it comes to the records pertaining to so-called blacks who, who, who allegedly came here, and those who say, no, nah, we're already here. Why are the Af uh, are African documents hidden? Don't you think that's kind of fishy that we can find Spanish? We can find about everybody else, but we can't find about right. these West Africans, all these millions of Africans. They don't got no records. They was just loading them on ships and they were stealing these niggas and sending them and kept coming up. You know what I'm saying? So we have to try to make that story make sense. You know, so that that's that's why I, I, I brought that out there to you about who believes in Pan-Africanism across the continent mostly and one of the right. first thing you said were was west african so we can concentrate that story there and see who went into west africa who was doing business there where were they moving to and how were they moving to chicago or, or whatever they were doing so we can concentrate our stories and we can get down to the heart of the matter you know what i'm saying so that that's yeah, yeah. kind of where we at with it man that's what the scholarship is about genealogy showing the story telling your story and with proof you know, because that's what it's going. That's what it comes down to. I mean, personally, right? I, I've. That's once again, thanks to dialogue and communication, right? I got to understand as well where a lot of you are coming from. But I feel like, because like I said to Top Cut as well, I'm not one of those type of pan Africans that believe. You know, what I'm trying to say like I've got my own little kind of thing, kind of like going on type of thing. But um, I also used to believe that, and the reason why I can. For me, when I used to believe that is that I used to believe because when I look at the majority, once again, not old, but the majority of what you call black people in North America, they look like me, bro. If I turn my camera on right now, I got 360 waves. You look at me, you might think I'm from over there, bro. If you never heard me speak, you're going to think, yeah, that's a brother from around the way, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? Them. You ain't got no dip no. You got some dip -ums? No, 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 let no. no hold on. Let, me, let me just let me just build. So I'm just I'm saying what, what I, I used to, I used to think like clear, that. Mom. I used to I used to think like that, right? Because I used to believe that when I look at many people over there in North America, they look like me. They look like my cousins. They look like my uncles. Even sound that's all right. I've got an uncle that look, bro, <laughs> he's scary. Right? He's scary, bro. And I, and, and I put in a chat one time and signed it. Like, yeah, I got an uncle that looks just like you, bro. Very similar, harsh voice, same type of complexion, the nose, the, like it's scary. And that's why people say you got, you've got a twin around the world and you don't know about it. Oh, now, how, would that be... How old are you if you don't mind, real quick? I'm in my 30s, brother. Yeah, so I'm older than you, so why can't you look like me? Why does an American have to be an African? No, you know, you didn't get what I'm trying to say to you. I said, right? No, no. When I look, it's not. No, it's not we an heard issue. you. We we heard you. That that is what we call the out of Africa theory. It don't I'm matter how you try to spin it. Saying that I'm we not, can, we I, listen. I, we are intelligent enough to recognize what a person is saying. Well, I'm not going to no fear, bro. I'm not talking about no fear. I'm talking about real shit right now. I'm not talking about no theory, no indoctrination. Or we no are I, you I, I'm talking you about, asked us. I'm, listen, you, you asked about uh fucking do we um we don't know anything about Indians enslaving other Indians, but we, we told you we teach that and we also teach that fucking people Indians left and went over to Africa, bro. Like there, there's no way around it. <laughs> So without like, without document without document who you are look 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on because look bro, you you I respect Africa look, look hold on hold on hold on hold on look I respect Africa but what Africans need to do or people that descend from Africa they need to start figuring out how to th this is we're in the new age you see what I'm saying y'all have to worry about y'all stuff over here 
if we're trying to uh rebuild and shit like that, it's called doing genealogy. If you want to go to court and prove that, hey, uh, in 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 bro, 1860 during slavery, hold on, listen, bro, listen, listen, just just listen, bro. If we want to go to court and prove, if, listen, bro, just listen, just listen, just listen. If we want to go to court and prove in 1860 that our our, our fourth great grandparent had land and was free. And we need to go get that land back. You cannot do that without genealogy. So that's how we're gaining back everything that we are and who who and what we represent. Everything, bro. So we can debunk everything that you're talking about because we are not from where you think we we are from. We can only prove who we are over here. Can I finish my point now? Because I've heard this. No, that's fine. That's fine. I heard that. But like I said, right? I, I've I've never seen it in the panel yet. Right? I don't think you heard me speak before. If you if you listen to me speak, I've never. No, bro. Like you sitting here saying the before. same thing, bro. You have to help. No, listen. The best thing for you is to help Africa. You cannot help us over here because you, you already say you're not from here. here. We can come together and build and do things when you tell your story and I tell my story and we build off of that, you know, with the pan But when you come in, right, you can you can be whoever you can be whoever you say you are, whoever you say you are, we respect it. Just don't tell us who the fuck we are. We got the paperwork. We got the I've paperwork on. Hey, let's you know you know are going somewhere else with it. Me personally, me, I've never said anything you just talked about. Hey, bro, you one person. mic, bro. Y'all have, have to listen. let each other talk, bro. One mic, bro. I'm sitting here listening to it, and I'm like, damn, my damn self. Cause I can't hear what nobody saying. It sounds like everybody trying to talk at the same time. So somebody got to say in their mind, like, you know what? I'm just gonna fall back and let a nigga get their shit out. So let's just try to, you know, especially y'all mind y'all mind the uh, panel, bro. Uh, one mic, you know, so we can hear y'all. Cause I'm trying to listen my damn self as a fan, but I ain't getting nothing cause all y'all talking at the same time. So I know we all passionate about it, but let's be respectful and patient about it. You know, we can be passionate about it, but we got to be patient about it, too, and allow everyone to get their spill out, bro. It's not a contest or nothing. We're trying to build. It's a build. So respectfully, man, we're going to let the next person be. It ain't too many of us on the panel, neither, so it ain't no reason why we should be trying to hurry up and get the mic, you know, so... It ain't too many, so we all can build. But yeah, let's focus on building, man. And um, we ain't really just going against each other. He each other. I let the information um do the talking. Right. Listen, I I don't get involved when it comes to politics in North America because I understand. First of all, I'm not born there. I don't have no direct lineage from there. I'm not currently there. Right. I can watch it from the outside. I don't get involved with the politics. I let y'all over there, and I know there's a lot of great minds over there that's fighting hard for uh, uh, reparation and everything else out there, justice and so on. Yeah, I just can watch from 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 the sideline and support it. That's what I do, bro. You get me? I only can support from the outside. I don't get involved. I'm not one of those Africans or pen Africans that come in there and try to try to superimpose anything on anybody. All I come on here for was to have a dialogue. To have a conversation and to see where we can agree at and where we disagree. And if we disagree, we can agree to disagree. And that's it, right? But communication, if I if if I never come on here, right, I would have looked at it like these people are crazy. But when I listen, I see the arguments, and some of the arguments are plausible. I can then go back and be like, okay, and I can perhaps go to other people that might not understand what the hell is going, what the hell is a, a American Aboriginal or whatever. I can kind of explain to them for what I took from all of these dialogues, right? And explain to them, listen, these people are saying this, that, and that, and that, and that. You know what I'm trying to say? So I've never, me personally, come on there and try to superimpose nothing. If you want to say you're indigenous Aboriginal to America, that's cool. I mean, we live in the 21st century. You have people that claim to be women that claim to be men, men that claim to be women, those that, I mean, it's, you know what I'm trying to say? So I ain't trying to, I ain't trying, basically, I'm not trying to 
superimpose myself on nobody. You can be a Christian, yeah, be what the hell you want to be. I just want to have a dialogue. And the other thing as well, the misunderstanding of Africa. Because I feel like they, you don't get enough of rep representation of people from the continent that come on this platform and that speak and try to have clarification and try to, you know, because I feel like when I'm listening from the outside, when I used to, a lot of people just making up a lot of stuff about Africa. They tend to try to generalize. So that's why I try to come on this platform to try to be like, hold on a second. This is not all. Africa is not just all like this. You know, I don't know about no huts. I don't know about no mouth play to my lip. That's not my culture, my African culture. My people don't do that. I don't know about none of this stuff that some of you people might have as a, as a, as a, um, I don't know, as a stigma about Africans. That's not my culture. You know, which is nothing wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with that. I'm not saying it, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just trying to say that that's not my culture as a continental African. That's not my culture. You know what I mean? So that's what it's about. But my main thing is about communication, bro. It's not about, like, Top Cat say about context and this and that. Nah, bro, I'm not, I'm not into no context. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm about, <laughs> bro, I'm not going to talk on here anyways, but I'm, I'm for my people, bro. That's what I'm about. I'm outside for my people. I don't care where you come from, Brazil, America, freaking the Caribbean. If you're black and you're proud and you're for your people, I'm for you, bro. End of the story. Because at the end of the day, if that fucking pale beast was out there trying to jump on you, I'll be one of the first people that would jump out, bro. And that's a fact. You know, I'll be one of those. I don't know if you brother seen the last uh, the last uh, thing that happened in London when the, with the whole Black Lives Matter thing. I ain't gonna talk too much, but we were out there, bro, cracking eggs. And that's all I'm gonna say, bro. I, I mean, I can appreciate what you said, but like the actions is different like i understand what you're saying but how you come off is different everything you say it's not a contest but every time you get sourced up and proved wrong you lower the goalpost and move it and, and try and one up us again you know and, and bring out some billy clubs and some civilizations and then i don't think i've heard one civilization yet but you know, it's a contest, you know, and, and when you get proved wrong, it's an issue. But then you talk about Africa as a whole, but then when we hone in on a topic you brought up, now it, uh, all Africa ain't the same and you want to bust it down into into countries and then you want to bust the countries down into regions. So it's specific when it's your narrative. It, it, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when we do it, you know. But uh, yeah, like, I, don't, don't, I, don't, I mean, I it's like we, we got to deal with ourselves, who we are as individuals first, our family, and, and move on from that and work together or build together. But you can't tell me who I am and who my family told me ain't what it is because it's word of mouth or it's a white man's paperwork. But then a spiritual system, <laughs> you know, it's only word of mouth. And that'd be your excuse for the... You see what I'm saying? It's like you, you say you're not competing, but everything you're doing is competing, which I don't even care. Right. Hold on. Let me, let, hold on. Let me speak. Let me speak on this because I, I, I should have been looking at my tree. But uh, it, it's my it's my third uh, great grandfather. Uh, he lost he lost he lost the land after he died in the Civil War. So that's my third great grandfather that had a a. a he had he was free and he had a, a plantation. And so uh yeah, just to clarify on that. But that that's how important these things are. When you when you you can't even I just made a mistake, but if I look at the records, then I'm like, okay, this is what I I said. So th this is why everything is important in documenting who 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 we are over here. I mean that's cool, bro. I'm not I'm not I'm not disputing nothing you're saying. Once again, I'm not disputing what you personally saying about your genealogy. I'm not saying nothing. All I'm saying is, right, if I'm, if I'm going to be totally honest, right, is that that's your, like, like, like you said, right, that's your story. And not everyone in Americas are the same story. Some people descend from so-called free slaves. Some people descend from the plantation. Some people was runaways and so on and so forth. All I'm trying to say, right, as a, as, as a continental African, I can only look in certain cultures, right, when people are saying whatever they're saying, and I can only I see myself in these cultures. I, I ain't running in no Arab culture. I ain't running in no Indian culture. You know, no. When I look at people, 
in the Caribbean, people in South America that speak for themselves, that say how they feel about themselves and, and, and their ancestors, right? That have a certain culture and some of the culture, not all of it, some of the culture is African. There's no denying that. But see, when There's you no denying that, that some of the we, culture we is witness, African. And it's not the people saying that it's a fictitious story and a title, you know, so then that's not true. And then also, I wanted to speak to, you know, you don't generalize or this and that, but you came on this platform with a certain idea about us because of aboriginals that you've dealt with in the past. So you're not dealing with us individually and you're casting an umbrella on us, not just as uh, so-called black people, slaves, but as an indigenous aboriginal community. Like you came in here on some shit we ain't never said but we had to take the, the brunt of it, you know? So you gotta, you gotta accept what you give if the perception could be, because you are, you a starving baby with a, a pop belly skeleton if you leave it to the media and what I grew up learning about Africa. So, you know, like you gotta deal with everybody individually and what they tell you their experience or what they think they their beliefs are, you know, like. 100% and, 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 I, and I 100% learned that, you know, by having these dialogues, I, heard, I learned that with the people, you can't generalize most people like that. We can't do this, right? But all, I'm, all I've got to say is that me, for example, right, I don't, I don't concentrate on what people got to do like in Nigeria. Like me, when I'm, when I'm doing my studies or my research, I'm looking for my, when I talk about my, I'm talking about people from Congo. I'm looking at Congo spiritual system, Congo culture or, or Congo words, right, that I can clearly see correlation with that what you see in, 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 in the Americas. And that's what I speak on. So when, when people, some people trying to like wipe that, like you, some people trying to wipe everything under the carpet, like there is no African culture or an African spiritual system in anywhere in the Americas. That is a lie. Yeah, you, no might not be no African. you might not be African, but you cannot say the next man down the road or the next man in an overstate or the next man in, a, uh, uh, in some country somewhere in, uh, in, in, in South America didn't, didn't come from that. You know what yeah, I'm trying nobody... to say? So it's kind of hypocrisy on both sides of the spectrum if you look at it. It is a, there is an hypocrisy on both sides. And that's why I can see on your side, y'all try to dismiss anything that's look African and try to make it look like, well, is it really Africa? Is it really this? Then, you know what I'm trying to say? No, bro, yeah. But nobody can speak in absolutes. I mean, that, that just shows how foolish a person is to, to right. you know, speak in absolutes on anything. But, uh, well, you know, it's like, you know, what, how do you feel about Ethiopians saying they're Caucasian? I mean, that comes from the whole Hamatic, uh, um, Hamatic, what's it called? It? Uh, someone can help me. Like the whole thing, basically, so the, this, it comes down to the Bible, basically. You know what I'm trying to but say? You know, so but you know about it, basically. So it's like, how do you say I, 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 I'm African, but there's Africans that say they Caucasians. And then if you go to mm. science, science says that Northeast Africans is where the pale uh, genetic mutation comes from. From the nomadic goat herding tribes, so you know when you speak and cast an umbrella, it's like we gotta we gotta deal with individual regions and, and people and families, you know. Right, I understand that, but we have to be we have to take things in context as well because you have people in Ethiopia that claim to be African. Once again, you can't because Ethiopia is made of many different tribes. You have Dinka people, you have the uh, uh, Hamaric people, you have, you have many different tribes even in, Af uh, in, in Ethiopia. And all of them have their own way of thinking, way of seeing the world and way of seeing themselves. You know what I'm trying to say? So some of them do try to separate themselves from being African and, and, and try to hold on something else. And then you have many of them also that do say they're African. And that's, that's another, that's a, that's another myth. That's another misunderstanding I keep hearing a lot on platforms. People say, well, Africans don't ever call themselves Africans. That is capital. Because if you go on a continent, I just came back from I just came back from the continent in December, right? Just before I was there for almost a month. People call themselves Africans all the time, but it's all about context who they speak to, who they speak to. It depends who you speak to, you know. But the Africans do call themselves Africans and they also refer to themselves as they as they, they, their respective tribes as well. You know, and a respected country. So, niggas, that, let that, me ask that, you. That, what, right, what, when did you like? When did you? When did you hear the story of 
of African Americans were shipped from Africa, West Africa to America. W when did you hear about a slave story? Or well, what, what was when supposed to happen to us, so called happen to us in America? To be honest, I, I, I learned that from my parents, to be honest. Like my story is a big What time what time was that? The nineteen fifties, the nineteen well, I mean I wasn't you say born you didn't then. Think, so this had yeah, to be I wasn't born late then. late nineteen hundreds. Yeah, yeah. I was born in eighty nine, brother. Oh, because see this is so this is still a, this story is coming out of the pan Africanism, post uh civil rights and all those things. You see what I'm saying? So prior to mm -hmm. Prior to the 1900s, yeah. was there a Pan African movement? Once again, like the word itself, we know the word was coined in North America, right? Pan Africanism. So it's hard for me to to, to honestly tell you that there were people in the continent that was that was claiming to be Pan African because the word was coined, like as you say yourself, after world after after World War Two and so on and so forth. But I'm trying to say to you is that there was oral traditions already on the continent of people that were speaking. Obviously, the people that were remember now, right? Yeah. The, 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 the so-called tribes that was in Africa that was taken and, and shipped to different parts of the world, right? Yeah, they're still there in Africa. So it's not like they took everybody that was Igbo, everybody that was Yoruba and Congo and, and from Cameroon and from, you know what I mean? They're still there over there multiplying by the, by the millions in Africa. You know what I'm trying to say? So those people have the oral tradition. Now, what's happening in Africa is that, yeah, because the, the, the school system over there is still under so-called European. So in the school, I'm going to be honest with you, in a, if, if you go to an African school, right, they're not going to teach you about the translating slave trade. They don't teach that. They don't but teach that, people, they don't Why would they not be teaching that if, if it's because if it's integral the, the, part, if they're teaching it in America, but we're supposed to come right. from West Africa, why isn't the curriculum in West Africa teaching that, hey, you guys have ancestors that were taken in in, Great in slavery, but you hear about it until you get here, and then you guys are surprised, like, oh, we never heard of that. Don't you think that's odd? Because if we had lost family members, and we talk about it today, you come my, when I, my grandmother was living, she would talk about some of the old things that happened to some of her relatives. So why why wouldn't that correlate or translate over there? If you knew that, if they know that we they had ancestors. And this was such a horrific thing. Why wouldn't they tell the children, yeah, they took some of our they took some of our ancestors? We don't hear well, that like, from West Africa. Like, hey, I know for a fact that they don't teach it in West Africa. Like what I told you the other day when I was my African people out there, that I was having a conversation with them. They believe that we are really from America. They don't believe we from Africa. They believe that we are totally different people than them. And when we right. get around each other, it's obvious. Right, you know right. what I'm saying, oh, man. On everything I love, bro. And look, my is documented it because when I was out there in Dubai, I was recording every day. I was going live every day, and I was telling them what was going on. Them people, they believe that we are from America on Clubhouse when we were talking to them. They always stood on it. They told them FBA niggas, you ain't no African. They told Rob Bowen, you ain't no motherfucking African nigga. Prove it. You and said that the, even the master. Yeah, they told them to prove it. And when they would tell us about what well, this culture and that culture, they'll say, No, that's not our culture. We don't do that shit. That's colonization. Well, you, you, but you're top cat, you have to understand, right? There's ignorance on both sides of the of, of the pond, The ignorance right? is coming from the people that's that's not there, who's the, the people in America trying to tell the indigenous people in Africa. A story that a nigga in America gave to them, and the indigenous okay, people there said no. That is let not what's going down here. They do not okay, believe. They, I, I always ask them, "Hey, do you know anybody or any any? Do y'all have any family stories of any y'all family leaving in the transatlantic slave trade?" They said, "Hell no. They don't know nothing about that, bro. That's some shit they made for niggas over here and in the Caribbean islands, bro. That is that is colonization." Through yeah. education, real quick, right. real quick, like, you see how you said that's ignorance. Like we over here say we don't know the slave trade. Africans on the continent are saying y'all ain't us, and they don't know about slave trade because even your Pan African master teachers say when they went over there, the Africans didn't know. They say, oh, we didn't know. We didn't know. You know, why didn't you come get it? We didn't know. But you say it's ignorance. So now you're putting no, us right back on the slave ship. Whether you intended to or not, how you responded, 
our stupidity, you know, puts us back on the slaves. Hey, hold on, y'all. Let's get the OG hey, in the building. Hold on, y'all. We got OG Air walking back in the building. <laughs> yeah. Peace, uh, peace. Well, you know, this Pan-Africanism, uh, it is the most dangerous ism to the American Indian. You know, the sort of people of the Americas, you know, the indigenous Americans. And it is their own people got weaponized against them. And it is wicked. They're getting paid for it one way or another. You see, because there's no way you can carry another person's sword so hard against your own with nothing behind it. You know, just to get a little clout, you know, to say, yeah, I am you smart or whatever. Bullshit. These people are dangerous and they come around your children and they try to teach it to them and you know give them candy you know go behind your back to say you know whatever you know they're dangerous man these are the most dangerous colonists these are the best colonizers i've ever seen comes from the americas nobody can colonize better than them call them storage if they said you're from mars you better watch out they put your ass on the ship and Chain up on that shit with a story and put in time and memorial and put some other fucking fucked up story behind it and give it to you to eat it. And then they start to believe it even themselves. That's the shit, the dangerous. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you ever listen to them, text her. They're wicked. But you know, I lived in New York for some time. You know, I've been barber for over 40 years. I've been cut here in my life in two countries and four States. And I tell you something that I've met a lot of Africans in New York, cutting here in Harlem, in Queens. And they always said, man, you know, I said, man, how the hell you guys don't, you know, break bread with the, you know, with the Pan Africans and the Brastas over there? They said, man, we're not the same people, bro. I said, real, bro. He said, oh, yeah. So I said, you know, ask the question, man, why you don't wear like, you know, jeans and sneakers and Timberlands in the winter time? They always be well dressed in slacks and stuff and drive BMWs, you know? I said, man, we don't want to be mistaken for no worthless black Americans, man. I said, for real? He said, oh, yeah. You know, they think I'm cool because I'm a Jamaican, you know, and I, you know, they try to be like us because that's who they right. try to emulate in coming out of England and those places they come around us for that val uh, uh, validation you know to fit in to learn no, culture hey, because hey. that guy that's speaking there um he sound like one of our people in brixton you sound like he grew up in brixton or up there in um uh um up there in liverpool or something you know or uh, you know southampton you know that's where our people are you know he, he sound just like them he uses slang the same way you know he's you know our, you know, being get with somewhere, you know, that boy is dangerous. When he come around and learn, you know, they're always involved in our carnival, you know, the Nutting Hill Carnival, which is the largest West Indian carnival, you know, the most, you know, you know, roast corn and sugar cane and, you know, you name it, um, jerk chicken, jerk pork and, you know, all these things. So he can tell me everything about my culture. So you see, it's a culture vulture too. But you see, he won't tell you that Congo used to be the Zaire. He went to sleep one night in Zaire and wake up in Congo. <laughs> you're wrong. You're wrong there, bro. You're wrong there, bro. You're wrong there. Sorry to cut you, but you're wrong. I mean, your country used to name Zaire, right? No, Mobutu changed it to Zaire. Mobutu. It was, okay. that, was that was on the Mobutu. Okay, and they changed it Before back, right? Was, uh, pardon? And they changed it back to Congo? Yes, and then they changed it back to Congo. Okay, he's the one that changed the, it. The same person changed it back, right? Yeah, it was the no, French and the Belgian group. up in there. He changed right? it to Congo. <sighs> the, there's two questions at the same time. I didn't, I didn't hear you. Um, the uh, well, you know, it was it was a Prussian up in there, right? That you claim that colonized you, right? The the. It, de it depends on what period you're talking about. The Prussian are today the Germans. And the other. Well, like I said, it depends on what you're talking about. Before the they were Germans, Prussian. they were the Dutch. 
Well, Puja, you hear the word I use? Go ahead. Puja. They colonized you. Everything out there is from Puja, um, Pujan culture. Even the hat your women wear up in there are of the Negroes of Puja. They're the ones came what up in there. You think a so-called white man can come up in that dense jungle and colonize you, man? You got to be kidding me, bro. It takes some Negroes to come up in there to take your shit. You crazy? So you see the Pan-Africans now tell you about the boogeyman, which he's the boogeyman. And you believe in the, the man's story. You tell you about your story, story you never got from your own parents or grandparents. You see, you never knew that you're African until you got there. The only African in Africa is the South African. And there's a language called African, there's a people called African, and they're saying Germanic. You can't claim to be those people, but well, you want to claim to be us, right? Okay. Bro, you <laughs> respectfully, man. Respect the wisdom. Listen, you know, listen, respect your wisdom. Hey, so did you the, Af Af to, did the African if you and go into South Africa, Brother Nagus? The people Should that's called Africanas. Are you familiar with them, the Africanas who we talking about? The Huguenots? Yes, those, South those Africa? Are, those those are Dutch German people, yeah. And they're called what? Africanas. Africanas, yeah. And what's okay, the point? That's of that? what he's saying. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. I, I heard him. I heard him very well, but I'm saying that he's wrong. Those people are not indigenous Africans. They just they Listen. just took the name. They took that name. They used the name to make themselves feel like they're from that land. They're not from there. Their genealogy, their DNA, they don't come from the land. They come from Europe. And yeah, but the word Africa, what language it came from? It is English to me, and the earliest one is Latin. It depends because there's, so there's different, there's different sources. speaking English and Latin. How? Oh, explain that to me. All right, listen. Because, yes. You know, you see, these people colonize you for a reason. And they have to colonize you um, to, um, to control you, man. You see? And it's the same people that tell you about the boogeyman. They're the colonizers. Even the very schools that set up in your country over there. Look at the people. Look at the people on your courts. Look at the people on your, um, on your judicial system. Look at these people high up. You call these people are still Europeans. That's why they never keep their money in your country. They're Negroes. They look just like you. Do you understand what is going on? Well, well, listen, bro. Under a Pan-African mentality, you can't see nothing. And you're not supposed to. <laughs> Gee, that's a fact. Man, yeah. Just keep you running around, yeah, from place to place. I'm just giving you a heads up yeah. for you yeah. to see different. You know, you can't just, you know, reading stuff and saying stuff. You know, you have to study, man. You see, it's the brain, man. It's it's trickery. You see, you have to understand, man. You have to listen and learn. You know, I'm learning stuff too. You know, no one could know it all. You know, but you know, I'm learning. You know. Uh, top cat is the biggest, top, biggest bad top cat in, in all of the world, man. This is the biggest cat, bro. You hear me? Okay. All right. Say no more. Talk to him, OG. That's OG Aaron Rockin' right there, man. Maroon blood, chief. Yeah, you see? Man, man got the hat on. Where they went in that in Africa? Huh? Yeah, I, I was about hey, to brother. say he looked, he looked punchy as hell. <laughs> I'm glad he brought up the Africanas because that's why I brought up the Ethiopian and the science, the DNA, because that's, you know, the same people went all through Europe and uh, Western Eurasia, you know, genetics all up through there, nomadic goat herders settling down in uh, South Africa.
So it's like all these people we talk about are people trying to put us in their place. Them motherfuckers ain't even the original people of that land, you know, in all the cases that I've seen, you know, over there. So it's, I don't know, niggas is, is agents uh, sometimes unknowingly, but it's like even just reading on the Congo and getting changed to Zaire and what Zaire meant, where that came from. Then Zaire wasn't even the original name. It goes Portuguese to this, to that. And, uh, it was like that, four that, years that, before that, that, you know? that. So it's like, you, 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 but then after being colonized by the same caste system that they're trying to put on us, you know, after you know, you have to, to black now and being, you know, at the bottom. You have, you have to understand, yeah, when you're talking about Congo, right? You talk about Congo, you have to understand who, which tribes of people are in power. So, for example, Mobutu, the, 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 the president that changed the name from Congo to Zaire, because he was never called I'm Zaire. Not, I'm not even arguing your re because this happened. Right. I'm just giving that, okay. you know, showing that, you know, we're getting these names, terms, titles, brands put on us, our lands, you know, whatever. And that's not who we are. I am who I say I am. What you're calling me is what the colonizer put on me. What I'm talking to you about, your land, that's what the colonizer or the person in power like you're speaking to changed it to. But who are you? You know, I'm talking to Nagus right now because that's who you say you are through the name on your profile. You know, so right. that's all I'm saying. Yeah, but you see the same arguments or similar arguments can be made across the world, brother. You can go to India right that's now. That's what I, that's what I just said. They're, they're, they're 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 so I'm not speaking specifically to you. I'm just showing how none of these names, titles, or people are who, you know, the natural, organic, you know, people of that land, the name or title. So that's why you have to deal no, with the individual and who they say they, they are. No, no all countries in Africa comes from Europeans. Congo is one of them. Right, the name Congo with a K is indigenous to that to, to that land, and there's no ways around it. Not when the hard. Europeans got there, when the I'm Europeans got there, the, the people was calling themselves Bakongo or Mukongo. They were speaking Kikongo. It's got nothing to do with Europeans. Now, other countries in Africa, like Nigeria, we all know come from a British lady. We know certain names. A lot of names in Africa uh, comes from Europeans, but when it comes to Congo, I know my history pretty well. I don't know all of it, but I know my history pretty well. That name is indigenous to my people, to my yeah, ancestors. Yeah, I just told you I'm not, I'm not debating your land. I'm mm -hmm. just stating that the same thing that happened there happened globally to everybody. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. That's the whole colonization system and protocol. Change the names, change the letter, you know, change mm -hmm. the people. 100%. I mean, yeah, that's that's happened everywhere in Africa, in America. That's happened everywhere, man. You know what I mean? And and that's why these dialogues needs to happen. You know, that's that's why I'm here. I'm here to learn. And I'm here to put my little input if I can. And then that's it. You know. Hey, check yeah, this I'm out definitely. on the screen. I'll check this out on the screen. You, you just had to go and do it, you know. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, so right here we got the Shanti Confederation. And look at them over there with Queen Elizabeth, side yeah. by side with these Europeans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, the that's, same, that's the same monarchy uh, queen that is over in all the gold, places, you right? Gold like say you say the gold like <laughs> You say the gold? Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. Oh, you know, the gold. Oh, that you know, brother's blinging. Oh, that king is blinging the gold. You know, you know <laughs> You know some though, family. You know that when they got there, they didn't find all that gold that they said was was supposed to be in there. Now nah, they found well, more gold in the Americas. So when we go through the raw African company, the raw African company, they were mad. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me go up to the what they were mad because somebody told them about all this gold and all this was gonna be there, and come to find out it wasn't. All right. Yeah, because they heard, they heard about Mansa Musa, but by the time that it got to Mansa Musa, that gold has been given away already. He gave Musa gold away. It's fake. Mansa Musa, they even teach that on golf in the town over there that Mansa Musa never was, was, wasn't was even real. That story was made up. 
Americas. That was created through the Americas. He go Anna my boo right here. Now this is now uh, you have what they call Gold Coast Euro Africans, where historical demographic based in coastal urban settlements in colonial Ghana that arose from the union between the European men and the African women. So I'm finna show you how they mix, right? Because even when they were dealing with the Gold Coast, they never went into the interior parts of Africa. Okay, so they're gonna create a, a company called the African Association in 1777. And this is to discover the interior parts of Africa. Guess what they were trying to get to? Just like you said, Timbuktu. So they, because they never could get into the interior parts. And also the governor, he was a the governor there for 12 years. He never left outside of the walls on the coast. So this is very important because through these years that they saying they taking all of these slaves, right? They had never even been into the interior parts of West Africa. Now this, this animal, my boot, this is one of the most important places there. I want to skip over there and come here and, and take you somewhere. Okay. Because it was, it was uh philanthropist from the Americas and Europe who put money up. So even when we're dealing with Ghana, Ghana is going to come from, uh, um, a school here in the Americas. So this colonization is for education while they're setting up the colonies there, they're going to come here. So uh, we're going to go down to let me skip all this here. These the Indian schools. So these are the people going to put up the money. So guess who they're going to go get? One of the biggest Pan-Africans here. So Joseph Price, a lot of people don't know about him. He ended up dying early. Booker T. Washington gonna take his place. But it, he, he, this is HBCU, Livingston College. This is North Carolina. All right, this is North Carolina. Let me get out of all of this right here. You know who this guy is right here? James Agri. You're Pan-African. You got to know him. Teach, but I'll teach. I'm listening. Okay, okay no problem. Well, this guy right here, James Agri, okay? Um, now, this is the, the biggest boss of them coming out of the modern day of what Pan-Africanism is. He's going to come here through the missionary program. They're going to send him to the Americas, all right? Now, he's going to go back, and he's going to start uh, his own school, in Nachimata College Missionary School, and it's going to be modeled after the school here that he's going to teach at. For about 40 years, he married a Virginia woman, and he held his office here in the Americas. Now, he's very important. A lot of people don't know about him. He go to school right here. Now, they, this is their missionary program from here in America. They're sending over these students to the Americas, and they're coming back with this Pan-African ideology. This is what they're going to come back and get their people. But he built that school under the same thing. He's going to be the OG to who? To Kwame and Krum, Okay. Kwame and Krum was going to come under this program, which was a government program. All right. He's going to go through a government program right here. Uh, it was, uh, it said it was the quality that brought him into the recommendation of the principal of the what? The government training college. Okay. And Kwame, according to entered the government training college in Accra in 1927, it was the college that where he met Agri. OK, who was the assistant vice principal as the first African member on the staff. OK, that's why he's so important to this. And so he going to meet him through a government. Do you hear what I'm saying, brother? Government program. And so they're going to send him to the Americas. That's why he was out there in Harlem in the Harlem History Club. OK, with John Henry Clark now. Um, Kwame, he was all in. He was in uh, Harlem running around there with them in HBCU. Uh, churches made up by the Pan Africans here, and so um, he's gonna go back to London. As soon as he get to London, he gonna end up taking over that program down there in London. As soon as he get there, and they gonna create a circle inside of a circle. He gonna leave there. He gonna go back, and then by this time is the Fifth Pan African Congress. All right, and once they leave there, they'll create the decolonization of Africa where these niggas going to sit on this panel. But see, these are the niggas who went through these government training schools 
You feel me? Sent over to the Americas, educated here and in, in London, and they'll be sent back to their people as the presidents of this new decolonization and known in history as heroes. And so, well, you know, you, you can't go get it nowhere else, but over here at BCU too. But yeah, it's not a book that tells you that, but this is BCU. This is this is why we say that there are agents and these are the people who colonize us. Because these are not revolutionary fighters. These ain't niggas going against the opposite side. These are niggas who are training side by side and coming out here being the vehicle of colonization sent back to the people um, as uh, uh, double agents. And so we're not saying it's just, just because this is what we feel or any of that. I mean, I can go in a little deeper, but that was on, just on a little drip on Pan-African history. I could take you into Nigeria. So that was Ghana. I could take What'd you, you into Real quick, big before you jump in that, would you say that that type of story? That's I'm not gonna say that one specifically, but that type of story is what we get all throughout our history. He would be a slave, bought his freedom somehow, Correct. and then became this. Yeah, Correct. all right, just wanted to when we go through this, the, the people with these slave narratives, one of the things that we brought out with over here at BCU was that's not his slave master, that's his daddy. Okay, now under the law. See, he take uh, this matrilineal society. So they're going to take, they're going to go under uh, their mother. You feel me? So say their mother was indigenous to the land. In the United States system, they did not recognize Indian nations who were allied with them under treaties. So you would be in, as we come to statehood, you will be in, in a slave uh, because they're not uh, recognizing you as an Indian in their new system. And so, uh, yeah, we find out that these fathers um, would, would, you know, the children would be a slave. He went back and bought the old plantation he lived on. All this heroic shit right in the whole time. That's the nigga daddy. He lived there, grew up there. That's his daddy. But on paper, they put him down in history as a slave. But when we look in the slave story, these niggas the most successful. What I always say, man, I want to be a slave back then because all these niggas rich. I just never met so many rich ass slaves. These niggas be dressed devil now. I mean, uh, three piece suits on, man. Top hats, man. Head to toe, these niggas cleaner than the whistle. Sharp. Big family, married, you know, a lot of land. I said, damn, I want to be a slave. But yeah, exactly, man. They, 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 that, that's, they, these are the stories that we, we are getting. Because we don't get stories about everyone. We don't get stories about the revolutionary fighters, the niggas who really died and bled over this shit. We don't get those. We only get these people, and they most, uh, uh, um, yeah, we they most revolution revolutionary thing that they do to go against this so called oppressor is call on Jesus Christ. You feel me? And so, nah, man. Um, yeah, we call them red handed, man. I'll praise to the ancestors, man. They should have. It should have never stopped me that day, man. She should have let me go and go hit my leg because I had a leg waiting on me, my phone jumping. I done lied, told the nigga I'm exiting. I ain't even left the goddamn old highs yet. And she said, come here. You hear me? And we just <laughs> niggas every since, man. Superior car, Junior. See where you at with that U-Haul? These bodies is piling yeah. up. Right, Shit's starting to stink. They racking up, man. <laughs> you need some space. Yeah, they racking up in here, man. But yeah, what is that boys in the hood, man? That nigga stink. What are you talking to me? He said, say, Y'all don't see a dead body. He said, Man, wait. Like, man, they're getting focused up. This yeah, fucking with you, so you don't fuck with Hey, and they on both sides of it, too, though, niggas. We ain't just talking about on that side. They they here, too. You know what I'm saying? So they come from Africa to over here. They came from, went from here to over there. Um, you know, you had uh. You had Samuel Oakham up in uh up in uh up, up there with uh Elias the Week uh Wheelock. He went colonizing up there through the uh he went through the six nations of the Iroquois, Samuel uh Samson Oakham. Sam, uh Samson Oakham, uh believed to be the descendant of Yucas, the noble Mohican chief, according to his biography at the age of 16, 17. Oakham became a teacher, preacher, judge among the uh Monticet, Native Americans or Indians in Montec, East Long Island. He officially ordained as a minister August 30, 1759. But we uh Oakham ended up going to um over to England on a missionary trip. And, uh, under through Wheelock in the Indian Charity School in Lebanon, Connecticut, 1754. 1764, Oakham opposed the sale of tribal lands and was involved in the Mason controversy. 
a long lasting dispute over land between the colonists and the Mohicans. In 1768, Oka wrote a short narrative of my life, a 10 page manuscript, now in Dartmouth College archive collection. But this is also where you get um, the Moore's Indian Charity School, um, right there in Connecticut. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, well, they, they, he went up there trying to colonize them nations and shit, man. But they were trying to get Yeah, you know who else put up money on there, too? Uh, uh, man, what's that nigga name? Alexander Hamilton. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he put money in there too. See, them was Indian schools. Niggas, uh, let me ask you this, fam. Uh, you you familiar with uh um um uh, like Harvard, Yale, and all the prestigious schools in America? Hundred percent, yeah. Okay, did you, uh they, did you know that they were built for Indians? They always. Um, no, yeah, I never knew. That. Okay, yeah, all of them on. I mean, from. Uh, University of Virginia to all of these schools were built on Indian land. Brown University, they were built on Indian land, built. And see, it's not even, we can't even say they was built because the schools was already there. The style of build is only, you find the best of the architect or the stone masonries here in the Americas. They taught us it wasn't no buildings here. But when these Europeans got here, they, te they tell you how how, uh, how amazed they were of the masonry here. See, they, they lie so much about history, man. That's why when we find that most of the most indigenous foods and crops and that's universal are, in, are indigenous to the Americas. All of the fruits and shit niggas eat, pineapples, oranges, strawberries, and all this shit. All that shit come from here. We we had all of that here. But yeah, the, um, my point was that, yeah, all of those schools uh, today that will be labeled Ivy League schools were built by Indians and for Indians, you know, and um, and it started to flip after '65 when they came in with the um the AA uh what was it the um I, I get it, but uh once they came in and implemented the new program down in the south, so for as education and that's where the HBCUs would come from, but for as in the colonies, Yale, Prince, I mean you name it. Harvard, all of this shit uh, built right there on Indian territory by Indians for Indians. Yeah, bars. I just put a link in the back chat. Uh, for it's uh the Oakham Circle, but it talk about all that. You know, the Moore's Indian Charity School, uh, North Lebanon. Moore's Indian Charity School, grammar school for Indians that eight years in Willock, open in North Lebanon, 1754, Connecticut. The school hey, name hey, Joshua hey, Moore. What was his nephew? He had a nephew or something like that too. His nephew uh ended up getting caught up in there too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he had a nephew. Oh, uh, I'm trying to think of the dude's name. Hold on, I'll go find the lecture. The new name who um who built the school. But y'all keep building though. Okay. Yeah, it say here, um, it say uh right here. We locked lost the vast majority of his Indian students. He fought with many of the best, including Samson Oakham, Joseph Johnson, David Fowler, and Hezekiah Callan. And other former and current students accused him of subjecting Indians to disproportionate amounts of manual labor. 1769, Wheelock relocated to Hannibal in 1769. Wheelock, that's the nigga. Wheelock. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's a little bit on that. But, yeah, like you were saying, on top of all those little schools, uh, all that, man. Even down to the HBCUs, you know, all these schools were built for Indians, man. Mike, I got I got one question, right? Uh, when you say Indian, what type of Indian are you talking about? I'm just wondering. We yeah. niggas. We talking about like, niggas. My, yeah, niggas. <laughs> That's who was in those. Well, I, just, I, just want to, I just want to know because I don't know, right? So the best way I can find out the question. Well, Native Americans, then we're talking about the Asian, more Asian people that's coming that you'll mostly see on like Western, on the Western side of America. You don't see them people in the South or on the Northeast, Midwest, none of that. All this nigga territory, nigga culture. It, there's nothing. Right. You name a culture. I always ask people, name me a, a Native American fast food restaurant. Name a food that's associated with Native American because if America is all it is, then their culture uh, should dominate. White people should be in their culture. Everyone here should be doing something that's associated with their culture. But who the culture is after here? Niggas. White folk eat what we eat. Bars. 
they call it Southern cooking. White folk, everything they eat, all, you can't think of a white dish because they eat what we fed their ass. Period. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers eat, they call it Southern cooking. But that's opposite. That's soul food. They, don't, they cook it the same way we eat it. And, and and you go to any famous restaurant, white folk restaurant out here that they known for that they only go to, and then that bitch cooking our food. And there's no word. They cooking our pies and shit like that. So they don't eat Native American culture or food. There ain't even no such thing as Native American restaurants here. It's no such thing. Everyone here lives in our culture, even them. They get their hair cut like us. Everything that we do, they do. Everybody. So I got a question. I got a question. So, yeah. so mm -hmm. have you have you ever had like a conversation with those Native Americans and to see what like? I need to go find the tape, brother. I had yeah. listen, man. Hey, any shout out to BCU, man. If y'all remember the bill, can y'all go find the bill when I fought the Native? <laughs> Bro, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't did it so much, man. I know I ain't got the biggest following or none of that, bro. And I know I be talking shit in my song, but bro, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't rock with with them all. I had a tape, man. Somebody please go find um tape where I, I fought the Native America on um on culture. They ain't got nothing, bro. They can't do nothing with us. They, you know what they last name is? The same. You're breaking up. What'd you say? You cut out, but even yeah, out, aside from fighting, he, I mean, there's been some that came up, you know, back in the day and expressed everything we saying, like told us that they had to be taught by us and they had to go to schools, you know, and we taught them how to survive, live, sustain life. You know, like everybody don't argue this. I mean, to be honest, right, because all of this is kind of new to me as well, like, you know, I'm trying to say, so, man, it's a lot, it's a lot to digest, bro, but, um, yeah, yeah man, we, I just not Wakanda, you know, Wakanda being over here, you know, and uh, speaking to a, a elder Native American woman and saying her tribe, they knew about Wakanda, they never, you know, utilized it or went there, but knew it was a place where Indians met up, you know, and they're, uh, you know, a spiritual place, healing springs and things like that. But they didn't use it. They don't, you know, they know of it, but they don't fuck with it. Like, there's so much, you know, but I mean, you could start with the food, like Top said, you know, and, and that's the culture, that's the people, you know, but yeah, yeah, it go deep. And I think that's why you get the passion, you know, because we don't we don't believe over here, you know, we we walk in knowing, you know, truth and knowing, and you can't tell me who I am and who my people right, are. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to turn it up a little bit, right, respectfully, right. Uh, a couple of days ago, Top Cat admitted, which I respect, right, that they were, I'm gonna say, a minority or African slaves that came to the shores of North Af uh, America, right? Am I correct, Top Cat? Nah, he dropped Thank off. He dropped now. off, but, but see, no, you, you, let, you, you let, don't let, have let, contention, let, let, you're let, not let, arguing with people, but now you're bringing up African slaves again. I can't, I can't hear the story, I can't hear you. I say, you see how you... you you act innocent and hide your hands and no, no. I did say I'm gonna turn it up a bit. I just bring up African slaves. I just said I'm, let's turn it up a little bit, right? And I said right because everything I said, I'm he's a real brother, so he's gonna he's gonna confirm that that's what he said, and it's on it's on record as well. So he did say there's a minority of African slaves that didn't make that didn't make it to the to North America. That's what the brother said. Yeah, yeah, he, he said that he go with that narrative. Yeah, that that's a small amount. Yeah, he said he right, right. So yeah. I just want to make sure that I'm not, I'm not making, I'm not lying on no brother's name. I'm not trying to make up anything. That's why I heard, and that's what we were talking about. Nobody would deny that slaves came here. I mean, I mean, like I said, the talking absolutes is the 
you know. let, just follow where I'm going with this. Just try to follow a bit where I'm going with this. So, if there is a minority, I, I got no problem to accept that the majority was already there. That's cool. I give you all that. That's cool. I ain't going to fight that. I never I never fought it. I, I, I used to find it odd, but okay, cool. But if there is a minority, my question is now, where did that minority go? Where did that minority of Africans go? Who said they went anywhere? Food? We said we had admixtures. I just haven't found one in mine. I have Irish, but, but I ain't found no African. Right, you're talking about you now. So, okay, this yeah, is my next question. We can talk so about that's what our whole conversation and building, you know, in this later part yeah. of our conversation has been. We got to talk about ourselves, which connects us to our families, you know, and then we yeah. can come together with your pan African mind and try and build. But you see how you keep trying to put me on a motherfucking slave ship and put me in Africa. <laughs> No matter how yeah, I, much I feel like you're, I walk I feel like you're running a little bit, brother. I, I, respectfully, I think you're trying to run a bit now. I think you know where I'm going and you're trying to run a bit. Respectfully. How am I running? I just told you. Oh, let me, let me tell you what I think you're running. I haven't admixtures. I haven't found an African. I well, have okay, Irish. Okay. Okay. So, All right. well, why do maybe I have to go not back you, on the slave ship? Is there a possibility that there are people, especially in the southern parts of North America, that have got African ancestry to this day today, and they don't know nothing about it. If Is there a possibility said, that? If people agree that Africans came here, well, and I, I, I want to that would be breeding with people, and Yamalers mm -hmm. come here in droves still today. So obviously there would be admixtures, common sense and logic that you spoke of earlier. Right. There's admixtures and Africans. So that's that's where my second question comes person. from. Yeah. Right, that's cool. Maybe not you, but maybe not some of the brothers on the panel. That's cool as well, right? I'm just trying to say, is there a possibility that some people, right, do not know they got this African ancestry in them? Where are they? I mean, we were here about it. Pardon? I mean, like, out of all the history of pan Africanism, you say you've been watching Sinetta for a long time, like, out of all of this, you your connection is bad, bro. Or somebody say what? I check. You're breaking up. His shit, uh, his shit, yo, shit yo. static. All right, Mike, take, Mike, take. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, I'm saying, okay, yeah, we can say it's it's a possibility that Africans came here, but see, the burden of this this is my game. We still need people because everyone tries to use all of these other tech tech uh tactics to prove the africans here this is my game out of every out of the history of pan-africanism we've never heard no one come with a story about their story of coming here from west africa we never heard no one come with this they've always that's why then why you always hear niggas saying dna so i'm saying even out of history of watching sinel there's nobody came on there and said this is my ancestor from the slave trade they came from here they came from there now the stories that we do have in there in history we find out to be fabricated to help the argument such so, so, stories such as cujo lewis and the cotilda uh stories such as uh uh the sons of africa with oleana equiana uh we hear these uh which are which are cases of only uh surviving uh, uh, slave trade victims to tell a story of it. Without only only Equiana, you have no one else to that's a surviving victim of coming through the slave trade and being able to tell or write about it. So we ask him why, because the Pan Africans go feel them even over their teeth. That nigga ain't real, and go feel I got the clip. Thank you for that one. I'm always gonna bring your ass as a special witness to court. Uh, on top of that. So Cujo Lewis was their last one. He was the most important. Why? Because he would be the only nigga with a story of somebody actually going through the experience of coming from Africa through a slave trip and coming here and tell it. 
So y'all two most important that'll be primaries. You can't even use because we find these to be fabricated stories to validate the slave trade. Again, the shit that I got in the back, when I can get me a nigga to line it up on the fade, I'm going to show where the story actually come from. There's nowhere in history that we're looking back in history where there's someone talking about a story of a slave trade. These aren't ancient stories when we're looking in this day. That, these stories not happening. These stories are coming from out of the studies of Afro or out of African studies. These are more recent when we're hearing about this. I know the, the first people to write on it and all of this. So this is my game. See, a lot of people don't. That's the that a lot of people don't know that point. That's why I always ask people, when did we first start hearing about this transatlantic slave trade? When you know, and that's another thing. No, so, I, top, you walk, you walking it, you walking it down. But what does that get you from? Who the black European is? Well, the black European, I I use the black when I brought the black European. It, it, it was the counter all of the doctrines. And that went for, uh, you know, for the Al our Aboriginal brothers saying that they were full-blooded and they only from America, they're full-blooded. That was a doctrine of me. So I, I used the Black European against them on that. Uh, the Moors. I put the Moors back in Europe. Okay? The last time we see you niggas is in Spain. So you need to go stand where you was at. That was 1493 because the conquistadors that came over here were Moors. So uh, we put the Jews, the Hebrews, back over there because they was there with them. They got it spelled through their Hummer decree with them. And uh, when they came to colonize the Americas also. And so the black European uh, for as to kill the myth of the white man, you know, and to show who the real colonizer was and how the white boy was created uh, to play the boogeyman and Freddy Cougar, I used the, the black European to kill Pan-Africanism. I proved that all of these people, revolutionary fighters that they're telling us about are not of, of slaves of African descent, but actually some of them coming out of black, out of European royalty lines. And that's why they hold the positions here, because you still have to understand the story of America is a story written by the, the nigga who won. And so right now, I always say it's kangaroo court because we got these niggas, uh, the nigga who committed the crime, he's investigating the crime. You understand me? He's yeah, he's he investigating his own crime, goddamn. And so, uh, yeah, he wasn't never supposed to get caught. We weren't never supposed to wake up out of this. They blame, uh, they say everything was whitewashed, but they whitewashed. It. That don't even tell you the first presidents here were black. It was niggas. We, right. we, we, yeah, we went through out. Uh, yeah, we break down all the black presidents and how and what really happened here. See, we don't even put that shit on YouTube. You can't even script. You scroll through that. Y'all niggas don't even know what we know. You know what I'm saying? Because when you come through here, we ain't finna help you. You better know something. Or yeah, better know how to pick cotton. You understand me? Because yeah, going to that cotton field out there. And I'm putting lashes on you. Or if my Kool-Aid ain't got enough sugar in the motherfucker. If, uh, if yeah, 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 nigga, if my, if my meat ain't tender enough, you ain't let it smoke long enough. Yeah, I'm going to put a wrap across your ass. Yeah, if I if I find a leak or a light or this, this flow ain't mob, I find a dish in the sink. Yeah, I'm going to put a wrap across one of you Pan-African ass niggas. So I've, got, I've got a question, right? I've got a question. Um, yes, sir, turn up. Right, yeah, my question is, right, do you believe or are you pushing for reparations? All right, Junior, say five minutes out. All right, wrap this one up. There ain't nobody finna get no reparations. That shit don't apply to us. That's 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 fake. Our reparations is going to get the land back that you can prove is yours. That's it. And getting identity. There's a settlement though, huh? There's a monetary, there's a monetary um settlement that need to be taken care of too. It ain't just no A1, land. A one, would you yeah. not say that what is being talked about right now, being rep reparations is for nations, you know, and losses during uh warfare, it would just be again like the niggas investigating the crime is the ones that did the crime, so they ain't never gonna get caught. So 
with these black people and, and these chattel slaves or descendants of, wouldn't it just be the nation paying itself, you know, for for the crime that they're being uh, suspected of or, or, or accused of? Because these citizens are going to give it right back in taxes and, and give it all right back to their uh, good point, good point. commercial en energy. So it's just good like point. those other guys, you know, and the, you know, them one guys, how they pay themselves through this U.S. for everything. You got a $20,000 PPP loan, they got 500 something million. Right. Now, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about for the damages that was done. When you say, I yeah, but I'm saying like these people that are being, that's what, that's what I'm saying. These people that are talking about it, it's just the nation is doing it. It's going to look good in public, but they're just paying themselves. It's just energy that, you know, money that's going to Right. Change. They agents. They don't have no intentions on ever getting reparations. They just want to be the voice right. to throw it out there so people are like, oh, at least she fought for reparations and never yeah. get no results or no remedy. Yeah, I know I know all the plays. I know all the plays these people run. So, so, so I feel like self-determination, that is your reparations. Getting back to who you belong to and learning and learning about your family and shit like that. Because once you figure that out, then you can, you, you, you move in life completely different. If you, if you trying to do, I'm the first one to tell you, I sue the fuck out of a bitch. I don't, I don't, I'm not on street rules. So you see what I'm you saying? Going, so let me ask you a question though. If you was to sue somebody, what you would sue for? That's why you got to know your story to have your claim. Right. That's the because but your the claim story is, the is for all of us. Man. All of us that been, all of us that first of all, that been reclassified. Ain't none of us still in our proper capacity. Number one. So then we need to go at it, at it in a class action lawsuit form instead of reparations because everybody yeah, yeah, has not, injuries. Right. Okay, everybody so has had injuries that I've had. Just the terminate. Just the terminology. Reparation. Repair. What's the root word? Repair. Right, so repair. the repair damage that was done. So even if you say a redress of grievances, which I hear a lot of people promote or whatever, you know, reparations is to just repair nation. You know what I'm saying? Of the damage that was done. So it would be a form of it, but it wouldn't be entirely to go towards the slave narrative. You understand what I'm saying? It's not about the slave narrative. It's about what we was already here. We are aborigines. Um, we belong to this so-called nation or this so-called area. So it be a, a, more of a restitution because the nation is in a... If you want to say to restitution, let, let's... Because, it, got because that's to make you whole. Reparations mm -hmm. is for nations, you know? And hey, hold we, on, y'all. Let's see what... My bad. I'm going to finish your drive. But I did want to see what he was going with it, though, uh, before we go into a different conversation. I wanted to know why he, why he was asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go ahead. Nagus, it's on you. No, you got to finish, finish. Yeah, like, Nagus, just... why, you, why you ask us that, Nagus? Right, the reason why I asked it, right, because... Um, Hold on, let me say, let me say mine first. Uh, I think yeah. we owe reparations, and I think Africa ought to give it to us. Yeah, yeah, they sold niggas. They say, if we're going to go by their story, they say they sold us to a white man, and he brought us to America. So I think, yeah, we need... I'm for reparations. I'm pro Africa. Pay us reparations over here. All right, yeah, now, okay. now turn up. Right, let's turn up then. Um, number one, right? <clears throat> no, ain't no Africans said that it is sold their own people, right? Did the Africans Africa, sell what? Africans, brother? Af they sold other nation of people that are Africans. Yes. Okay. They sold. They sold. They sold. They sold. They sold. They sold. They sold, they sold, they sold they oh, told they let's the let's identify the African nations. What I, African nations with this? Because don't let's not sit up here and think that oh, all them primitive people over there in Africa had these mighty um fucking um um militaries and all that. Let's identify who are you talking about? Because a lot of time when people talk about Africa, they really talk about North Africa. The West Africa ain't responsible for shit or South Africa. It depends. It depends yeah, on the context. Be careful with him. He's well, a right. it uh, goal, uh, post. Oh, don't worry about it. I got plenty of training, Charles. Don't worry about it. I got plenty <laughs> of training. I got. Right. It. Don't worry about it. First, first of all, first of all, right. Well, if 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 you're gonna go, like, I don't have no issue with that, right. If you have to go to getting reparation from Africa, first of all, you have to go to start with the moles, first of all. 
Because in history, okay. the Moors the, the Moors are the first people, so called black African people, however you want to brand them. And where right? are they from? Where are the Moors from? Originally, and the Moors are indigenous to North Africa. Okay, so they, 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 they hold up, but so they indigenous to North Africa. Are they from West yeah. Africa, South Africa, by any home? I mean. I mean, if you're talking about the first Moors, no, the indigenous to North um, North Africa. Now, when it became when the, the Moors became like an empire, they started to accumulate over tribes that from Southern Africa, right? That became then part of the Moorish Empire. But the original Moors, which are the basically the Berbers, right? They're from North Africa. And then later on, you had the Ma uh, Mandika people of West Africa but that the joined. One, let me ask you a question: the one, the Moors that, because when you say Moors. Moors are right. just not in North Africa. Moors are all up in the Mediterranean and Iberia, all the way up to Germany. No, we're talking so about Africa right now. So it's he, he spoke okay. about reparation from Africa. So that's no. why I'm keeping it. But right? you said the Moors, the Moors ain't no descendant. The descendants of the Moors that are in America. They're not over there. No. No, no, of course there is because because some of the conquistadors, I don't believe in all of them, some of them were Moors that was on those boats that was bringing over so called Africans. They were Moors that came from Spain, so black skinned people. That came from Spain, right? The yeah. Conquistadors that came from Spain. Hey, that boy was open. listening, class. Y'all heard him how that boy was taking notes in class. Okay, I see you, man. I see you brought your paper. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Me and him. Man, I'm talking about me. I've been fucking with you, Top Cat. I'm just, oh, okay, all right. So, nah, nah, a, nah, he know I'm talking to him. So he's a scholar. Yeah. So you, you a scholar? Nah, far from it, brother. I'm, 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 a, I'm a student, brother. I'm here oh, to man, learn. Man, a scholar, Africa, he said he's a Hold real up. pen. A, he said he considered himself a real pan African. I'm a real a pan African. He's yeah. a student. Look, look, a scholar is a fucking student that's being taught by a teacher. So in the case, Top Cat would be the teacher, you would be the scholar or the student. A scholar is someone who learns in school by a teacher. These idiots been my doing that. Or a scholarly, 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 scholarly. I'm just no, fucking no, teaching around this motherfucker. Like so, <laughs> when, when we talk about when we talk about morals, I'm the expert at this shit. We talk no, about people from the I'm more rule, but that's a whole other story. Never, we ain't gonna get into that because I don't. I don't feel like I'm, I'm chilling tonight. Or whatever, but how it go, right? Go ahead, bro. When Top Cat just said that we deserve reparations from Africa, right? Yep. Now I beg a different. The reason why I'm begging different is because I'm going that real pan African. And we have a more a one. You can go into your your spiel, your your more spiel. Uh, <laughs> nah, I want to nah, see. Nah, I want to nah. see what niggas. I want to see what niggas have to say about it. So y'all, y'all. Really? Oh. Oh, you want to hear the more spell? Okay, all right. You want to hear something? All right, I got you. Listen right. to this, buddy. The, 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 the reason these niggas. Nah, he, he said he wanted, uh, let me elaborate. Let me bring up the speed with me, right? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I'm one, I'm one of them niggas who believe in Lemuria, right? I'm, a, I'm one of them weird aborigines. I believe in Lemuria. I believe in Queen Calfia. I believe in um all that shit, right? But when you talk about the Moors, the Moors are originally from the Americas. They will be the moral people, the Amaru moral people. So when we when we talk about, see, the thing of it is, is they don't, even when they teach you Native American history, they, you know, they give you a, they give you a connotative um, meaning of Native American. Oh, they was living, a, they was living in TP, they was living in the wilderness, da, 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 da. My people, who are aboriginal me first from time of existence, we had towns. We had these city halls was made by my people. My people wasn't no primitive people running around chasing deers or hiding trees. Nigga. We had a whole, we had a system set up. We had a whole meat system, a, a meat house system set up and all that shit, bro. Saw in all of that shit, how we go though? But we left from here and went over there. There was no people over there when we went over there. Nobody else was on the fucking planet. Uh, the people in America is the first people of the world. We went Respectfully, over there. You're kind of, Go ahead. Respectfully, Go ahead. you're kind of going away from the, the initial, you know, topic. Now, he, he asked me to, to, to brief you on the term on the Moors. The Moors over there are the Moors from over there. That's the reason. Look, look, think about it like this, right? The Moors that was in North Africa, right? 
they was more advanced than any other sub-Saharan um, Africans. They was wild. Which, where did they get that science from? The Moors that was in North Africa and Iberia, they didn't get it from, from the people in West Africa and South Africa. So where the fuck they get the science from? The only people who had the science that the Moors had at that point in time would be the science of the Americans. We the only people who had that science. So they didn't get it from West Africans. They didn't get it from so South I Africans. I don't, I, don't, I don't even want to get into this conversation because okay. it's going to be a right. lot. It's going to be a lot. Because you said yourself. So just remember me the next time. Just remember me whenever you do feel like you are. Um, 100%, um, 100%, 100%. Just remember me. 100%. Okay. So, so if, if we keep it to Africa, right, I would say the first people you're going to need to look into, the first uh, uh, suspects, right, will be the so-called moles, right? Those are the people that first sell out, that first help Europeans, and also help the Arab people, Arabic people, to go into West Africa, to destroy the kingdoms in West Africa, to start enslaving West Africans and Central Africans. The Moors are the first people in, in when the continent did that of happen, though? When, 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 when that, did that, that, would, that, that happened, right? That happened during, you would say, the fall of the Moorish Empire in Spain. So you would say 1492, 1493, whichever, which pick whichever, right? That's when but it happened. You do realize, had, you do the Moors the the, the, the at the time, they right? you had to make a oh, choice. You had to make a choice, to either, go into, either go into captivity or to help, because they had, like you said, right, like you admitted, right? They had listen, a lot of money. Listen, 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 I'm going to tell you something else that you don't know. So those are the ones that call the Europeans are everything. Listen, hey, hey, fam, are you the listening? The, the Moors. Those are the Mike first coons. Mike, 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 are you listening? Well, he said the Moors are the first coons. Hold on. Are the first coons in Africa. Yes, 100%. I don't, know. I, don't, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but you talking. I'm just trying to get, come to some contention points. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, all right. Don't, please, let's, please not let's talk over each other, brother. If you hear me trying to intervene, please stop your spill and try to come to a contention. So what I'm telling you is this, right? When you say that the Moors got kicked, the Moors never got kicked out because the Romans was Moors too. All of the Iberian Peninsula, all of Europe was all Moors. The Moors just wasn't in Spain and fucking um, Port of Gaul and Morocco. The Romans- 100% I do that. Hold on, hold on. You're breaking up, bro. So you like, you know, the history get caught up with all of these people telling all of these ridiculous stories that they don't understand that Negroes inhabited the Iberia Peninsula and what we call Western Europe or Eastern Europe, all the way up to Western Europe. Negroes inhabited that place. Wasn't no white people over there running nothing in the 1492, my dude. No, 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 I dare to differ. I dare to differ, man. I dare to differ. Are you still with us, or I mean, where did he go? I'm still here. You gonna hear me? Yeah, nah, your mic going out, man. Can you hear me now? Yo. There you go. All right. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I just got kicked out on my head. Did you hear anything I just said? You sound like you underwater, man. You sound kind of robotic there. Nigga, you need to come out and go, go back in. We can't, we can't hear you. Meanwhile. But A1, you, you see you see what I'm saying, right? Yeah, I, I understand you talking about um back on the, the, the reparation shit like if you if you if you see what's going on, like the people that did the damage, they never finna get caught, bro. They not they. So who not gonna you, get you got to. Who, 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 who not gonna get I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking about the people that's acting like they for reparations and shit, because oh, it, they cool. they they had yeah. you. They yeah. had they they they're speaking for you. You see, what I'm saying you're exactly. not the actual exactly. one. They mm -hmm. you and see, what I'm saying no you can't. They don't have no They getting. They getting. Look, they getting envelopes of money or getting money transferred to their account just for them selling us out so they don't have to pay us. 
Apple. Right. You see what I'm saying? We, I'm Asian. Look, look, at, look, look at all the money that we give to fucking Africa, bro. Like, get, get, everybody got to think logically about, about this shit, bro. Like, we 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 ain't got a dime, bro. We Afri Africa has gotten way more shit. They get shit every year. We don't get a dime. So I just kind of so feel people like... who you think Oh, your family since we get speaking for us? We, we ain't just about family. We all... Oh, work. the people... What? The, the people The people that's actually going to help is me. I, I, I got to go get it myself. I got to go mm -hmm. uncover all the bullshit that happened. You see what I'm saying? So we can We can I'm reflect back to... to Look, you can't reflect back to Walker Plecker, right? We see what he did. This shit was delivered. This right. is by a government institution. And this, 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 this didn't happen in Virginia. It happened in 15 other states. Because, look, a lot of niggas say, oh, the Walker Plecker shit only happened in Virginia. But check it out. In all of the other states, everybody else is colored a Negro, too. So, obviously, it had to work everywhere. It ain't just work. Okay, they he classify the people in Virginia as colored. The people in New York is coming, Maryland, Washington, D.C., South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, with, with, with Alabama, that, et cetera. With, with that A1, you would have to hit that individual company because it may have been a federal, you know, guideline, but each state is independent and acted on its own. So you like California. They already did a study on Ind Indians and Aborigines, the, the laws and statues and shit that injured them. So it's like you would have to hit the state independently you know and then work your way up if, if there's a company but we all that. would have to recognize who we are and what we did we can't go under no native american nothing so anything that the native american know, said just, when we get in a room full of people that injured the indian and yeah yeah but what i'm saying is look when the we get, government document when we get a struggle when we get in a room full of people they all have to look like us you can't be none of them Mongols or none of them people who that's who, what I'm saying, pretty, or, or what we what? push over here about knowing your story, telling your story, and connecting back to your family because your claim, your proof of claim is your family and your family story. Outside of that, you're that Dred Scott case everybody want to talk about. You're a plaintiff in there, you, you, you trying to claim some shit that ain't yours, yeah, because Dred Scott, because Dred and then Scott you also. And then you also got to scan these niggas, bro, because I'm not finna sit here after the knowledge that everybody has laid down the foundation and shit. I don't claim everybody that's melanated over here because I'm the first one to tell you that they came. They could have came from great migration, like straight up. Nine, nine, 1910. Black as a bro, motherfucker. Everybody has melanated over here. You heard me? Everybody huh? has melanated. Every, every Negro you see. With the exception that you got to look at last name, number one, you got to see do they have an African or are they from the Caribbean. But other than that, every Aboriginal, um, um, African American are Indian, bro. All of them, brother. All of them. All of them. And I'm saying that for my look. The observation is, oh shit, there was Negroes in America, right? And then you find numerous cases. The hypothesis is maybe there was Negroes in America. Let me follow up on it. Then you come up with a, a um a Western theory, right? Then you do the experiment. The experiment is you walking around literally asking people this shit. And I have done this for the last four years. Well, five years. Fuck it. So I know I'm not just randomly running into Chisha, Aisha, Latisha, um, um, Raheem, um, Mustafa. All of these niggas is Indian, man. They all told me it, and I got the footage, and I got the proof to prove it. So it ain't no nobody over here was African. That's all a fucking myth, man. Because everybody who was previously African now saying that they're Indian when they did their genealogy. How ironic is that? But the crazy so, part, you, like, but but oh. that's that's the thing. They could claim Indian. After a while, our families was mixing. So who can technically claim mixing both? with who, brother? Yeah. Listen, hold, hold, hold in, on, this, in this land, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you go ahead. Three, look, look, in this land mass, they said it was almost 50 million people from the shores. The, the southeast shores all the way to the Mississippi. So if they bought 130, when you when this nigga talking about slaveboy.org, and you go over there and you see how many people they bought to 
mainland North America. Now they claim first it was um three hundred thousand. Now it's a hundred and thirty something thousand. So a hundred thirty thousand thousand people did not live in their own community. They been abolished they a long time ago. They want. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Long yes. time ago. Let's stop yes. saying this. No, they are African towns. And, oh, this time, get the fuck out of here. That, 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 look, their culture, which understand that this is a mixture. They saying that, oh, they brought people from the Congo. They brought people from the Gold Coast. They brought people from here. They brought people from there. All those people, and it's distributed in North America, that culture wouldn't have exceeded our culture. We wouldn't have felt victim to their culture. They would nope. have had to adapt our culture. Nope. You can see the same thing today, bro. If you just look around when you ain't exactly communities, those look, cultures yeah. don't absorb the dominant culture. Those cultures just live out they live out their culture within the dominant culture. You know what I'm saying? But the story has been written that everything of us is coming from Africa. But then we look back and say, well, what African people did this? And it's very it's, it's small examples that they can point to, but it's a big whole generalization. Oh, that came. Oh, that yeah, that came from Africa. Yeah, yeah, y'all got that from Africa, bro. How? When we don't see those people doing those things today. So the, all these people that they saying that came from West Africa and came here. So all that culture out of West Africa, we just took it and brought it over here, and those people don't have it no more. Well, right, because now you now because now logical. yeah, because now you saying that the people that got took from the western part of Africa are idiots. They got more influence over us than we would have over them, my dude. Understand it. This is a fucking lie, bro. They didn't bring no Africans here. The people who was on these plantations was white people. And then the, the, the so-called Negroes that you do find on these plantations, their mother was salvage, my dude. This is the research so that I'm running across right now. People were working under the sun, the burning hot sun. This is why people were working on the burning hot sun. Exactly. They was a slave. They, and they was a slave all the way in Barbados, in the Caribbean, everywhere, man. And, and see, and, and and see when we hear the word say, slave, we automatically, oh, shit, that's us. They talking about us. Nigga, I ain't no slob, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? Which one you hear the word slave, nigga, raise their hand like, that's my ancestor. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, that ain't me, nigga. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. That's playing semantics a bit, brother. I feel like I feel that's like playing semantics because we all know no, it those are we have to be up front. If you don't know what the are... terminology is, you you don't know what the term slave is, nigga. Do not apply it to black people when it's a fucking European ethnicity. Yeah, European, of the even, even, so even it's so, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a simple Google it's, it's search. Giving them it's, back white it's, it's giving them back so their term in, in which they deserve. Because white people don't like that when you start telling the story of them being slaves. They don't tell you that. The fuck you got niggas. Listen, my dude. Listen, let me let me explain something to you, bro. The gloves are off, nigga. When you find out in the 1830 Carter G. Wilson slave, um, black slave um, manual, and you see that 16, no, I'm sorry, there's 13 pages of black Louisiana slave owners. Now, there's 13 pages in Louisiana. South Carolina got thir like 12, 13 pages. Virginia got like 12, 13 pages. Maryland got like 12, 13 pages. And on each page, there's, there's over 200 people on each fucking page. That's black slave owners only. 200 slaves, 150 slaves, 100 slaves. Get the fuck out of here, man. Can, can I say something about up. that? Go ahead. Yeah, when, you look at, when you look at these black slave owners, it, again, y'all y'all gonna say this fake because if you oh you Google, you can literally see that a, a lot of those supposed black slave owners were considered mulattoes and inheritance. Fair, from white no, parents. You are there's, there's not like you black listen. owners. Like, I just look at the Louisiana. Let me say this. No, no, can I talk? Can I hold on? Because y'all mentioned Louisiana listen. earlier. If you look up Louisiana, no, all of those no, inheritance no, no, of. No. of Brother, uh, I can pull up right now. I hope the chat see they don't let me talk. Look, I can pull up right now. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember your name. But with OJ Dunn. I can show you OJ Dunn as a lieutenant governor in 1868. How? Why would white people allow black men to be the lieutenant governor of Louisiana, nigga? And, all, and everybody in the pictures is all Negroes. So at this point in time, you have to be a fool to believe what the fuck they're telling you. You have to be a fucking fool. 
hey, what the, the fuck person is you're talking to? Listen, the person you're talking to. Came up. I asked yesterday what he, an Aborigine was. He said what? a five dollar Indian. So, you know, don't get mm-hmm. too worked. I said the person yeah, he you're believe, he, to. He, I asked he, yesterday he what that. an Aborigine was. He we said a five dollar Indian. So, don't get too worked. Y'all yeah, not gonna let them talk. So. Terminology. We created them terminology. We created the terminology of a mulatto. They didn't create that. We did. We created that because the the mulatto terminology is basically separating the Aboriginal in that person from the Slavic. And you see this when you look at the Virginia records. They be like, "Oh, Robin, Robin is a brown skinned Negro with bushy hair." She said her descendants of Indian. No, no, she's a Negro with bushy hair. They. She said her her descendants is Indian. That's why when she went to court, she was free. So now the, the, the mulattoes, the reason you keep running across a lot of people who got mulatto on it, because they had a Slavic, they had a Slavic mother more than likely. Wasn't no white men fucking no black women. It was only black men messing with them Slavic women. Was no none of that white men was messing with these aborigines. That shit happened after the 1900s. But prior to that, it was Negroes sleeping with these European women, and therefore, them, them children through that Slavic mother would have they had different classifications for them. And we know this. You ever seen a brother, dark skinned brother, who had a baby by a white girl? And we could see the different complexion how the children come out. One children come out looking white, one children come out looking like light skinned, one children come out looking light brown, one children come out looking like a straight Negro that you don't even know that they got no white mother. This is the reason why they started calling and they started claiming to come up with these classifications. Let the other brother talk because I want to hear what he's got to say as well. I don't know what. He don't never have nothing. He he still he still stuck on yeah. not finding out who who his when family gonna let me talk, is. Though, and without cutting nah, go ahead, go ahead. I want to hear what you got to say about the mulatto part, man, because you're uh, you really, I mean, you you off, but I, I want to hear you out, bro. I'm not off. This is this is what they documented. If you look at the documentation. Uh, bro, the reason why I'm saying that you off is because I have my, my great-grandfather, my third great-grandfather's uh, record, right? Slave census schedule. But he claimed my grandmother and his daughter as slaves, you know, right? <coughs> because there's several reasons for that. He owned land for one, right? It was small, it was small but that's what him and his wife was working. So... They call him mulatto, but mulatto don't necessarily mean it's a black and a white thing, bro. It could have been a black European with an indigenous person. Mulatto just means mixing. Two different ethnicities mixing. You're looking at it from today's terminology and saying, oh, a black and a white You're person. You're talking to me? You're talking to everyone? No, I'm talking to the, the young brother here. I'm talking yeah. to him, but I'm just saying I'm explaining my situation why my records say mulatto, okay? But so, did, when you did your ancestry, did you find any white ancestry? Yeah, I got some, but that, that, that they, they, they don't show up on that record. They don't show up on that. But hold on, A one. But A one, I got, I, I got, I got uh people uh, on my on my shit that was labeled mulatto. But how are you mulatto if both your parents was black? So there was a time period where they labeled people mulatto. They had a shit ton of land. But they weren't labeled so, see, nobody. This is, this is, see, the this is, is my this, thing. Right? Like, Let me man. say this real quick. Let me say this real quick, right? The thing of it is like this, right? You got to look at it, right? Everybody who uh, who uh, I, I seen their genealogy, none of their people was ever slaves. And none of their people was ever in bondage or, or no white people have ever had dominion over them until after the Civil War. So it wasn't nobody classifying you as nothing. That's all bullshit. They wouldn't classify nobody as nothing until like after the eighteen, after the late eighteen hundreds, man. All of these, all these um censuses and things you see are all rewritten. The original census got employment on it. Don't have no color. Don't have no color. Free white people don't have none of that shit on it, bro. It only got your. It only got employment statuses. Oh, he was a a, 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 a woodsman. Or he was this, or he was uh, he works in the mill. Because what? it's all about the tax. It's about the tax. They don't pay tax. But but then this goes back to what I was saying earlier about the individual and who you are, who you say you are. Because if you go off these records, the enumerator was guessing and putting what he felt, what 
he visually saw and was educated right. in the cause. Now it's, it's self determination. Right. But that's so what now they whatever, say, bro, whatever listen, box look. you check. But no, look, look, whatever what? box you check today ain't the same as what your ancestors, even if they did have the choice check, but the enumerator put down. So how are you going to say what a record says, like black, Negro, colored? How you can't say these niggas is, is mixed because it says mulatto because some nigga would just look at himself and they, and they were sneaking to do that see when you look at walter Plecker record he did the people didn't know they was classifying them enumerating them as colored and negro they didn't even know well, that well then it goes right, back right. into commerce too because they couldn't they couldn't tax indians or african tax was a different price than you know the the white people or european tax you know so they they change classifications for the tax as well, or to be able to indenture and enslave people. So all these labels and tags outside of what the people are telling you they are is irrelevant and moot. That's part of the colonization and the system that you claim to be oppressed by. Exactly. And when you look at the records, right? You look at the records, you see people People live in some, you got, I've seen people's genealogy where their whole family lived in the same area for like two, three hundred years, yo. They ain't never go nowhere. They've been in that same, except people who migrated and came into the bigger city. Other than that, their ancestors still been in that same one fucking place. And I'm not saying that on a maternal and a paternal side, but I'm saying that it, 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 it fluctuates. Sometimes it's the paternal side, sometimes it's the maternal side. But, what we got to understand is this, right? And I'm just saying this. I'm, I'm emphatically saying this. Shit. They didn't bring no Africans. Who is they? they? They was Negroes or Catholics or Christians trying to conquer this land. They didn't bring nobody here and set up on our land like that. That's all bullshit. That's all the story that these people that created. So why do you find places. African culture? Sorry, go ahead. I say, why do you find some African culture in certain places? Like I said, well, African some culture. African. You suspected African culture? What you? What? It, no, it, no. it ain't. It ain't absolute. What you saying is not absolute. What you saying is, okay. is uh, uh, under absolute. suspicion and hearsay, or um, or you, you're um, how do you say that word? I can't think of it right now. But you're you're um speculating. What you're saying is speculation. How do you know that that culture ain't come from over there and go over there? How do you know it came from over here? What culture because do you black more, Americans more. have? What culture do black Americans have that's that's consistent with the culture you see Africans have? You tell me. But once, but once again, right? Once again, you generalize the American culture yourself because Negroes in Louisiana eat Oprah and Negroes in Jersey eat Oprah and barbecue no, chicken and yams and macaroni and shit. So it ain't no culture. We all we all do the same shit. But Bro, I, might hold do, on. I might dress a certain way in New Jersey and in, in, in Texas niggas still still wear the same shit. I might wear Jordan Lowe's in, 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 New, in New Jersey, niggas in Texas. Right, let me make my point. point. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Yeah, right. no, for example, bro, no for, example culture, for example, wearing the grills, you never, that used to come from Southern America, right? You see a lot of people in the South, in Memphis, and so on and so on, Louisiana, rocking the gold grills. Then it spread to other side, other, other, other places around like America, towards the East Coast or the West Coast or the Midwest. But Go originally, that was never. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to go man, Negro. Listen, my bro, bro everything you know, going, you see I'm us not doing going back in America is on that frequency on of what our ancestors did. So we ain't, I'm not, you know, when you I'm, see Slick Rick with the diamonds and shit in his, in his mouth, you got pictures of Aborigines wearing that shit thousands of years ago. I'm not disputing that. You, you're missing my point. We don't even know certain things today, let alone freaking thousands of years ago. So I'm trying to say today, right? Like, or in modern times, in 21st century, right? I'm just trying to say... Modern, the the Aboriginals did. Like he just said. Like he just said. The Aboriginal Thousands of years ago. We are doing that now over here. We are not over in Africa, bro. We are doing that over here. Are you don't listen no to Africans me. Wearing no when, you when, don't, don't see no Africans wearing flat tops. Way, you don't see no way, way, none of this shit listen, you see us doing. 
Yo, stop listen, listen, African listen, listen. culture. What is some hitting, some hitting African Bro, culture? Cool. I don't see nothing oh. that I do that's African. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, nothing. Absolutely just, calm, nothing. just calm down and slow down a minute. Let's walk. Now, we're right not gonna now, let you go in on, on a long winded. Hey, now, nah, hold, hold, hold on, y'all, hold on, y'all, hold on, y'all. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get a homie, uh, his, his respect and his time on the mic as well. We got an audience listening, and um, you know, we're gonna, we, we try to be fair. So, Nagus, get your shit out, fam. You know, you good, right? I appreciate that, bro. So, what I was trying to say, right, was. You can't not you can't generalize some cultures in North America because everyone can see it, right? You have different culture of black people throughout different coasts. This is why you have East Coast and West Coast and and nigg uh, niggas from New York are like this and niggas from LA are like this. Nah, like, that's a lie. Where you from? Where you from? Man, hold on a second, brother. Hold nah, on. I want to ask you, where are you from? Bro, hold on a second. Let me just make where my point. Know, before you move on, where your people Oh, from? my God. Bro, let me just make my point, Don't call right? Oh, God. Where the, where the you're trying, you're trying, you're trying. Try, 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 let him get it out, A1. I want to know where he's from. I want to know where he's from. It, like people that's been on the panel know I'm not gonna repeat myself again like where ten thousand times. I don't know. I haven't been on the panel with you. You can hear my you accent from? in North America, right? You can hear my accent, right? So that's you. No, I don't, I don't. I'm not speculating. Where are you from? Tell me. You want to know about I'm from the continent of Africa, Congo? What's that got to do with anything I'm talking about? Are right you from now? That's Congo? Okay, all right. So I'm gonna keep that as a mystery. No, go ahead. Continue. That's cool. I'm from Congo. Yeah. So like I was saying, right? So. Like you said, for example, I, I've spoken, I've got, I've, for example, I speak to a young lady, yeah, she lives in Hollywood, right? Uh, what you would call a black American, uh, 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 Aboriginal American, right? They don't know nothing about no gumbo out there. They don't eat gumbo out there in LA. Out where? Where you go? Gumbo out where? In LA, LA, in the West Coast. Oh, they don't eat gumbo. They don't eat gumbo. Hey, bro, bro you tripping. Eat... Hey, hold on, y'all. Let me say something. See, this was that's you got to take into consideration. Hold on, fam. I'm going to be brief, that's right? What she, Hold on, That's I'm what she brief, told I'm gonna be brief. Let me say this here. So one thing we have to understand is that the population in in um in in, in California migrated from the south here. So I give you an yes. example. When you look in some y'all will be familiar with, if you look into the gang culture, the gang leaders there, they come from where well, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi area. So they a lot of them are first and second generation there coming around that era of the '60s and the '70s. They first and second generation coming from, meaning their mothers and fathers uh, and grandparents are from right down here in the South, out of their culture. So, yes, sir, they still do eat the same culture up there. Right. Listen, like I said, right? one of them. Like, would be like, like chicken like, stew, man. Chicken stew is a form of gumbo. Listen, you know, you're not listening to what I'm trying to say, bro. I'm bro, saying. you long with it, my man. I don't want to see you. Bro, I'm not with you. You got that fucking accent out. and shit, man. That shit is bro, irritating, more cause, bro. More cause bro, cause land, land, your, land your plane, bro. Land your plane. We ain't going to say so. You can let me speak down. I would have landed a long time ago, bro. Speak. Fuck sake, listen, right? The lady that's out there, that's what she told me. Bear in mind, I'm talking about modern times. We all know a lot of the families that's in on, on the West Coast came from the South. Even people like Big U and stuff like that, his family came from the South. We, we know this. I'm not that ignorant not to know this. I'm and, saying the modern day, the people, hold on a second, bro. This lady has been out there in the West for a long time, right? And she said, people out there don't eat things like gumbo, bro. That's what right, she told me. So fucking we don't eat gumbo in California. So fucking white. What is listen, your point, you, man? This guy, bro, if you let me speak, you will understand Yo, you my speech. Speak. You got to let me no speak, bro. My point, he my still, point, my he point. still don't understand. He still don't understand even, even for uh, uh, Insha. Look, bro, our old folks, the old folks were gold. They wore gold in their mouth, bro. This, this is what we do over here. But do you see that culture in East? Nah, we not talking about that. Culture in East. Did you see that culture in East? The fuck? Did you see people go to gold go see from the East Coast? No, 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 no. I bet you this much. What you talking about, bro? Did you see black people go to gold see from the East Coast? No, you don't. That culture came from the south, bro. Gold, gold teeth came from the south, bro. Everyone knows so this. Okay, so, yeah, my point, okay, so my point is, my, 
So wake up. Hold on. My, my point is, you are wrong when you're trying to generalize, trying to say, that's American culture. And we all know this subculture. It is American culture. culture. What the fuck is you talking about? This guy, you know, you know, are you, are you no definitely not listening? So show me some Africans with gold teeth in their mouth. Bro, Top Cat to show you the king in Ghana with gold all up in his neck everywhere. His sandal is made of 24 karat gold. Bro. We're what you talking about his fucking mouth. No, 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 no. What are you talking no, about? You can go no, to no, Egypt. No. Listen see, to look, me. Look, see, listen, look, I'm just listen telling to you, me, bro. You can go to Egypt. Hey, 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 a1, you talking A1, about gold? The gold teeth thing oh came from the south, brother. The gold teeth and, 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 and the old man and all that other style shit, thing at first. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah, something they, that they was doing gold, for style. Look, 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 fam, fam. I, 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 I can concur with you. Look, look. I can concur with you. Come on, bro, man. Stop being biased, man. You know what I mean? The gold teeth thing came from the south. You know what I mean? East coast or the west coast or the north. Okay, so where? Oh, what's your point? What's your point? Point? Yeah, A1, let them let them get it off, man. For real. Just let them talk right quick, man. For real. Bro, this guy even made me forget my point. Alright, well, we, Listen, we, we can find at the, the, the building. At the man. end of the day, because my 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 in my initial comment was right. You do you do see listen to what I'm saying, right? You do see some African culture, yeah, in North America. You do see that? No. Name you wanna, one. You name it. Name it. Name it. Name it. Okay, let's go to name it. Okay. Name it. Okay. okay, okay. Do people practice voodoo? Voodoo is not from Africa, nigga. Voodoo. No, Nazi answer my question. Brother. Do people, oh do people God, practice man. voodoo? Do people practice voodoo? Right, so, okay, yeah, yeah. People practice voodoo. Now what? Right. People practice voodoo. Okay, what are the name of the deities that's practicing voodoo? Brother, I don't, I don't, I don't practice voodoo. I deal with the L. No, it's okay to say you don't know. That's cool. That don't listen. If you don't know, we don't know. If I don't, I'm gonna tell you like this. What I will say, he don't do that. What I will tell you, bro, we have different forms. We have different forms of what you call voodoo in the mainland America, bro. Okay, go to the last point. That that doesn't define that we African. Because my right, right. You got it. I never said I would see you. Bro, why you guys so defensive, man? So on the high. Hold on, hold on, man. Niggas, we have pockets within the Black American community with the Africans that came here. Some parts, very small parts of some African culture. That's what I'm talking about. Our dominant culture. That does not mean that the dominant people here. Bro, no, you have a one trying to say there's no African culture whatsoever. So you nah, two are nah, you two are the black people. No they came here. They, they, they participated. That's what he said. I don't agree somewhere. with that. I mean, that's so. We that, get that, real disagreeable with it. We know the dominant yeah. culture did not come from Africa. What we had. There's do. no African yeah. culture over here. These yeah. people speculating and trying to and they mm -hmm. trying to cross reference some some look. They trying to cross reference certain ceremonies. <laughs> Within some of these belief systems that say, "Oh, that's an African," but they can't tell you exactly how. They can only what say, you "Oh, can't tell you." There's books on it, bro. Do you read those books? There are hundreds of books that show you how these things are, are exactly the same thing, the same deities, the same freaking uh, uh what's it called? The, the the sacrificing of the or the chicken so or the whatever. The story? What, what, so let me ask you a question. Though. All right, so look, what's the story? Tell me the story of how the Nashes and the people in Louisiana adapted to um, voodoo. Tell me the story, please. Hold on a sec, right? I'm speaking about showing the small pockets that the brother before talked about where you do see African brother, culture. There ain't African. no Africans going to be on American land bro, living separate, nigga. We're going to dominate that's them. What, listen, you and a few people on this panel are disagreeing, and you're saying the same thing, you're disagreeing. I'm, not, I'm speaking for A1. I'm not speaking for nobody else. So bro, if anybody's not in contention with, let me, with let me, that let me, Okay, on. let's... let's Let's do this right. Let's do this. All right, cool. You talked We're about it. We're not doing nothing. Now. We're not doing nothing. What is your point, man? We're not doing nothing. Listen, you're not up here all right. Nothing. Oh, oh, so what is your point, slow, bro? Slow your road. Because you We're keep on saying all this bullshit. And you're not, you, you're not trying nothing. You get wasted. Hey, y'all. All right, time, my right, child. Hold on, y'all. We're going to do this here. We're going to go back to the center of the ring. We're going to get some new energy in. We got a money bank. A money bank. What's up with it, OG? Oh, greetings there, Top Cat. Thanks for allowing me there. Greetings to. 
A1, everyone else on the panel. Um, I'm very, very tired here, guys. I'm having a long time here. I'm stuck here in Chicago. I was in, I was in Atlanta there. I came here, I'm stuck in Chicago. I, I, it wouldn't let me on the plane back to Japan. Um, I took the wrong test. And so um, now I got things worked out, took the correct test, but I'm flying out to LA in about 30 minutes. And then I have to stay in LA till Sunday. Then I'll leave Sunday for, to go back home. But I, I had to get on real quick, and it, it's, 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 I just want to just tell this to the, um, the gentleman there from, from Africa, just so you can get a full understanding. I know it's very difficult to understand America, and you just can't listen to one person. You made a comment about people on the West Coast in California don't eat gumbo. I mean, that... that I mean, I just, you know, that you just hit me right in the gut with that one, buddy. Uh, well, well, let me, let me, let me give you a little history lesson, okay? About, about. Uh, we, we your, your, your microphone messed up. And the people that she knows out there on the West Coast, she lives in Hollywood, right? They don't eat gumbo. They don't know nothing about the gumbo. They eat whatever they have over there in, 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 on the West Coast. They you know what I'm trying to say? So, wrong, wrong information. So let, let me explain it to you, okay? If he, so, if what he told was wrong, then okay. He was okay, I'm, I'm listen, I'm, I'm from Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. I am from Los Angeles. Let him talk, man. Mute okay? your mic and let him talk, um, man. I, I'm, I'm from Los Angeles. And gumbo is part of my culture. Introduced, of course, from my grandmother, who's from Louisiana, who came to California in 1943. Okay? So, um, and everyone in Los Angeles, in my neighborhood, the, the, a, lot, a lot of the, most of the people in Los Angeles during that time in the 40s, and the reason they came to, to California in particular was because of the, the job opportunities with, um, the Henry Kaiser steel mill because they were, you know, building the ships for the during the war, and uh, they came out to work on on uh, those steel mills there with the Henry Kaiser. And the 40s, the majority of them were actually from Louisiana. So there's a huge, you know, everyone in my neighborhood, people I know, famous people, O'Shea Jackson, who you guys call Ice Cube. You know, grew up not too far from my grandma. I know knew his father. His father's from Louisiana. They ate gumbo. Dr. Dre's people from Louisiana, they eat gumbo. So, you know, um, um, gumbo was, was a staple food from those whose grandparents moved from Louisiana to California, and that's huge there. Now, I currently live in Japan. I pass that on to my children, gumbo, and I make it every, um, on New Year's Day. And so we don't use it on, on Thanksgiving or this is New Year's. That's when we make gumbo on New Year's. So, and I keep that tradition up. So, and, and most of the people in my age group whose grandparents came to Los Angeles in, 19, in the 40s, they all have that same tradition. So, gumbo is eaten by a lot of us who, who, whose grandparents moved there in the 1940s. And, and so now, the, the notion of Africans coming over See, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. And my advice to anyone who, who's, who, who, to any African who had ancestors taken away from their villages 150, 180 years ago and brought to Louis, um, anywhere in North America, claim it, prove it. Don't talk about it. Go find your family members. You should have cousins, you should have uncles, and, 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 and just imagine if your uncle was a landlord. Maybe he had land, hundreds of acres. Then that means you as an African, you are an heir of that. So you, instead of, you know, putting your energy in these, in these, in these um, green card lotteries, all you have to do is find your family member to get instant American citizenship. So that's my advice. Don't talk about, oh, Africans were brought here. Prove it. Just go find your family member. That's, my, and that's, that's the advice I, I can give because that would be a wonderful thing. You'll find your cousins and your family members 
and then you know you can you don't have to worry about participating in green card lottery systems because your family members will sponsor you'll get instant american citizenship go find your family members that's what i wanted to say there now what you know is what you can prove prove it go find your family members so can I, let me ask you a question peace brother money bay let me ask you a question yes go go right ahead uh, so what do you say to the to the people who come under the belief or the notion that there is no records that they can't find their ancestors that are documented or came here um quote unquote as a slave are they uh, can they find those records are those records available well, it's, well, now, now, let me let me give you another issue here. The eighteen seventy Naturalization Act, right? You know about that. What does it say? Before eighteen seventy, Africans could not be citizens in America. Okay, so, so, you got a problem right there. Africans could not be citizens in America. At, uh -huh. So the 1870 Naturalization Act, that allowed persons of African descent and African nativity to become citizens in America. Before that, they couldn't be citizens. So if anyone says that Africans were there pre-1870 and were citizens, then you're, then, then you're going to totally all against the law, and then you're talking something that's more and more fiction. It has no legal basis with it. So, um, but if they came there in, let's say, 1880, you know, 1885, 18, 1890, after 1870, then of course there's ample evidence that they can easily find their, their family members. You know, so um, this, the, the records are there. Right. So, so they, that, yeah. Would, would that lend itself to the notion that if you're seeing your family on records, documented, on IE census schedules, slave uh, marriage certificates, but I, I'm going to stick to the census though. Would that be indicative of saying that your people have been here? Well, of course, yes. Yeah, they, okay. yeah, and they can okay. easily find that. The records are documented, yeah. Okay. So, so did y'all hear a slave? Africans could not be listed as citizens. So when you're looking at the records and you're seeing your family's name on records, proud of that. They're, so they couldn't be. That's what was, they couldn't be. Said slaves didn't get enumerated on records. Africans didn't get enumerated on records. Didn't matter if they took a Christian name. They didn't get enumerated. You have, you have to be a free man to be on that, man. And that's what I was talking about earlier with even the, the tags and the tax, you know, uh, liabilities on supposed slaves, you no know, different nationalities. Or, you know, the tags had different taxes. Or certain people, you know, anybody outside of an Indian can own an Indian, you know? Like, and Indians are the same thing as Africans up until, you know, we signed these contracts and follow these leader guys that put us in their jurisdiction. So, yeah, all these argu argument points are, are moving. I don't understand what it's for at the end of the day, like what their agenda is, what the end game is, you know, to make this and, and the young I can't remember his name. Like, find your story, tell your story, you know, then we could build and see if our stories align or, or match up or link up somewhere. But outside of that, like, stop telling us what is and what isn't. And if you are, then Hey, hey, Shug, let me ask you a question real quick. You hear me? Yeah. Shrug. Yeah, yep. yeah. Okay. All right, so with that being said right there, right, do you believe that most of us are aborigines of this land? What yeah, I believe, I believe the majority of us are already here. I mean, just from their writings, their documents, you know? Okay. That's what I believe for my, my you know, yeah. And I also, before... Because of slave, of the slave narrative, which, like I told you, a lot of these cases, even we dealing with a lot of these cases, right? A lot of the slave masters was Negroes. And they was having these interracial relations with these Slavics, man. When they tell you about Thomas Jefferson, oh, Thomas Jefferson had all these Malacca. No, Thomas Jefferson was a Negro, nigga. 
Him and Andrew Jackson and all of the fucking presidents all the way up until um all the way up until um Andrew Andrew Johnson. Not Andrew Jackson. Andrew Johnson came after Lincoln. He was the first white president ever. He was the first Rothschild president ever. I have a question for the, the African brother there. Uh question so I, you know always you know um, I don't get a, the opportunity to talk to uh, brothers from Africa a lot and I, you know I appreciate this opportunity is it okay if I ask you a you're breaking up bro he probably went out for a minute um, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I can. I, well, I can right. hear you. Right. Okay. You so your contention is to prove. Your contention is to prove the Africans came over here on a slave ship, right? Yeah, you see, that's what it's like. You're so disingenuous about it. Like you keep saying, like you're just here to learn and build, but you keep trying to put us on a motherfucking slave ship. That's you why you gotta, gotta take all of our when they come all of our culture. Everything that, that gets brought up, you say is African. Sure. Well, Can I ask you something? Like, just, just like when you were talking you, about you, your you family, family right now, bro. <laughs> one of us over here, you tried sure. to take Can that. I ask you something? And I said, I'm speaking right now. Let let him, let him finish, you know, the way I was raised and Indians was raised, when grown folks is talking, you shut the fuck up. But I hear you, anyway, King. Like when you said <laughs> you had waves and looked just like us and tried to take that, and I asked you your age, and you said you was 30-something. I'm older than you. And I said... You know, how come you didn't get it from me? If I'm older than you and I've been dipping, I had tsunamis when I was popped out the pussy, you know? So how come it's African? How come you didn't get it from me? You know, like, how do you put it? You ain't never seen no African with no waves. Never. Until they bro, come I go over here. The waves, bro. You, ain't you, seen, you ain't never seen African take care of their hair until they seen us wear it over here, nigga. What? Are you like brother, seriously? That now you, brother, you we, sound we, like we, we, we know African. African you are sounding like a cousin. Like Respectfully, you are sounding like a white man right now. Fish. Fish. You got the little fish. What are you talking about? They're they're just, talking they nonsense. The brother gets the brother missing tsunami. You niggas don't you have tsunami. You niggas don't have no pressure. Have you traveled to Africa? Have you traveled to Africa? Now, now y'all got exactly. that. Exactly, so how can you generalize the, how can you generalize the, how can you generalize the second hey, biggest hey, continent hey, on the hey, world, bro? Hey, Over hey, 2 billion hey, people, bro. What are you talking man, about, man? Look, look, my dude, look, I, look, I ship cars, look, I'm a car hauler. I'm a car hauler. I see how bro, I can see people with cars with pampers. One at a time, one at a time. One at a time, one at a time. Yo, one time, one time. We know what y'all got. We know what y'all got. We know oh, y'all got breath, but y'all ain't testing, no Can you guys hear me? We can go back and look in the 1950s how people in West Africa was looking, and we can show you how we was looking over here. Bro, what we can easily do that. Bro, we can easily do that. Yeah? That's not hard to Listen do. to me. You sounding so ignorant. You, you sound so ignorant is scary, bro. It's scary. It's scary because the same, the same, uh, the same thing you're talking about, you can say about people in the Caribbean. You have to remember now, North black people in North America, right? You have a unique experience. You are the only black people that's been around white people the longest. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so a lot of the stuff. Is, a lot, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So hold on a second, bro. Hold on a second, bro. Or how to do none of this shit. Or hygiene. Or how to wash up with none of this shit, bro. You mistaken. Bro, can I speak? Bro, can you not come up here with this whole thing? Let's just hold the mic up, my dude. A1, his whole concept. Is a white yeah. man, a white man that's why gave him a that's why you know exactly you just come up here and just talk, man. That's why I'm you the one the talk. Nah, you let me ask him a let me let me ask him a question. Can I, can I say one thing? Can I say one thing? Let me ask him a question. Talking about about Africans don't have nice hair. You sound like a racist. Hey, let money talk. What are you talking about, man? I ain't man, I'm not let me ask him one question here. Go ahead, go ahead, Money. My bad. Yeah. 
We're talking as if black people are inventing all this, like moving to the field. You see, we don't, it's not ours. We don't control none of that. None of the cloth. We don't control none of the Negus, Negus, We don't listen to you. We don't control nothing. We don't control nothing. Negus, you don't control nothing. Negus, you don't control nothing. Negus, we gotta mute up. You sound Negus, muffled. No one can hear you. Come on, you sound muffled. You sound muffled. Okay, Amani, uh, uh, Amani Bay, what'd you have to ask him? Yeah, I'm gonna ask the brother from, from from the Congo a question, real quick. Um, yeah, in the UK. Can um, can you hear me? I can hear you, bro. Yeah, I want to ask you um about your own, you, you know, the, your 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 genealogy, because I was always curious. To know, I mean, so for example, like on your paternal line, um, you know, like your grandfather, your great grandfather, your great great grandfather. Do you are you do you know um, your paternal line, your genealogy? Yes, I was raised with my father. Okay, so on your paternal line, uh, did you discover like any any of your paternal ancestors um, either being forced forced away? From their village, or they volunteered to leave their village, you know, any anyone on your paternal line? Well, based on what my father told me, um, you can kind of say that way. You would be close from basically where you find my tribe of people right now. We would be from there. We got close to them. Bro, we still can't hear you. Bro, fix your mic, man. Vegas, come on and come back. I think maybe if Amani mutes up while he's talking, because I think the air people need to mute up, man. Yeah, that's that's better. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't me before, but um, like I was saying, right, answering to the brother, right, um. Yes, I can. I can agree with that. Uh, when it comes to based on what my father was told me, um, my tribe of people or the subgroup that I come from were what you were called. So just Northern to be clear, Indian. you're saying word of mouth from your father, correct? No, not word of mouth. Oral you tradition. Your father told oh, tradition, oh, tradition, nigga. Tradition is a fucking word of mouth. For fuck's sake, bro. I'm using oral tra like you use oral tradition. Yeah, I'm saying oral tradition. Talk, man, because then you 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 bro. I'm saying oral tradition. No, word, word of mouth, word of mouth. Nothing. You're trying to you're trying to let, minimize. Let, my, right. let the brother speak. Let the African bro, brother speak. Please. My, my shit, bro. I'm saying I'm saying oral traditions. Like you yeah, would say for yourself and your time, because, right, bro. Come on, man. Come on, bro. We gotta let people get they they drop off, bro. Like the show been going good all day, bro. We ain't been doing do, dealing with none of that type of wild man shit, bro. That ain't well, none of that been going down. So he long with it, so I was trying to just, keep it. Yeah, I don't want that to be known because if a nigga got in, you know, so we want to give everybody some speak, man. Like, you bugging, top guy. You bugging. The like, third time I said, bro, come on, let's keep it clean, bro. Gotta be an enemy because they don't bang when we bang, bro. So we building, so let's hit each other out, man, and deal with the scholarship. Blow open. I think I'm so. So, so you know. Me. So I just wanted to know that if he knows all the names of his paternal ancestors and how far he can go back with those particular names, knowing who they who, who they were. That's all. Yeah. Right. Um, it's going to be difficult once again, but because let me tell you, for example, my tribal people, right? Uh, when it comes to your last name, for example, my father, right? He's got a different last name to his own brothers and sisters. So basically you get the last, you can get, a, you can get name or the last, last name of a, let's say of an ancestor that's passed away in the past. You know what I'm trying to say? So my last name is different to uh, 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 my my some of my first cousins. They've got totally different. But they got the same mother, same father, but they got different last names. But as far as I know, from based on what my father has told me and what's, what's what is is known, obviously what he, he got told in oral uh, oral tradition and stuff, we come from the Sundi house. You know that was a kingship house under the Kingdom of Congo. So that's where we came from. That was around uh, northern Angola. So when the Portuguese came in, we're fighting with the Portuguese. We then run towards closer towards the Congo River. 
what you would call Congo Brazzaville today. So you have to know geography. So we came from our our tribal people came from northern Angola because there was no Angola before. It was all the kingdom of Congo and different kingdoms that was part of it, right? So when the Portuguese come, that's what my father's telling me, what his grandfather's told him. We then fight in and then we then run because we don't want to be slaves, right? So we then, we kind of migrate towards the north where we find ourselves today, you know? But we originally come from the Sundi house. So it's, it's going to be hard to explain, but because it's a different culture. So, you know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's, it's different. Even the way we name ourselves, our last names and stuff is totally different to how people around the world, especially in the West, name themselves. You know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. Oh, okay, that, that was that was very um, uh, enlightened. I didn't know that. So now, what about your maternal line? Um, mm -hmm. Do you can you go back on your maternal line? You know, your mother, her mother, your grandmother's mother, all the way down that way. Once again, that's going to be difficult. You know what I mean? But uh, the only thing that I know that both my parents are from the same tribe. So. I'm, I'm the result. There's no tribe mixing. So both of my parents are Bakongo, are Mukongo. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's what I know. So as far as I can go back, we were always like basically Bakongo people. I don't see no, I don't see no mixture with any other tribe in Africa in my, in my whole family type of thing. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, that's just yeah, very interesting and very different culture there. You know, but you know that's to be expected. You have so for 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 us here, the the the, the name is very is key, and that's yeah. why you know, and keeping the accurate records because that your name is connected to title, inheritance, and estate. So, um, and and you know, so that's that's very important here for us, and that's what we're all about here now because with this recent source, we we've been kept away from that. Um, to so others can control our inheritance and our estates, but you know we're people on this panel here. We're the ones, um, you know, making a change and going after that. But it's a good thing that we could trace our paternal and maternal um, lines via names. You see, so that's one of the differences in the culture. But yeah, thanks for letting me know that. I didn't know that. No, respect, brother, man. I'm I'm all for it. Like I've said, I've I've never come on here trying to. The, uh, tell people not to do genealogy or whatever bullshit. Like I'm over it. Trace your genealogy. But what is your board. point, though, bro? What is your point? What is your point coming up here? Listen, like, okay, you from the Congo, we Americans. What is your point? My point was right. Once again, right that me being from Congo, I can see my culture in certain places throughout the Americas. If you go to Brazil, most of them they came from the Kingdom of Congo. Most black people from Brazil. That is a fact, right? If you go in some places no, in the Caribbean, that's not a fact. That's not a fact. That's not a fact. Is, I don't is, believe no, that. To you, it's not, hold on, bro. To that's you, not a fact. It's not a fact. once again, it's, you're, you're you dealing talk. with belief. Hey, hey, no, look, I don't see, deal with see, the problem. You're, you're, is you're like this, a Christian, bro. You're like the man you're dealing with talking and he's being very disrespectful. You're a guest over here. So am I. So let's if we're gonna talk, let's talk. Let's stop talking over each other. But I was building and you stopped me. That's nah, what you're always... you, don't, you don't just go on ramp, rambles and can't nobody intervene while you talking. See, that's hey, what bro, you got to let them in, though. Let them in. 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 Yeah, hold on. Here, 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 here it is. Hey, brother, you from the Congo? We from the America? I think the I think the most important thing you have said throughout being uh, being uh, on here for hours is that you your situation and not being able to track names. That that there's a there's a difference between what is going on over in Africa compared to over here. But Junior, so this though. Every African that I can remember that I done been with and battled with on Clubhouse with with Top and, and Solo, when, and DNA come up with us when we say we Indian, and you ask them if they took a DNA test, they say we don't do that. We know who, who our family is by our name, who the tribe is. But this nigga don't know past his mom and dad, but is going to tell A1 he sound ignorant. 
Bro, 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 we do <laughs> take DNA <laughs> tests. That's what I'm saying. Bro, we do take DNA tests, bro. Hey, look, let me get a Brother, we do take DNA tests, bro. In my time of doing this, right? It's just sometimes you get that's MC. That's bad, those runs. <laughs> this nigga is an MC. Like, sometimes, in my time of doing this, you could pick out the MCs, the niggas who just come up there and just had this, this rhetoric, shit that we didn't debate it or we didn't contest it years ago. So before he get into his bag or that whole long winded shit, like nah, B, we not Africans. If you're African, great. We're not Africans. We ain't got no African culture. We are American gods. Are you willing if to take it, a DNA test, brother? Oh, speak for yourself, bro. Yeah, yes. like, A one, will I, you take I, a DNA I, test? I would ne- listen. I would ever, ever. If only a- way I would take a, I would take a paternity test if it was for a child. I'm not taking if, no historical. Let me ask you this. A1, I'm not taking A1, no historical A1, geology, if the paternity I mean, test. Let me ask you this. A1, A1, if the paternity test say that your child is not yours, will you say that that DNA test is capped? It obviously, it, it most of the time does because it says it's 99.9. So it's not even exactly. So I'm asking, brother, your own child. If it say so the child is not asking. yours. I'm asking, brother. Respectfully, I'm not trying to argue. If a DNA test say a child is not yours, will uh, you say that that test nah, is nah, capped? I, look, look, look. I plead the fifth, man. I ain't got time to be yes, going check back mate, brother. You. Yes, checkmate, brother. Yes, checkmate. It ain't no check. Because you just admit. <laughs> we just admitted these it, brother. conversations in the You just admitted it, brother. brother. You just right, admitted okay. it. Okay, all right. This you just admitted that you respect a DNA test that says that your child is yours, but you won't take a DNA test of ancestors. Africa. That's checkmate, brother. Welcome to a, a, a black We're mixed with both. Channel. We're mixed with both, brother. We're African and we have African Aboriginal diaspora. American ancestors. He's advocating no, for Africans no, around the world. No DNA, DNA test prove it, family. <laughs> he DNA advocates for Africans it, around the world. Why are you all afraid of DNA? DNA test. Why do you don't need even need DNA test? Why are you afraid of DNA test? Just look at migration. Why are you afraid of this? You and this time they test. You can look at the all right. Oh, okay. So this is your here. land. Let me ask you this: This is your land. Why are you not fighting to keep the foreigners out, bro? You are from, bro. You in Mexico? You sound bro. like you. Why you not, brother? You this ran is your away. Land. I'm asking, brother. You ran away. Brother, the U.S. is your land. It Why you not trying to keep the foreigners out? It I'm is man. my land, but you don't see me so in Why you not Canada? kicking the foreigners out? I'm right where I'm Why you not kicking been. the foreigners out? In South. Why you not kicking the foreigners out? Same reason. Man, why y'all addressing that's that? That's checkmate right there, family. <laughs> oh, that's that's checkmate. That this your land, you're not going to fight for it? This your land, and y'all not going to fight for it? Well, what we look like? The U.S. is your land, and y'all not going to fight for it? I'm asking, family. I'm asking. The U.S. is your land, y'all not going to fight for it? I'm asking, family. I'm asking. The U.S. is your land, y'all not going to fight for it? We all home right now, but you in Mexico, bro. And y'all getting flooded by immigrants. Y'all getting flooded by immigrants. Y'all outnumbered by immigrants. In your own land, I'm asking you, y'all not gonna fight for your own land. So what's your point? Yeah, I'll never buy immigrants in your own country. What you gonna do about it? Well, I just told you I got land. I, I told you two days in a row I got land. Immigrants got more land. Them, so. Immigrants got more land in your land. That's what. Immigrants got more land in your land. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Immigrants hey, got hold on. more land in your own yeah, country. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, that was very yeah, key brother. in your statement because that's, that's what people lie. like you preach. You always try to preach. That there is no hope, and you can't do anything. No, and I'm you're not you trying to do. do. No, you no, this is what you can do, brother. I'm gonna tell you what you can do. No, no, there, no, there is hope. There shit, is bro. hope. No. Let me tell you what you can do. No, fuck that let me tell you, got land, bro, bro. You're dumb. You, there is hope. Let, no, you're dumb. There is hope. Listen to me. You idiot. There is hope. Listen to me. There is hope. This is what you can do. Listen, listen. You're dumb. I'm trying to tell you there is hope. There is hope. The land that I'm on, you step up. There is hope. Bro, this is what you can do. Time. This is what you can do, brother. Report the illegal no, aliens I, you in, can't in your community to ICE. What's Re- the number? Report the what's illegal the, aliens in your community to ICE. The, what's, the num- what's the number so we can do that for you? All right. Well, I'm glad you asked me that. Hold on, because I got to go through my phone right quick, bro. <laughs> yeah, no shit, because you just sitting here telling me. He's trying to get chips. Hey, oh, oh, he got to look it up. He got oh, a, he got hold, a, hold, hold on, can I go through my brother? Can I go through my call log? I, I got to get this man <laughs> Hold on, I, I got the number for you. Yeah, yeah, give me that. One eight hundred chip. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell y'all the numbers, brother. No, for real. Hold on, all right, hold on, brother. 
Damn, now here go. I'm killing the vibe, bro. I'm trying to give y'all the number for ice. Can right, I give y'all the number for ice? Go for it. Go for it. All right, this is the um the Baltimore Field Office. I knew this, this nigga was from. I, is, I, I told y'all he was from here. Go on. Yes, brother. Please. Please. The immigrants yeah. range. You out of Baltimore? That's what it is. Damn, my phone <laughs> acting up. Man. <laughs> Hold on, I got it for you. I got it for y'all, fam. Ain't acting up all day. Now. Hold on, let me. Oh, I'm gonna mute it. Hold on. I ain't going to. Oh, all right. Here you go. All right. Much love to y'all. All right. Here go the DC office. Okay. It's seven oh. This this is for Ice family. Yeah. And I, I need y'all to write this down. This is uh seven o three. Seven o three. Nine. Yes, sir. Nine six two. Nine six two. Yeah, twenty eight hundred. Twenty eight. Yes, that's the that's the Northern Virginia office. And you said your uh, baby's mama's name was what? And, and you're not even funny. <laughs> my, my baby mama don't live in the States. <laughs> None of my baby mamas even live in the States. <laughs> Let me just start with that. My baby mama don't start. None of my baby mamas live in the States. <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. You got to have a passport to see my baby mamas. <laughs> All right. Now, enough of the funny stuff, man. But family. Man, you go to Atlanta. A lot, where a lot of folks down here in Georgia got a lot of land, bro. We, we don't talk Atlanta about it. Nobody don't, don't know about it. No, no. This is the Atlanta office. This is the Atlanta office for ice. Man, y'all, y'all say I'm out of the city, man. Hey, hold on. I'm trying to get you out of the Atlanta office for ice. Listen, listen. I hope somebody try to call me and shit. Yeah, call I these hope numbers. somebody yeah, I ain't call that I ain't shit. And, call then, these numbers. and then they listen, listen, listen. I hope they call that number and send them Mexicans Please. where you at. Bro. Get the illegal <laughs> aliens out of y'all country. Cause look, let me tell you, I'm in Mexico right now. The Mexicans they don't even agree with illegal immigration. They don't agree with it at all. Really, they against it because it's illegal aliens in Mexico that they are deporting. Really, each hey, country has a right to help. protect their nigga. So you think we supposed hey, to go around hey, taking everybody's car? Everybody <laughs> car? Oh, oh, you ain't gonna have no more Aboriginal American communities left, you dumb nigga. Man, Boy, you talking about, about illegal yeah. immigration in Mexico? It, and you in Mexico? Well, well, they gonna get your ass. ass. I gave y'all the keys to success just now. I just gave y'all the keys to success. So whether oh, you use it, that's on your choice. Your that's ass. your prerogative. <laughs> but my question is, family. Really, I gave y'all the tools to success. My question is. Appreciate what that. will you all do about the fact that the number of American Negro congressional districts is decreasing while the number of majority Asian and majority Hispanic congressional districts are rapidly increasing? What will you all do, family? Well, if you're leading by example, uh, impregnate them. Um, exactly, family. Yeah. And calling ICE as well. I'm also calling ICE to report daily. Well, yeah, local. we already get out number one. Yeah, keep, uh, yeah, yeah, keep that up. Are, well, are you willing? Let me ask you. Are you willing to join me in that particular initiative? Hey, I'm like, daddy, I die for this shit. All right, I mean, those are vague words. What are you actively Top doing, brother? How are you living? Today. Brother, I'm asking about your life now. How are you I living? We doing I this day, man. Day, man. Day, man. <laughs> I'm asking with all due <laughs> respect, family, in your life. Not about death, because any, any of us can say, I die for this shit. How are you living? I just told you, I have land, and I don't have immigrants on it. So it what is, is that doing to stop... Let me respond, brother. It's doing How is that stopping? I'm trying to respond to you, brother. How does that stop the illegal aliens that are currently it's buying more real estate in the community? It's better for him to have land and not. No, I respect that part. But where's the offense? No, no, is, no, no you offense? don't respect. That's defense. No, you don't. The offense? Respect it. You no, that's don't respect it. Where's the offense? No, that's defense. No, you where's the don't offense? respect it. My brother, I love you for that. No, I, I don't no, control I love you for the, the uh, fam. I love you for that. I'm asking. No, brother, you're describing defense. I'm asking, where's your offense now? I got a question for you. What you eating tonight, man? Come on, man. Like you're not even funny. You're not. Kevin <laughs> Come on, Hardy. man. I, I, you're I, not I Steve Harvey. <laughs> you're on, not Bernie you Mac. Tonight, <laughs> like, come on, my nigga. Come on. You're not some boy. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> man. I'm I'm dead, ass, bro. What you all eating right, tonight? Back to the point, family. I'm asking. You are American yeah. Aboriginals. I agree with that. I'm asking. What are you doing to preserve your ancestral land rights as Aboriginal Americans? Your baby mama got any sisters? 
I mean, that's what I'm saying. You, it's nothing you could do to offend me, brother. You know what I mean? Like, I, got, you. Let me say this. I literally got you. three baby mothers. They all love me. I love them all. Damn. Back. They don't give me a headache. So one of them got a sister. I know one of them got a sister. Why can't you? Uh, you yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. anything you can do to stress me out. Back to the focal point. Let Why me can't say you this. Help me my, to get my, like let you. me say this. My baby mothers don't like bitch ass niggas like you. They won't stand up to protect your community. Let me just say this. My baby mothers chose me because I stood up. I went to war against the police and I won. Let me just say this, brother. My baby mothers chose me because I stood up. I went to war against the police and won. I beat them in the streets and I beat them in court. That's why my baby mother bro, chose me. You, You're not going to do that. You a bitch ass. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Let's get back to the focus. You sound like a you sound like an idiot. You sound like an idiot, bro. You sound like a whole dummy. I'm asking family. What are y'all? This is y'all land. I agree with you. You're you're Aboriginal Americans. Okay, so stop disrespecting people. Look. So stop so disrespecting people that have You're man. disrespecting yourself. You're calling them your jazz niggas yourself. and shit. And you you're all the way over in Mexico. Never respond to your family. You're disrespecting yourself by refusing to stand up for your own community, brother. You're being flooded by illegal aliens. And your taxes are going. Bro, you, 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 you just disrespected somebody that recognized who they are. They know the truth. Who, who and they have land and they protected their land. Who so, I so, who I disrespect? So, no. You know, who, I dis who, I, you, who did I disrespect? I'm bro, you just funny. said niggas up here that have land are some bitch ass niggas, bro. But we sit yeah, here yeah. over we we you not our land, we protecting it, brother. Are you not what do you not understand? Hold on, brother. Are you not no. listening? He asked about my baby mother. Do you, do, you, do you? Do you? I said. Did bro, you miss that part? You talking about I said that. Hold on, brother. Did you miss that part? Y'all can y'all can hold on. You ain't nobody. Y'all can take shots, but y'all can't receive shots. Y'all can take shots, but y'all can't man, receive shots. You ask about her sister, bro. Oh, you you, you eating collard greens, no more. I'm asking, family, I'm asking, this is y'all land. Family, I love y'all. I love y'all. Y'all Aboriginal American. This y'all land. What are y'all doing to protect it? So give us the You're being invaded. Lay down. Man, the you're being invaded by legal enemies. I'm asking, you're family. You're the show. Give us a boot. Family, I'm got, asking. I love y'all. Let me say this. Do you know I got love for you? I'm not trying to combat with you. I'm asking. This is your land. What are you doing to stop I'm the influence of the what the blueprint is because you seem to have all the um yes the uh, yes. So can you lay it out for us? We got the number one eight hundred call ice. Now number two, what should we do? And you're you're. Uh, I'm glad you said that. Occasionally okay. you have to, and I mean this. And I'm also everything I'm saying. I've done it myself. You can literally go to my page and see it. Literally, also us as Aboriginal. Your baby, Americans. hold on. Your, your baby mama's hold around on, I'm you. I'm trying to respond to your bitch ass, nigga. God damn, shut your motherfucking mouth. Can she I respond to you, nigga? Oh, God damn. I'm seeing you in right, here on the plane. Let me put one of your baby mama's going to end up killing your ass, bro. I'm I'm just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what was number two? You said, uh, we got the number. What, yeah, what, was, what was your number page? Two. You said we could go to your page. This, and and look, this is why I had to move away from you goddamn niggas. Really, I had to segregate myself. Because I'm asking you. What is number two? What is number two? What is number two? What is, what is, what is up, number man. two? This is number two. Listen, number two. Literally man, call number two. and send it. You're a bitch ass nigga, man. Really, put yourself on mute, hoe. Really? Bro, what, hey, what is, what is, what is, yeah, hey, hey, Baltimore, yeah, what is, 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 number two? I'm trying to respond to you, family. Call no, you sound like the police, man. Oh, my God, man. Yeah. You do, you I'm really do. No, I sound like, like a nigga that's trying to preserve his community. I sound like a nigga that's trying to preserve his community. We being fooled. What is number two? I sound like a nigga that's trying to preserve my community, you fucking fool. Come on, bro. You heard me. All right, all right. I'm a mute I'm a mute What is number two? I'm a mute Yes, god damn. Number two, literally call your Congress congressional representatives and senators and um, demand that they join the initiative to report illegal aliens to ICE. Now, I'll be honest with you. If they are Democrats, they will be oppositional to you. But if you call them on a daily basis and you let them know that you will not vote for them when it's time for re-election, they will concede to some of your demands, especially if you have more people calling in. And the only reason I'm advising you all to do this is because I do this for a living. I'm literally a lobbyist professionally it and takes that, so that, that, time that, to do this that, though is that the most efficient way to uh implement this is to call is that that's the only way because i, I mean, don't know hold on you said that was step two so you know it's not the only way no i mean that was step two so you know it's not the only way you let me finish that specific part yes. of it yes 
No, I'm listening. Go ahead, bro. Is calling every day the best way to go about doing that? Because they'll know yeah, an individual is one person. You know, that's my point. So you might you might not have heard me, brother. I said, especially if you can encourage your peer group to oh, yeah, also call daily. Yeah. Yes, yes. It, it literally, who, it takes. Hey, who got time hand. to be called? Who got time to be doing that shit every day? People got jobs and high ass rent. You can't call on your lunch break. Kids you can't call on your lunch break. I do it. You can't call on your lunch break, nigga. So on your lunch break, nigga, you call in the conference. Oh, living a little different. Brother, you, brother, brother, you can literally go to my pick. Yes. Hold on, let's take A1's suggestion. Hold on, let's take A1's suggestion. Hold on, let's take A1's suggestion. suggestion. Because he's a dumb nigga. And his lane's getting took. So let's listen to this nigga. How can we get the illegal aliens out of I'm asking. A1, you dumb nigga. A1, you dumb nigga, I'm asking. Hey, you dumb you nigga. A1, you, you stupid porch monkey nigga. You got it, bro. A1, you porch monkey nigga, I'm asking. A1, you a porch monkey nigga. A1, you a porch monkey nigga. I'm asking. A1, you porch monkey coon ass nigga. I'm asking. What tactics do we use to remove the colonists from our lands? I'm asking. A1, you a top coon. I'm asking. What tactics should we use to remove the colonists from our communities? What the hell is you talking about colonists, man? <laughs> so you think it's been silent? That's why I had to move to Mexico. <laughs> shit, yeah, dumb dumb nigga. Nigga. I, I couldn't stay around you, dumb ass. I couldn't stay around you, dumb ass niggas, man. I had to get the fuck away from you. I had to get away from you, dumb ass niggas, man. I had to get away, man. You niggas is Hey, Chief. Hey, they say you gotta kick this fool off, man. Y'all niggas is fucking fools, man. He got the gun. Fucking fools. It was. Hey, you niggas is idiots. Hey, you, hey, you out there playing with the <laughs> Mexico, huh? You down there for the Mexican men, huh? He talking to one of the other panelists. He talking one of he talking to one of the the other Aboriginal Americans that's getting penetrated by illegal aliens. That's what he talking hey, to. Where the, where the Y'all getting penetrated by illegal aliens? Y'all must love them. Y'all getting. Hey, 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 what the hell is this dude talking about on this joint, son? What the hell is this dude talking about on this joint? Exactly. You talking about going out here trying to do some mixes or something? You, Dr. Snitch. Big old snitch. We gonna go snitch. We gonna go snitch. You freak booty ass nigga, man. You come up here with these shenanigans. Hey, look, this nigga, a usual, he always come up here, do his little rat, talk about call the police on immigrants and all right. this other shit on their lunch break. Nigga, nigga niggas eating a, a Caesar <laughs> salad, nigga. <laughs> Over there at work. Nigga, talk about a, call, like, come on, man. With a snapper with a straw in it, nigga. So, you hey, let me see your face. Uh, and let then, me see and then he got the nerve to say all of his baby mama's not in this country. What the hell? <laughs> so you man, telling me you, you want to be a passport as you got like a little passport for it? That nigga like putting That's what you got to know. I'm blowing bubbles, man. Fuck he like to travel and just make babies and then leave. Bro. That nigga like lip gloss bubble gum and blowing bubbles. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Man, I'm a, saying, a look, rolling stone, huh? You the rolling cool. stone. I, just, I heard the nigga voice. That's why I was like, hold up. Who, who this? Uh, oh, a fucking cool, a real clown. He's sitting there, yeah, he's sitting there talking about cool ice. I'm sitting there like, man, this nigga might get smoked while he talking to us, bro. Tell you, I feel the same thing. Man, like, you gonna call ice on your own? So you gonna call ice on Jamaicans? Why don't you call ice on Jamaicans? <laughs> you gonna call ice on no Jamaicans? I hope the cartel got the nigga phone tap. I hope the cartel get a mint a word of that nigga phone tap, and they fuck that nigga. <laughs> Right, yeah, you don't call no ice on no Jamaicans. You don't call no ice on yeah. no, no no Nigerians. What the hell is his problem? Just want the Mexicans yeah. gone. That's his problem, man. He down in Mexico. He a real passport, bro. Though he done been through Panama, Puerto Rico. Uh, there's like three or four <laughs> other uh, places. He got really. He down there hiding in the hotel and shit. He down there hiding in the hotel and shit. He probably speak a little Spanish. 
So he ain't really get over. <laughs> so he ain't really get over. Thousands, thousands of dollars. He ain't never felt like he was rich. I don't know out there buying pussy. That's what he doing. He buying pussy. Man, that nigga said he's going to remove the colonists. He said he's going to remove the colonists. Because I know they going to sell it. They they going to tell you that the pussy for sale. A nigga like him ain't getting no pussy. You can tell by his lad. That's why yeah, he's he going for it. <laughs> Laid up under no hoes. He sound like, like he been tampered with, man. That nigga sound like he been straight tampered. Like he man, this all his boy. His bitch or something, or they didn't hold him out there. He now he want him out to put it out of the Come on, right, right. The little Mexican joint. Uh, she put his ass on child support. He, he, he probably tried to warn me. He probably tried to warn me. Come on, hey y'all, go help me. He got a right into the country and shit. <laughs> he would have fuck one of them immigrants. Got to knock the up and shit. And she would put child support on him. Yeah, like got that right. Like, like that was a benefit. Like, yeah. who the fuck goes and lives in Tijuana? Like, <laughs> Why would you? Tijuana? What type Why of plan is that? is that to go knock up a bunch of women from different countries? Ain't man? that? Like, they got the, ain't that Chapo shit? What that Chapo shit? Tijuana is a, that's Tijuana right in the border. Like that. Yeah. That's yeah, I don't, that that that's like the that's that's Baltimore for your ass. <laughs> that's that's like the worst spot to be in. That's that Baltimore yeah. for your ass. Baltimore, man. fuck up, <laughs> yo, bro. Yeah. Them yo, that's them yo. Baltimore out there, man. is fucked up, bro. I'm telling you, I'm from North New Jersey. Yeah, and I went to Baltimore, man. The whole block, yo, they got a whole they got whole blocks of brownstones down there, and they sell them for like a thousand dollars. They yeah, got and they got and they brown. got marble. They got marble stoops on them joints yeah. too. Hey, yeah. Ben, Tijuana, like how Sec described that place, the you know the border town where he at. What the hell, that's Sec? What, that's what Tijuana. Sec, what the hell, that nigga that been there? I was thinking about Sec today, man. I ain't seen Sec in a minute. I was thinking about Sec earlier, man. Oh damn, I ain't seen Sec in a minute. That nigga a weirdo, nigga in the donkey show down there. <laughs> hey, one man, you coming with us to the pyramids, man? You gonna get get some aboriginals together, man? We can all meet up down there in Mexico. Go to the pyramid. Which ones you going to? Um, uh, uh, Chisanisa. We going, we going all the way to the top. Nah, they ain't gonna let us go on. Now we can do like hey, well, right. we got the diplomat down there now. You see, we got we got a uh, Mexican. We got the bum rush them. <laughs> now, if we pay the it, the no, no, if you pay though, they'll take you in the inside of that bitch. Oh well, let's pay. I don't know. Yeah, they pay. They'll take you in the inside. You can go look in the inside of that motherfucker. They got the donor, the tunnels that go all the way down and all of, all that shit in there. You know what the ticket is for that? Is it something crazy? Nah, we just gotta pull them to the side. You know everybody hustling. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Let's do that. We put a couple I hundred. Wanna, hey, look, walk up right down. in that bitch. <laughs> I wanna go. I wanna go all the way to the top with my turban on and my feather in it, and, and raise my hand and take a picture like that. Mm-hmm. We'll probably. I wanna go all the way to the top of that them. motherfucker. They'll let you. They'll let you climb on the one in Tulum, I think. But Tisha needs so is we gotta do that. We gotta get some footage. That some footage. Yeah, that sounds dope. We got about five hundred, hundred of them. Yeah, man, twenty five. Yeah, oh, we doing that. We doing that. that nigga ass. Give him twenty five twenties. It's gonna look real you gotta good. Tell that nigga in Spanish, right. nigga, you're my yate. You tell that nigga in Spanish, I am a mayate. Tell that nigga in Spanish, nigga, you are my yate. This is me. Like <laughs> it lets you go to the top. So I'm like, nigga, I'm a mayate. I'm gonna go, go up. I'm gonna go up the um pyramid. For running up on the um on the on the pyramid, she ran in smash that bitch up. <laughs> that bitch out there. <laughs> yeah, I seen one the other day. They damn they beat that crowd to the death, man. She yeah, they are. <laughs> now they're Yo, twenty my yates. If twenty my yates bum rush the top of the pyramid, they gonna be clapping. They gonna be like, "Hey, right, they yeah." yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the they be clapping. If we all just run up that joint, man. <laughs> yeah, we gotta wait till uh, uh, 
Anytime, <laughs> lock us up like Britney Griner, nigga. Gotta go do some shit like that with Trump or something. Let him go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Hey, but we see yeah. we run up on that motherfucker now. The Biden administration. I don't know if them hoes gonna come get us. We fuck around, be on our own. And y'all know it came out that kidnapping that happened down there. Them niggas oh, had yeah. uh, 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 guns and U.S. transportation, bro. Oh, wait, oh, the niggas what? Out. That's why on the video when when they showed uh, shrug, you sent me the pictures of the lady, right? On that on that video, I said, damn, they got on the same thing. The people that rescued them got the same shit on that the niggas who kidnapped them had on. I so you what you said? You said right. You said so. What you said? What, what you said the weapons that was used in it because they they found a weapons dealer and he the one saying he been taking the guns and shit down there and the weapons that was even used in the south. So they got a dude on that case now. But yeah, it's coming out that the vehicles and the weapons used by the motherfuckers was all U.S. Oh, all right, so that's a psyop then. Okay, yeah. Like some obvious. Any time they, any, they oh, get got, got, attention to one to one particular case like that, you already know there's an agenda being. Um, we don't know exactly what the agenda is. But understand, there's something going on that we don't know. Yeah. Okay. Hey, well, what well, it said, it happened. They had an ambassador from U.S. down there. He was speaking down there the same day that it happened. What they're trying to wow. do man, is the world powers. They're trying to come in and, and run a coup d'etat in Mexico. So you got the people that's working with you, and then you got the cartels who are also working with them. They're trying to overthrow that and bring it into one. And so that's where a lot of the politics coming from. So you see here come the cartel, say, hey, nigga, here he go apology notes. We don't move like that. We would never do that. But yeah, there's a power uh, shift going down there. Well, no different from Haiti and the other one. They're trying to lock the bullet up. I think oh, I that was to you, but in there, there was an interview with this cartel nigga. He was a gun runner, actually. I think I sent it to you, but he was going into how the uh, cartels, you know, they have the cops paid off and they can't fuck with certain people. You know, they'll get in trouble. But it's so fucked up now that cartels this cartel be paying the police but this cartel's paying the homicide detectives but this cartel's paying you know narco narcos and uh so now the police and you know law enforcement is now warring with each other as well as warring with the cartels and the cartels warring so it's it's a divide then <laughs> amongst the the government you know and law enforcement yeah, I, I thought something was strange with that when the FBI put out a um, a, what's the name of like a five? It was a ten thousand or something like that. But what? I'm like, huh? When did the FBI do that? That's why I can't like, like, like that. Why that was strange. Are you seeing this? Like, why? When you, ever seen a, when you ever seen a cartel apologize, nigga? <laughs> that was suspicious. They got real critical. Yeah, fast. They had the people. That's why I say how yeah. they find them that fast. They say they moved them to different stash houses. And they still found their ass. It was like, but when they showed up, they got the same bulletproof vest and shit on, man. The same khaki, khakis on with the pockets with the khaki bulletproof vest. The niggas who rescued them had the same outfit on as the niggas who kidnapped them. <laughs> but the niggas ain't. Yeah, but the president came on and said there. we will find them though. Oh the yeah, the president said we will find them. Remember? Are, but you know, <laughs> bounced around all these and found these people. Like, get the fuck out of here. The Mexican president say we will find him though. We we we. <laughs> he was only. Yeah, when you go down there, look, look, I, I, look, I didn't been to Cancun. When you go down there, them niggas don't fuck with you like that. I've been in the city and bought weed. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, those people don't fuck with you like that, man. You know who doing what? You know that just by just where you from. But they don't just fuck with just random civilians. No, they don't. They, they against each other, right? Like last Damn. year, they had them shootings on the beach. Them niggas pulled up on Cancun Beach down there by Zora uh, Hotel. That's where they had a, uh, the, 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 the the shrine there, the statue. Yeah, them niggas pulled up in, in little boats and jet skis, nigga, came out and gunned that bitch down with ARs, nigga. But they was following the rival gang because uh, one of they niggas got hit in Tulum and them two niggas was hiding out in Cancun. Them niggas pulled up in the water. And got busy, broad daylight, and jumped back on the boats and left. 
But now you see a lot of um, army niggas walking down the beach now. Now they didn't they didn't pay for a lot of security, so it ain't nothing to see tw- twelve niggas walking with ARs, nigga, back and forth. They be on the trucks, nigga, coming through that bitch, nigga, deep. Yeah, nigga. but that's the thing. The cartel roll the same way, so you don't know what's what. They all yeah, all the know. niggas got that shit. When you go downtown, it, that's cartel. <coughs> The clubs, the except Coco Bungo, the clubs, the strip clubs, all of that. You can you can smoke weed and do all that shit in there. Can't no laws come in there. You can do you can do whatever you want in there, but you got to be in the areas that's for the that's, that's under the cartel. And it's y'all don't fuck with us, we don't fuck with y'all. But some of the cops are working for both both sides though. Of course, remember they killed Malcolm X son down. He was right, he right, was deep in the Mexico, and that was a hit. Yeah, they gonna hit you. They gonna hit you. You see that little social media nigga down there? They lit his ass up in the club. Can't even recognize him. They said so many bullets. Oh, so, oh but you know, you talking about the one who was making uh making fun of the uh, cartel guy? Yeah, told him to suck his dick on a on a yeah, video. Yeah, he got yeah, got a little too big headed nigga in the club partying, and they walked yeah. in. Yeah, yeah that's him out good. But that's the thing, like Big was saying with that situation, whoever they want to hit, they're going to hit. That's why I like when, you know, all this got caught up in a crossfire of a car and then they get kidnapped. The cartel don't operate operate like that. You know, like you're a civilian, you're a civilian, but you want to get involved and play, you're going you gonna to play by the rules and deal with the consequences of it, you know? So none of that seemed believable from the jump. But yeah, they don't play. <laughs> Have you ever heard about them two brothers that came from the two brothers that came from uh, America? Oh, go. They got the DC here. They went talking. down there. Yeah, Operation the Furious. Operation Fair. They was gun smuggling. They got caught under the Obama administration. Obama administration. Hold on. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the ones that the twins. The ones that Hold on, slow down, say Got hit. The two brothers, they got El Chapo on them hit. Yeah. No, it's two brothers. It was, it's two brothers that came from America. Um, this might be something different. This happened like a couple years ago. Um, and they down, they down there locked up in the prison now, man. They went down there, man, and uh, they you know bought some land down there. You know, somebody put them on some game from down there, and they bought some land down there. I don't know if it, I don't know if it was El Salvador. It's one of them, and uh, they bought some land down there, man. They was hiring people. They had a nightclub. You know, they had you know the little weed stuff that they was doing. You know, doing the little weed stuff on the side. You know. And uh, they built up some facilities down there, man. You know, built up and cultivated the land. And they, they hired some of the, um, the um, indigenous people, you know, from there, too. Now, two of the people came up missing. The workers came up missing that they hired. DJs or something. And they came and uh, knocked on the door. And while they was uh, the police authorities and the mob, like this is the indigenous mob, they was there about to, about to lynch these two brothers. And uh, the other other people in the mob, they had when they dug up the people car and uh, the two the two people that was uh workers they had got murdered and um so these two brothers got locked up so they they locked up right now man they, they uh they've been locked up, i think since 2017 they had to move them up out of there and move them to i think i want to say el south they locked up in the prisons down there in one of those countries and um i'm just saying man they went down and hey some of them aboriginal people was hey because it's, it's a land grab just like people come here and you know some of our, our people, we were like, well, damn, well, how did they get that type of land? How did they put them type of business in our neighborhood? Some of the aboriginal people but down that, there, don't, they don't play that. But that's the indigenous same people. thing. You jump off the porch, you got to play by the rules, of, you know, the laws of the land. And, and you said they started fucking around in the game and they had businesses. Like, you ain't paying Yeah, they built some nightclubs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I can do that right now. They trying to get, yeah, they trying to get the U.S. to come help them. But shit, ain't nobody really, you know, definitely cool, right yeah, now. Cool, Joe, what you want, bro? Oh, yeah. What's up, man? Uh, big up, Virginia. I was on here earlier, man. I, I got off work. I had to go to sleep, and I see y'all still on here. I was just trying to catch a drift of the conversation. I heard the dude from Baltimore. I don't really have to. Just talking about how much uh, how bullshit Pan African niggas is, and shit like that. It can't prove. Why y'all call them Pan African? Because that's what they call it. So that's they are. I mean, you know, like a Pan African is somebody who believes, you know, in the universal concept of Africa. Pan you know, African is 
America. <laughs> so why do y'all call people Pan African? People in America they say they Africans are Pan African, bro. Oh, who told you that? I I just told you. Oh, well, that's not what a Pan African is. You just making shit up. Like you make up so much other shit because that's not what a Pan African is. That's what a Pan African is. That's not. I'm gonna show you why because yeah, y'all. No, you can't show me why because that's not the truth. Yeah, what you I know what you think. What's not true is that you're not from Africa. That's what's not true. What? You're from Africa. From Africa. You are from Africa. These people from Pan. You're from Virginia, more precisely. Like all of y'all. Brother, all of y'all are from either Virginia, Maryland, or South Carolina. Not in America to be from Virginia, brother. No, no, most of places people, in America. You said you got roots in Virginia. Bro, that's how I'm talking about that, bro. That's just one people out of that line. Huh? From Virginia. It's just one mean? people. And you know how far they go back, bro? Them my eight great grandparents. It don't go back that far. That ain't that far. That ain't eight that great grandparents. That's like the 1800s. That's not that long ago. It don't go back to no damn eight. My eight great grandparents. Yeah. Okay. So what? That's that. That's that's a, that's not that long ago. You know how many great it is. You, you been, your family was in Virginia longer than they've been in Alabama. Alabama no, knew. That ain't true, bro. My side it is true. Alabama, Alabama knew. Alabama. They, All they, of y'all, if you're from Alabama, Alabama, Mississippi, or anywhere in the Gulf region, me, more than likely you're from Virginia and Maryland. You said, hey, and you're incorrect. I'm everybody, not. people are not from Virginia. Your people. I didn't say everybody. I said that most black people in this country. That's not true, bro. Have roots in Maryland, Virginia. No, that's not Maryland. true, brother. It is true. It's not true, brother. You can, and, and you, you can do your genealogy and see it. You can, see, you can do your goddamn you can do your DNA test and see it. You can look at the way you speak. The way you speak. The English language language. Okay, what's Virginia culture? What's Virginia culture? That's what I see. Black culture. Black culture. Okay, so do y'all... Black eat? American culture. Yeah, this is the very root of black American culture. Eat, bro. Virginia huh? eat the same foods we eat. What, what? You talking about? I mean, people eat the same food depending upon the region they live in. And y'all do eat corn eat. Eat. Y'all eat cornbread, and that comes from here. Y'all eat macaroni, and that comes from here. Oh, here, here, man. You know that, right? We eat crab cake? Yeah, I do. I do, but that's that's more big in Maryland than it is in Virginia. But we well, eat he's it. A, he, he's we, a we, descendant we, of the... Uh, we he is problems. a descendant of Native Americans. He, he is a he's a jungle lord. Y'all make my grandmother on my avatar. That's my grandmother, Elizabeth. Okay, Bradley. okay, okay, brother. And that's my uncle right there. His name is Powell. Everybody coming from Virginia, bro. That's not true. They just yeah. The majority of blacks do have do that's have the, roots that's in the Virginia. Most Virginia. Shit in the world, bro. Huh? There's more people in the South than it is in, in Virginia. Africa. Is the South? What are you talking about? Bro, that ain't we don't we're in the deep. I don't, I don't care what you think. Uh, what uh, you think means nothing. We're from the deep south, brother. Now, the deep south is is an outgrowth of Virginia and the Carolinas. Everything in the United States okay. is an outgrowth of the United States. Right, let me show you something, bro. Let me show you something. Let me show you how Man, tell you know me where I'm wrong. Right, because the the migrations from yes, that makes me an uh, the, the migrations from Virginia to the south don't happen until eighteen uh the eighteen twelve. Around to the eight, south, four. Virginia and Richmond was the capital of the south. Okay, so give what are you talking about to the south, brother? They didn't start coming down south until 18, 12, 18, hey, right? Right, that, right, that's what I mean. Right, now, right. Now, right. We have we have Texas, Louisiana, yeah, there was no, there was no Texas, brother, there was no Texas, there was Mexico, Louisiana, all the way there was down. no Louisiana, there was France. All of these, all of these places were vibrating way before 18. No, 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 they weren't, no, they weren't, there were no okay. black people. Brother. No, they were not. No, they were not. You can't brother. find any records of your All right, any family like you have. Hold on, man. Come on, brother. You gotta stop, brother. Any family you have that I'm ain't white, you that your, ain't Spanish. With you your can't. Yes, okay. It's now, just not true. The people that came down south, right? The people that that migrated down south. And but then there is the south. Stop that. It's eighteen. Hold on, man, bro. Cut me off again. I'm gonna kick your bitch ass. Well, kick my bitch ass off, then, nigga. I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you. Bye. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> I already know what I'm talking about. Hey, this stupid ass yeah. nigga right here, right? Because in 1540, when the Spanish <laughs> get there, who do they meet in in Alabama? They meet a uh, king called uh, Tuscaloosa, meaning black warrior. They also describe his lieutenants as being a uh, uh, well-made, uh, muscular black uh, black people. Brother, we have too much evidence. How in the fuck? Dude, niggas don't get black until 1815. 
So where do the migration stop? Mm -hmm. Try to understand some. Even when they come down in, where where does the they migration don't move nowhere else? The Alabama, the people going to move from Alabama into Texas, and then that's what made room for the colonists to come down after Indian removal. Everybody not just standing there, then y'all all piling y'all ass in there, and it's just it don't make no sense. If we have more land down here than you had in you have in Virginia at that time. How the fuck everybody from Virginia come down south? It just don't make no right. sense. If your dumb ass from there, you just read a Wikipedia article saying Virginia and Alabama, you got to understand the migration, bro. 1815, it's a war, a war going on. My family in Alabama fought to stay in Alabama. Nigga, Osceola, my family, they fought against them niggas. They are from Alabama, you stupid ass nigga. So how in the hell, why would they leave Virginia and wait till they get to Alabama to go fight these niggas? No, they're fighting to keep their land down in Alabama. I'm from the Kasadi tribe. We are not from motherfucking Virginia, nigga. We are from Alabama. You stupid ass nigga. Man, that nigga, that's crazy. Nigga. That's a fact, Chief. That's a fact, because my family from Virginia, and we had moved in the 1800s because there was a war going on. So that's why we down here in Georgia now. What about the Muscogee, the Muscogee Confederation? What about the Muscogee Confederation? How in the hell everybody black didn't come down there to the 1800s and the Muscogee Confederation was in the 1500s? I don't understand. I just don't understand it. No, nigga, get your bitch ass away from here. Don't try to come up here. Right. Bye, nigga. We don't want to hear you. You don't know how to pass the mic anyway. And you have no information. That nigga sound like a pan. What that? Is that nigga an African pan African gen, a Virginian or something? What the hell? That yeah, nigga he, he ain't even from Africa. He don't know where he's from in Africa. He was raised by fake Native American. He was raised by a real Native American. <laughs> it ain't no fault you ain't get warm hugs from a black strong black woman cooking <laughs> in from a black. <laughs> woman. <laughs> but this, this is what I be saying though. I think people be mixing up. Who black is, and when they want to put the black term on, you know, Indians, American Indians, and natives, and stuff like that, and they they switch it out and, and and put it place it when they want to place it, you know, what I mean, to try to describe a whole group of people from different parts of uh, a certain landmass. It's, it's weird, man. That's weird. Right. When they you, pick and choose when, when they want to call you black, and when you black, if you show them a picture of an American Indian, like with a certain you know shade or a tint on them. They might not qualify as being black. It's weird, man. But you know what you do? You go to the first contact tribes. All of the first contact tribes have statues. They have posters. They have, uh, I mean, all the way from the Hudson Bay Company uh, showing the Lenape people to the advertisement that they was using to show in there, uh, to the statues again. Like I say, all of these first contact, which are 1,500, 1,600 tribes, they depict niggas. This is no way around it. <laughs> All of the settlers that came describe the people that who they were talking about. Or when we go to the y'all talk about hairlines, right? And not to cut you talking about hairlines and different you know facial features, features stole and hairstyles, right? To read the sheet stole uh -huh. my shit, but yeah, that's what, that's what we build on. Huh? Okay, that, um, the size of that nigga down there, Widow right Peaks. Here, let us know. He ain't we got say it. Widow Peaks and Eddies, though. Who is that indigenous to? Widow Peaks and Eddies. Who would you say that that's mostly indigenous know. to? I don't know. Huh? I ain't gonna, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know hey man, is. but what is crazy is right in DC and all the cigar bars, you got nothing but these statues of dark skinned Indian chiefs smoking cigars. You know what I'm saying? And then you look online the Virginia tobacco ads that they sent out to Great Britain, they all was depicting dark skinned Indians from Virginia. Yeah, because they, 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 what they did was they they made the black image exotic. The black image at that time was exotic, so it was sold all over the world as anything being exotic. Is that's just a fact? Where can that's we find fact. that information? I mean, look, dude, I'm from Monkey and Where Hunter. can we find that, that woman right there? That it's woman right there is my grandmother, and you're gonna tell me that that's a black lady. Information, brother. That that's a black lady, bro. Where can we find it? If it's a black lady, though, brother, I need uh, to know what is a right black here, lady. Why right you can find it's a black right lady, though. Lady, like yeah, you, European, dick and balls is a black, black lady. Well, Europe, Europe, well, huh? 
black from where? Europe, you got different. Type no, I'm not talking about no, it's no, no, blacks in Europe. You're talking about black people in Europe. There yeah. were a few black people in Europe. Was, there, was not a, there was not a large amount of black people in Europe in the 1600s. I'm not going to argue with you on that's, that. I mean, what, I mean, what is what is it about? Are we having a discussion? You're you not going to argue with me. I, can, I ain't fussing with you, Jack. You I ain't but brother, when you say know. black, though, when do you mean by black, though? That's not a black lady. I mean black. Like, when like, is I'm black? black and you're black. That's what I mean. I mean, that lady's not black like I'm black and you're black. She's you mean not. by skin tone? No, I'm talking about, about that lady tone? that I'm looking at right there is not black. Hold on, let me look at it. Let me zoom in. Oh, I can't hardly see it. Because I'm, I'm still, I'm still trying. When y'all say black, when do you quantify a person being black? And when did black, when did black start to be black though? I mean, when did you separate it yeah, from somebody that came from Africa in the 1960s? You know, and then you know people that's been here. You know what I mean? When did you start quantifying somebody as being black? They play the word game when it suits their argument. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, what what are you saying? Are you saying the 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 Aboriginal Indigenous people of Australia? The, those are black. What what are you saying? Right, I, I have my mom's sister's daughters that are lighter than them people. Listen, man. So the first contact tribes, like what Top was saying, they all dark skinned people. They were not. The Chickahominy were not dark skinned. The Chickahominy is a European tribe. They were what? The Chickahominy and the Pamunkey are European tribes. I keep there telling you. The Chickahominy was no European I mean, tribe. Well, too, the Acromats were tried. They were no, black. No, the Chickahominy were the second it's tribe to the English. 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 You know how we do this? How we take care of this? Name me right. a chief. Name me a chief in the 1600s who is not a European mix. There's the not a European mix in the 1600s. In the, in the Pumanke. Name me a chief that is not mixed with European blood in the 1600s. I told you the Chickahominy didn't have chief. We had a tribe. Well, you know, well, then you I'm not to, talking about. I'm not power. Yeah. I'm not power ten. I'm not claiming to be power ten. You out of that? Claiming to be power ten. I'm probably kidding them I have, as well. I have the list, so I can talk this shit. I'm talking. But they they don't they have chiefs. They have a tribal council. They have chiefs now. The last one there so, was Maurice. Name, That's my name, cousin. Name, one of the tribal councils at that time. And that, I, don't, that, I, don't, I don't know right offhand. Name me one. That's not I don't good. know right offhand. Name me one person that came from, <laughs> that came from, uh, that didn't come from Virginia. That's your family from Alabama. Name me oh, one. Osceola. Osceola. You in the Osceola. Oh, yeah, come sure. on, man. How, why is it that every time y'all make these claims, y'all always kin to somebody that is well known? Every single yeah, one of y'all. Nigga, it ain't, it ain't it. all your bloodline ain't shit, nigga. You are <laughs> ain't ain't this the pot calling the kettle you black. Niggas. What they got to do with me? I'll put my genealogy up against yours, cat. Hold on, nah, hold on, hold on. Listen, I'll put ain't it you the one? Me. Ain't you the hold on? Ain't you the one? Yeah, pull it up. Hey, ain't you the one that said it was no such thing as black slave owners? No, I yeah, didn't. Hell, that's like that. He said, yeah. "Huh? What you no, said? Hold on, say that again." No, uh, hold on. No, no, I did not say anything like that. What you a motherfucking lie. Like nah, we got oh, Mister Replay. You, play. you, I mean, you said that know, shit. You said that shit. No, he, 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 he said that shit. I didn't say that, that, that shit. To me. I, I'm no, you on did. Right, I, I, I was you know, listening. He said, yeah, he said, oh, hey, oh, oh. bro, because now it just sounds like everybody screaming and shit. Yeah, come on, bro. Right. 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 I'm, I'm building with him. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a build him. I'm. I'm out, everybody. We got Ali Bob in the building, bro. Maybe we we'll get some new energy, new direction. All right, talk, talk your shit, Ali Bob. I know you come say some fly shit. What you got for us? No, I ain't got no flashes, y'all, man. I'm just, uh, what y'all building on? I mean, you know what I mean? What y'all building on? Your mic distorted, family. Your mic distorted. Hold on, give me a second. Like you far away, yeah. Yeah, but he come by name of family that was down there. Oh, see, you know? All right, there you go, loud and clear. Is that better? Loud and clear. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Turn up. What happened to the time? Nah, you good. You good. We hear you. 
You good? We can hear you. What's going on? We can hear you. You good? The volume real low. Nah, it's not low. We can hear you loud. You loud. What's going on here? I'm gonna log back. <laughs> Let me just make that clear. I did say on the on the last bill that I had black slave owners, and he and he he told a whole nother person that is not informed about black <laughs> Europeans <laughs> or <laughs> Indians and slave people. Right, you did right. say that. In my bloodline. You know what I mean? Why are you like I'm a I did not say that. Yes, you did. You can have a tap. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's cool. We trying to run the show here, bro. We the audience come first, man. So we're gonna move on from that. All right, Ali Bobby, you back. Yeah, what's up, Top? Shit, slow motion, man. About to eat. I hear y'all building on the uh, Aboriginal stuff, man. Um, you know, I can't, I can't speak for most people. I can only speak for my own family. And a lot of people not being honest about stuff because they're not being honest about reality. Now, whether it be America, whether it be a, a country that's on the continent of Africa whether it be a country in Europe, whether it be a country in Asia, all countries have been built the same way. Whether we like it or not, via war, some means of war. Now, when y'all start talking about European history, it's a lot of stuff that y'all not that y'all overlooking. And the, the reason you overlooking it is because you got a bastardized mind that was given to you that way intentionally. Now, now what I mean by that is that any of y'all that's ever ran a business, then you know if you ran a business, whether it be your manager whether it be the lower lower level workers, whether it be the janitors, they not gonna they not gonna necessarily agree with your decisions because they don't they don't see everything you see. They not responsible for everything you responsible for. So this this is the same thing in life. So when we go to European history, watch this. I don't know why y'all like to argue over stuff that's so simple that a, a, a two-year-old can pick it up. Y'all keep talking about more, more, more. More don't mean nothing but the people who rule the land. We, today, we call this a mayor. This is why in Islam, the, 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 the members of, of, the, of the more administration are called bays. The word more came from, from mare, which means the waters. This is Mary in the Bible, right? Her outlets, just like an outlet, which is the administration of the mayor, they're called bays. So all the bays were, 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 were usually in the military and in the, in, in the courtship, as they called it. With these, these moors, right, due to, uh, watch this. This is another reality people don't want to deal with. And when you accept the realities, you can accept history easy. These moors, right? They were in power. So they were doing trading uh, um, from Turkey. Y'all, yeah, come on, man, y'all know this. They were doing trading for Turkey, right? And they imported, right, the slaves, <laughs> right? And these were the Europeans, right? And the Europeans, it, it, it's even on record. Some of them were concubines, right? Some of them just got pregnant. This created what we call mulattoes. It didn't just happen in Europe. Where you think Arabs are? Uh, <clears throat> y'all need y'all need to stop playing these games, man. So 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 then you got 
the reality that stuff like this happened. Let's say Top Cat the King, right? He done had a he done he done had a concubine, right? That's a European though, right? Top Cat, your two bloodline sons from the Black Queen dead, Top Cat, right? Your ass dead. Who 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 get the throne, Top Cat? You understand what I'm saying? This is simple, man. So 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 you got a couple people who 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 argue. If you check the history, they argued about the throne, right? But at the same time, they making moves because they trying to take over the throne. Right? So the castle get rushed. See, y'all forgot this. The reason y'all forgot this because y'all arguing about stuff y'all don't really know what it is. This shit y'all call masonry, masonry ain't nothing but educational system. End of story. Now, you can try to make it into some more shit if you want. I don't give a damn if you're 80. I don't give a damn if you're three. It's all about fucking education. I don't give a damn if you're in school getting it. I don't give a damn if your ass going to the library on your own goddamn time getting it. It's about education. It's about knowing. Not believing and getting on here arguing that grown fucking men, right? This is fucking embarrassing to me, right? Because can we I, are can grown. I ask you oh, hold on, let me finish. Because we are grown, right? For years, for years, right? Motherfuckers, man, them white folks think this and that about us. Them white folks think this and that, that about us. Man, y'all grown and y'all arguing about kids shit. Now, 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 don't, don't get, don't listen, don't get it wrong. It's millions of them ain't got the correct answers either. Because, like I said, y'all don't know what black and white is. Black and white is a fucking accounting term. Can I when ask you, you in the that? white, when you in the white, you are in the clear. That means y'all don't owe a motherfucker shit. That no, that's means I like get money. No, when you in the black, black, you are you indebted it. No, when you're in the black, that means this shit clear. Come on, bro. You're I'm talking black. about some old shit, man. No, no, but you're talking about some. Okay, old okay, shit. okay, okay, then. Okay, you are. Because okay, then. The well, tell me why. The, well, tell me, tell me why the black folks then ain't got the money then. This what the fuck you saying? This right? No, this is what you saying? This right? This no, based on reality. You know, know what I'm saying? to do with black people. You are confused. I'm telling you what I know, man. Now listen. Now, 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 to, prove, to prove my point that I know what I know, no, right? you're not, you're not, with your shit talking ass, like because Top Cat told me, Top Cat gave me the, the motherfucking mic. Huh? Top Cat gave me the mic. Yeah, it's all more created equal, brother. Right, right. Can I ask so, you, is all so, more created equal? Okay, okay. I like the way you talk, man. I could, I could talk with you. Uh, what you mean, are they all created equal? <laughs> because we hear different stories from a more, more angle. No, I'm not laughing. I'm serious. Because we no, had I'm a cat that was on Twitter, and he's playing a more. Listen, I'm What's telling around, you more. Let me, let me conversate with you. Because I'm, I asked right. that because, specifically, we hear different, um, you know, information from different moors, from what a moor is, you know what I'm saying, a moor and all that stuff, you know. Right. So that's why I asked. Okay, let me ask you this. I heard about tiny moors. You know, right? Do you have any information yeah. on the tiny moors? Or Listen, right. Listen, Listen to what I'm saying. Every moor that you know, right, uh-huh. that you ever met, they all they all tell you that whatever that land is that they're claiming, right? That they are indigenous to it, correct? No, that's not. Uh, no, not no, no not really. Come on, Come on just say they. Okay, well, 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 let, let, let's go over what I'm saying again. I said every more that you know, right? I was born in the Moore Science Temple. Born in Okay, Ray. okay, okay, okay. So my mother was you, in the Moore Science Temple. My, name, my last name so, is legally Bay. My last name okay. is Okay, so you're you're indigenous to what land? I'm uh, I'm indigenous. Well, you must have taken that nigga. Well, I'd be indigenous to. See, this is what I'm talking about. Where the fuck is your birth certificate? No, my birth I'm from Virginia, bro. Hey, Tom Cat, I'll holler at you later, man. I ain't got time. Yo, yo, yo. I mean, call him out. What y'all be getting you dumbass niggas from? That don't mean nothing. It means nothing. where you come from, but... You Nigga, you trying to live in a motherfucking comic book somewhere. When, when you Yo, say more, you know, this is what I mean when I say you, niggas don't you, want you, to accept reality, man. This is what I hold mean. Hold on, hold on. Where you born at, dog? Virginia. Where you on, Okay, so you're American. Big up. So you're American, No doubt. Okay, so understand. So stay with me. Stay with me. So what I'm telling you is, 
Stop telling me. We, we, we here today, right? We not, we going back in time. Listen to me, we going back in time. So what I'm telling you is every more, right? That, that declares itself a more. They also declare to be indigenous to a particular land. Nah, that's not, I mean, that's, that's not necessarily true. I mean, what? Okay, if, well, they, they claim yeah, to be well, indigenous well, to Morocco. Where they from then? The water? They claim to be where, indigenous where? to Morocco. Huh? They, they claim to be indigenous to Morocco. Like in the question. Oh, okay, right? okay. In, that's in our my point. Is like, okay. what is the Moorish American? A descendant of Morocco born in America. So that would be that that would be the answer to your question. That's what's in their own literature. I was raised yeah. in that literature. I used to have to answer those questions every week. And that was no. the answer to the question. No. Which means they wouldn't be indigenous, but they're claiming something. Yes. Yeah. I mean they wouldn't no. be indigenous to no. America because that's no. what they said. No. You know how many you know how many more I thought you know they said they were nomads, man. I thought they were travelers, many, dog. You, you, you I don't know, know how many they were indigenous to nomads. You know how many different sets of more they got out of No, I'm saying, no, no, I'm saying what comes from Noble Drali. Will come from Nova Drali, whether it's Nova Drali from Nova Drali from North Carolina. What you talking about? Yeah, I know you from North Carolina. Well, I would I would argue he's from Virginia, but it's the same. He's from Robinson, North Carolina, nigga. Oh, dude, dude, I'm what you talking about? Nigga. I would I would tell the truth right. from. Calm down, bro. I told you I was in the temple. I know all that. I really think he was from Virginia, to be honest. Let me tell you something about You think you're saying some fly shit. You think you're saying some fly shit. No, I You ain't saying that was some elementary ass shit talk about some noble Drew Ali. You following a nigga that ain't even graduated. I don't care. You a grown that. ass man. What, what's your daddy name? Tell me about your dad. My daddy name is George. Okay, let's talk about George. The fuck you talking about? George, 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 George. What George taught your ass? George told me quite a bit. Oh, okay, well, what's yeah, your father? Tell me, George taught you quite a bit. Listen to me, bro. I'm not dissing you. I'm listening to me. I'm not dissing you. Listen to me. If George taught you quite a bit, what the fuck you talking about? Timothy Juali for then? This is my Drew Ali shouldn't come out your mouth. Because I grew up in the temple. So what I'm, I said some Drew Ali, it still don't matter. Drew Ali shouldn't come out your mouth. I mean, why do you think that if you out talk me that you you win? I mean, come on, dude. You say I, I win? Who trying to win, dog? I've been one, dog. I don't care about Noble Drew Ali, bro. He's talking about winning. Man, nigga, I'm a multi that. You talking about some fucking win. You asked me a question, what do the Moors say? And I told you. And it's just that simple. You asked me and I told you. That's what they say. No, no, no. Hey, you missed my point. A lot of listen, different boys. I'm listen, aware. Of hey, that. listen, yo, what? man, listen. The you missing my point. You talking about a particular dog no, I'm talking from about the more size temple, right? Side. Which they're entitled to. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, he I'm did. There are right. different type of moors. Everybody oh, not in that's the. That's why I asked that question. Oh, that shit. Oh, so so what I'm telling you is the oh, average moor, right? Is going to claim indigenous to a land. Well, you're not telling only me do he, not, 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 only, hold on. Not, not only does he claim that, but he claims that he was the ruler of that land. I don't know. Correct, who but who, nope. hold, hold on, Ali Bomba. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me ask let, respectfully, right? Oh, a lot of Moors haven't done genealogy, so they don't actually know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah, he's right. Just yeah, because you know, they're talking about. They just as confused as y'all. What the hell you mean? Man. They just confused as us. Man, who yeah, asked me exactly what I said? A lot of them. A lot of them. What I said? They, they just confused as us. I mean, our people are public. You gonna say that? Listen, you said it. Nah, I have it. I have a okay, question about listen, it's like it's like it's like for him to be a more. That's not I, I what I'm saying though. What I'm you. saying, I'm trying to I'm trying to spell more, more, brother. How do you how do you spell Ali more Baba, when you spell more? more? Let me hold on, hold on. Alibaba, are you a more? No, I'm not no more. Huh? Okay. I told you what a more is. It's a man. But man. how do you spell more? When you talk about the ones you talking about how What's the spelling of those ones that you talking about, sir? M O O R. But see, that's the More. question I had. Right. Like when you came in, what and is you're talking, talking about? about? It comes from it comes from M A Y O R. Mayor. M A U R. 
I mean, when you, you came know, in, you know, speaking on the names and arguing about like, listen, yo man, listen, yo man, didn't Aren't I teach y'all about language? What, what, what's, what's the difference between every language on the planet? The vile, your oath to it. That's why they call it the vials. What? So, what so, 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 it and why the same as I? Yeah, yeah in some languages, yeah. Right. So, 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 Aren't these? I got, I got, I got, I got no, listen to me. You got an Indian. I'm not talking about I N D I E, man. I'm talking about N D E, right? Yeah. Aren't these? Yeah. Titles okay, listen. Like that's sing. That's that's single. But when it's a group of us, we Hindu. N D U. Hold on, man. Y'all ain't no Indian at all. You know what I'm saying? Your man, your man, your man. You hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you who you're talking to. I'm about to pull your ass, your coatail right now. So, all the more are, are, are they the original Indian people? No, 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 no. Can you, you see this? Alan Burns. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me cut my camera off. I'm gonna show you some your shit talking ass. You don't know the fuck you're talking to. Hold on. Who are you? <laughs> I'm confused. Look. Asking the question if these are extra. Can you see, can you see my grandfather? Oh, hold on, let me cut the lights on in. Can you see my grandfather? I can see can a see? picture that you're holding. Yeah, okay. a little bit if, if you're talking to me. Yeah. All right. And that's a nice picture, bro. I'm glad you have it. Big can up you see that? Big up Virginia, yeah. matter of fact. Big up Virginia. Don't forget that. You say that every time you think about it. Take, take a good look at him now. Is he black? <laughs> I can't tell. Yeah, he look black to me. Take a good look at me. Am I black? Yep. I'm a hold on. I'm hold on. Hold on. I'm Asian, my nigga. So more, you look like you straight from goddamn Nigeria. Some goddamn. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. You're not Asian. I'm more Asian. You're not Asian. I'm gonna show you my whole line. Look. You're not Asian. You're not Asian. I'm showing you my whole line. Look. Man, you don't gotta show me shit. I'm showing you. What you need to show me? Y'all be on that fantasy shit. I'm, I'm looking at you, though. You're not this Asian. My real, this is my real life, man. This is my real family. Okay, that picture up there, that's my yeah, real listen, family. Listen to me. Y'all don't <laughs> understand <laughs> that they push all of us into one category called black. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening. They push everybody into a category called black. Who is they? It's the, now, the they government. They push everybody now. The government now, they did it. You talking, about, you talking about the United States government? Yeah, the United States government did this. Let me tell you something that y'all don't know. No, we're, we're not. Because I've been hearing y'all tell these it's fantasy stories. African That's African amazing African. to me. Right? But um, the reality is the government that y'all got right now, they took over this joint in 1890, man. 1890? Are you serious? Yeah. No. I'm, no, de I'm, de no, I'm damn serious. Get out of here, man. How about you? How, how about you? I can back it up. No, you can't. Because it's not true. Hey, bro. Okay. Was Abraham Lincoln as we more? Talk, listen, as we talk, everybody hey, bro. else. Was Abraham talk, Lincoln more? Everybody else. Hey, Alibaba, that nigga that's out here, multi millionaire, too, man. He said he's standing to mention in Virginia. Okay, well, tell that nigga to come down here and holler at me. I live in Naples. You got family in Virginia. No question. Okay, well, tell that nigga to come down here and holler at me. I live in Naples. You got family in Virginia. No question. I show. I, show, I, I got family in Virginia. Yeah, I know you do. Both I got family in DC. I got yeah, family in Maryland. In, I got family in New York. I got family in Jersey. No, I got Jersey. family in Philly. Jersey. I got Jersey. family in Texas. Jersey is uh, Jersey. I got family in Georgia. Georgia. I got family everywhere. We, I got a big family. Because we're from Jersey. Virginia. The outgrowth of Virginia. All black from people Virginia. from New Jersey and New York, all up and down the East Coast, they're from Virginia, Maryland, and the Carolinas. We, that's Texas. not where we're from. We're from, we from down this way, from Alabama. Yeah, and people from Alabama are from Virginia. That's where they're from. Yeah, have you ever heard of the have you ever heard of the domestic slave trade? 
Have you ever heard of it? I don't know nothing about no domestic. You got, you never got, heard you, of I mean, listen, like, listen. Like, you've <laughs> never heard of the domestic slave trade. You don't know trade. nothing about it, though. You've you never heard of it. This. Okay, well, I need to understand the slavery. I'm going to give a class on that because that's sad. Your understanding of slavery and what slavery really is is two different things, young man. Now, nah, brother, 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 please. On, on, on what grounds do you say? I'm a slave. Oh, I'm not. I'm not a slave. Elon Musk is a slave. Nope, none of us. Mike are slave. Tyson is a slave. I, I'm not going to disrespect Michael Jordan my, is a I'm slave. I'm not going to disrespect my enslaved ancestor to call myself a slave right now. No, listen, you don't know what slavery is, though. See, I accept reality. Yeah, that's not reality. That's okay. not reality. That's just the way you see it. And Let me ask you like this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Are you the king? Are you the king or the queen on your court? Am I if king? not, no, if no. not, you just no, another piece, I, 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 and that I, I, make your I'm ass a slave. No, I'm not. That's a, I'm reality, though. No. It's all right. I I'm don't like to walk around and say I'm chief. I'm king and all do that. that shit. I don't. I don't need to do that. But the reality is, you pay taxes to that motherfucking that 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 bitch over there. You can't write a pay tax. And and that motherfucking fake ass son, she got them criminal motherfuckers. Don't follow me. When I do what I do. That's what I do, cause I'm confident in who I am. That's why I'm right. I write what I write all day and be wrong as fuck. And that's no, what I'm talking about. Far, you know, I'm talking about far as rhetoric. Like when I say fuck, I mean, fuck yeah, the royals yeah, over there. Brother. Listen, look, I'm that's not. I really, really that ain't for nobody else. I really, listen, brother. I really don't want to argue with people. I'm not. I'm not coming here to argue. You know, but I. I am honestly offended. I'm just showing you, young man. I'm from here, young man. I'm a My people's been here. You, see, look, you your people have not been here. That's nonsense. Yo, that's you know not when true. he was born? True. You know, that's yeah. absolutely not true. That's not true. How much it's you want to bet? Uh, it ain't no bet. I don't want to take your no, money. No, I you know. You're going to tell me who the fuck I am. Yes, I am. See, in, <laughs> see, in person, yeah, I'm going to take you your teeth out your motherfucking mouth. You are if he was in person, because you're some disrespectful dumbass You can't tell me shit, you bitch ass nigga. You're some bitch ass nigga who the fuck you is. That's why you follow. That's why you trying to follow a dead motherfucker. See, I, I was trying to give you the I was trying to give you the benefit, benefit of the doubt. I ain't giving you shit now. Nigga, fuck you. Nigga, fuck you. 30 years. Nigga, nigga, get your dumb ass, dead following a motherfucker, <laughs> retarded ass on some motherfucker with. That's what the fuck your dumb ass do. You don't do the motherfucker. You one of them Virginia motherfuckers who probably, you probably one of them half breed motherfuckers anyway. Yeah. Virginia got a lot yeah. of them half breed yeah. motherfuckers. Y'all like to write books and tell motherfuckers how y'all pass for white and shit. Huh? Yeah, you, one of them oh, you probably one of them motherfuckers. Yeah, they hate real niggas. That's oh, white old ass, ass niggas. Hey, oh, we do bitch ass niggas, man. Yeah, all you whole ass niggas on the internet, if you ever cross me, please have the same motherfucking energy. Please have the same motherfucker. No, yeah. And nigga, I, I, and nigga, I, I, I'm an old nigga and I ain't big. But please have the same motherfucker in it. I do. I, I have it. I wouldn't give a fuck if you're 20 no, deep. Please look have it. the same fucking in it. Poor ass niggas. I, I'm from. I'm. Uh, I grew up in I grew up in the eighties and the nineties, bro. I don't like all that extra fucking talking shit. Nigga, I don't, I don't give a fuck when you grew up, nigga. You think I give a fuck when you grew up? The and fuck you talking talk to, you talk to nigga? Nobody gives a fuck about that's you, man. Richmond, you a fucking nobody, man. Okay. That's what the fuck you are. Okay. You okay. don't even want to. You don't even want to big up your own fucking family. You come I on this motherfucker talk man. about dead motherfuckers, nigga. I said nothing about no. <laughs> that's what the fuck you did, you nigga. Shut the fuck argument. up, everybody. Heard your dumb ass. Right. Come on, everybody talk heard about dead motherfuckers. You looking for a cult to follow your dumb ass, nigga? I never. Why are you nigga love to your own family? I mean, why nigga? you calling me a dumbass nigga and stuff? Come love on, your own you family. Don't be trying to don't be, to, like don't be over here telling other niggas about you. Like you that. don't know other niggas, man. Yes, that's what it's disrespectful, nigga. Yes, and I'm gonna continue. That's what your bitch ass, ass don't know, ass, right? and that's what the rest of them ain't tell you. I'm gonna check your ass bitch. Ass. In Indian, I'm you gonna can't tell a non nigga on here by his You're not an Indian. You're not an Indian. None of y'all niggas are Indians. None of y'all. None of y'all. None of y'all. And why you feel like this? You know your African ancestors? Why you feel? Do you know your African ancestors? No. Hell no, that nigga. Five. You know his fucking daddy, pop. 
I know my hey, I, 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 I know my African ancestors. I don't know my African ancestors. Hey, hey, Top Cat. I mean, why? Does that have to do with anything? Hey, Top Cat. Yo, I wanted to tell you this because because you did because you know about this. I heard you speaking on it, right? Like I was like I was telling you earlier. I said every family got four rivers, right? That means you got four great grandma mumps and all that type of shit, right? I got three from here. Them the three I just showed y'all, right? Guess who my other fourth line is? Top cat, you talked about. Them. And you and I can prove this. Go to the lot, go to the Grand Lodge of, of England and ask them who their first grandmaster was. That's all I'm going to say. And then trace that motherfucker back to me. And watch Big up, happen. Virginia. Big up, Virginia. You feel me? I come from a yeah. line of Max, McCall's, McQueen's. They the more. They the more. No, they the more. They the more. They the real more. Y'all talking about? They the real more. Y'all was talking about? Hey, are you oh kidding? Are you kidding more? Florida and Georgia. What's that now? The king, the McQueens that came in from Florida and Georgia. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you who the McQueens are. You ever heard of Cozell McQueen? Nah, I never. Derrick McQu McQueen. Derrick yeah. used to play for Wake Forest. Cozell played for NC State. NC State won the championship. Cozell was their starting center. You talking about? You talking about? Um, back in the eighties. Yeah, they beat Houston. Yeah, he, he caught the he caught the he caught the alley oop. No, the alley -oop. no, Cozell was the starting center. You yeah, I know he about... caught the alley oop. The forward they caught the alley oop. I remember that game. That was like the dude who caught the alley oop was Lorenzo Charles. The, that was the fast slammer jam. So that was a good ass game, bro. Yeah, really? good ass game. Yeah, but I remember that shit. One of my early, no, not one of my early numbers. Okay, so my last I lived in the project. I thought his name was Ralph, Ralph or some shit. No, he was Ralph Sampson. Ralph Sampson? Yeah, that was Virginia. No, that, um, he talking about when, uh, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I used to play. I came out of the run. They had Michael, they had Michael Young and all them. Yeah, the five slammer jammers, yeah. Yeah, that was my team back in the day. They had, they had, they had Derek Wittenberg, Sidney Lowe. Cozell, Terry Gannon, yeah, they had Cole, a squad, Cole Bailey, and Lorenzo Charles. Yeah, they had a squad. I remember that. Yep. I know you're talking about. Hey, Houston, they do something this year. They look like they about to do something this year. Who? Houston? Who Houston. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you feel good. Yeah, who, you feel good. Who they got? You know, I, I started, when I went, I was in the military, so I stopped being a fan of, like, foreign teams. You know, I started just liking Virginia teams. But Houston's still one of my, one of my, you know, that's, that's who I went with in the, um, you know, in the March Madness, though. Hey, yeah. Also, Big hey, up for Virginia. You play against right? Miami, ain't it? You? Houston against Miami, right? I think so. I, I, ain't, I ain't look. I've been asleep all day, bro. I ain't, I ain't looked at shit. Hey, I'm yo. Hey, more. Hey, more. Hey, more on some real shit, though, right? I was just talking shit earlier, but listen. Don't take that shit serious. Listen. On some real shit, though. Listen. It ain't a lot of us, right? But it's more than you think. It's, a, it's quite a few of us, man, who we from here, man. And, I, and listen to me now. Like I was saying earlier about the way nations are built, this is what y'all don't know. My family was on the fucking run, man, for their fucking life. Okay. Listen to me. Listen to me. They, when they ran, not only did they run, now I'm going to tell you the way they gave y'all this in history. It's the same story, but stay with me. In history, they told you there was a great war in Europe, and the Europe was in the in the war was about religion, that people didn't want to bow down to the Pope, and they, and they called, and their people protested, and they became Protestants. You remember that, right? So yeah, fifteen seventeen. Right, right, right. I'm glad you got the date. I'm glad you got the date because we had to get the fuck out of there by the late, by like 1580. So, uh, so you know, they started, they start, they start having um civil, civil strife. Um, uh, it was a lot of motherfuckers being killed. It was a lot of motherfuckers who was, um, as you would say, hiding in other religions to to save their neck. 
right? Because this was what y'all don't understand when y'all be talking is that you gotta you gotta be able to time travel, right? Ooh. When, you, when you go back in time, you can't be thinking the way things is right now because that ain't the way it was then, right? So you got a bunch of uh, the word verbal that means barbarian. You that means savage, basically bush men, right? Don't give a fuck what the background is, that's, right? That's because, what barbarian that because, means, though. because we weren't civilized. This wasn't a civilization yet. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, which I'm gonna show you how language be fucking with y'all. You got the giants of South America, right? Right. right, right, and then they give right. y'all this story. Okay. Then y'all they give y'all this story, right? Big, Cat, I know Top Cat just um was down there in Guatemala. You should have went a little right. further south. You seen the big temples, right? Right, there was an animal instead of a human down there. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. Where, where, where you was at, Top White right? Guatemala area, right? You talking, you talking, uh, 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 um. Uh. Uh, listen to me. Right? When when the Spanish boy say yo my essay, uh, he 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 talking essay. You feel what I'm saying, Mississippi? You feel what I'm saying? So that's that's jaguar. What y'all don't know the Pyan, When I'm when I'm writing about the Pyan, the jaguar, they they they, they what we call twa, right? Our uh, 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 little people, right? I be hearing somebody talking about Big Mama. No, Mama little. We little people. Now stay with me. I'm go, I'm, I'm I'm back in time now. Stay with me. I ain't I ain't know I ain't nowhere close right now. Stay with me. I'm back those, in time. Those people are those, stay with me. Those stay with me. You just... Stay with stay with me. I'm back in time. So listen, the giants, right? The give y'all the tribe. They start talking about tribes. Maya, Inca. The giants was was the Inca, right? The Inca mixed with the Jaguar, right? to make what we call modern man, right? This is why you got motherfuckers walking around six three, six three, five nine. you feel what I'm saying? So what y'all don't know is that the Inca still live today. They the Dinka. They the same giants, the ones in, in Sudan. Right. I'm always suspect of people when they say stuff like that. What do you y'all think about the giant slayers? What do you think about the giant slayers like David, Paul Bunyan, uh, stories like that? Listen, David is symbolic for DNA. Like in the Bible, King David, they talking about your fucking DNA. So hold on, Inca. Do you say they were tall? They were tall. They were giants, or were they smaller people? I'm, I'm Inca, telling Inca. you. I'm telling you. They're telling you how to make modern man. David got this. Got the slate of giant. I just told you that the Inca that the Inca mixed with the Pyan to make modern man. The Twa has the most diverse. Yeah, you got Twa everywhere. You got the leprechaun. But that's why you I was asking about the Twa earlier. Yeah, you got you got the leprechaun, you got the mama wate. You got, I mean, it's the same. The twa, so Twa and Inca is the same people. So you got listen, you got the you got the the Anu mixed with the with the Dinka and then make the Bantu, and the Bantu become what they call the the civilizer of the of the of the Kushites. Right? See them, watch this. Them talk them called them mix and called with, with Hutti, which was which which was twa, right? And them and the, and the offspring become what? Watusi. Right? So them fighting with them own family don't know this. Cause it's years and years of it. Just like right now, watch this, watch this. Do you know on some serious shit? If most of us on this panel and, and that's listening, right? If we did a, a real genealogy search, right? All I ask gonna end up at the family reunion together. That's why I wanted to ask you when you, you said, when, you, when you spoke on a uh, family being on the run for their life, and uh, you yeah, said they, you from from the max. They, they had they had, they came to America, right? 
and they hid uh, as Christians. All right. Yeah, see, uh, that's what on this line in my family, I have a, he, he's a McGuire, but he took my great, great, great grandmother's now, name. Now, this, you, you, see, you might have seen this in your family, uh, anybody else that was Christian. Listen to me now. It don't matter whether you, it, it matter, it kind of matter. But let's say you was a Baptist or a Methodist, right? Now, y'all a little younger, so, so you, you probably didn't see this happening. You know, so, but there were older people in the church. Listen to me now, because this, 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 this go about some of y'all grandma, right? And she say, boy, get up when you're tired to go to church. And you know, you, you trying to see the game. So you looking at the watch, you think, damn, they gonna, I'm going to be them, I'm going to be them Mr. Quarter. Grandma, I ain't trying to go to church. Well, I ain't gonna tell you no more. But your, your question as the kid is, Grandma, why you ain't going to church? If you was like me, I was one of them sassy mouth kids, they say, he asked too many goddamn questions. So, Grandma, why you ain't going to church? You always want me to go to church. Grandma say, boy, they don't keep it holy no more. So I thought about when grandma said that, but at the time, honestly, when she said it, it, it didn't really mean much to me. And then I got older, right? And I went to church. And then I, for some reason, I thought about what grandmama said, but they don't keep it holy no more. I think that was the first time I really listened to the sermon in the church. Cause I was like the average young man that went to church, right? I used to try to sit on the back row. Was that church in Virginia? No, nah, no. Nah. North Carolina? I went, I went to church in DC and I went to church in, in South Carolina. That's yeah, the same thing. My, uh, DC is, is not a real place. DC is a city that was built because I, I got a, I got a question for you. I went keep to in DC is a little different though. Hey, DC folks gonna get on your ass. Don't say DC not a real place. Uh, oh no, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it in disrespect. I mean that it, it, it's something that's new that was set up. And black people haven't been living there that long. When I say stuff not a real place, I mean that black people haven't been living there that long. Hey, brother, black I don't mean you know, DC is definitely real. It's, it's DC. I'm hey, a real nigga. I don't have no trust to respect DC. Hold on, people build DC, nigga, in the origins of DC. Oh, of course, he was from the It's called Chocolate City for a motherfucking reason. It's called Chocolate City because it has a very large black population. Niggas was already in DC. No, they were not. There was no DC. Watch this here. There was man. no DC. DC is right. made out of the damn. Um, well, uh, when they drain the Potomac. Who the Potomac? Who that was here, bro? You don't know about my go back thing. to Murray, right? So a guy named Murray back then, he worked at the National Archives. When he lost his job in the 1890s, when they started bringing in the white supremacy, they started pushing the blacks out of the establishment, bringing in the whites. At that time, all of the, the major land in DC was held by niggas. Dave Chappelle family is one of I those. I told you, eighteen ninety, they took this joke. Dave Chappelle is from. Dave Chappelle is from Maryland. He's from. Nigga, Sil they from, from DC. Silver Spring. That's, that's, that's not DC. Brother, Silver his family is not out of DC. I'm not even. Silver gonna Spring is not DC. So, so what you what, what you trying to argue about DC for, man? Silver Spring is not DC. I mean, whoever said something to me about saying DC not a real place, you know that. He named out his grandpa. His grandpa worked in the White House. His grandpa was from South Carolina. All right, I'm about to pull his. His grandpa was from South Carolina, bro. Nigga, everybody from hey, DC from down they, south. They from oh, Virginia, Maryland. Hey, yeah. Alibaba, I got a question. Hold on, one mic. One mic. Hold on. I got a question for you. Because you you sent. All right, look. So, so nobody said they. So, oh, no, somebody got some feedback, man. 
Somebody got to mute their mic. It's, it's a lot of feedback. It's bleeding through. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can. Yeah, that's Gucci. That's good. All right. Hey, Alibaba, who are the people yeah. that can predict the future and once they close their eyes, they're not here no more, and they come back down and they tell they they tell the stories. But not only that, it's like uh, who 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 do the, who do you think those people come from? You mean uh, you you mean like a medium? Is that what you mean? Uh, it's, it's more. It's, it's more. It's more than that. Is they they it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot uh, of, like it, it's the it's the people it's the people that can bring forth anything without doing rituals. Listen, what are those I, people? I, I, I know exactly what you're saying. It's um the mediums. It's um it's a birth defect. Um, you know, all birth defects ain't bad. It's a birth defect. It's uh, it's hard to explain. You have to be one. Um, but it's um, it's crazy. But um, this might sound crazy, but that's how that's how I write. I can't just I can't just write. I have to no, wait. Okay. I have to wait for um. I ain't gonna talk about everything, but it's um. Like a download. It's it's it's, it's strange things right. that happen right. at, at strange times. Epiphany. You get the and, epiphany, and, right? And it and it tells me, it guides me to righteousness. That's all I can say. So, Ali, would, now, you, would you say now that? Some, they, now they, some people they, some people may have different definitions of what righteousness is. <laughs> it's simple for me. I mean I mean it the same way the Bible means. I mean the right gas, meaning the correct answer in science. So I'm a perfectionist, right? This is why we were great and marveled in, in many things at one time because we were perfectionist people. But now we, as a, as a, as a people, when I say as a people, I mean as a collective. I mean white, black. I don't care what you call yourself. We are, we are, we are humans who have lowered our standards to where we accept anything in our lives. We, we despise those who love us and try to give us good information where we cheer and hug those and bring them close so they can stab us in our back. We, would we you say you're one of the indigo children then? Those What's indigo that? children? Would you consider yourself one of those indigo children? I don't know what an indigo- Off of what you just described. I don't know what an indigo child is. To me, in my opinion, pretty much what you just said. Right? Bloodline. Indigos came in the eighties. Indigos came after eighty three. Okay. At the eighty three. Oh, okay. Like that's that new age stuff. Only thing I can tell you, the titles are exonyms. You know that. The only thing I can tell, tell you is that everything I learned come from my bloodline. That's how I look at it, and then I I located. I locate the first person that told me to do genealogy. See, I thought it was for well, all I knew it was two people on the planet that could understand uh, what I was talking about, and they related to me. And then that's that's how I find. And then be you know because they transcended. But the crazy the crazy thing about it is that that relative uh, was born one day before I was. So everything that happens to me is all blood related, and that's why I was asking you where does that shit come from. Listen, fucking true. Praying, that's true. Listen, you praying on them. Now, what I mean by that is, I'm, I'm, I'm when I speak. I used to, um, for years, I used to meet people where they were at to explain things. I no longer do that, so. I'm going to say something and then I'll explain if I think it needs explaining, right? So um, when I say praying, praying means to remember. Just that simple. For thousands of years, they done bullshitted people that praying means some other shit. It means to remember. That's why 
That's why in your Bible you was told not to, to adopt the traditions and customs of other peoples because it'll make you forget about who the fuck you was and how to do shit your fucking way. Real simple. So um, when you thinking about that ancestor though, right? You praying on them, right? Now how you gonna get a blessing from grandma, mom, aunt, whoever it is, right? If you ain't thinking about the blessing that she gave, right? See, she might have been dead for 10 years, right? But it was a conversation she told you one day that's prevalent right now when you're about to make a decision. So therefore, you are receiving the blessing. Why? Because you got a good memory. You prayed on it, right? See, a lot of us become pieces of shit because we cut our family members off. How we cut them off? Oh, he did. They don't go visit the graves. They don't sit around and talk like he's still there. So I don't fuck around. You see my man right there? That's my father. He gonna stay there at least till I'm dead. You can believe that. You can believe that. Greatest man I ever met. Right there. Gator. You better believe it. It's hey, a lot of y'all. It's a lot of y'all fathers. Hey, that's, my a, father. that's, a, that's an Indian nickname right there. Gator. That's an Indian nickname. Yeah. All of us got all of us got um we got Skeet, Hunting Boy, Gator. I'm Roy, uh, <laughs> short for Royal. Uh, we got uh Coop. Coop, we call him Coop because he, you know, turtle, he's slow. Uh, you know, all this, you know. <laughs> I go yeah, all yeah. Have you seen Indian name? Turtle, bear, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, we got, got that shit, too. All that shit in my, yeah, pool. Yeah, my, yeah, my cousin named Squirrel. His son named Coon. And my nickname, Rabbit. That's, that's you people's in, nigga. Yeah. You people's in. Rabbit, hold up. Now I got, I got rabbits in my, in my family now, yeah. in Virginia. Yeah, that's what they what about, what about a wounds? That come on. Let me see if they come with daddy Woonsy. I don't know what the hell's a Woonsy. Hey, listen, listen. Mississippi, who, who from Mississippi? Me, brother. Well, I was born in Mississippi. Cleveland, hey, Mississippi. Watch this. Hey, Mississippi, you don't know this, Mississippi. Watch this. Oh, this is some real talk shit here. Most people in Mississippi got moved from Carolina, but they originally got came to Carolina only because they was running from Mississippi. Did, did you understand what I just said? <laughs> I'm going to say this again. What he said, they miss Most people in Mississippi, right, they came from, from Carolina, Virginia area, right? But they originally came to, to Carolina, Virginia area. From right? Mississippi. Anyway. From Mississippi. The, right. Each time they running. See, I don't know why y'all don't act like what is this, man. Don't be scared of these crackers, man. Fuck these pepper wood, man. Let me tell you, don't follow me. I done told you, don't follow me. I don't give a fuck about the motherfuckers. I done did times in the fair. I don't give a fuck about none of them motherfuckers. Let me tell you something, man. Y'all be scared to say what it is, man. Them crackers, man, murder our ass, man. Y'all be trying to act like it was, y'all be talking all that fake ass shit that they made the fuck up. Are you fucking kidding me? The uh, crap ain't listen, listen, all that bullshit they show y'all, all that bullshit, all them paintings in Rome and all that shit is made to fuck up. All that Greek shit, all that shit is made to fuck up. Y'all can live the rest of y'all life believing that shit as you want. Them crackers ain't now had let me ask shit you, until who are the they ain't had shit until 1700. And that was over and over there. on the panel, man. If any of y'all grandparents ever, uh, especially your grandmother, ever talked about these gypsy people? They don't, they don't f with them gypsy people. What, what, what they mean when they say those gypsies, man? Hey, talking about traveling, no man. <laughs> I'm serious. Man. Oh, oh okay. my granny grew up in a, a shack in the, in in Coweta County, man. So you don't uh, know about no I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what he was talking about, right? Uh, cause, cause uh, some people in my family been called it, right? Um, mm -hmm. you had um, 
traveling showmen. Uh, th this was the event of the circus, that type shit. Uh, uh, Broadway, that type shit. You know what I mean? But um, in, initially, it was it was to call the freak show. And then the freak show gave birth to the peep show. The freak show was a bunch yeah. of motherfuckers with birth defects. You're right. All, You're right. All kind of fucked up shit. Motherfucker with two heads, motherfucker with 15 toes, yeah. motherfucker with three yeah. legs, all yeah. kind of shit. Is that Alligator man, the motherfucker with hell on them. That's one finesse people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the gypsies? Okay. Right. And then That's they... um. Then they add, you know, they started adding different uh, parts of culture in it. You know what I'm saying? That was foreign to other people. You know what I mean? So, you know what's funny, that, man? My grandma's name, her nickname was Red. Y'all talk about some uh, Indian names and stuff. Her name was Red. She was like five foot. You know what I'm saying? She was. Yeah, my mom. For my information, she was a. My her name was Red. Said, man, she was. I got an Indian pink. You see. You, name pictures. Name you see, red. you see, uh, there's a thing called my complexion is called reddish brown, right? Yeah, if, if we was out in the yeah. sun, you would really you would see it even better, right? But, um, uh, there's a fine line between somebody who reddish brown. And somebody who appears to be my complexion. The difference is we is gonna be shown in the sunlight though. Right? Now what I mean by that is because um what I call a triple a tri I call it a double uh a double bypass. That means two generations of mixing, and motherfucker might end up being my complexion. You feel me? But what I'm saying is by nature, this has always been East Asians complexion. Right? Whether we, whether y'all call us the Kushites, whether you're in Madagascar, whether you in southern Yemen, whether you in Oman, whether you in India, whether you in Papua New Guinea, whether you in fucking Hawaii, and Hawaii, y'all don't know, came from Georgia. They 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 See, y'all don't be thinking. Hawaii wasn't even that big then because of the fucking, the volcano had made the motherfucker that big. It was just that simple. But Hawaii, Hawaiians came from, uh, they were Hawaiian uh, in Georgia. Uh, you can look it up. Um, the Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, we got it. You know what, Essie? Listen, down, listen. You, 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 you know why we call ourselves Essie? Nah, I it's know we got a place down here in Florida called uh, Hi 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 Yes, that's like, Tal that's like Tallah. That's like Tallah. That's like Tallahassee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. capital. Tallahassee. So, yeah. Are yeah. you from Florida, brother? Up there, I, live in Florida? I live in Naples, man. Yeah, I, I live in Orlando, man. Oh yeah. Well, oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, I stayed in uh, Jacksonville for a little bit, man. About fuck years. with me, okay, Orlando. Okay, fuck with me then. Fuck with me. Then. <laughs> Well, well, that was a little bit though because hey, you know, nigga just, still getting the ten of keys superior. That nigga still getting the old ten of keys. Hey, hey, Orlando, Orlando, you, Orlando, you, Orlando, you know I'm the, the you know I'm the only black motherfucker. That's that old Castro. I'm I'm the only that's black that's motherfucker in Naples, man. Oh, for real? Shit, think I'm bullshit. I've been down to Mockley. Hey, you still, still got that old Castro uh, connect? Just went through Naples. <laughs> Said <laughs> No, no. Actually, I, actually, I went to prison. I was innocent, dog. No bullshit. Innocent as a motherfucker. You want to know what my life was? Listen, you see all this shit. You got to, who? Who in here from Baltimore, D.C., New York? If you from that area or Carolina, I guarantee you, your peoples know me. I used to, I used to be a street activist. So all, all the, a lot of shit y'all sit back and I don't talk about. Like, see, I knew Khalid Muhammad for real, personally. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I knew I knew my man Malachi personally, for real. You know what I'm saying? So I know some things y'all don't know. 
that's that's it's real obvious why y'all don't know it is it's beyond me because motherfuckers don't give a shit. I learned that shit when you get locked up, don't nobody give a shit but you. You better believe that shit. So um they attacked a lot of us at the same time. Um Marion Barry, Khalid, me, Donald Temple, um, I mean I can go on and on and on. Um I couldn't believe I got locked up. Um, it's funny because I'm going to tell you why it's funny because here I am an activist every day I'm teaching motherfuckers about just what I teach motherfuckers about shit <laughs> you know, and, um, I'm going to tell you how I got locked up I got a first cousin he out there in Texas he an informant he sell cars he in Houston, Texas We got a farm, we got a family farm in Cypress, Texas. It's called Easterling Farms. I know what is it. So if you run into Tim Easterling, I advise you to be careful. That's all I'm gonna say. So uh, I'm living in DC. He lives in South Carolina. His aunt, I mean, my aunt, his, who is his mom, called me one day and said uh, he was, you know, fucking up in school and all that though type shit. But I was, I, was, I was the big cuz that he looked up to and all that. So she was like, have a talk with him. Woo, woo, woo. So I told nigga, look, man, nigga, get your shit straight, man. Come on, man. You ain't no dumb motherfucker. You been in the um, college prep classes and shit. Now, how the fuck you flunking? What the fuck? And you supposed to be graduating, man. Get your shit right. I said, so I made a promise with him. I said, look, nigga, you graduate, I buy you a motherfucking car, and you can move to goddamn DC and stay with me. The motherfucker pulled my motherfucking coattail. I had to buy this nigga a car. <laughs> so, so he graduated, you know, he came to DC, he chilled with me. Um, I was working for DC government at the University of DC. So I enrolled him in school. And, Wait, uh, what work you were doing with the government? I was working as a procurement specialist, contracts, that type of shit. You know, you know what procurement is? No, nah, tell me. It's uh, it's it's uh, when you're dealing with products and services of any type, right? Uh, there's more. I put it this way. There's more things in, 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 the, in, the, in the public that y'all call public that's really government funded. And if you work in a procurement office, you'll learn that shit. There's so much shit come through there, you'd be like, wow. I'm talking, I mean, nigga be having a concert. Check, you got to pay that nigga, come through your desk. You know what I'm saying? It could be, it could be all kind of crazy shit. I mean, oh, so, nigga, oh, so you, oh, oh, so you were working with the motherfucker who would pay a thousand dollars for a hammer. Pay, pay, pay for what now? You pay a thousand dollars for a hammer. That's what they charge the army a thousand dollars for a yeah, hammer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You worked in that department. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's but, but, but the department you talking about though. See, that's that's more what I call central. See, I work for the government of the District of Columbia. What you talking about is the Department of the Army or either the Department of yeah, the Department you know, of Defense. Yeah, DOD. Yeah, right. right. You feel what I'm saying? Back to like government right. contracting, right? right. I mean, yeah, I, I see this just like I say with anything. It could be parade, it can be any fucking thing. It could be fucking motherfucker, a TV for office, it could be books for the school, it could be, I mean, anything. And the way we used to split it up was um, we got um, most procurement offices, they split it up kind of like they do with finances, right? Um, you got certain reportings that must be made over 10,000, right? And certain shit under 10,000 that don't have to be reported. Well, when you're in procurement, um, what we call uh, uh, 
large purchasing and small purchasing, the division line is the 10,000 line, right? So you have a small purchasing branch where they handle anything under 10,000. Then you got another, you got the large purchasing where most large purchasing is what we call construction and utility shit, development shit, right? Don't tell me you swiped a car. You know what I'm saying? It might be, it might be something like uh, 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 repair of a street. It might be um, re boiler room type issues, plumbing type issues in a building. It might be actual construction of a building. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's what that's basically what procurement is. But yeah, back to what I was saying. So, um, I'm working. I'm working in you know for the government, and um, I was actually 54 days away from getting my bachelor's degree. And my cousin calls me um, because he had left DC. Um, kind of pissed with me. Uh, I brought him to DC, you know, to go to school, right? Now the car that I brought him, he tore it up, right? So his mom brought him. Uh, um, do y'all remember Lincoln had a car called an LSC? Y'all remember that? Nope. So his, mom, his, his, mama, his mama brought him an LSC, which was a luxury car. And that might have that might have kind of messed things up. Cause um every day he go, you know, I'm getting in my joint, I'm going to work. And he like, you know, he fucking around at the crib and I'll see you later, black. And so I'm thinking he coming to school. And uh one day I'm in the elevator. And one of my coworkers asked me, he, you know, he used to call my cousin, my brother. I said, man, where your brother at, man? I ain't seen him. I see shit, he up here every day. And he was like, uh, you sure? I said, why you say that? He said, man, listen, man, let me talk to you. So uh, he worked in um, registration, and he was telling me that he could have swore he seen my cousin's name come across his desk after he was drawn from school. So I'm like, in his office, man, I looked that shit up and this nigga been pulling one on me. He was never in school. He was, he, what he was doing was enrolling every semester. And then he would unenroll un in time to get 85% of the money back. So a year and a half done shot by. His mom done brought him this new car. And she called me. Like, I mean, this happened like two days after my man told me this. And she told me that she wanted to see his grades. So I told the nigga, look, I ain't going to lie to your mama for you, man. You got to handle that. So he, you know what, man? This school shit ain't for you. Ain't for me. This shit for you. This shit for Wayne, talking about his other brother. And this shit ain't for me, man. I'm going out. I'm going to Texas. I said, you going to Texas? Texas and do what? With no education. I'm going to stay with Mike. I'm going to pimp bitches. So make a long story short. That's what the, that's what the story was. He was out there with his uncle uh, pimping bitches in Houston, Texas. And then uh, March 19th, 1993. My daughter's first birthday. I'm in the office. It's three o'clock. I'm leaving the office early. Because my daughter having a birthday party in Baltimore. So I, you know, anybody know about the area, you know, a little traffic, a little traffic. We got a party at seven o'clock. So I'm going to leave at three. My cousin called me. Yo, Black, what's up, man? Yo, we in town. Yeah, what's up, man? I got to go to Baltimore. Man, we in Baltimore, man. So make a long story short, they they in Baltimore at the Marriott down on Lombard Street. 
at the time, my daughter staying with her grandmother in West Baltimore on Lombard Street, which is like eight, not eight blocks away. So it, it was kind of real convenient for me to holler at them. So I tell my girl, look, I'm going down to, down to uh, Marriott to holler at Tim and them. I'll be back. Will you make sure you go buy Chuck E. Cheese and all that. So I had to go with and buy Chuck E. Cheese, do all this, you know, rental type stuff for the party. Cause I gotta get back by seven o'clock. Go to the hotel, run into my cousin, his cousin, his uncle, and a dude from Baltimore. His uncle named Michael Brown. Michael Brown tells me, hey Rob, man, we got some friends coming in town, man. These motherfuckers got reservations booked over in Virginia at the Radisson Hotel. You know where that shit at? I said, no, nah, dog, but uh, all you gotta do is grab a motherfucking uh, map junk from the desk. They got all the major junks in the area. So we did that seminary road. He said, yeah, man, I know where that shit at. Man, show us how to get over there, man. What, you got time, right? I said, yeah, we got to leave right now, though. I ain't going to never forget this shit. It was 420. I said, if we leave right now, because he told me he was going to pick them up. We can get, I can be back by 7. So, boom, we leave. We go over to the Radisson Hotel, pull up. Uh, Mike was riding with the dude from Baltimore, because he just pulled up out of nowhere. Mike jumped in the car with him. I'm driving, I'm driving my joint. So I pull up, the valet man tell me you can't, you can't park here. My cousin jumped out, he going in with Mike, with him and E. So I go around, pull in this little parking lot they got. Now at the time, we had just had a major snowstorm. So it's crazy snow stacked in the um, parking lot anyway, it's cold as shit. I sit out of that joint about five minutes, man, let me take my ass in the lobby. I go in the lobby, sit at the bar, maybe five minutes. I'm messing with this girl who she the bartender and shit. And uh, I turn around, here come Tim and Mike, man, we ready to go, we ready to go. Pull the cars up. I go back through the car, crank the car up, let that shit run about 40 seconds, you know, trying to get a little heat. Next thing I know, I see about 100 red dots on my ass. I'm like, God damn, what the fuck? Then I see a bright light over there over top of the car. They got a heli DEA helicopter flying. They got DEA agents all around my motherfucking ass. And this mama with a blow horn, like he Columbo somebody. He, you know, he telling me, drive it with your left hand, come up out of that joint and all that. So make a long story short. They don't arrest me for conspiracy to possess and distribute uh, uh, five, uh, five or more kilos of cocaine, which meant eight, eight kilos, right? So uh, that's what the Bamas was in there doing. So come to find out after I got arrested, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing, so I couldn't know any shit. I don't know shit. So... We get arrested, man. And I ain't never been locked. I mean, I've been locked up before, but I ain't never been did no time before. You feel me? So I'm like, um, shit, I'm Gucci, and I'm right here and work for the government. You know, we're talking about the bail shit, right? And um, uh, man, y'all ain't gonna believe this shit. I can't. Remember. It was a movie, right? That in the movie, the the niggas was in a car. And, and the nigga that, that put the drugs in the car got out on bail on this man and left his man in jail, right? And this movie was playing in the jail when I was locked the fuck up. Did you know the same time that scene was playing? I heard, I heard the CO say, Easterling, pack your shit up. You, you get, you're making bail. So I'm thinking he talking about me and shit, right? This nigga talking about my first cousin. So make let y'all know what went down. This is what went down. Tim Uncle Michael Brown was a bullshit ass pimp from, from Baltimore. 
who got ran the fuck out of Baltimore. The nigga got lucky. He went to Houston, Texas, and he married a madam. Y'all know what a madam is? That's yep. a real, that's a real winner. So the fans was trying to get her ass for white slavery, right? Couldn't get a slick ass. They had, I ain't never been out there to the joints, but just from word of mouth, because some real, I mean, like my grandmother and all them went out there. Them niggas got had massage parlors, sex, um, toy stores, all that old type of shit, right? And um, so so what happened was they couldn't uh, they couldn't catch her ass, right? So Mike, they 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 had a they had a nice size house, but Mike wanted to add like a um a big old glass dome over a pool and a little planetarium type shit. So the feds got real slick on their bitch ass. The feds sent the construction team up in that motherfucker on his ass. And that's how we got locked up. The nigga bullshitted Mike, told Mike, look, man, I got these birds that need to fly, man, but you know, I need a motherfucker that know how to, you know, get, get them in range and shit. So Mike was like, yeah, I got a partner, man, in Baltimore who ended up being Silky Cunningham um, who was like, he was one of the biggest drug dealers in East Baltimore and shit, right? And uh, and then he was going to give the rest of the coke to Tim and E. They were going to do it down south. And here my ass is, now, now watch this. If you think I'm bullshitting, look this shit up. My fed number 1-9-200-083. One, one I'll never forget that motherfucker. 1-9-200-083. Oh eight three, check this shit out. Now do what you call, do what you call dirty dealing. So y'all be hearing about this shit, but y'all ain't never witnessed this shit. The feds set this nigga up, had a sting on this nigga, had all this shit recorded, so the feds knew that I ain't even know what the fuck was going on. Cause they hear everything. And them dirty motherfuckers made me the fall guy of the case. Look this shit up. They, they, you know, like anybody that's ever been locked up, they got what they call levels, right? Like you could be a, you could be like the head motherfucker. They could be like the lieutenant, right? So in the feds, they call it like major uh, medium and minor, right? So here they go, they're gonna say, they're gonna charge us with um, two counts. It's a two count indictment. No, nah, I'm lying. It's a three count indictment. Count one, conspiracy. Count two was intent to possession with the intent to distribute. Count three was a gun charge. The gun charge was never applied to me because it was my gun. They said I was never, I never got charged with count two because I was never going to possess or distribute. I ain't know about the shit. I ain't give them no money for the shit. So how the fuck they charge me with conspiracy? And give me 10 years and them son bitches did 30 months 30 months and 48 months, I think. And I'm in the joint for 10 years. I come home, niggas call me a convict. Niggas that I got jobs. Niggas who knew my ass was innocent. You know what I did? I played broke on all them son of bitches. I let all them motherfuckers spit on me, talk shit about me, laugh at my ass. You know, I was working, I was working as a janitor. I even taught school. <laughs> the shit was funny. I would teach the school in two different districts. Them motherfuckers said, oh shit, he got a felony. <laughs> 
But that ain't why they got rid of me, though. That's the second time. That's why they got rid of me. The, the first time they got rid of me because I'm a real teacher, and I don't take that bullshit. And them motherfucking kids, all that, all that old cursing, and uh, I told one kid, "You need to go get your daddy because I'm gonna knock his bitch ass out, and then I'm gonna knock your punk ass out." <laughs> and I went, and I went to park park a lot, and was waiting on that motherfucker. And they was like, they was like, "You got to go." <laughs> Because I don't know what the fuck he thought he was sending to school. This nigga sent a straight game member to school. And a little disrespectful motherfucker thought. I don't know what he thought. But I was like, it's the wrong motherfucker, dog. It ain't, it ain't going to go down that, like that. That's all I can tell you. It ain't going down like that. I'm like every other motherfucker. You can whoop my ass, but you got to be a killer. You can whoop my ass, but you got to be a killer. Because you got to kill me. Your yo family, I don't mean no disrespect, but um, folks saying the pound of sleep, man, y'all need to wake up, man. Uh, we need to change the subject or something. Oh, yeah, man. Damn, I have felt it. I'm dope yeah. now, shit. Hey, Alex, Baba, do you think yeah, go go wake, you? Everybody wake your ass up, man. Yeah, you know, Throw them or something. Wake up. Hey, you think go-go music is uh, indigenous? Uh, Miami or took or it, though. Go go music, go go music came off the Mississippi, man. Oh, Miami just beat uh Houston down. What? Miami going through the next round. Are you serious? People from Mississippi are from Virginia. What are you talking about? How's something gonna come up here? No, go go music. Came, go here. go music came off the Mississippi. Ain't right? off no damn Mississippi, man. Come on, bro. Y'all are from here. Isn't that vice versa? I mean, no. really, I mean, you, that's go go music came off the Mississippi, dog. What? Hey, where, Kujo, where, Kujo. Where you ain't talk brown from? I don't man. have people from Mississippi at all. You listen. have people from Virginia. That's the difference. Listen, where you hey, ain't talk brown from? I got a question for you, bro. You got you eat bronze with stew? Huh? You eat bronze with stew? I ain't understand you, son. Do I eat bronze with stew? Do I eat bronze with stew? No, no. Yeah, uh, nigga, do you eat bronze with stew? No, but do you eat macaroni and cheese? Yeah, bro, but that ain't what I you asked do, you, bro. Brunswick Virginia, still though. came from Virginia, bro. How you don't eat Brunswick with I'm down here in Virginia. Georgia, bro, but you were from Virginia and, and, and you don't eat that? Wait, you eat macaroni and cheese, right? But you say you from Africa. I don't eat what you eat because you're from there. I don't have uh, I gave you, no, nah, because every time we talk about this food, everybody want to talk about collard greens, fried chicken, and macaroni and cheese, but... Well, you eat bronze with stew, that's from Virginia. Hey, brother, you eat down here in Georgia, and I didn't know you. My family come from some of my family come from Virginia. Hey, V.A., what's your last name? You already, you already know. He, bro, he don't know nothing. Hey, I got a real question for the people. You're telling me what I'm wrong. You're telling me you've never heard of me. That's the slave trade. Bro, but I'm wrong. I got a real question. I got a real question for the panel. Hey, how I get my, uh, my passport, uh, updated? My, sh my shit, uh, my shit expired. I heard you can do it online, but I'm, I'm asking y'all before gotta, I go. Hey, listen, I just I saw this shit. I'm talking like an hour ago. They got some kind of delay going on, so I'm not going to say that you're going to be delayed, but they just reported some kind of delay on the news with the, with the online passport. You heard me? I'm saying, it, it, uh, it, I heard if you, you can, can do it on. Go down to the, go down to the and see, like I'm saying, I, I didn't go, I didn't click the link. I don't know, I don't know what the delay is, so I'm not gonna say nothing beyond that. All right, what you what you said, Shrug? If you can go to the post office or a library and do it, and then pay for the expedited process. If you can't get the book and the card, the card is usually gonna come a little bit after the book. Right now, during the delays, from what I seen, but uh, I, I was, I'm gonna send you something in BCU though. Oh, you right. saw about the delays. Yeah, they have. Hey, Tom Cat, yeah, when you come to when you come to Florida, extra, man. Right? Top. We Top Cat. Yeah. You eat macaroni. Mm -hmm. Man, like working, mm -hmm. eating. Mm -hmm. eating or something. I know it'd be eating. Hey, hey, what's, no, hey, 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 what's, hey, what's y'all down there cooking in Florida, man? In Naples, what, what y'all cook down there? I mean, what, give me, give me some dishes, man. Man, I'm uh, y'all be chefing up, player. Hey, I'm, man, I'm, I'm, I'm Ethiopian heritage, man. So you know, uh, 
you know, we we like are spice. You, are you plant based? You vegan? Plant based? No, 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 Salmon man, we you know. <laughs> I'm old, you know. I'm from here. I'm from here for real, dog. You know, I, what you know about fried cornbread, dog. I mean, you know, I get down, dog. I still do dumplings, man. I do bammy, boy. Yeah, man, I do. I do hot water <laughs> cornbread. <laughs> what time make that dog? cornbread? Yeah. Yeah. Hot water cornbread, Nick. You feel me? I get down. See, watch this. Watch this. Any of y'all? Any of y'all have been having um? This is some serious shit here. Any of y'all been having like some? Complications because y'all had to get a COVID shot. Nah, I ain't do all that. Nah, though. man, we ain't, yeah, I ain't doing, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. I stood my ground, man. Listen, if it's anybody that you, anybody that's dear to you, right, that you may know, I, I know and, people that have people that died. Like, listen, and they may they be having some complications, the week. right? And they done tried all mm -hmm. that other bullshit and they still fucked up, right? Well, Trust me when I tell you this. It's an old medicine from right here. Now, the key is this. Depends on what state you're in, because some states, it's going to be impossible for you to find them. And then you got to make sure, because they were kind of borderline on the stink list one time, one way or the other. So you have to check that and make sure but you need your cooter. You hear them niggas talking about this Turtle Island, them niggas from England. Turtle ain't even fucking in our language. We call this motherfucker cooter. This motherfucker, you got to find your cooter. And there's a certain type of turtle called a cooter that you got to find. He looked like a <laughs> Pittsburgh Stiller. He looked like a Pittsburgh Stiller. You know what I'm talking about? Where you gonna find him at? You gonna find him back in them swamps, in them creeks, right? So you yeah, that's what turtle scoop with there? Uncle. We call my uncle Cooter Man. But, um, so, so you making that turtle soup with him? That right. You're going to make that Cooter soup, boy. But let me yeah, tell you something. Turtle soup. Let me bring that made turtle soup. Let me tell you something. Soup, yeah. big, big 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 man. Man. Let me tell you something y'all some don't know about, man. This real talk shit here. Because it's in history, but you know how like certain stuff, they kind of like talk about that shit one time and they leave it right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, uh, very seldom in history do they talk about diseases, right? And, and like uh, like we was talking about war earlier. See, that's a part of the war that y'all not keeping in mind. And I could take you to the graveyard and show you this. Ain't that right, Virginia? That you ought to know about it. Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina, so many of our people died, man, right? From the motherfucking uh, smallpox, my nigga. So many, so many, right? So... That was how they really um so so so, um, so hold on hold on so so why was the small part killing the people that was when from when you look at the description of it and then we look today at our immune system how is it killing off the people who had was the strongest and these little bit ass Europeans is making it it, it don't make sense listen it, it, genetically it don't make sense you know you know some some stuff um, I really believe it's best not discussed but read, right? Hmm? Um, because you get a bit of and, and that's what hurt. Not to cut, and that's what hurt. Immunity come in. I would say the first class of people that got that caught the smallpox. Me just thinking off how things work, right? Rises and transmit. No, like the first no, people no, probably no, they, did they, die, they, they did, but they, they after they built herd immunity up, they was able to. That's you what know, they did. It was it was it was an intentional ploy. It was done with the trades, with the goods, right? So, and yeah, once, yeah. once, 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 once you got it in, once you got it in into the port, right? Then, then it's there, so it's gonna spread like rapid. Then, so uh, they knew what they was doing. Um, they did it twice, right? And then once they did it, they Pass the law that you can't use chemicals in warfare no more. I'm gonna say this shit again. They did this shit twice back to back, took over the world, gave y'all a false history, then put in law you can't use chemicals no more. See, they took over Europe 
with the mulattoes, but it wasn't just the mulattoes. It was a timing thing. We got to rush these motherfuckers when they sick. When was they sick? After the motherfuckers spread it, that motherfucking bubonic plague. So now they got Europe. Okay, how can we get America? And see, they didn't know about the America. Listen, this what this 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 is what you call the uh, unspoken secret of the Prince Hall Masons, right? Watch this. Make it short, OG. Y'all don't heard this shit. About 40 acres in a mule. Right? Well, where did that come from? Where was the first concept of 40 acres in a mule? It was a recruitment. It was a recruitment to the Masons who had been given immunity by the mothers. Do you know what I mean when I say they get, were given immunity by the mothers? That means that what a lot of y'all don't want to swallow. And that is one of your ancestors was at war with another one of your ancestors. It's called War Babies. See, y'all don't know, only the black man that they call black argues what an African-American is. You ain't never seen a white man come up and argue what an African-American is. Because an African-American is a real being. But it ain't everybody. Like I was saying earlier, each and one of us, everybody got four rivers. You got two on your two great grandmamas and great granddaddies on your mama's side and two on your daddy's side. That's four rivers. Right? One of our rivers, like I said, and most of our rivers. And this why the Moors keep saying they Moors. 